A listener sent me a picture of a memo that his apartment complex sent out, which told people that they are no longer allowed to draw on the sidewalk with chalk. And if I remember correctly, he also sent me a few phone numbers of people that lived there in the complex so that I could call them up and accuse them of writing on the sidewalk with chalk. Hello. Hello, Mr. Holt. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Dave down in the office. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, um, you, you remember that memo we sent out about the sidewalk chalk? Yeah. Yeah, you, we, we, uh, we saw you on security camera. We know you were using sidewalk chalk, so we're going to have to issue a... Who cl- was using sidewalk chalk? You were, Mr. Holt. And I we, was like hell. Oh, we have it on camera. We have you on there. You, I don't give a shit what you got you, on camera. You wrote on the ground in chalk, you wrote, I heart gay people. I did like hell. You did? So you admit it? What? So you admit that you did it then? I didn't. So you don't love gay people? Are you a homophobe? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, just because you hang up on me, that doesn't mean you get away with not paying the fine. So it's going to be a $25 cleaning fee. Look it, I'll be up there at the office in the morning. Why can't you come right now? Why in the morning? I'll be there in the morning. I'll be there in the morning. Okay, what? Why? Why to pay the fee? To pay the fine for drawing on the sidewalk? Oh, it's just. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Mister Sturgeon. Uh, no. Ah. Oh. Crud. Is, uh, did I get the wrong number again? No, this is Sturgeon Register, Register, <laughs> Residence, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm calling from the office. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Sturgeon? Uh, this is Sturgeon. Oh, that works. Yeah, you're the one. Uh, I'm calling from the office here at the townhomes. Yes. And, and you remember the memo we sent out about um, you're not allowed to uh, draw on the sidewalks? with chalk yes. With chalk? Well, we've yeah. we've caught you doing that, and, and on camera, on the security camera. We also had some reports from some residents. Chalk on the sidewalk in front of my house? Yeah, well, not not in front of your house. It seems like you you kind of walked around a little bit, so you wouldn't be uh, s- suspected. You, you didn't actually. Um, there's no. I don't write on the ch- on sidewalks or the houses or anything like that, other than in front of my house. Okay, and it's not me. It's my three children. Oh, well, they're not allowed to do that. But, um, no, besides the children, though, it, we saw you on security camera. Like, and you're walking around and you're just, go- like, you know, writing graffiti and stuff with chalk on the sidewalks. Um, no. You're drawing arrows for people to follow around and a hopscotch thing. And then you wrote, um, I heart gay people. It's like, who do, who's telling you this? Uh, just various residents. And then we checked the security tapes to confirm it. Okay, because this is BS, because I don't write on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's that's what a vandal would say, you know, to, to keep themselves out of trouble. You guys are really going to call me a vandal when I've been here for seven years. Well, just don't do that then. It's not a big deal. I won't charge you the cleaning fee this time. You know, um, Cleaning fee? It washes away. Are you kidding me right now? Well, apparently you didn't read the memo, because we said if you draw on the sidewalks, we're going to give you a cleaning fee. But you know, I'll be nice about it this time. I, I won't. I won't put and, the fee no, on there. You know there. what? You guys can just zip it right now because I'm looking for a new place to live. Because this is bullshit. <sighs> well, maybe just just Goodbye. don't just don't do it anymore. Just say you're sorry. Hello. Hey, Mister Not. Hmm. Hey, it's uh, Roy from the. I'm I'm here in the office for. Okay. And and you remember that memo we sent out about um you not being able to uh, draw on the sidewalk with chalk anymore. Yeah, that was, that was last summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, it was in uh, April, actually, and I yeah. mean, it, it didn't. The memo didn't expire. You you can't go around drawing on the sidewalk with chalk like that. What are you talking about? Well, we have you on security camera, and several people reported that they saw you uh, walking around with chalk and drawing things on the sidewalk. Are you smoking drugs? Of course not. Well, what kind of what, what the hell are you talking is- about? Well, I, first of all, I don't appreciate... Is this really the landlord's office? Of course it is, and I don't appreciate the accusation that I'm using drugs. I'm a Christian is this a man. a joke? 
No, it's not a joke, and I'm not using drugs. I'm just calling to let you know you need to cut that out, or we're going to have to issue a clean. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that it's a bunch of crap. I know it's a bunch of crap, and you need to stop doing it. Stop acting hey, like a child. I've never, I've never done that in my life. Oh, what are well, you talking about? Oh, man? you know what? The camera does not lie. The, we we have it right well, here. Is that on, so? That's right. Is that so? Yeah, is yeah. Is that pretty, so? Yes, that's very so. You know, the camera does not lie. It sees what it sees. We've got you well, on. It didn't see. It didn't see me writing on the sidewalk, dude. Well, maybe you just forgot you did it because you were high on drugs. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Oh, you're the joke. I mean, you know, you're you're a grown man going around drawing on the sidewalks. Yes. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I forgive you for riding on our this on our a, sidewalks, dude. This is a joke. It's got to be a joke. No, it's not a joke. I'm forgiving you. You're welcome. I'm forgiving you. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, you, you don't have to pay the fine. I'm not going to write it down. It's fine. Who is this? I forgive you. This is Roy. Who is this? It's Roy from the office. Do I know Roy from the office? Hell if I know. I'm just saying I forgive you, and, and I'm not going to... You've not got gonna... nothing to forgive me for, dude. Well, just... Maybe I'll come down there on Monday and you can show me this footage. Why don't you just say thank you, since I'm not going to charge you the fine. Because you're full of shit. I don't know what you're talking about. You're full of shit. You won't even admit that you did it? I, I haven't done anything like that, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we know you have, because it's what? on the security camera. Is that so? Yeah, show it's me. still so. Well, show I, me. You want me to show you over the phone? Uh, no, I'll come down Monday. Are you going to be there Monday? Why not? Why don't you come down tomorrow? Because I'm busy tomorrow, dude. What are you doing? It's none of your bloody business. I'll come down Monday. Well, sounds kind of sketchy. You're in regular business. Sounds kind of sketchy if you won't tell me you what you're doing. Show me all this crap. Yeah, I know it's crap. Drawing on the sidewalks is crap. Hey, it dude, makes the whole listen. place look ugly. Listen, dude. We're not a bunch you're of hobos like you. You're out of your mind. I don't know who the hell you are. I already told you who I am. This, this, this is coming from, it says landlord office, so obviously it's coming from the office. Yeah, obviously. I wasn't lying about that part, was I? Lying about what? I don't know. You're trying to say I'm lying, that I wouldn't really be with well, the you office. you are lying, dude. You're, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one lying. Is that so? Yeah, it's definitely so. I have the security camera footage to prove it. Well, you, you don't. You fucking vandal. Well, you don't have any security footage. To oh, you, you'll, you'll see. You'll see when you come to the office. We've got the, all the footage right here. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's right. You don't have well, to confirm everything I say, You're asshole. out of your mind, dude. You're out of your mind. Asshole now, eh? Yeah, well, you know, at least I'm not going around drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. Yeah, like a, like a hooligan. I do. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I've, I've lived here for like, what, 12, 13 years? That doesn't Grand give you the right. It doesn't give you the right to draw on the sidewalks. They're not your sidewalks. Okay. I'm not drawing on the sidewalk, dude, and I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, you're just proving to me that you're also a liar in addition to being a vandal. Is that so? Yep. Yep. I, I'm confirming. Yes, it is so. Who's the, where's the head office for this company? Oh, don't worry about the it. number. You, give me the number, dude. No, you're just gonna you're just gonna come here no, and, and no, see us. Give me the number, dude. You're, you're gonna see us on Monday, dude. Because you're full of crap. I am not, dude. Joke. You're the one that's full of crap, dude. Don't call back again tonight, there, Roy. Okay, dude. I won't do it. We'll be down. Th- we'll be down there on Monday. You can show me all this wondrous footage, this imaginary footage of me writing on the side. Yeah, yeah. You have fun doing your imaginary stuff tomorrow. That you're so busy, you can't come tomorrow. And- Hello. Hey, uh, this is uh, Dave down in the office for the townhomes. Right. And uh, do you remember us sending out that memo about like how you couldn't draw on the sidewalks with chalk? Yes. Well, we, we've we caught you. We, we saw that you were doing it, and uh, we're going to have to send you a cleaning fee. Are you really so, serious? Yeah, yeah. We, I, I do not do it. Look, I don't even have kids. Well, yeah, that, that's why it's extra weird. I mean, why would you be out there drawn just by yourself and writing? You caught me drawn with chalk on a sidewalk or something. I you don't even go outside. I know, I don't even go outside. <laughs> this, this is baloney. Did she just call you a hermit? Oh, I'm not, I know, I'm not confirming it because I never do. Come, come and talk to a person. Hey, hey, tell that person in the background. Yeah, that's my boyfriend in the background. Oh, tell him to my shut up. My daughter is here. Oh, wait, I thought you didn't have kids. I d- well, my daughter's grown up. She's 30 years old. Do you think she's going to be out there drawing with chalk? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're out there doing it. No, maybe, maybe I am she- not because I don't even use it. Yeah, you're picking someone 
Hey, hey, yeah. tell yeah, speaking of that, I am 58 years old. Do you expect a 50-year-old going out there with chalk? Yeah, hey, just real quick, can you tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up? Because they're being... Pardon me? Tell them to shut the fuck no, up. No, he's, he's mad, too, because I don't do that. Oh, I know, but just tell him to shut the this fuck up. This is a stupid Be- phone call. Oh, you're you're a stupid phone call. I've no, got kids two doors down that might have... And i got two doors in oh, my now, back door. Now you just have kids also, all over the place. Well, it's not me. Yeah, I'm uh, 58 years old. I I'm going to go outside and draw on the, tra- on the sidewalk or whatever. Well, I, I'm... That's baloney. I know. It, and you know what? If it happens to be on the side of my building, it's the kids doing it. Because you know what? No, I have kids even peeing against that wall. Oh, my God. Yes. Holy and crap. And I never complained about that. Peeing on the wall? But I'm going to make a complaint on... Look. on uh, what Monday when I pay my rent? But look, just just because you're uh, just because you know they're peeing on your wall, that doesn't give you a right to write on the sidewalks with chalk. I don't write on the wall. No, on the sidewalks. You can't write on the sidewalks. I don't even write on the sidewalk. Well, we sent out a memo. Have you seen the kids up there with the door that's laying on the sidewalk right now? Yeah, but and they're I, kicking it and breaking it up into pieces. Yeah, but I don't say anything to them because I'm afraid of those kids. They scare me. No, look, I this. It's really got me pissed off, well, right? Yeah, but... I don't do that. I know, but the, the only reason I can't talk to those yeah, kids hold is... hold on a minute. Guess what? I got enough witnesses here now. Oh, no. Plot thickens. Hello? Oh, hello? Who's this? Yeah, hi. Hi, uh, this is uh, Carlton you're talking to. Um, I'm her boyfriend, and um, Nelly doesn't even leave her house. Um, uh, like she's always at home. She's a fifty-seven-year-old lady. I'm pretty sure you guys know her. She lives at the end, or you're not? Are you new here? No, no, we know her and everything. We just saw her on camera, and she's t- she's uh. Um, you saw her on camera doing what? Drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. I think she's lying to okay, you. Okay, hold on, hold on. He said he's he's got you on camera drawing on the sidewalk. That's not me. No, but you have it on camera. It's like we're not like I mean, I mean this is a bad situation. Yes, please let me talk to the gentleman. Now, uh, she needs to see that, but um, if you guys know Nelly, she's lived there for years. Oh, years. yeah, yeah, what? I know. She's not like that. She doesn't even leave her house, so she's a bit yeah. perplexed on what you're talking could, about. Do you understand my point, right? Could, could you tell her real quick just to shut the fuck up, because I can't hear you because she's yelling okay, in the background. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Listen to this. Go ahead, tell her yourself. Okay. Are you at the office right now? Uh, yeah, but we're not open right now. You can't can I co- come over and see that video? No, you can't come in. Nope. I can't. No. Hold on, quiet, guys. We, I'm trying to talk to this guy. We, Can I come over and see that video? But we don't let vandals come into into our office. So in other words, you cannot prove it. Well, no, just that you're a vandal. We don't. They can prove it. You let me come over right now, and I'll tell you if it's me or not. Well, we're afraid you might come in here and start spray painting the walls or something. Hey, hey listen, buddy. Listen. Uh, you know what? I, I'd probably rather talk to you know, like your boss or something because you have no business uh, cooth at all. Somebody's like, listen to the way you're talking. Somebody's making a crank call. It's not them. What? A crank it's call? Not them. It's, no, that's right. It's a crank call. How, and how, I'm going to call the office and the police. Yeah. No, don't call them. Please. Not, no. Not. I'm going to call the police. No, he's don't. Here with, don't he's incriminating oh, himself. It's, it's just he's incriminating a, himself it, right now. Let him talk. It's just a prank Continue. call. It's just a prank call. Don't call the police. It's just a single prank call. No, we're taking this very seriously. Yeah, I am. Well, you shouldn't. It's just a prank call. It's just a joke. Let him talk or you're going to... Okay, so what is the end result of this then? You got her on camera graffitiing gra- the place. Tomorrow, tomorrow she's going to be down there to talk to you guys. Well, we might even walk over there now. No. And I'm, what's your name? No, look, I don't even work at the apartments. I, I, I'm one of those oh, kids. Oh, okay, I see. I, I'm one of those Frank kids that was it? stomping on the door. I, I'm one of them. Oh, they hung up. That file was labeled completely insane family, and I think that's because they were completely insane. That's why I let them know that it was a prank, because it seemed like they were just going to, I don't know what they were going to do. But it seemed best to just let them in on the joke. You'd think they would have thought that was hilarious, but nope. They just kept up with the threats and hung up on me and whatever, I don't care. Remember in the last show, the entire show was basically just one long prank call about those car recall people? We're going to end today's show with a few more of those. People who owned Ford Fusions and there was a recall issued on them. Some kind of a bolt needed replacing or something like that. Here's some calls to owners of Ford Fusions. Hello? 
Hi, Francis. Uh huh. This is Roy from the car dealership. I was just calling about you, calling you about your recall. Oh, okay. Yes. And、uh, I just needed to let you know it's going to be another two weeks before we get that recall to come in. Okay. So、uh, in the meantime,、well, I, I appreciate you. I, so I appreciate you letting me know. Okay. Anyway,、mm-hmm. uh, I needed to let you know that we've we've pushed a firmware update to your car through the you know through the software for the car. Uh huh. And、uh, it's gonna until until we get the the part replaced, we're gonna put your car in autopilot mode, so it's gonna be self driving from now on. Okay, I don't know what that means, but、um, well, it just means when you you get in your car and you start it up,、mm-hmm. and、mm-hmm. it'll drive itself. You you have to tell it where to go to on the screen. Are you are you really serious? Of course, yeah, yeah. It's just a temporary thing. Uh, technically, it's、mm-hmm. not legal to do that yet, but just you know, just pretend you're driving. But really, the car will be doing the driving. Okay. Well, what if I don't? What do you What do you mean when you say to tell it where to go?、Uh, I don't have a, a navigator on my car. Oh no, you do. It's built in.、Uh, it's we just we sent a firmware update over the internet to your car. Uh huh. So it's all going to work next time you get in the car. It, it just now finished uploading. Okay, and so I just. Okay, so、uh, it, you don't touch the wheel, or what? Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, but it'll be really hard to turn it because the car is going to be turning it for you, and the car will be doing all the braking and and making the car go, and it'll it'll park the car for you. Um, why don't they just wait and then the two weeks I bring it in and you get the part? Well, yeah, but just in the meantime, because you know if you need to drive anywhere. You're, you're right, ca- and and if I get messed up, what happens? I mean, you don't hit the brake, you don't hit anything. Oh no, no, you don't touch anything anymore. It's all, it's fully automated. You still have the car, right? You didn't leave it here with us. Oh no, no, it's here. Okay, all right. I w- wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be self driving next time you get in it. Yeah. It'll just yeah, just for two. I really feel comfortable with that or not. Oh, it'll be fine. It's safer than you driving. No, I mean, I mean,、yeah. what I'm saying is, yeah, but okay, a car comes towards me and I need to step on the brake then or accelerate to get away from it. What do you do? Oh,、uh, no, the car will I mean, do. The last week, I've had several times when somebody's. Come across the center line. I had to go over to the right to get away from them. The car does that automatically. That car automatically sensor that. Yeah,、what? yeah. It has sensors and cameras all over it, and it'll see the cars coming, and it'll just swerve into the next lane out of the way.、Mm-hmm. It's not too good with people.、Uh, like it could hit a person, but at least it won't hit a car. I don't know about this. But it, it's safer than a woman's driving, you know. Not really. No, it, it is. It's the. This is the future. Uh, it's not my future, right? To tell you. No, no. Everyone's going to have a self-driving car. Ten years from now, it's all going to be self-driving. So you're you're basically you're getting a free taste of the future before you die. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm 64 years old. I don't see me in ten years from now driving a car in the first place. But yeah, no, that, that's the、themselves. thing. You won't have to <laughs> in ten years. They're all going to drive themselves. You'll just pick up your cell phone and push an app, and the car will come and pick you up like a taxi. But there won't be a driver in it. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of malfunctions. We have a lot of malfunctions on things.、So. Oh, quit worrying. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right. Well.、Um, all right. We've also updated the firmware、uh, for your gas tank, and your car doesn't take gas anymore. You're you're lying to me because my car does take gas. No, but we've up, but we've updated the firmware, so you t- you have to plug it in now. I have no idea what you're talking about. And it's also a flying car. A what? Your car can fly now. Oh, you, who is this? This is Roy from the car dealership. No, you're not Roy from the car dealership. I am too. Look at your caller ID. I know. I saw your thing, but my car does not fly. Are you on something or what? No, I'm not. But it really does drive itself. Um, it, 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 I'm, I'm not saying it flies. I'm just saying if it needs to jump a ramp or something, it will, and it won't be a problem. Okay. All right. It also has a cloaking ability, so if the police try to pull you over, you can go invisible. Okay. Is there somebody there, your, your supervisor, I could speak with, please? No, he's busy right now. 
No, no, but, no. I want to talk to him. But it's no big deal. I mean, the what was the part that was recalled? Was it the door lat? Oh, she hung up. Hello. Hey, is uh, Betty there? Just a minute, please. Okay. Hello. Hello, Betty. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the car dealership. I'm calling about your fusion. Yes. And uh, I needed to let you know that that bolt is in for, for your power okay. s- your power steering. You know, the bolt is for the power steering. Yeah, if you want to come by and pick that up, you're gonna have to put it in yourself, though. I have to put it in myself. Yeah, because the the recall um, it only covers the price of the bolt. But you have to install the bolt yourself. Is this guy a joke? I have to install this by myself. What do you do, hang up? No, he's still on there. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Uh, I'm Betty's husband. Uh, what What is the deal with the power steering bolt? Oh, it's just the, the bolt that's in there now is faulty. So if you come in, yeah. w- w- the new bolts just arrived today. So if you come in, we'll give you the bolt, and then you can take it home and put it in. Why do we do that? Uh, well, because the recall only covers the price of the bolt, not the price of the labor. I don't even know where the bolt goes. Uh, we'll, we'll sell you a, a manual that'll it'll show you where everything is, so you can take apart the entire steering column and put it in. You'll have to. You just have to take You're the. You have me. to take the steering wheel off. You have to disconnect the airbags. You have to be really careful with that. You don't want them to go off accidentally. Oh yeah. And right. you have to take apart the steering column, and take off the entire front of the dashboard so you can reach where the bolt goes. It's really easy. I've done it. Yeah, sounds like it. Yep. But it's it's here. If you want to come and get it, we're open at seven in the morning. Or, I mean, you can come tonight if you can get here in a half hour. We close at 8. This, this is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. The bolt's ready. Huh. It, the bolt is here. I sure as hell ain't going to do all that. Why not? It's easy. And don't you know how to fix it things? Is. You're a man. You should know how to fix things. Oh, yeah. Like, what? what what's the problem here? <laughs> we bought the car to be right, so... Uh this is a recall. It needs to be done by Ford. Oh, no. No, we, we'll pay for the bolt, but it's your problem to install it. We'll install it for you, but it's going to be about $600 in labor. Who is this? This is Roy from the car dealership. From what car dealership? Um, You know, from the one that you got your car from. Durr. Which, which is what? It's... This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Oh, your face is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Don't call me dumb. This is the way runs their dealerships? What's the problem? You think you could do better? We're not going to just do a $600 bolt install for free. Why? Why would we do it for free? Why not? We bought it. It was supposed to be okay. Now it's on a recall. Why can't you do it? You should just do it yourself because your husband sounds incompetent. I bet you could do it. It's really easy. You just need a screwdriver. You are some kind of a jerk. I don't know what you're pulling, but I don't believe this is true. What is your name, sir? My name's Roy. I've told you guys that three times now. Roy what? No, no, it's not Roy what. It's Roy Gerbel. <laughs> yeah, it's a good joke. What do you I'll mean? stop down and find out about it. Okay, you're going to find out that it's not a joke? And and if, if you give me any more problems, I'm going to charge you an attitude fee. <laughs> what about your attitude? Well, I don't get charged fees here. I work here, ma'am. They don't charge you for working there? Well, sir, can you get your wife off the phone? She's really irritating. What do you think you are? I'm well, not irritating like you. Hey, you want to bet? All right, I bet you. Five bucks says you're more irritating than I am. Just hang up the phone and let the men speak, okay? 
sir. Are you still there? Yes, I am. I want to call the. Uh, I'm going to call the man who sold me the car and uh, see what he has to say about it. Good. He'll tell you the same thing. Come in and pick up your stupid bolt. Yeah. Yup. All right. Well, I'll let you go, I guess. Yeah, I think you better. Well, I think you better. Why don't you hang up? Hello? Hello, Josh? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the car dealership. Okay. And uh, I'm just calling about your your 2014 Fusion. Yes. And uh, did they tell you about that bolt that needed to be replaced? Uh, I was supposed to hear back from Linda or okay. whoever that is. Oh, okay. That. You want you want me to just like hang up and you can I'll have her call back later since you don't want to talk to me. Well, no, I was just saying that too. I was, I just didn't know who I, who I needed to talk to to get this fixed. Oh I mean, no, I'm, I can talk to you. I just didn't know. I'm calling to let you know we did a firmware update over the internet, and that fixed the bolt. So you don't really have to do the the have the bolt changed anymore. We did it through a software update. Really? Yep. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Yep. Are you impressed? Well, I. I I, well, I still got to bring in for an oil change stuff, and there's some other stuff that I need to take care of, but it's not it's not as far as we call goes. But yeah, uh, when you were yeah, in here but for the- she was supposed to call me and let me because I because somebody she called here earlier, I guess, or it might have been you, and then I called back and she was already gone, and somebody told me that I was uh, number six on the list. So I, I mean, I didn't know what all was going on. Yep, you're number six. How does that make you feel? special okay good hey when you were in here last time for your oil change um did you find anything after you left i think it was back in april did you find anything under the seat that was left behind Mm, no why what was it uh chad left his uh it was a marijuana pipe he left it inside your car but i mean he swears he did but he, he can't find it anywhere and he's pretty sure he left it inside your car during the oil change. Hold on just a second. Okay. Are you checking for it? Are you digging around? Under the front of the the driver or the passenger seat? Um, He said he was sitting in the back seat. That's all he told me. But he's not here now, so I can't ask him. He he um he was sitting in the back seat smoking marijuana while they changed her oil. And and my car. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Well, is Mister aware of this? Um, no, no, we wouldn't tell him about that. We don't want to get in trouble. Don't want to get him in trouble. Well, Chad wouldn't want to get in trouble because he's not really supposed to smoke marijuana uh, while he's working. Well, no. He, well, I know that. He, he's had uh, warnings about it already, so we wouldn't tell tell him. But did did you check around? Did you did you find the marijuana pipe? It's just a small one. I'm not seeing nothing. You're not seeing nothing? That means you are seeing no. something. Do what? Um, what? Did you check, did you check on it's both the, sides? It's the 2014 Ford Fusion, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right, well, you know what? He ain't supposed to know, but this is bullshit. I am personally going to come talk to tomorrow. No, don't do that, because that'll get, is- that'll get Chad in trouble. I don't care. Well, you should care. I mean, he's the one that does your oil. If you get him in trouble, who knows what could happen. Uh, I can be more than happy to go to Chevrolet. I know. Well, come on. Don't do that. Just just don't just don't and, tell our boss, okay? Because it's, it's not a big deal. What is it's, your name by it's any just, chance? It's just marijuana. It's practically legal now. I don't care what it is. I mean, he didn't he didn't burn your seat or anything with it. It don't matter. And who am I talking to? 
My name is Roy. I work in the service. And you work at where? I work at the, the car dealership in the service department. Are you there now? Yeah, I am. All right, well, I'm coming up there. For what? You're getting an oil change tonight? No, to see you in, because this... Because this what? No, this conversation is done. Is it? Then why are you coming over here if the conversation is done? Like, wouldn't that well, be pointless? Well, I want to know where where you get off coming to tell me this. Well, hey, if you come over here, do you think I could search around in your car? Maybe look uh, in the, you know, maybe under the seat, like under the, the back seat. Maybe it just kind of got squished down in the back. Well, I have a seat cover on the back of my seat, and there's no way you can get underneath of it. Oh, okay. You, you didn't just take the marijuana pipe for yourself, did you? Because it's an expensive pipe. It's like $70. No, I don't do that shit. My job does not allow me to do that shit. Oh, so you would if it wasn't for your job? Is what you're saying? No, not at all. Well, it doesn't... I mean, did you just want to sell it to somebody? Is that what you did? You just wanted to make some money? No, I... No. I'd have been right back up there if I would have found it. Unless you decided to sell it, because he left a bag of marijuana in there, too. And a lighter. Dude, you're, I, I don't know who you are, but you're really pissing me off. Well, I don't mean to. I just thought I'd ask, because Chad was really bummed out that he lost his pipe. It was his favorite pipe. I mean, it's just... It's a, and that's where he hangs up. Poor Chad. He's never going to get his weed pipe back. I don't need a painted roof. Here's one that I did back in 2014 where I told an apartment office lady that I installed a urinal on the wall in my bedroom. She seems to have a problem with this. Good afternoon, Brent Montellas. Oh, hello. Um, we're having a little problem with mold in our uh, coming through the wall in the bedroom. Okay, what and suite? What tower? Tower okay. 1, 403. All right, and where is it coming? Um, it's just kind of underneath the urinal in the bedroom is this Bruce yeah this isn't Bruce is this Bruce uh, I'm Bruce's son oh okay do you live there now or yeah yeah he's, I'm not really supposed to tell anyone but I installed a urinal in the bedroom in the bedroom on the wall and excuse me and the the mold is directly underneath that you installed what on your wall a urinal you know like a, a bathroom for males why would you do that? Because it was too far to walk to the bathroom. Are you ill? And kind of. I have bladder issues. Um, well, you did this. You're going to be responsible for getting rid of this. You're so not supposed to do that. Are you home now? Well, you can't have us living in a place that has mold. Well, you can't, you're not supposed to be putting urinals in bathrooms. And if that's where it's coming from, you're the one that's well, created the problem. I didn't put the urinal in the bathroom. I put it in the bedroom. And where is the mold? It's directly underneath the urinal. But see, there was no drain... Are you, are you home now, sir? Yeah, there was no drainage pipe in that wall. So the, I just had the drain pipe go into the wall. So basically, it's not draining anywhere. It's just, you know, it's pooling inside the wall there. What is? Your, the, your urine? Yes. Are you insane? I figured that'd be okay because it, like, it no, doesn't get... No, it's not okay. Is, is Marsha and Bruce even living there? It doesn't get used more than, like, maybe twice a night. I don't care. Is Masha and, and Bruce living there? They're not here right now. For how long are they gone? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're their son. Did they go well, away for a week? Uh, yeah, they're... At, well, Br Bruce is at work right now. All right, I'm going to... I'm sending my husband over there now. But I don't you see why home? you're getting so mad at me, because I'm just trying to I'm explain... I'm getting mad at you. I'm getting mad at you because you've done something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. You've never heard of urinal. someone installing a urinal? Never. You never. never. You know urinals exist, right? They're, it's not like a made-up thing. No, they exist, but putting it in a wall and it's got no place to drain? Well, maybe you guys should come over and put a drain pipe in. 
Well, maybe you should take the damn thing out. I am calling my husband. I'm not taking it out because I have medical issues and I need the urinal in the bedroom. You are not having a urinal, young man. I will call my husband. Are you home now? We we clearly are having a urinal because it's there right now. We're not taking it out. Young man, young man, are you home now? Yes, but if you come over, I'm not not opening the door because I don't want my urinal taken out. So good luck getting in. I'm I'm calling uh, Bruce and I'm calling Masha right now. I've never heard of anything so ludicrous. I'm go- I'm calling them, okay? Well, they're they're not they're going to agree. They're not going to let you take the urinal. No, they're not going to agree. You can't take the urinal out. Yes, we can. I, I need we it. can it's do whatever for, we want. For health sir. reasons, you don't and it shows own in our lease. You rent it. It shows you in our lease. You don't have it draining anywhere. You have it draining into a wall that could affect other people. You'll notice in that one that the apartment manager lady was just giving us the names of all the people that lived in the apartment that we claimed to be from, even though we were just making up the apartment number, which is actually a common thing that happens when we call these places. So it's a good thing we weren't identity thieves or anything, or at least we're not anymore. Soon after that call, my ex-BFF Stacy called that lady back as the person who lived directly below me. Hello? Hello. Good is... Yeah? Go ahead. Yeah, I've got something leaking in my apartment. Uh, what apartment are you calling from? I'm in apartment 303, the first tower. Okay, and where is it leaking? It's kind of leaking from the top. I, I don't know if... Um, in what I don't room? know. In the bedroom. bedroom. Um, have you talked to Bruce recently? I haven't seen him recently. Bruce who? Bruce and Marsha, the people that live above me. How do you know them? I'm just curious because I'm getting some really weird phone calls today. Well, because we're neighbors. Mm-hmm. And where do they live? They live in 403. Okay. I'm, and uh, the phone calls I've been getting, the last few t- phone calls have just been bizarre. How many did you get? I've received two. Two and I'm calls? I'm going to tell you the content of them, but it's concerning this. Now... You say it's leaking in your bedroom? Yes, so so two calls before me? You don't need to know about that. I'm just I just want to know. Three oh three tower one. Are you at home now? Yes, of course my home. It's leaking down here. Okay. I will call my husband and I'll have him go over to your suite. Wait, were they also complaining about leaking? No, I, I'm not going to get into it, what the phone calls were about. I just, okay, I just had a bizarre Can you tell me, did, did Bruce and Marcia go out of town? I'm not telling you anything, okay, other than um, my husband will be at your suite soon. Hey, you, you, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I'm not being a bitch, all right, and I don't appreciate you calling me. I, it's just none of your business. That's in, I'm trying to tell you that. Well, then, nice then why, why did you say it in the first place? You yes. shouldn't have said anything yes. in the first place. Okay, listen, my, Erica, my husband will be there in a few minutes, okay? Thank you. How did you know my name? I'm the manager. You know everybody in the building? That's my job. Your, your name is Erica Camille, and you moved in October 15th of 2011. And I have your phone number and everything. Wow. Well, what it's... Mean, wow. Because okay. if you're so good at managing this building, why is there a leak? I have no idea, Erica. That's it why I'm smells. going to have my husband to be there, okay? Thank you. What is this about? Goodbye. My husband will be there shortly. Why your husband? We're pretty sure we made that lady's life easier in the end because now every day that she works, her job seems like a piece of cake compared to the day that she had to deal with urine in the walls and had to confront Bruce and Marsha about their insane son who probably didn't even exist. Everything she's had to deal with since that day, she's just like, well, at least they didn't install a urinal on the wall in the bedroom, so it could be worse. In this next call, I frustrate the crap out of an apartment office lady by telling her that I've dug a hole in my hallway and I've discovered an intricate network of tunnels beneath the neighborhood. And it seems like she believes it, but it's just really inconvenient for her. This is Amy. Hey, Amy. Um, I'm calling from the apartment building. I, I rent an apartment from you guys over on Bichine Avenue. I'm sorry, you're echoing. Uh, yeah, I'm underneath, I'm underneath the apartment. I'm over on Bichine Avenue, apartment one. Oh, I'm, I'm advising. You You live in apartment one? Yes. Okay. The bottom apartment. Uh-huh. And um, I was pulling up all the carpet. Okay, I pulled up all the carpet in the living room and there was this door underneath. So I went down into the door. And, like, there's this tunnel. 
Can you hear me okay? Okay. Kind of, sort of. Okay. I've, I've so, got, so, let me... <laughs> I'm confused. You live in Bising number one. You pulled up the carpet. There was a door underneath the carpet, so you went in the door, and it's a tunnel under the building? Yeah, well, it's more than under the building. I've gone at least five blocks now. It's gone for five blocks? Yes, yes. I hope you can hear me okay. My cell phone signal isn't too strong down here. Um, I, can, I can hear you, yes. Um, this is actually the leasing line. I'm going to need you to call Alyssa and let her know that. Oh. Because that is crazy. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I just, like, I've gotten kind of lost because um, I've gone down several stories now. Like, I'm three stories below ground and about five blocks away, but there's lots of different tunnels. So you're lost in there? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how to get back to the apartment. All I have is my cell you phone need light. To call- Nine one one. No, no, no. I'm I'm not in, in any trouble. As far as I can tell, the air is okay down here. So I don't understand how I can help you. Yeah, I just wasn't I mean, sure I, I, if if you could give me directions, like if you knew about the tunnel. Sir, I've never been in the tunnel, nor was I aware that there is a tunnel. So I definitely cannot give you directions out of the tunnel because yeah. I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, it lead. It starts. It's in the hallway, and um. I'm sorry. Huh? Can you say that one more time? It's in the hallway. In the hallway? Yeah, well, that's uh, where the so tunnel starts. And, and I went down into the hallway. I, I, there, was no, the stair, there were stairs there originally, but they had rotted away. I had to use a rope. I What's to, your name? I had to use a rope to crawl down. My name is Roger. And uh, it was, um, you know, it's like a 20-foot drop. So I'm, I'm not sure if I can get back up, actually. But anyway, like, I've gone several stories down at this point, and I'm about five blocks away, I would estimate. Okay. I, I don't, I, I, honestly, I don't have any idea how to help you. Can you hold on just a second so I can get somebody else for you? Oh, who are you going to get? I have. Can you hold on just a second? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Sir, I, I don't... I, Alyssa's not here at this time, and I honestly don't know how to help you, and I didn't even know that there was a tunnel there. Here's here's my recommendation for you. To call Alyssa, and if you can't get out, to call 911. Oh, no, I'm not. Because I'm, no, no, no. I, I can't talk to 911. Not since the incident. Why can't you call 911? Uh, they, uh, it's, it's hard to explain. They, it's, they've got it in for me, though, like since the last time. 911 but, has it in for you? I'm just saying it's not. I'm, a, I'm really sorry. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I, ca- I cannot help you other than to advise you to call nine one one and to do the best you can to get out of there. Because if you're trapped in a hole under a building, you have got to call nine one one. Well, no, I'm not trapped I at mean, all. I'm not trapped. I just have to find my way back. Because right now I'm like five well, blocks away. What am I going to tell nine one one? Just start digging random holes in the neighborhood until you find me. No, no one can come find you because I don't know where you are. And I am definitely not going running around through tunnels. What's, what's, your, what's your last name, sir? You said it's Roger? Yeah. Hey, there's like what's this... What's your last name? Okay, like I'm in the room. I'm in the big cavernous area next to the waterfall. There's a waterfall? Yeah, underneath. Um, I'm three stories down now. Uh, I think I might be near the lake. But there's, there's some okay, r- right, writing on the wall. And it says, Ye intruders beware, crushing death and grief. Soaked in blood of the trespassing um, thief. Do you know what that would translate to? It's in Spanish. I don't understand Spanish. No, sir. I don't. I don't speak Spanish. But look, here's. I have to get off the phone because I've got. I've got things to do today. But I can't help you other than to tell you to please call nine one one to get help to get out of that building. I have things to do if too. You are under. I'm sorry. Well, hey, wait, wait. Could you come in my apartment and maybe set set some sort of beacon down, like? Maybe, maybe just no. Lo- I'm lo- not going to go in your apartment instead of a beacon. I'm sorry, I just can't do that. No, if you, can lower- you can call nine one one and get out. No, listen. In in my closet, there's a boombox, and all you'd have to do is lower the boombox and have it turned on really loud. Sir, I'm not going to do that for you. Well, okay, that, you I, need to call nine one one. I am not emergency services. No, I, it's not an emergency. I'm just trying to find my way home. 
but if you just turn if on the radio. If you can't find your way home and you're lost under a building, then that absolutely is an emergency, and it uh, is a huge liability for me to sit here on the phone with you. I'm half I, tempted to call 911 and no, send them no, over there. No, don't, don't you dare. No, no, they're not. They they will, they'll, they'll be, uh Well, if you keep me on the phone, sir, I'm going to call 911 and send them right over there to find you. Why can't you just come over and put a radio down the hole? Because I'm not going to come over there, and I'm hanging up right now. I do wish you the best of luck, and I hope you have a great time. Well, you obviously don't wish me the best of luck if you won't even help me find the opening. Can you believe that lady acting all concerned about my welfare, but then won't even send someone over to drop a radio down the hole? And then she uses 911 to threaten me with? What a fucking sociopath. I could have died down there. I'm going to play one more call to an apartment guy who doesn't understand what a loophole is and just tries to argue his way out of me bankrupting him instead of admitting that I'm right. Um, uh, Realty, this is Mike. Oh, hi. Um, I have a, uh, a question. I, I'm an, a tenant here at the apartments. Oh, which which one? An apartment, too. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy. How and can I help you, Roy? I, I'm just... The power company wanted me to get permission to rewire the power box. Um, they want. I want to make it so I can sell power back to the electric company. They they said they're fine with me doing that. I just have to get permission from the apartment owner. I don't think our apartment's set up for that. Yeah, yeah. The electric company would come over and rewire it, and I'd um, pay for it to be rewired. I don't think so. Because I'm generating a lot of electricity from my apartment, and I just needed to doing sell. What? I'm sorry. What? What are you doing in your apartment? Uh, it's just to sell. Um, you know, electricity back to the electric company, and that way I'll get a credit on my bill instead of... I don't think that's an allowable use in the apartment. Oh, no, they they say it's okay. It's, it's like a program. It's for being green or whatever. Okay, here's what I'm but, telling you. Uh-huh. I don't think that's an allowable use for your apartment. It's for residential use only. Oh, well, yeah. It's uh, not for generating electricity. Well, I generate electricity... That sounds like a problem for our insurance company. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's all safe and everything. We just we're just we're. Well, here's we're, what I'm going to ask. Okay. What's your last name, Roy? Rick Royerson. We How we do you we spell we that? make the electricity with water. We just How leave. Do you spell that? We leave the water running 24 hours a day, and it goes through a turbine. That cost me a bunch of money. Well, yeah, we, we don't. Cease to desist that immediately. We we don't pay for the water here, though. So and, I and pay it, for the water. Right, but it makes electricity, so it makes everything cheaper because our electric. No, it doesn't. It does not. But we have our fridge hooked You're up. You're stealing the water from me to make electricity. Uh, so if you don't cease that... We're, we're not stealing it because be it's free. The water's free it, here. It, the water's not free. Where do you get free water? F- from this apartment. I don't pay for the water. I pay for it. The guy you're talking to? Right. So you're going to you're gonna have me pay for it, and then you get electricity? Well, we're paying rent, and water's included. That doesn't... In- that does, it's not... It's not water for generating electricity. It's water for household use. Well, water is included in the rent, though. and, and we're not water for generating electricity to sell. Okay, we don't have to sell it. We're just using it like we're, we're powering our fridge with it and just all the appliances and the microwave. Okay. Uh, if you don't stop this immediately, you will be asked to move. Well, it's not against our lease rules or anything. I didn't see anything it in the lease. It will be. By the end of today. You're going to change the r- rules because we already signed I'm, the lease. I'm, I'm actually really serious about this. I, I'm serious, too. Like, I, I thought we'd be able to just sell power back to the electric company using our hydroelectric plant. You probably have no idea how insane this actually sounds. I thought it was completely normal. I mean, we just it, It's completely abnormal, and it's completely ridiculous. O- over the summer, we've been, um, we, we made an air conditioner. Out of uh, just copper tubes, and we I will ran, be doing an investigation of the water usage there. We ran copper tubes and have cold water streaming through it. Like we've been running the water all summer. You haven't noticed an increase, have you? That's because they don't send me the bills. Well, so you don't pay for it then. I do pay for it, <laughs> but they don't send you a bill, but you still pay for it. It doesn't make sense. I have a management company that takes care of the bills. So now I will be investigating this to find out just what the hell's going on. So you don't even but pay for you, it. You, you, will, t- you told you me you were pa- asked to move. You told me you were paying for it, but you don't even do I it. I am paying it for it. It comes out of my pocket, and this conversation is over. You need to cease and desist immediately, well, and you most likely will be asked to move anyway. Well, we can stop if it's a problem. You need to stop today. It oh. is a problem. Okay. And you need to stop right now. We've got a re- water reservoir. You need to stop 
right oh, okay. now. Okay, but we still have the water reservoir. It's a residential use apartment. It is not for generating electricity. Right, we are residents here. and it, Okay, you used to be residents there. But, we, you know, it's just We're to power the fridge. We're going to determine how long that's going to be right now. You don't have to be a jerk about it. I'm just trying to... I, I was just called to ask nicely. I was just trying right. to find... And, and you you don't seem to understand. The first three times I told you to stop, you said you were going to continue. Okay. I, so I said I would stop. It's every time that you don't understand it. I said I would turn the water off, but we still have a water reservoir in the bedroom. So we can use that water, right? There shouldn't be any water reservoirs either. So uh, but I'll get to the bottom of this yet today. We've already filled it up with the water from the apartment. We've filled, it's that, like, that creates a hazard and an insurance issue, too. But it's 300 cubic feet, but it's in a really strong tank. There's no chance of it leaking. But we use Why that. Do you have a 300 cubic foot tank in the apartment. It's, it's a water reservoir. It's for the hydroelectric plant. You should not have a hydroelectric plant in your apartment. Okay, but I mean it's already there, and we don't have to run any more water into it. We could just use it up to just to finish generating electricity, and, and then the you know the water will be gone. And I think I mentioned more than once already that you are not to be generating electricity in your apartment. I thought you just said we had to stop using your water because and. and and that it's not for commercial use like generating electricity. Well, it's not commercial for yet. Residential, residential use only. We're, we're not going to sell it back to the power company. You, you already told me creating, I couldn't. It's still creating problems that you know could be hazardous to the rest of the building. Okay, I don't see how. It's just water. Okay, we're done. It's not like we're making hydrogen. You're not listening very well at all. Okay. If you don't like living there, you don't have to live there. I love living here. Why do you say well, I don't like that, living here? Well, because you don't seem to be understanding what I'm saying. Very well, you're well at you're all. the one contradicting yourself, saying you pay for the electric and then you say you don't. I you pay, pay for the electric and the water. I know, and, and but then you said you don't. You said a management company pays for it. So I feel like you're just lying they, to they me. They write the check. You asked why I hadn't noticed the bills. I said they write the checks. Well, maybe you need to watch it's your finances money. better than I, you do. I, I really don't need to be having this conversation any further. We've been doing it for th- three or four months now. That's good to know. Thank and, you. And, and you don't even notice your elect- your water bill? Thank you very much. I think you're an asshole. <laughs> uh, just listen to that guy. He is not on top of things. He's one of those landlords that just wants to collect his rent and not have to deal with anything else at all. If I'd been lost in the tunnels underneath his apartment building, he probably wouldn't have dropped a radio down either. Just like that lady before. These calls are based on a suggestion by a listener named Holden Martins Johnson. He wanted me to accuse people of winking their butthole at me. Because that makes perfect sense, you know? Don't you just hate when people wink their butthole at you? It's obscene and inappropriate. So for the next 30 minutes, you are going to hear people react to being accused of winking their butthole at Sensei Doug. And you'll probably notice that none of them can really just admit that they did it. Just admit it and move on. They all just have to deny it. Nobody wants to take responsibility for their actions. Hey, this is Pinkston. Hey there, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the uh, the Martial Arts Academy here across from you. Okay. Y- you know which place I'm talking about? Um. Right across? Across. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, like, you know, every day I walk by there and, um... You, you, like, whenever I walk by, I always look at, kind of look at your place, and, and I don't know why you guys keep doing it, but you you keep going up to the window and winking your butthole at me. And could you please just stop that? I keep what? You keep, like, winking your butthole at me, and I don't know if you're trying to flirt or if you're just being kind of a jerk, but it's just... I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I, I work just around the corner at the martial arts place. And you're calling the climbing place. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I, you know, I walk by every day. I'm the one, I, I usually wear my, my karate pants and stuff. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I'm the guy, you, you know who I am, come on. I'm, I wear my headphones and I like do karate chops to the music as I'm walking by. But like, No, whenever, I don't know. Whenever I walk, okay, well, maybe you do it to everyone then. I thought you were What just, time do you do that? Uh, in the mornings, I I come there in the mornings, like you know, just At a, what time? a few hours ago. Well, different times, you know. I'm I'm a sensei, so we don't really follow traditional, uh, you know, American 
Western time stuff, but just look, if you could please stop winking your butthole at me through the window, because that's just not cool, okay? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. You keep winking your butthole at me. Every time I walk by, you, you, go up to, you run up to the window and you wink your butthole at me. I don't think you have the right place. Yes, I do. You're on <laughs> street, just around the corner from me. But if I'm yeah, working, but. I'm upstairs, and there is no windows in my office. Well, whoever is down there, it like keeps running up I, to the window. There's, and no one that, there's no one here, so I'm not sure. So it has to you be you. Right place. It must be you. Like, just please stop winking your butthole at me. It's not appropriate. Well, I. All right. Let me have your name. It's Sensei Doug. Sensei Doug. Yes, I'm a sensei. S-I-N. No, Sensei. S-E-N-S-E-I. Doug. Yep. D-O- and you're at the martial arts. Yeah, just around the corner. And I don't know, just like, look, it's not a big deal. Like, I, I don't know why you guys keep doing it. Just stop winking your butthole at me every time I walk I by. I don't know what you're talking about, it makes, sir. It What's makes, your phone number? It makes me uncomfortable. I've been walking, like, the other way around the block to get to work just to avoid it. Okay, what is your phone number? It's 860. And if you see that, then what are they dressed like? Well, I don't know because they're just winking their butthole at me. That's all I can kind of see through the window. There's no but butthole looking out the windows in this place. I, I disagree because I'm the one that has to look right at it every time I walk by, and it makes me uncomfortable. All right, you, you need to give me a time. What? So you can schedule when you're going to come down and wink your butthole at me? No, so I can know who's doing it. I know it's you. Look, like, you don't have to deny it. Just please stop doing it. It's, it's, right, it's so I will investigate this and you. You're going to investigate me? Yes. Like, I'm the victim here. I'm the one getting winked at by your butthole. Okay, there is, n there is no such thing going on here, so... Um, I will it. investigate you and what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to walk to work. I'm power walking to work. And I, I try to avert my eyes every time I walk you by. You can't but it's, give me a time when you go to work, sir. I come at different times. I come in where, whenever the hell I feel like it. Because, you know, I don't have, the classes don't start until the, the after. you're the martial arts up, you're the martial arts on what road? On <laughs> street. Just around the corner from well, you. It definitely is not us. I so. think it is. And like, All right, you know, I'm, I will investigate I'm you. I'm not, not trying to cause... Oh, I'm going to investigate you. Take that. Go ahead. Uh, you, you can't prove I'm doing that. So uh, yes, I can. I'm going to I'm gonna start carrying a camera on me, and I'm going to start taking pictures of you winking your butthole at me. That would be great. I'm sure you'd think so. You, you're probably like a weird voyeuristic person and... You want, right, you I want don't know who you are, sir, but this is time to finish this phone call. Well, can you just please stop? Look, I'm not trying to start anything. Just I, please I stop. I can't stop something I'm not doing, and so it, I appreciate it if you would just not call any more about this. Can you at least apologize for it? Asian Express and Homeless Road, give me a minute, please. Okay. Sorry for the wake. Go ahead with your order. Uh, no, well, th this is uh, Sensei Doug. I work over at the uh, the Kung Fu place right next to you. Mm-hmm. And, um, hey, every time I walk by, um, you guys have been, like, winking your buttholes at me through the window. And I don't appreciate it. Do you think you guys could just please stop doing that? Where? Um, well, you Asian Express? Yeah, Asian Express. Every time, uh, you know, I walk, uh, you know, by there on my way to work. And, I don't know, the last few weeks, every time I walk by, you guys are always at the window, like, winking your buttholes at me. And that's just not cool. Come on. Please stop. I doubt we're doing that. Well, somebody there is. Like, how many people work there? I've never been in there what, because I'm, I have discipline. What time do you walk by? Uh, in the mornings and then again in the afternoon. What uh, time in the morning? Um, well, I was just, like, two hours ago is when I came in today. I'm not sure that's us, baby. <laughs> oh, it's definitely you. Like, you're the only Asian Express restaurant. But, you know, you guys are, yeah. like... Are you hauling Hope Mills Road or Camden Road? On Hope Mills Road. I I'm here yeah, in the, it's the sa same shopping center. You know the Kung Fu place? The school? 
Yeah, I doubt that's us, honey. Yeah. There is nobody at the windows, and our blinds are closed. I know, but you guys are always just like you just peek open the blinds and then you start winking your buttholes at me. Like mm, I, maybe you no. think it's funny or something, but you guys need to grow no. up. No, not us. You should come in and discuss this. Oh no, it no. I, I, I don't. Us. I don't come in and eat shitty food. You know, I have more discipline than that. Bye. But. <laughs> Hello, Glamour Nails. So may I have you? Hello, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the uh, the karate place. The taekwondo, you know? Like, you know, just here in the same shopping center? Yes. And, hey, um, every t- like, you know, I was walking by there today, and you were winking your butthole at me through the window. And that's not mm-hmm. cool. Can you please not do that again? I don't know what you're talking about. Can you say that again? Uh, you were winking your butthole at me through the window. When? Where? Uh, you know, just like two hours ago when I came to work, I walked by and you were winking your butthole at me through the window. And that's not nice. It's not cool. I really don't know what you're talking about, my, uh, sir. You're, you're like, Where? You were looking at me with your butthole. You were looking at me, like, you know, right at your front window. You, uh, okay, who, 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 who did that to you? You did. It was you. You don't know me. I don't know you. I mean, I, I still don't know what you're talking about. You, you Like every time I walk by, every day I walk by and you're just always looking at me. And you, you like, just please stop looking at me. Whenever I walk by, you turn around and you look at the wall. Where, 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 where do you work? I'm, I work at the Taekwondo place here in the same shopping center. You work at the Taekwen, uh, a Taekwondo? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the Taekwondo for who? A pop, uh, 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 Bob, uh, Bobby Kim? Uh, no, well, no, I'm the owner. I, I, I run everything here. The only thing I know is the, the Bobby Kim. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. But this is Sensei Doug. I work here. I mean, I I really don't know you, sir. I know. So why are you looking at me all the time? I don't know what you're talking about. You're just you're just like every time I walk by, like I walk by, you know, smoking my cigarettes and stuff, and you're just always looking at me. How how do you know I look at you? Because I look in the window and and you're just looking at me. I mean, if 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 you don't look at me, how how do you know I look at you? I. I don't know I look at you or not, but you know I look at you. But you know you say that 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 that, that not my sin. But how but, do you know I, I look at you? Because I, I, I'm allowed to look at you because I'm a sensei. I'm sensei Doug. But but look, whenever you, Huh? Listen, you say you allow look at me. Right. What what are you talking about? That you allow look at me. I, I cannot allow look at you. Correct, yes. Whenever I walk by, you, you turn around. You turn around and you look at the wall. Okay, I'm 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 tell I'm tell like this. Your Anybody, what? if you keep walk back and forth in the plaza about three times, the first of all, I look at you. The second of all, I will call police because I don't know what you do in the, the in the plaza. Oh, you okay? can't you can't call the police on me. I'm just out there smoking yeah, I my. Will. C- no, I no, will. No, I'm just out there smoking my cigarettes. I'm taking my cigarette you, break. Okay, how do you know I look at you? Because I look in the window and you're looking at me. Stop looking because at me. Because that, that my window is open. How come you stop me to look? I can look anybody if I want to. No, no. You you turn around and you look at the floor or the wall. Like, like just go to the back. Because, listen, I want this, the plaza to be safety, okay? Right. If you don't, want to, you don't want people to look at you, do not walk too many times in a day around here. If you want to okay? keep the plaza safe, you should buy a security camera. You don't have to sit there and just look at everyone. Okay, why why you worry about people look at you? Because I I'm self conscious. That 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 that's your problem. I know. It's not my problem. You should respect my problems. Yeah. Respect. If you don't want people look, just just walk somewhere else. Don't 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 walk across here too many times in a day. Well, just because I walk by there doesn't mean you should be looking at me. Like you know, get to work, do your job. You you you, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, but I, but but I don't like people looking at me, 
And also, you're always winking Listen, your, your butthole How at do me. you know I look at you? Because I look over there and you're looking at me. You're always looking you at me. You got four eyes. You got the eye on the back, too. You just mind your own business. You, yeah, that, 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 that kind of weird. No, you're kind of weird. You're the one that's always... No, you looking. is. You is the kind of weird. You're more weird than me. Because you're always looking at me. You're always just looking. I'm just trying why, to... What? Why, why I have time to look at you? I don't know why... I don't you, know what you're talking about. I don't, know, I don't know who you are either. I don't know why you have time to look at me. But, you know, you, you just better stop looking at me. Please. Please stop looking at me, sir. Pretty please. I really don't know who, who you're talking about. I don't know who you are either. I'm talking about you. Okay. I'm talking about you. If you... Okay, if you want, just come here. Let, let, let me look at you, and after that, I will tell you. Oh, no, I don't want to come in there, because you'll just, you'll just look at me the whole time. Because if, if you don't want people to look at you, because you have to check, but you have to check your chair. Maybe you have to wear looking. Well, m okay? m maybe when I walk by, you should put your hands over your eyes. You're crazy. All right? No, you're crazy. Do, do I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, do you think maybe, pretty please, could you please just, like, when I walk by, can you put your hands over your eyes? you crazy. And, like, all your customers, have all your customers put their hands over their eyes and tell them not to look at Sensei Doug. But maybe you, 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 you the, the weird person, that, that's the reason why -uh. that people keep looking at you. I'm just a normal Sensei. I'm just out there having yeah, my right. smoke break. That, that's, your, that's your problem. It's not people's problem, Okay. Well, you should respect my problems. I, I'm I'm an introvert. Uh, why? Who the hell? I'd have to respect your problem. Because I, I'm like you know, I I just don't like people looking at me. Yeah, they just look like. And, and if 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 you don't want if you don't want people to look at you, then don't don't go around. That's all. You want just me to stay just at your house, stay at your spot. But I have to go to work. I I work at the taekwondo place. You know. I don't think you work at the Taekwondo, okay? Because because I know the 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 Bobby Kim. If you say like that, the Bobby Kim maybe kick you out. Yeah. No, he. I know him. Oh no way! I can kick Bobby Kim's ass. He he can't kick that, anyone that, out. That that what you say? You you. I think you know you got problem. You need to go see doctor though. I I have a black yeah. belt, and and if Bobby Kim tries to start start shit with me, I will kick. Man. I will yeah, beat him you, up. You. you I think you 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 kind of being sick person or something, man. Yeah, you're all a right, sick I person. So. You're, you're the one in there just looking at everyone all day. Yeah, because because the the Bobby Kim he 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 never say like that. Yeah. I don't think you uh -huh. work a Bobby Kim either. Bobby Kim don't like person look like you. Okay. All right. But I've I've worked I've worked here for like three years now, and every time I walk <laughs> by, you're just in there looking at me. Oh, he finally hung up on me. Holy crap, that was seven-minute-long phone call, you guys. Good afternoon. Thanks for choosing Jiffy Lube. This is Dave. How can I help you? Hey, Dave. This is uh, Roy from the corporate office with Jiffy Lube. Yes, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Hey, um, we've been monitoring the security cameras there, and we just need to ask you, you guys if you could please stop winking your buttholes at the security cameras like that. Do what? Like you guys... We don't have security... Oh no, they're they're up there. They're just kind of hidden. <laughs> but you know, you guys just need to stop winking your buttholes at the security cameras. It's immature. Like, okay. What are what are you teenagers? No, we're all we're all adults. Yep, yep. Well, you should act like it, and just stop winking your buttholes at the security cameras. Okay. I'd really appreciate it. We don't need to see that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Why are you guys doing that? Uh, we're not doing that, and we don't have security cameras here. Yes, you do. You just don't know where they are. You don't know where to look. Okay, well, but, yeah, there's no reason why we would drop trial and show you our buttholes. There's, obviously, I would like to see the footage on that one. Oh, no, yeah, yeah I, I don't think so. We're not going to send you footage of that. Like, what are you, a sicko or something? No, well, but I'm just saying, if you're saying we're doing that, I would like to see that. Yeah, but you're you're like, like who would want to see that? Like, if you're if you're the kind of person that wants to see that, then obviously you're the type of person that's actually doing it too. No, no, I'm just you're Seems like accusing it. my employees of doing something like that, and I just would like to reassure that that is actually the truth. Well, it's you and your employees. It's like I don't know why it's a thing there. It's weird. It doesn't even make any sense. Winking your buttholes at the security camera? Come on. Grow up. All right. Well, uh, you know who my district manager is? 
of course I do, but we don't need to go there. I'm just asking you to please stop. Why? Uh, well, I'm just saying he would have informed me before you would. So. Oh, you don't know what you're uh, talking about because he doesn't even he doesn't have access to the security cameras. We do that here at the corporate office. I'm okay. trying to I'm trying to be nice about this. If you could just stop winking your butthole at the security camera, that's all I ask. All right. Well, it's if that's weird. what you're saying, we're doing okay. It will stop, but I've okay. got cars to do. So if that, exactly. this is a true matter, I will take it up with my district manager and find out why. But I'm just letting you know that that doesn't happen here. I just I don't so. want to even talk to you. Just like it's an embarrassing thing to to bring up. I, I feel uncomfortable with this phone call. I'm sure you do because, like I said, I have zero, absolutely zero cameras in my store. There is zero cameras in my whole district market. I know uh, that you, for a fact because I've been not, at more than one store look, in our whole district you market. You don't so. know shit, okay? Like, they're up there. You just can't see them. Like, why would we put them where you could see them? Why would you hide them? Why would there be no wires? Why would there be nothing there? All I got it's, is doors it's and It's 2017. Heaters, so. Like, you know, they, they make cameras pretty small these days. Well, then... All right, well, then you can take it up with my district manager. Like I said, I have no time for this, well, so you have a good one. Now that you know that there's... <laughs> okay. Hey, this Christina. May I help you? Hey, Christina. Uh, this is Sensei Doug from the uh, martial arts place that's kind of next yeah. to you guys. Yeah. And um, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? That's, that's good. I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Hey, um, like every time I walk by there, you guys are always just looking at me. And you know, <laughs> whoa! No, I, I'm I'm serious. Like it, it just. It, Are you it, it, serious? It, Is it like a bad thing? Well, it's like it's just the way you're looking at me. Like you're all giving me snake eyes and like staring me down. It's like you don't like you don't like martial oh, arts. No. Or are you, oh, or you, no. you hate Jesus? Don't think that way. No. But, and then, and then, are you there now? Yeah, I'm. I'm in there here right well, now. Come but, on in and introduce yourself. Well, come on in. Here. No, no, I don't like. I'm. I feel uncomfortable at this point because, like, I like you know, this morning, like, I saw what you guys were doing, and that was just not nice at all. What did we do? Oh Lord. Okay, hold like, on a second. Like one of you was. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Are you in there? Yeah, I am. Are it's you just, in there? Can but, I? But like I, I like. Oh. No, because I mean, if I'm, lo I mean, I, I, I don't even know what you look like. <laughs> so. Well, I'm are you are you the one that are you the one that was winking your butthole at me this morning? Because that just was not no. cool at all. No, 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 no. I own the company, so I definitely wouldn't have done that. Well, winking you. Are you sure you you talking to? You, this next door? Yeah, like what? What's like? What's all that noise? Or, or like what happened to the phone connection? Hey, how you doing? No, I came outside because I was just trying to. I don't know. I like I said, I have no idea what you look like. No, so I'm the one. I wouldn't have been giving you fake eyes or anything. I mean, I may look at people as they walk by or whatever the case may be. But yeah, and that's all right. No but but like that. you guys just like kind of stand there all together and and just like look like you know really hard at me and try and make me feel uncomfortable. And then the whole butthole winking thing that that's just disgusting. What's like the butthole winking. Like like you what guys. What is that? Like, are you sure you call in the right area? Yeah, <laughs> like, definitely. This is no, it's, no, I'm so, okay, I, I, I wouldn't no. joke. We're a Christian place. We don't joke. Okay, hold What's on it? a second. Okay, what are you doing? We got someone on the phone that says that we're giving them the snake eye and gave a butthole wink at them, and we're giving mean looks and stuff like that and staring at them, staring them down, and he's very uncomfortable, and so he's calling, and I have no idea who it is. Sensei Doug. He said he works at the Arts. Sensei Doug. He's right next door. Cynthia Doug's. Cynthia Doug's is what he said his name is. And he says we give him mean looks and snake eyes and... Butthole winks. And butthole winks, which I don't even know what that is. What's a butthole wink? I think we should Google that. <laughs> I have no idea. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be funny, but yeah, we're like... I well, someone, don't know, and so I asked him to come over so he can introduce himself, but he said he feels uncomfortable. Well, so someone, someone there knows what a butthole wink is, because like, they were doing butthole winks out the window at me like as I walked by. What's a butt wink? Yeah, okay, we're Googling this. Okay, what is that? When your brown eye, also known as a, huh? Which causes a, what is that? I, I have no idea even how to do that. 
No, we're not going with the rest of it. No, because we don't, I mean, we're fully dressed. So, I mean, I, I have yeah, no but, idea what that is. Yeah, like, like you're just pulling your pants down and doing it or something. It's disgusting. Like, uh, you shouldn't do that. Because to, we're pulling our pants down and do, oh, no, you know what? You're trying to be funny. Because I know I have not pulled my pants down to anybody. Well, maybe, like you say, no you're the owner. Her pants down. Maybe when you're, like, in the bathroom or, or just away from the office, they do it just to intimidate me. Okay, wait a minute. Are you... Be- is this is this my brother-in-law? Is this Ben? Are no, you trying to be funny? No, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm a Christian. I would never joke. This is sen- <laughs> sen- sen- Sensei Doug from just... Okay, next are you door. able to come next door? Because I, I don't even know what a butt wink is. And you're saying that if people are pulling their pants down, that's very unprofessional. You just looked- So we definitely would not do that. I mean... <laughs> well, maybe you wouldn't, And I'm but laughing ma- because this is, this, is, this is kind of making my day in a way, and I apologize because... I know I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have given anyone stink eyes and all this stuff. And snake definitely a snake eye and the butthole winks. And he says we stand as a group and we just kind of like stare him down. Can, can you just like... Tr- well, you know what? There's only two. There's two constituted groups. <laughs> she said there's only two of us. Which, I mean, Will comes in here sometimes, but we're like, we're like older people, like over 40. I know. So like, I mean, well, You should act your age then. He said I should act my age then. <laughs> All right, well, sir, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but if you're not comfortable with coming, I mean, if you're not comfortable with coming next door so that we can introduce ourselves to you, I mean, like I said, I know I haven't given anybody an evil eye, and I sure in the world has not given the butthole wink. Like, did you? I mean, did I would you, think that is called mooning. Like, if you pull your pants down and show your butt, that's mooning. Oh yeah, mooning. Like, like, uh, like mooning. That's not even that bad. But like, if you're winking your butthole at me, it's not even that bad. Well, how do you wink your butthole? I don't know. Like, I, it's not nothing I would do. He said he don't know. It's nothing. Well, how would you know it's a butthole wink if you don't know how to do it? Could you could you search for bukaki? Like, if you have Google up. He said search for Dukaki. Yeah, it's B like boy, U. Oh, bu- Bukaki. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, Hold on a second. Okay. And then cl- <laughs> She says that's the one running for office. <laughs> and then click on Im- images. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. She's going to Google it. Hold on a second. Oh, my goodness. B-U-K-K-A-K-E. Okay, wait. No, no, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. He said B-U-K-K. What? A-K-E. It's like a A-K-E. karate thing. B U K K A K E. Okay. Yep, and then click on images. And click on images. Oh, <gasps> that's gross. Cool. But we're not men. Okay. B U K K A K E. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I don't. I don't even think I want to click on images. Oh, no, pl- please just click on images, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. So you're, but you would have to be a man to do that. So we're not even. I know. I know. I know. I'm not saying you guys are doing that. I'm just saying. He said we're not. He said. He said we're not doing that. I, I just wanted. No. I thought it'd be funny to make, make you Google something really disgusting. Yeah, that was kind of gross. Yep. Um, you're welcome. How did you know that? How did you know that word? Because, um, you know, I'm from the Internet. He says he's from the Internet. So he just goes into the Urban Dictionary and have a time with that? What's she saying? So you, she asked, do you go to the Urban Dictionary and just, I guess, find words? No, it's just, it's, it's it's just like an urban word. Yeah, well, no, it's common knowledge. He said it's common knowledge. Oh, geez. Well, I guess I'm old as hell. Old as hell. Yeah, because I did not know that one. And I sure didn't know butt wink. <laughs> I might have to ask. My child, that when I get home, hey, have you heard that? What? Is it? Yeah, please, <laughs> please ask your child that. He said, "What?" Yeah, hey. well, because she's a teenager. You know, teenagers. They, yeah, they yeah. Just, just ask stuff. your teenager they what bukkake is, and they, they'll, un- they'll oh, totally. They yep, yep. She said, "He said, yep, they'll know. They'll know what that is." Yep. Well, anyway, yeah. like if you guys guys could just stop looking at me and butthole winking, I'd. Well, really I don't know. Well, I don't know. Who what you look at, and I do look at people as they walk by because With your I don't know who it is. Mm-hmm. I, no, I don't. I mean, to be honest, it's a safety issue. I do look at people as they walk by, but not in a mean way or anything. But I am aware of my surroundings. Well, if it's like a so, safety thing, then you should want me to be on your side because I I know karate and kung fu and 
Christian martial arts. And I'm arts. glad you're on my side, and I hope that if something happens to me and I do a good yell, you'll come and help me. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, but like, but, not if you're going to make me feel uncomfortable by looking at me and give me snake eyes. But you won't even. But you know what? You won't even come next door to, inch to for me to see you. Well, and then I went next door, and I can't even see you inside the building. It's like all dark in there. And well, stuff. see, that, that's, that's weird. Scary. Like you're coming up to the building and looking inside with your snake eyes now, he like said, peering in. Oh, he said that I am. Wait. Like what next? Are you going to start butthole winking at my window? Building. Looking into the window with my snake eyes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, whenever you have time or whenever you're comfortable, I mean, you can come over and we're really nice people. We okay. don't give snake eyes and we don't do butt winks and we certainly don't do the bukake. No, no, I wasn't accusing you of that. I just, I, you were oh. Googling things and I but wanted to give you something. You of the butt wink and I don't moon people. Yeah, well, it's not mooning. It's more like butthole winking. But I don't even know what that is. <sighs> well, it's on Google. Just like hit, hit the images. Oh, well, we did. Yeah, oh, but... no. Oh, God. He wanted butt winking. Butthole winking. Butt... Butthole winking. <laughs> Holy crap. You'll, you'll Google anything, no, won't not... you? No, I. Oh, Lord. All right, Graciela, you want to look up images for butthole winking? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just curious. I'm learning some new stuff today. I'm feeling, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you got. You guys just need to spend more time on the internet and, and less time looking at the out the window and giving me snake eyes. He said we need to spend more time on the internet and less time on the inter on looking out the window giving him snake eyes. Okay, look, I I'm tired of listening to you repeat me about everything, so I'm just going to get going. You're, it's starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Okay. It's like bringing back the memories of your butthole winking at me. Okay. All right. Well, have a good day. Okay, thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. That lady, she was great. She's going to go home and talk to her teenage daughter about butthole winking. I'm going to guess that's probably not the most uncomfortable conversation they've ever had together because holy crap, that sounds like a high-maintenance mom there. Don't go making phony calls. Hi, Matthew? Yeah, who's this? This is uh, Doug from the gym. Okay. What are we going to do for you? Uh, I was just wondering, um, you know, I work up here at the counter and everything, and like every time you come in, you're just looking at me. And Can you just stop it? Stop looking at me like that. Excuse me? I, I just, when you check in, and you know, you're just looking at me. It's giving me snake eyes or Who something. I just want you to stop it. Stop looking at me like that. Who are you? This is Doug. I work at the counter. No idea who you are, dude. Well, uh, you, I, I know, because you never talk to me. You just look at me. You just give me that look. Okay, so what's the problem, man? The, my problem is the way you're looking at me. Can you just stop looking at me? Can you, cut, you work there? cut it the fuck do, out? Do you work there? Yeah, I work here. You and work I, there? Yes, and I want you to stop looking at me when you check in. And you work there? Yeah, how many times have I told you now? I work here at the gym. Why don't I come down there right now? Let's no, no, no. I want you to stop looking at me when you come in. I don't look at you, motherfucker. Yeah, you do. You look at me every time you check in. I don't even know who the fuck you are. This is Doug at the gym. Motherfucker, I don't know who the fuck you are. Oh, don't curse at me. Don't curse at me. Look, I'll do what the fuck I want. No, not in our gym. This is, this is our gym. Listen, next time I come in, make it make it apparent that who you are so we can talk it out. How's that? You know who I am because every time I come in, every time you no come in, you're looking at me. Who you, are. you know exactly you're a white who I am. Guy, a fucking, oh, so, oh, so, now, so now, you're, now you're racist? Now you're going to be a racist? I said, is that why so you're are you white, black, Mexican? Is that why you're looking at me? Because you're a racist? Dude, I'm asking you a question. What are you? I don't know. I'm trying to place you, dude. Oh, is that, is that all you? Is that all you know? People by is their race. You fucking racist. Yeah, that's it, motherfucker. Can you believe it? Can you believe that guy? Like he's just looking at me, and and I guess it was just because he's obsessed with race. Maybe he's mad at me because I'm the wrong race. That must be it. I don't know what else his problem could be. Just keeps looking at me. So that's what today's show is going to be. I'm going to play a few calls here that I made to various customers over the years. And I guess we'll just get started with this one guy that went into the bathroom and, oh my god, he, uh, fucking disgusting. Just just listen to this. Hello? Hey, Larry. Yes? Hey, it's, it's, it's Brad from the gym. Yes. And you were in here earlier and you used the bathroom? 
I did? Yeah. Um, you know the urinals are not for pooping, right? I didn't do that. Oh, no, it, it definitely was you. You're, you were the only one in there since I cleaned them up earlier. I don't know what you're talking about, but I didn't do that. You don't know what I'm I talking went about. In, well, I I'm, didn't do that. But but you can't poop in the urinal. Like, the urinals aren't for pooping. I did not what? poop in the urinal. Who said that I did that? No, well, no, I, I saw that you went in there, and you were the only one in there, and, and then there was poop in you the urinal. You saw me go into the restroom with the stall. I did not go into your and poop in your that's ludicrous. You know, I'm I'm not supposed to say this really, but we have cameras in the bathroom, so we saw you poop in the urinal. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be in there tomorrow, and I'm going to be in there with a lawyer, and let's go ahead and review that that thing because that's bullshit. Okay. What's your name again, please? You're going to find a lawyer on Saturday because that's that's a little weird. <laughs> you really don't know who I am, but you're going to find out. Oh, the you're, so rain's going to start. You're like a really important person. You've got a camera that saw me at what time do that today? Uh, earlier today. I don't know the time. I'll have to go back. It's in the office. I have to go look at the timestamps. But it was definitely you. You pooped, and you were the only one in the bathroom. Because I, I clean it up after each person goes in there. To, I'm going to be down there. I'm going to be down there here in the little... Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here right I now. I want to see your film. I want to see your film. Okay, it's not a film. Uh, you know, this is the 21st century. But we, we do have... Um, we, we're, we're very modern. We have VCRs. And, then and, it's on a VCR digital recorder, is that correct? Yeah, it's magnetic tape. It's not a film. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is uh, Kevin. And you saw me do this at what time? Oh, uh, who knows? I mean, it was earlier, when you were in here earlier, like a few hours ago. It's it's all written down. It's not, it's time-stamped. We have like a video... It's time-stamped, but I have no idea what you're talking about, what you think happened. I did not do that. Are you going to bring your lawyer tonight? I mean, like, because you're so important, you can get a lawyer on Friday it's, night, it's, too? Your, give me your phone number, young man. All right, it's 636-21. Make sure you write and with pencil. Do you got a supervisor on duty with you? Oh, no, he's not here right now. He just works in the daytime. I'm in charge what at What time did this happen, Kevin? Oh, don't talk to me in that tone of voice. I'll, I'll get my lawyer, lawyer over here, and, and he'll sue you for talking down to me. Because you don't know who I am. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm a really important... Pr okay, he's gone. Hello? Hello, Soria? Yeah? Hey, this is Kevin from the, the gym. Uh-huh. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, like, uh, our, we have a new manager here. The gym's under new management. Um, the uh -huh. man The manager's name, I don't know if you've heard of him. His name's Frank Patterson. Mm-hmm. And Oh, okay, you've heard of him. Yeah, he's the author of the book, uh, How to Lose Weight, The Patterson Way. And okay. uh, he's just he's let, making us call everyone and let them know that we're going to be charging you for a copy of the book, and you'll get you'll get your book when you come in next time. You'll, you'll get it. It's a hard copy. It's twenty nine ninety five. Oh, no, I'm not interested. And, oh, oh no, he's no. making it mandatory. Like everyone that's a member here has to have a copy of the book. Well, I I don't want a copy of the book. I don't want to pay that price. You can give me the book, but not, I'm not going to pay for it. Oh no, you have to pay for it. It's in your gym contract. He he's redone the contract so you have to buy a copy of the book and we'll just charge it to your account well, who said that um, oh that's right make me buy something i don't want to well it no it, it works with your membership because it shows you how to work out better and, and how to lose weight and stuff no i don't need that book i don't need that book well, let me talk to to your manager because i'm i'm not being forced to buy something i don't want oh, he's not here today he's at church Frank okay. Frank what Patterson Frank Patterson okay. he's a very religious okay. man but if you look him up on Amazon you'll see the book has really good reviews Yeah I know I and, I believe you but I'm not interested in buying or spending that kind it, of money right it's, now It's it's such a good book and and it's completely worth it but I mean No I know I understand but I'm not I'm not in that position to buy a book yeah. right now Well there's really no reason okay. to argue I mean you have to cuz it's mandatory you have to buy a copy oh. No, I can't. I can't. I can't, I don't receive that. So Wait. I'll complain and talk to somebody above you, so I but, can. Oh, above me. Part. Okay. No, look. Yeah. I, I've already charged your account, so you've already paid for it. Yeah. So it's okay. I'll, no, I'll just... I'm not gonna pay. For, what is your name? Uh, my name is what Roy. Is your name? My name's Roy. Roy what? Jerbel. A Jerbel. Uh huh. But I'm not going to pay. Like I said, that book. Oh. So who is your manager? Oh, my manager, he's the famous author, Frank Patterson, the author of How to Lose okay, Weight well, the Patterson Way. 
Okay, well, I will talk to him tomorrow, and do not charge me for something I didn't request. Well, no, it's it's in your so, contract, and we've already charged you. I don't see. Like, if you, no, look, if you look on your... No, ca- I'll let you talk to my husband. Okay. Let you talk to my husband. Oh, that sounds great. Hello? Hello, this is Roy from the gym. Okay. Now, you're saying that you're going to take, uh, that you have already taken money from my wife's our account? Yeah, yeah, we've already took, what you're saying? We've, we've already taken it. It's been charged. And the next time she comes in, we're going to give her a copy of the book. It's by our oh, new Oh, well, no. Well, we're going to have to decline that. We're going to have to go and call our bank up and tell them to decline that that money order or that or that charge. Oh, there's because no, there's because no, we didn't there was nothing in our contract that said that we had a mandatory. And what gives you the right to go into our account? And pull that money out. You have no right. Don't you know that you can get sued for that? No, oh, we cannot. No, Frank Patterson, he's the new manager, and he redid the contracts. It says he can charge for his book. It's mandatory. And and that no, way it'll help I'm her. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. No, my wife has no problem losing weight, buddy. Then why is she in the gym? Because oh, she's staying fit. That's why. Okay, well, this and is... She looks very fit. Okay. She looks very good. So she doesn't need a book. Uh, I don't know about that. To... to yeah, but, no, don't tell me. But no, the book it has stuff about staying fit. Also, he just he wrote how to lose weight in the title because that just sells better, you know. I don't care. We don't want it. We didn't sign for it. It's a best and and, selling book in its category. I don't care. Amazon. I don't care. I don't care. We we didn't Look, sign up for that. It has, you have no right going into our account. And taking money out of our account. Well, once you you read, can get in big trouble for that. Once you read I the book, I can tell you that right now. Once you read the book, you'll we change your mind. We don't want to read the book. Has, and we don't want the book. How many times do I have to tell you this? It has four stars though on on Amazon. I it's, don't care if it's got four stars on Amazon. So it's a good. It book. can have ten and a half stars. Oh no, it can't because it only goes up to five stars. You must not be a, I a reader. Care. You, I don't you, care. I don't care. Well, you did lot. the wrong thing. I need to know your name. Uh, my name is still Roy. It hasn't changed in the last two minutes. What is it? Roy. R O Y. It's not a hard name to remember. What's the la- What's the last name? Zerbel. But look, it's already been charged. There's no reason to argue. It's in the contract. Oh no, we're gonna stop that payment. Trust me. Well, no, it's it's already no gone right. through. We don't, want, we don't. We don't like anybody going in our our account. Well, we have you right can ask to. any 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 American. You, you can ask any American. You have no right to go into our bank account and pull money out without asking our permission. How dare you? But we have your permission. It's in the contract. No, you do not have your... You, no, you do not have our permission. Oh, we I'm telling you, you do not have our permission. No, you, do you understand? You just need to read the new contract, sir. No, I'm sorry, man. You, you guys blew it. Big time. What are you, you talking about? You guys blew about? it big time. I didn't blow you shit. You guys blew it big time, and I'm going on Yelp, and I'm going to let everybody know exactly what you oh, guys, nobody what reads you idiots those. did. Nobody reads Oh, yeah, those I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop what your, oh, your stupid you're, uh, robbing of our finances. You're so dumb. Who Come do on. you think you are? Kiss you, what? You can't do it. What did you say to me? Uh, you're being what kinda, did you say to me? I'm trying to tell you. You're dumb. You're what being, did you say to me? You're, I told you twice now. You're really dumb. You're being dumb. Stop being so dumb. Oh wow, dude! You got a lot of nerve, bro. Well, you're the you one. You got a lot of nerve, man. Throwing a tantrum. I, you got a lot of nerve. You really do. How dare you? Okay. I'm trying to tell you. How dare you? I don't see where your problem is. Take money from my account. We have permission. It's and in the contract. No, you do not have permission. You do not have our permission. The contract you do not have do. a permission. You didn't read the contract all the way through is the problem. No. You're you know what, dude? You Look. How do you spell your last name? Look, the reason I'm calling is because I want to know if you want to buy a second Spell your last name. A, do you want to buy a second copy for like a family member? Spell your last name. Or a friend maybe? Spell your last name. G E R B I L. I don't know why you're being such a jerk about it. I mean, nobody else is acting like this. You need to take a chill pill. That's what you need. You know what? Give me your give me your fucking account number, idiot, and let me go and pull out some money out of your account well, you and see how you feel. You don't. You, I didn't sign a how contract. How would you feel if I did that to you? Well, that'd be huh? that'd be illegal. How but, would you feel if I went into your your bank account and pulled out money without your permission? That'd be illegal. How dare you talk to me like that, you fucking asshole? I didn't sign you a want contract. Your ass kicked. 
Oh, we didn't oh. sign no contract for you to pull money out no, of our account. Maybe you're, you don't know about We didn't do that. And quit talking to me like that before I go over there and do something about it, you idiot. Like what? What did I say? What is your problem, Roy, the, the retarded boy? Who do you Ouch. think you are pulling out money out of our account? You just crossed the line, Don't you man. think we could stop that, idiot? Come on. Don't you think we could stop that? You're, huh? You're hurting me. Stop, please. Fuck it. Hello. Hi, is this Thomas? Yes. Hey, I'm calling from the gym. Uh huh. And uh, you were in here the other day, right? Uh, yeah, like two days ago. Okay. Yeah, I was just I was reviewing the security cameras when you were in here, and it's like I don't know. You're just you're you're staring at girls' asses constantly, and it makes them really uncomfortable. And you just need to cut it out. Just cut that out. Excuse me. Just just on. It seems like every time you're in here, you're just staring at asses. It's like all you. It's like the reason you come in here is just to stare at asses. Sir, I'm coming to the gym with my girlfriend. Well, that makes it even worse. If you if you have a girlfriend, you shouldn't be staring at asses. I'm not staring at nobody. Do Do you guys have an like an open relationship where you're allowed to just stare at asses? Because she doesn't stare at asses. I mean, the way no, you, this is ridiculous. I, I'm coming to the gym to exercise and to exercise and stare at asses. No. Well, that's what you do. That's all you do. You just stare at asses. You just come in and just, like, you're practically drooling there while you pretend you work out. You're just drooling while you stare at asses. I'm not staring at nobody. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm, it's on the camera right here. It's so obvious. You're just you're just locked in on asses constantly. Could you, could you tell me what, when I did that and what I did, actually? Every single time you're in here. All the time. You're just staring at asses. Can't you just stare at your girlfriend's ass since she's in there with you? Doesn't she Doesn't she notice when you do that? Listen, I didn't even notice that. You didn't notice that you're staring at asses? I'm just doing my exercises. I'm not, do, I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, I'm you, not staring at nobody. You're staring at asses. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm, I just want to change the thing. Fuck it. What? Oh, don't curse at me. Not, don't curse at me. I'll sh- I didn't curse at you. You, you just you, sh- you just said F it. I said fuck it. I, ju- I just going <gasps> to change the gym. No, 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 no. Listen, we, we don't want to lose your business. Come on. No, don't do that. Just, just stop staring at asses. I'm not staring at nobody. You're a meat gazer. It's you know what? Just leave me alone. Bye. Hey, no, no. Don't, don't cancel. Wait. We'll, we'll offer you t- 10% off. But you have to stop staring at asses. Listen, I don't care about your ten percent. Okay, fifteen percent. For me, it doesn't matter. I I can go to any other gym cheaper than this one. I just want this one. It's more expensive, but I got pool and everything over there. Well, none of them are gonna let you stare at asses like that. I'm not staring like, at nobody. We, we we put up with it, but <laughs> you know, not everyone's gonna put up with it. Okay, I'll pay you to come to our gym. I'll pay I'll pay you five dollars per visit. Listen, I don't need your money. I can afford your gym. If you have, a, if you have a girlfriend, why are you staring at men's asses? I'm not staring at nobody. No, you're staring at men's asses. You only stare at no. men. Just, just come on, stop staring at men's asses. Just cut it out. Listen, listen. If this is a joke, it's a good one, but uh, joke. We don't joke here. Yeah. yeah, for me, it's a joke. No, I, I have better things to do than than joke all day. I, I'm, I'm working. No, you're welcome to come back. Just don't stare at men's asses constantly. Uh, can, can I have your first and last name? Roy Zerbel. Roy Zerbel? Yep. Uh, can we talk? Probably I'm going to be there today. Can oh, we talk about that? I'm here all day. I'm here till 9 o'clock tonight. Okay. And and if you come in, make sure you try not to stare at my ass as you walk in the door. Please. Hello? I I never did that. Oh, every time you come in, I just I feel like a piece of meat. I I just I get really uncomfortable. I bet. Anyway, I just don't go to any for all this bullshit. I bet you don't even know what I look like because you've never looked at my face. You just look at my ass. You know what? I just don't hang out because hang out because this conversation doesn't make any sense for me. Okay. Well, when you come in, I'll be the guy wearing. Uh, I'm wearing uh, jeans, like regular fitting <laughs> jeans. That's how you'll be able to tell it's me. I'm the one in jeans. I don't care what you're wearing. 
Okay, well, that, that's the best way for you to identify me. It's, I'm wearing blue yeah, jeans. Yeah, and, and anyway, I'm not saying anything because this is bullshit. No, I don't, never have don't, any, no, anything like that. No, we don't want to lose your business. Come on, don't don't change gyms. So, if you don't want to lose the business, why are you trying to tell me I'm studying a man's asses? Well, you keep You're out of your mind. Well, you that's that's because what you that's what you do. You gotta, no, I don't. Cut it out. Just concentrate on your workout. That's what I'm doing. Okay, good. Good then. We have an understanding. I'll see you when you get here. See you. I'll be the one in jeans. Hello, Gabriella? No. Oh, is she available? No, she's not. Who is this? Uh, this is Dave from the gym. Oh, okay. Could I help you with something? I'm her mom. Oh, okay. No, um, I just needed to let let her know that we're going to be charging an extra twenty nine ninety five to her bill. Why? Uh, it's just for a book. It's a book she'll receive next time she comes in. It's called How to Lose what Weight. Book? It's called How to Lose Weight the Patterson Way, and it's a book on weight loss Hold- and working out and stuff. I I don't think she ordered a book. Well, no, it just comes with she- the membership for free. You just said it was an additional twenty nine ninety nine. Well, that's just a, a membership fee. You know that that doesn't have exactly anything to do with the book. I don't know. The manager did it all fancy like, so it's it's all legal. It's all on the up and up. But, okay, but it's not an additional fee to the twenty nine ninety nine I'm paying per month. It's going to be an additional twenty nine ninety five. It's like you're going to be charged twice this month. No, I do not want that. Well, no, it's not a choice. It's it's just for the book. We didn't and, order the book. I know, but... And nobody it, told me about this when we signed up. Everyone gets a copy of the book. Okay, could I talk to the manager, please? Well, he's not here right now. He's at a book signing. He He's actually the author well, of the book. His name is Frank Patterson. I know, but the thing is, we didn't order a book. And when I signed up for this gym membership, nobody told me anything about this. And I don't want a book for $30. I could find it on Amazon for 10 no, no, it's not. It's actually, it's on. It's a brand new book, and he's selling I'm it on. I'm telling him. you, I don't want the book. And if I see a charge on my bill, I will sign us out of this gym membership. Well, I've already and we put the no charge longer. through. And listen, you don't need uh, to get all snippy to, with me. I'm sorry, what? I want. Who's your manager's name? His name's Frank Patterson. He's a famous author, and you can't find that okay, book who for. T- else, who, you, who you, else hey, is hey, there shut up! You? Shut up! Shut up! No, listen, you can't find that book on Amazon Stop for ten. You. Why? Why are you saying my my sales skills just suck? Apparently, I'm doing something wrong. Hello. Hi, is Tucker Mike there? Just a minute. Okay. Oh. Hi, Tucker Mike. Yeah. Hey, it's Roy from the gym. You were in here earlier today. Yeah. And um, there's a small problem. You were you were um. You were on the machine, right? Where you were running? No, I went on the machine. Who is this? I already told you. My name's Roy from the gym. How'd you get this number? I work at the gym. It's in the computer. You gave it to us. Why are you Why are you getting all pissed off at me? What do you want? I, I need to talk to you about what you did when you were in here. It's It's kind of awkward thing to talk about. But you know you can't start, start talking. You can't do that kind of thing in here. That's disgusting. There's other there's kids in here. There's other people the in here. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about what you did when you were in here. It's gross. Don't hey, don't be calling this fucking phone no more. If you hang up, I'm calling right back. Go ahead, see what happens. Watch me call right back. Who the fuck are you? I I already told you. It's Roy from the gym. Bullshit. Why are you saying bullshit? Roy, what's your last name, Roy? It's your bell. Who's your boss? Why, why are you getting mad at me? You're the one that's being disgusting on our, what on the our fuck premises. What are you calling my house at fucking 10 o'clock? Why are you being... I'm not even on the fucking treadmill. I didn't say you were on the treadmill. But you're being disgusting when you're here. You, you don't... I mean, you need to act civilized. What are you talking about, you dude? Know, you know what I'm talking about. That was disgusting. And, and there were kids right in the next room and other people around... And come on, think of other people. Think of someone besides yourself. Hey, I'm going to tell you something, Roy Jorabello. I'll have your fucking job there, bud. Oh, you're not qualified to work here. H- how about I just cancel your account? Hey, that'd be fucking fine. Okay, here goes. I'm typing in the sequence of 
characters that I have to cancel your account. Don't be fucking calling me back no more. Canceled. Canceled. Don't come back. Keep your perverted fetishes somewhere else. Hello? Hello, Christopher? Yes. Hi, this is uh, Roy from the gym. Uh Uh-huh. And um, I just needed to... uh, Our manager, we have a new manager here. He's having us call everyone up and just let you know. um, Like, he's the author of a book. It's called How to Lose Weight the Patterson Way. His name's Frank Patterson. And uh, we're, we're, it's a mandatory thing. Everyone has to buy a copy of the book, like all the members. So we're going to be charging that to your account today. What? It, it's, a, it's a book. It's going to help you work out better and lose weight and stuff. And it's the, a joke, right? Oh, no. And the next time you come in, we'll give you a copy of the book. It's a hard copy, and it'll be signed by the author, Frank Patterson, who is our manager here. So you're charging me for a book whether I want it or not? Yeah, well, it's in your contract. It, it's just part of the j- membership, basically. What are you talking about? It, it's a part of the membership fee, basically. It's it's a book. It's a hard copy book, and uh, it'll help what you... What membership fee are you talking about? I've been on a month-to-month for the last seven years. I know, that's what I'm saying. What, this what, is... what contract are you talking about to where there's a book in the contract? Well, no, the contract says we can charge extra fees as we see fit. Are you and, shitting me? And, oh, no, not at all. Um, but, yeah, he's he's been our manager here for about a week and a half now. I could care less if he's the president of the United States. I don't want a book, and I'm not going to be charged for it. Oh, no, you've already been charged. You'll probably see it on your bank account. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a problem with that. I'm going to tell you right now. This isn't going to fly, bro. Well, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, everyone, no one else you has had a problem. That, that, you're, that you're giving me a book that I don't want and you're charging me for? Well, no, you'll want the book. It's a really good book, and it'll show no, you how I to work out. the book. No, it's you haven't even seen the book yet, so I don't know how. I don't can, care. I don't need to see the book. If I wanted the book, I'd buy the book. The book, okay. You should look it up on Amazon at least. It's called How to Lose Weight. I the don't Patterson care Way. about the book. It has. I don't need his knowledge. Okay, I've got plenty of my own knowledge. N- you can never have too much knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Listen. The fact of the matter is, I'm not buying the book. Period. Well, n- you've already bought it. And it's in you your decide, contract. If you decide to add it to my account, I will cancel my account immediately. N- not after seven years. Come on. Yeah, I will you, after seven years. Over this BS, you're, you're be- damn right I will. You're being ridiculous. There's 20 other gyms for me to work out at. There's no way in hell I'm allowing you to charge me for a book that I did not want, I did not ask for. You'll change your mind There's once no, you see the book. and he's No, the, I'm not going to change my mind about anything. He's going to sign it to you personally. You, I see a charge on my account. I am walking in that very same fucking day, and I'm ch- canceling my account. There's no he, way in hell this is going to happen. He's going to sign it to you personally. It's going to say, Christopher, shit. keep on treadmilling. Your author, Frank Patterson. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Yes. Hey, it's Alex at the gym. Hey. Hey, what's up, Alex? Oh, nothing much. I just needed to let you know there was going to be an extra twenty nine ninety five charge on your bill this month from us. Why is that? Uh, it's for the book. Uh, the The manager here, Frank Patterson, he wrote a book called How to Lose Weight the Frank Patterson Way. And the next time you come in, they'll give you a copy of the book. What if I don't want the book? Uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's just a part of the program. It's part of your membership. Yeah, but the part of the membership is not something unsolicited. I don't need the book. I've lost 100 pounds. I don't need the book. Oh, well, I mean, you could always stand to lose a little bit more, really. Pardon me? You could always stand to lose a little bit more. And and this book is really good. It, it'll show you how to lose weight and how to eat right and stuff. Do you have any idea it's, who I am? No. Okay, I'm a certified spin instructor. I don't need somebody else's book to tell me I can stand to lose a little bit more. I'm probably borderline laws losing too much medically. Mm-hmm. I'm well, 55 years old. I don't think I need a book to tell me that I need to lose more weight. Well, I mean, you said you lost 100 pounds, so apparently you did at some point. So this will help you keep it off, I think. I've kept it off for over a year. Okay, well, this is written but, by the, but, ma- but, the the manager of, of this location. He wrote it himself, and it's uh, the manager. The Frank. manager, I thought, was, thought the manager was Edgar. No, the owner, though. And it's being forced upon all members with a charge, whether they want it or not. That's correct, but it's a really good book. I mean, it's worth it. It's pretty. It's a valuable <laughs> part of the membership. This is this is not a sales. This is not a sales call. You're asking me to pay for something that I don't want. No, I didn't say it was actually, a sales call. Actually, I'm just actually, 
I'm just letting you know. I, I know, but you're, you're, you're promoting the book, of which I have no interest. I don't care if Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and God wrote it. If you're telling me I have no choice as a, as, as a member but to buy a product and be charged for it, then I need to start looking at other gyms. Well, you haven't even looked at the book. I mean, you should at least it, flip you're, through you're it. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. I'm, I, I'm an intelligent man. I have several college degrees, and I know how to go out and buy things that I want. Well, if you're so intelligent, how'd you get how'd you get a hundred pounds overweight? What's your name? My name's Alex. And your position there? I, I just work here at the front desk in the mornings. Okay. Well, you're you're, you're stepping on ground that is way out of your depth, young man. Okay. Way out of your depth. In a free uh, in a free de- democratic society, you don't tell people you're taking this. And you're paying for it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not you into politics people. or anything. I just know this is a really valuable no, no, you're book. Telling people, what, I, I don't care if it's valuable or not. To call me and tell me I have to have, and I'm, and, I, and, I, and I'm required to pay for it as a membership, it's not in my membership contract to buy you paraphernalia. I don't think you read the whole contract, because it says... So can, you're saying it's in there? It probably. I mean, we wouldn't do this otherwise. Okay, let me go ahead and pass this along to my family attorney. Let him take a look at my contract, which I have a copy of, and that will determine whether or not he needs to contact your company attorney. Okay, well, we have more powerful attorneys than you do. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I think so. We're a multi-billion dollar company. Uh, yeah, and I and I own a corporation as well. Uh, you're, now you're threatening me by legal lo- by legal definition. It's not as big as our corporation. You have more, pardon me. What, what's your corporation? It's not as big as ours. I think you need to put Edgar on the phone, please. Uh, he's not available right now. He's yeah, he's just not here. Okay, I'll call his cell phone. I have his number in my wallet. Oh, that's weird. Why do you have that? Uh, <laughs> none of your business, Sonny. Yes, Sonny. Are you guys? That's none of your business. You guys hooking up? Or something? Certainly none of your concern. Well, that's just Absolutely weird. Why would you have it in your wallet? I mean, what? That's... You work the front counter for whatever you make, and you mind your own business. And thank you for Are the you making fun of my call. income just because I'm not as successful as you and I don't own a corporation? Yep, stuff like that. That's what I had to deal with every day working at the gym. Stupid-ass customers with no common sense at all. In this episode, we're going to do exactly what we did in the last episode. We're going to accuse people of writing on my car windows and see how they deal with that. It's going to be great fun. If you're a listener of the Snowplow Show over at phonelosers.com, you've already heard these. So lucky you, you get to hear them again, just like in the last episode. We're going to get started with this guy named Randy. He thinks it's okay to record my phone calls, even though I tell him it's not allowed. Fucking Randy. Yes? Hey, Randy. Hi. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live here on... Yes. And, um, hey, I was wondering, like, I I noticed you keep writing uh, things on my car window in the snow. Can you please not do that anymore? I did what now? Writing, you know, you're writing, like, Satan rules and stuff on my windshield, on my car. On the windshield? Yeah. Who is? You are. Can you please not do that anymore? I'm not doing it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Can you not do it anymore? i never done it. You didn't write Satan rules in my window? No. And, no. Then, and, and then like 666 on the back window? Oh, no. No, I don't, I don't do crap like that. I'm, I'm, I'm in Ann Arbor. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I'm, just, I'm just asking, can you please not do it anymore? No, i never done it. Well, look, you don't have to deny it. It's not a big deal. I'm just, it just smudges the windows, and I was hoping you could stop. You know, I don't, kinda, kinda, I don't do bullshit like that, but you, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. in Ann Arbor, and I, I and I haven't been home in order to do anything like that, and I wouldn't do it. Well, it was early this morning, you know, like when I was I got up to leave for work, and it was on the window, and I'm sure it's you. Like that's totally the kind of thing you would do normally. Uh, excuse you, I, I spent last two nights in Canada, so I haven't been back. Oh, a likely just, story. Uh, well, please take a picture or whatever it is that somebody's doing it and report it to the police, but it's definitely not me. Oh, no, we don't need to involve the police. I've got three strikes. I can't have the police coming over here. I'm, I'm just like, you know, it's, it's not even that big of a deal. I was just hoping you could stop. You yeah. know what? You really pissed me off. I don't do dumb shit like that. You don't have but. to pretend to have an alibi and stuff, pretending you're in Canada. It's it's fine. You know, it's it's you're you're just being immature. That's all. Just please stop. Maybe do another neighbor's window. You should do Frank's window. I don't even like that guy. Nobody likes him. Uh, 
I don't have time to do a chat show like games, but uh, well, you're doing it on my window. Why can't you do it on Frank's window instead? Uh, you, you really need to go get some business and leave me alone. Get some business? What do you mean, get some business? I'm at work right now. Yeah. I ain't got time to do no little, little childlike things, whatever, whatever you accuse me of. Well, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying you definitely did it, because who else would write Satan rules on my window? I have just, no idea. Just... Uh, you, why don't you just call the sheriff and have them go ahead and investigate what, 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 whatever somebody's no. doing, and maybe they can fake fingerprints or whatever it is off of it. No, that's a waste of their time. Come on. I, I don't want to do that. I just, I was hoping you'd just stop. Can you please just stop? You know what? Stop being such a douche canoe. You know what? At least, uh, you know what? I really don't have time to, to have an ignorant conversation with you or anybody else who wants to accuse me of dumb shit like that. Well, but thank you very much. Don't do dumb shit then. Just stop doing dumb shit. And then you won't get accused of it. Thank you very much. You, you and Satan 666 or whatever y'all doing. Oh, see? Thank you very much. See, obviously it's you. If, you, if you're making jokes about it now. Now I'm sure you're of calling it. Me. Now I'm positive. Uh, can I have your phone so I can record this idiot on the other side who's accusing me of doing something that I'm not doing? Oh, I'm the idiot. You're the one that's writing on my car. Writing childish things on my car. Just just please don't do it again. We don't have to make a big thing of it. Just please stop. That's all. Uh, just just keep talking so I can record you while you're saying that. I did not do it. I haven't been in, in to do this. But thank you very much. And I wouldn't do ignorant things like that. Yeah, right. You were in Canada. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. I'm in Ann Arbor right now. And I'm recording your conversation and your number as you're talking. I don't give you permission to record. It's illegal to record well, without my permission. You're breaking the law again. I'm giving permission. You're recording. I'm recording myself talking to somebody. Or some dumb stuff. Yeah, but it's like illegal wiretapping laws in in this state. You're not allowed to do that. That's against the law. But you don't care because you sure. you're always breaking laws and drawing on my windows and trespassing in my driveway. So so the police, if you're listening to this police, remember there is a federal and state laws against wiretapping. This guy's violating them. Arrest this man immediately. I'm letting you know that I am recording this conversation while you're talking crazy stuff. Oh, it doesn't work Excuse like me. that because you were recording me be called? before you told me. Uh, I'm, so. I'm letting you know now. I am recording this conversation because I have somebody who is incomprehensible on the other end being accused of me of doing something. So I am recording this conversation with you as evidence against you. What do you mean I'm incomprehensible? Uh, I, I, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, you know, you wrote on my window, Satan rules. And then you're joking about it and saying, ah, Satan rule 666, tee hee. Like, just, just cut it out, okay? I'm, just cut it out. I'm allowing you one more minute to go ahead and, and get done with your rant. Okay. And I will save it here for the county sheriff. I am, yes, I am recording this conversation. You call me, accusing me of some, some, some crazy, wacky stuff. I'm not there. I, thank you very much. This is the end of the conversation. Well, no, you said I have a minute left. I have a minute. You said I have a minute. I had a minute. No, no. My minute just ran out. No, you said I have a minute. I, I get one more minute to rant. Hello? Hello, David? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Roy. I'm your neighbor. I, I live down the street here on court. Yeah, hi. Hey, um, I, I noticed you wrote uh, your name on the hood of my car in the snow, and I was wondering if you could just not do that anymore. Not do what? Write my name where? Uh, in in uh, on my hood, and you know, in the frost and the snow on on the car. Oh, I didn't do that. You you wrote David was here. What the heck and, did that? That wasn't me. Well, I, why hello, would anyone else hello. write your name? Like, do you have a son? Maybe is it David Junior? No. Yeah, I don't where know. Where was it at? Uh, I I live just maybe a block away from you. Right, but did you were you parked in the back? Uh, no, no, I was, I was parked on the street. So, you know, it's not like you were trespassing or anything. It was just parked in the street. It's just, you know, still, it's... I yeah, I swear I didn't, I didn't do that. It's so, oh, it's, it's so a, weird. You don't have to deny it or anything. Just please don't do it again. No, I, no, I swear I didn't, I didn't do it. I'm, I'm a little old to be 
kind of doing things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, why would you even be doing this? That's weird. I have no, I have no idea. You should really. It says David. Was yeah, here? yeah. David was here, and there's like a heart underneath. Wow, that's so weird. I'm sorry. I did not do that. Well, I can't maybe, even imagine. One. Maybe you were sleepwalking and did it. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I just, no, 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 no. There's somebody, somebody must have been playing a joke. I don't know. Hmm. What kind of car do you have again? Uh, maybe they thought it was mine. Uh, it's a it's know. a 2004 Saturn Ion. Wow. I'm sorry. That wasn't me. Well, if you if you if it wasn't you, then why are you saying you're sorry? Sounds kind of yeah, suspicious. Because somebody did it that knew me. Somebody well, knew it. I mean, somebody knew my name. Well, who would do that? That so. doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make. I none of it makes sense because it doesn't. Certainly, it makes less sense for me to do it. Yeah, no, well, I, no, I understand I mean. if you just thought you were just walking by and, and just thought it'd be fun to write your name and put a little heart yeah, in no, there. And yeah, I don't, no, sir, I, sir, I didn't do it. Yeah, well, look, I'm I'm not. It's you know, it, it didn't really hurt the car or anything. You know, I just started up the car and it melted away. No big deal. But but still, come on. No, no, I, no, no reason okay. to be doing that. I I understand uh, you're thinking me doing it, but I I I swear I did not do it. I wasn't even home uh, most of the day. Yeah, well, I think it happened so. in the middle of the night or something because it was there when I got up this morning. Like maybe it happened early this morning, perhaps. I don't know. I left early, so. Well, yeah, maybe like I'm before you left, you know. did you like take the dog no. for a walk or something, and and just I happened. Don't have a dog. No, I listen. I I really I didn't sleepwalk. I didn't do. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, but so I'll see if I don't know what to make sure somebody doesn't do it again or I don't know I'll ask around who would do that but okay yeah I, I think I'm going to put like this uh, radioactive uh, material on my hood so next time they do it their fingers are going to burn oh, so, well, so I'm just yeah. warning you like if you do it again you, you might you know your fingers are going to get really hot and you probably get sick so please don't do it well, again I'm, I didn't do it so how do you get my number though I just looked in the phone directory online. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't do it. So, okay. Well, that sounds like okay. something that somebody that did it would say. But it's fine. You know, I'm not upset or anything. I was just hoping he could not do it again. That's all. Okay, I, I didn't do it, but thanks for calling. Oh, you're welcome. Yep, yep. Just don't do it again. Yeah, I, I didn't do it. I'm telling you. It's fine. Why would I lie? You know, well, I, why would you do it in the first place? N- none of it makes sense, really. I didn't do it in the first place. Well, that that seems awfully suspicious that someone, like, who who would just write your name on there for no reason? Like, why wouldn't they write no their own idea. name? Why wouldn't they write their own name was here and put a heart underneath? Well, trying to implicate me, I guess. I don't know. I, just oh, don't, come on. I don't know who would ever do it. Come on. Nobody would do that. Do you, are you just, like, do you have a crush on me? Is that what it is? Is that what the heart's about? Because, like, you know, you could just come over and talk to is me. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? I don't, this got to be a joke. Because there's no way in the world. I mean, you can't be serious. No, I, I mean, I, I didn't I do jo- it. I wouldn't joke. No, like, you're the one that's apparently the jokester, like, writing on my, the hood of my car. Um, all right. So you call me up. You tell me this. I tell you, I swear that I didn't do it. And you don't believe me, so I don't. I don't know what to say. Well, how could I believe you? It's got your name on it right there. Like, who else would write your name on the that, car? I, people. But, who knows? I don't know. Th- this is like those well, teenagers I, that, like, you know, they spray paint their names on the overpass. You know, like, like Mark was here, and then the, the police go and, and talk to Mark about it. He's like, I didn't do it. Somebody else wrote my name on there. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a little old to be doing it. So, yeah, and I never did it when I was that's young. So that's what I was thinking. I, are you just having like a midlife crisis and like doing things that you should have done when you're young? Okay, well, listen. If you don't believe me, then don't believe me. But you don't talk to me like that, okay? I didn't do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. I don't know who did it. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, I don't believe right. you one bit because who else would do it? It's not like I'm calling I don't the police. Know. That's or what I'm telling you. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not like I, I'm just calling to ask you, please, not to do it. That's all. N- nothing. Well, you nothing can else. ask, but uh, if it happens again, I'm not doing it. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know who did it. I'm going to put, I, I'm gonna put I'm cameras out there. Acting like I'm, 
Well, then go ahead. Put whatever you want on yeah, there. I'm, I did not do it. I'm, put, I'm putting cameras out there and radioactive dust all over the hood. Nope. Next person that does it, well, good. they're going to lose their money and lose their gloves. Do it, and we'll we'll be happy to find out who did it. Then it's going to burn right through their gloves and eat through their skin. Then they'll yep. be sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. See ya. All right. Have a nice day. Hello. Hey, Michael. Hello. Michael. Yeah. Hey, Michael. Yes, it's Mike. Hey, Michael. It's Roy, your neighbor. What's up? Right, yeah, what's up? Um, I was. It, it's uh, this is weird to even call you about this, but um, do you think you could stop writing things on my car window, like in the snow? Excuse me? You know, like when it, it's been snow. Talk? What? 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 Mike, are you trying to get a hold of? Michael. On I, I live here on. Too. Like a few houses down. God, you keep interrupting me. No, like you keep writing things on my car window, and I was just hoping you could stop. You know, writing in the snow on my car window, it smudges up the windows. Who, who, who what? I ain't wrote anything. What are you talking about? Um. Well, I know it's you. Come on, it's obviously you. I'm just. You don't have to deny it or anything. I'm not trying to start shit with my neighbors. I was just hoping you could cut it out. Who is this? this who, is, who is this again? It's Roy. I live in the blue house. Roy. Yep. Blue house. Yeah, just down, down a little bit, like a few houses down. I'm the one with the, the BMW in the driveway. And that's another thing. You shouldn't be coming up in my driveway like that. That's it's trespassing. You got, you, you got the wrong guy, man. No, I know it's you. Come on. Like, look, I'm, I'm Blue just... Blue house. What's the address? I'm just asking you not to do it anymore. I didn't do anything. I haven't been in here. You, you, I could, in my house. What are you talking about? You, you wrote that you wrote you wrote that an Audi is better than a BMW and a Mercedes combined on my back window the other day. The other day when it was snowing, write, I didn't. I didn't write anything, man. That wasn't me. Oh, it had to be you. I'm sure it was you. Like, look, just, it was not me. I know it wasn't me. Look, I didn't call here to have you just deny everything. I, I, I'm, I know no, you. No, I'm not deny everything why wouldn't i deny you? i didn't do anything i don't know who the hell you are i know you did it i, I just Boy, I'm, what house? I'm hoping Blue you, house where what's the like to the right like that's three that's five that's houses down or so look we have security cameras you know we we know it's you uh it the, wasn't, the video it wasn't me man the video doesn't lie i haven't been walking out i've been driving my car okay fine i it, haven't walked anywhere it wasn't you fine but can you please not do it again I didn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. I didn't do anything. I hired Richard Carter to I, check I, the footprints, and, and he says it's a match. So I, who? Richard Cardo, the you know the 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 detective, the internet detective. Richard. And and, and also he checked your handwriting samples on the back of the window. Look, we know it's you. Who it's, are you talking about? Yeah. You, you, you wrote, you're right writing on my windows, and it. it it smudges. I don't even know who you are, man. Like when I defrost the windows, I can still see the writing. It's all smudgy, like your oily fingerprints. My, I haven't done anything, man. I, I, I'm not around. Oh, I notice you're not, deni- not denying me. that you have oily fingerprints. Oh, I got grease on my hands once in a while, yeah. yeah. I'm a mechanic. No, I just mean like naturally you have gross oily fingers is what I'm saying. But No, I'm just saying just, just <sighs> please stop, okay? That's all. Just I, please. Fight, whatever. I didn't do anything. Okay. I'm just telling you that. You know, you can at least be man enough to admit it. <laughs> there he goes. Hello. Hey, Kermit. Yeah, this, yeah. Hey, it's it's Roy. Uh, I'm, I'm your neighbor. I, I live down the street here on Street. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, I, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. Um, I was wondering, can you please um, stop drawing on my car window, like in the snow? Because it, it smudges up what, the windows. What are, talk, what, what are you talking about? I'm not drawing on your car window. I don't even live on it anymore. Well, you, My mom still lives there. What do you? I, I, oh. I, I live. In, I, I live. I live on the now. It must be your mom then. Like she was wearing a hoodie, so I couldn't tell. But like no, my my, my uh, yeah, my mom my mom is uh, 67 years old. So well, she's too old uh, to be doing I, this I then. Know. She she yeah yeah yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe is, maybe uh, she's trying to that. maybe um, she's trying to frame you because she yeah. wrote she wrote Kermit was here on my window. Who? 
Uh, she like she wrote on my window. Your mom. She wrote Kermit was here on my, on the, my back window of my car. Yeah, I'm a, and, I, I don't think my mom would do that. That sounds like a prank. I don't know what's well, going on. But well, I mean, I think she's yeah, pranking you, or is she upset with you? Did you guys get in a fight? Uh, no, not 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 at all. Um, I don't I don't know uh, where that comes from. So well, that's, that's very know. weird. But, who, who else? Who else would do this then? Like they would write your name on my. Car. I have I have I have no idea. That just sounds childish. So, I, I know, no, totally sure. childish. Like, are you sure it's not you? You don't have to blame your mother for this. Yeah. That's weird. I mean, yeah. come on. Listen, I'm old. not blaming anybody. What are you talking about? Like, well, you, you're uh, you're the one saying uh, your mother did it. I didn't say that. I said my mother lives there. Is what I said. But, and you said somebody uh, was there with a hoodie. But that's I, what I'm saying to you. I followed the footprints from my car, and and they led to your mom's house. Okay. Just, okay. Just, just come on. Okay. Just please don't do it again. Okay, yeah, like, uh, okay, like, uh, thank you, have a good day. You too, I guess. But, you know, you could apologize at least. Just, just apologize. This is Kelly. Hey, Kelly, it's uh, Roy, I'm your neighbor down the street, here on Street. Oh, hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, wait, which, neighbor Roy, wait, wait which house are you in? Um, the blue one, I'm, I'm just like four houses down. Hey, I just noticed oh, okay. that, that you wrote your name in, you know, on my car, like on the window. And, I didn't. Well, yeah, I was just calling to ask you, please don't do that again, because you know it's, it's I, technically trespassing. Okay, and, Roy, I, I well, I, I couldn't have because I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm not even home yet. Yeah, well, no, I'm talking, like, you know, like early this morning or something. It must have been because when I got up for work, it said Kelly mm. was here and. Put like a, no. Put like no, a, I, Roy, I really didn't. <laughs> I really, I don't, I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Like, I don't think anyone else would put your name on there. It says Kelly was here, and then there's one of those smiley face with the vertical lines for eyes. And then I went on your Facebook, and I noticed that you've made your smiley faces with the vertical lines, lines for eyes before. So it's kind, uh, it's kind of obvious. So just please Please don't do it again. Rory, I'm not it, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you this as a neighbor and as a city council person. I am I didn't write anything on your car. Were you just trying to promote yourself, you know, like for the no. next city council? The election's over. I, I'm No, it's never too I early to start campaigning again, I guess. And if I, I don't know, maybe find a different way to campaign than writing your name in my window. I know it's not I d- I'm telling you I didn't. I'm 40 years old. I'm not going to write on somebody's window. But who else would write your name? I don't. I honest to God don't know. Is there a, I honest to God don't. Is there a Kelly Jr. there or something? Like, do you have kids with the same name? Maybe the, maybe they. No, maybe I don't know if maybe somebody thought they, that I lived there instead of my actual house. I, I really don't know what you're talking about. Well, if you want to take a picture and send it to me, please do. But I'm telling you, I haven't touched anybody's car or anything well it already melted off i had to you know like you know melt it i had to scrape it off to I go to work do that, that would annoy me but i mean well it probably wouldn't annoy me i'd be like what the heck but well, i i did not touch your car okay all right if you say so just you know like it's really it, weird and bizarre but i didn't touch your car and, and like you don't draw your smiley faces with the vertical lines for eyes i don't i don't draw smiley lines it's un- I, I don't know what are you talking like an emoji? Yeah, kind of like an emoji, but you just, you know, you just draw it. That's how you draw your smiley faces when you're drawing smiley faces on paper. I, I've that, used emojis before. I don't, I really, honest to God, have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Well, you know, I, you know I the, dropped my kids off at school this morning and then I went to work and I haven't even made it back yet. Did you drop your kids off before or after you wrote your name on my window? I swear, if you want to get a forensics person out there, you can do that, but I did not touch your car. Well, I have no reason to lie to you. Funny you should mention that. I'm, I have I'm no thinking about, to do it. I think I'm, I'm going to put some of that dye pack paint on my window this next time, so the next time someone writes their name on it, it's going to get all over their fingers, and I'll know who did it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, so, I'll buy you the dye pack thing myself. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, oh, no. It's a, I don't have any money. I've got I, a bunch. I really don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, I'm just warning you, like, next time you think about 
writing on a window. It's it's going to get. Next you're, time be... I don't think about doing something, I won't do it. I'm really sorry that this has degenerated into this, and I'm sorry you don't believe me. I didn't touch your car. Okay. okay? Well, I didn't I'm, touch it. I have no reason to touch it. Which which I don't even know which house is yours. You said the blue house. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like I don't know four or five houses down here on the street. But it's not a big deal. I'm, I'm not trying to make a big deal of it. I was just a- asking if you could not do it anymore. That's all. Okay, which no, side be- of the street are you on? Uh, the same side as you, the even side. Okay, so are you... I'm trying to think what cars I... I didn't even walk to the bus stop this morning. I didn't even walk past your car. I sent Abby out this morning by herself, and I watched oh, her get on the bus. Bad parenting. So then I didn't even walk past your car. Hmm. I don't even know what car is yours. Maybe Abby did it. Just like, is she pissed at you today? Was she just trying to get her mom no, in trouble? No, she's seven and her writing is terrible. Wow. Wow, that was mean. It's, it's, did, did, it's a true. I mean, I love my little girl, but she's, I, she wouldn't write my name with an emoji. I hope you don't tell, it, tell, her, that, tell, tell her that to her face. Like, wow, Abby, your handwriting's terrible. I tell her it's not good, and I say we need to practice, so we practice. Mm. And she's actually better. Thank Ma- you. But maybe she was practicing on my window with your name. Like, well, then I'm glad she would have been practicing, but I know she wouldn't have done it because she did not even write her full name. So I'm telling you, I don't know who wrote on your car. I'm sorry that this happened. I don't know if somebody thought they were being funny, if they got the addresses wrong. Um, I, I really have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. So you don't have to be sorry. Just just don't do it again. That's all. I won't do what I didn't do in the first place. So that's not a problem. Well, you don't have to deny it like that. It's just you know, like I'm I not just even, didn't I'm do just, it. I'm just okay. All right, fine. You didn't do it. Wink, wink. That's fine. Just please don't I really not didn't. do it again. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're talking about. I hope you have a good day. Uh, you too. <laughs> wow, you guys, that lady's going to call in the forensics team, all because I accused her of writing in the snow on my window. That's a bit of an overreaction, I think. Speaking of overreactions, though, I'm going to play this call that Carlito did. Carlito from MadhouseLive.com. This happened about five years ago, and this lady just flips out over this pizza she ordered. We figured out that she'd ordered a pizza, don't ask how, and we knew that a pizza was on the way to her house. So Carlito gave her a call and let her know about this additional charge he was going to put on her pizza. And things get crazy. Just listen to this one. Hello? I'm with the pizza. You made an order for a pizza, correct? Yes. Do you have your pizza yet? No. Okay. Uh, This is a delivery order, I understand. We wanted... Uh, Okay. According to the computers, uh, the address that you're getting a pizza from uh, delivered to... Is, we're going to be pizzas on the way already, but the location you're getting a pizza to is in a high risk area, high risk delivery. Uh huh. You live in a bad. Not bed. that I know of. Well, it's a high risk delivery area, so there's actually an extra deposit on that. I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. Well, there's there. We've already put a hold on the credit card. It's a thirty dollar deposit. This will be released after the pizza is delivered to your. No, I don't want your pizza then. You're out of your mind. We've had it delivered here before, and they've never said anything like that to me before. Well, we've, ever. Had, we've had some issues with the people, this, the, you people, okay? Us? Yes, you people. You know what I mean by you people in this neighborhood where you live. White. What do you mean? What does you people mean? Well, for lack of a better term, white trash. You're it, calling us white trash? You little motherfucker, I'm going to be down at that store. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but we have had pizza delivered here. I don't know how many times. We just moved here. And I don't know who you think you're... I want to talk to your... I want the manager right now. You little bitch. You guys are fucking done. Where's the manager? Don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm going to make sure you... Where is the manager? I want to talk to the manager now. No, I am the manager. I'm the owner of the store. 
you run that store what? and you talk to people like this? You actually called us. You can't deliver here because we're in a high risk. No, listen. We can deliver. God damn it. We can deliver the pizza, but we have already placed. I'm just. I'm required to let you know that we place a deposit on your card, an extra hold, thirty dollars. And it'll lift as soon as the pizza gets delivered. We'll take it right out. I don't want your pizza. Well, it's already on the way. Business. And then, and then, uh-huh. listen, listen to me. Then, then the thirty dollars deposit stays on, and the, and the price of the pizza. Say that again. Then the thirty dollars deposit stays. It, this is exactly what happens in your neighborhood. You white trash people. You order a pizza like a joke, and then you tell our driver, "Oh no, we didn't order a pizza." And then, no, we don't want the pizza. And then what happens? Pizza sits on the floor. $30 we're taking out. We're holding this for you, ma'am. We're taking the, we're going to keep the $30. You deposit. have got to be crazy. We're sick and tired. I've had you guys come to our door and, and you were so nice. I, I don't, you guys, uh, you're out of your crazy mind. You're being kind of rude. What's with the woman in the background there who's yelling? That's uh, that's my husband. He's really upset right now. He's a, well, let it, tell him. You cannot legally put a thirty dollar deposit on my account without my permission. It's already done. You did it already. Well, uh, yeah, you accepted to the terms, but as soon as that delivery driver, I didn't leaves, accept to no terms. They didn't say shit to me. On the phone, Listen. That I had to make a $30 deposit to get pizza delivered to my home. If you look at the back of your credit card, it says we can read the read the, the fine print on the back of the card that you put this purchase on and the deposit. Read the fine print. Is the delivery driver you there? You are crazy. Well, I'm. It's lady, what's your problem? You're going to bounce a check or something? You don't have enough money? What's the matter? I just paid it over the phone. I paid you guys over the phone on my card. We'll release it as soon as the driver gets back safely from your bad neighborhood. We'll release the hold. I we don't live in a bad neighborhood. We've had a bad history with the people that live at this address, and that's why I had to do this. What? What is your name? Hmm. What is your name? Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, call the cops. Yeah, oh, he's got your name. Are you there? Hello? Yeah. Hey, dude, I know. Who is this? He said he's charging the car. What? Oh, who no. is this? Oh, no. I placed a $30 dude, we know that you guys are messing with somebody over here. We're going to call the cops on your ass. You can't charge someone else's credit card. Well, we had to put a deposit because it's a bad neighborhood. There's no, what, I don't know, have any clues to what you're talking about. That stuff doesn't go on it. I worked there for 12 years. Oh, this must be a misunderstanding, then. There better be a misunderstanding, dude, or you're going to jail. Oh, no, he's been threatening me. You can't no, call people up and threaten them. I didn't threaten anybody. I just told them about the $30 news. Dude, you are you not know. my boss. I work at that... <laughs> you are not the boss there. Well, I'm taking... better freaking hang the phone up now or I'm calling the police. What's hang your... up now. What, what, hang up now. What, did you receive the $30 uh, charge? <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, my God. Ryan <laughs> cut the call. In case you're unsure what happened there on the end, while Carlito was talking to her on the phone, the pizza delivery driver showed up, and he already knew what was going on because we'd been calling other customers of that pizza place that night. So he explained that stuff to him, and then he marched over to the phone and gave Carlito a piece of his mind. And maybe I'm mistaken. Did somebody in the background yell to call the phone police? That's pretty great, the phone police. We're going to start with some calls to uh, Bank of America customers who back in 2015 were getting home loans and using Bank of America for the home loan stuff. And the weirdest coincidence happened on the home loan application. If they needed any help with their application, there was a phone number to call and the phone number was incorrect and it just happened to go to the voicemail of a listener of mine. And, of course, the first thing he did was he started forwarding the messages to me so I could call these people. And this went on for several weeks before they finally fixed the problem. So I'm going to play you a couple of calls from when that happened. And this first one here, it features Trainwreck. He's a prank caller from Canada. Hello. Hello, this is Mr. Wreck from the Bank of America. How are you, ma'am? Oh, fine, thank you. All right, then. I think one of my colleagues speak to you previously. Is that correct? Uh, probably to my husband, if he wanted to talk to him. He's the oh, one that's, that's been doing all the work. Well, actually, uh, I have your name on the form here. 
Would oh. you mind? Okay, I have just a couple questions so that we can proceed. Well, it'd probably be best to talk to you to him because he has he knows all the information. So are you are you not allowed to uh, take your own decision, ma'am? Oh yes, I am. But okay. uh, he was the one who who sent in for all the information. Oh, I understand. He's a con he, he's a freak control, right? Control yes. freak. Oh, okay. Perfect. Then I'll wait. No. All right. Here, do you, you want to talk to him? It's, about, it's from Bank of America. I don't know what they want. They said my. Oh. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, well, I think I'm okay. Okay, perfect. Um, you you sound a little bit sleepy. Where are you sleeping? <laughs> um, what is the nature of your call? Uh, what time is it, sir, right now? This is Mr. Tim from the Bank of America. I did believe that you spoke to one of my associates previously. Is that correct, sir? I did speak to an associate from Bank of America. Um, Perfect. Sometime mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. Uh, I don't have the information about the call, but was it uh, d was your experience good? Say that again. I'm doing a survey here, a customer survey. Basically, your loan won't be accepted if you don't do the survey right now. My loan won't be accepted. Mm -hmm. if I don't that is do correct. The survey. Mm hmm Do you understand? That is the most unprofessional statement I have ever heard from a representative of Bank of America. Well, hold on here. It is a trusted company. Yes. There are no associates. <laughs> there are no surveys attached to any transactions or business between sir, Bank America and a customer. Sir, are you trying to tell me how to do my job here? I have never heard. Now, you can cut with the attitude. We will continue with the survey if, if that that's not right with you. Hmm? Would, that a loan would be refused if a customer did not participate in a survey. Sir, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna ask you to stop being a bitch and get over and get over it. Okay. And get what? Are, are we man here or are we lady on the phone? Because I don't sorry. know for you, but I know for me. Well, you can stop uh, acting like a little bitch. Tell your wife to go in the other room. We'll speak like a man. Okay. We'll settle this down. Is that all right with you? You know what? Okay, sir, um, first question of the me, survey. Give me your name, and I will call Bank America about you. Oh, what there's is, no what one. What is your name? There's only one person above me. Uh, well, two person. There's Mr. Uh, Roy Jorbel and God. And I'm a Christian, sir. Okay, so... Well, you certainly no do swear. not talk like one. Oh, I, how Not's dare sure. you? How dare you? What do you mean, how dare me? You, Swearing you are on the phone. obnoxious, sir. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. You are quite obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang up and call Bank America. No, you won't. And report this I ask you to hang up. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hold on. I'm going to put my supervisor on the phone here. Hello, this is Roy. Can I help you? Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Oh, he, he just hung up. Uh, I'll call him right back. <laughs> oh, good. Hello? Hello, this is Roy from the Bank of America. I understand you were just talking to uh, Mr. Reck. I, I'm not sure who that was, but he made statements that are the most outlandish, unprofessional things that I have ever really? heard. Oh. From, from uh, the Bank of America is a landmark benchmark company oh, come on. in America. Oh, you. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I can't believe he would be like that. Uh, wh what exactly did he say that was so horrible? I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go into that. It, one of the, except for one thing, he said, if you don't do a survey, you will not be granted a loan. 
I have never heard of anything like that. Okay, well, I was just calling you to 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 make sure he was correct because he told me that you had a major attitude problem. And I have a major attitude problem. I, okay, I'm glad you, you're admitting to you, it now. You you should listen to some of the calls that he makes sometimes. Oh, I I did, and it sounded like you were just being a little bitch at him. And because of because of your attitude, now listen, I'm gonna make listen. this I'm gonna make this a he double used, survey. He used the term bitch three times. Oh, how could he do something <gasps> that? Is like not only <gasps> unprofessional, and he claims to be a Christian. Oh, he this is a is Christian. Ridiculous. We only hire Christians here, sir. Well, Christians that I know of don't call people on the phone and well, use the term bitch. Christians that What's I know don't with you. Christians that I know don't give all this attitude to trusted organizations and like Bank of America, landmark organizations. I don't know who you are or who you represent, but he, oh, you, you you folks are unprofessional and tell him no loan. no loan for him. Christian. I, I'm canceling the can, I'm, sir. Oh. I need to tell him no loan. <laughs> like you can, you can print the the receipt here and call uh, him back. Leave him a ve- a message and tell him I'm canceling the loan right now. All right, all right. Last call to him. Or this guy. Hello, this is Mark from the Bank of America. I just needed to let you know that we're denying your loan because of your attitude problem. You're denying my loan because of an attitude problem. I'm, I'm printing out the the deny of loan denial of loan this forms is, uh, right now. Deny. You are something else. Okay, deny. So, sir. I think we should come I clean already, with you. I have and have had a loan on a mortgage. Oh, just shut up. Listen, listen, listen sir, sir. Shut up. Shut the, shut, up. shut the fuck up. Okay, look, we're, we're, we're just... The, oh, we're, wait, is this more, is this more Christian language? There's nothing shut in the up. Bible about the fuck word. Please do not call here again. Oh. I'm trying to make a call. Okay, sir, we need to come America. clean. We need to come clean with you. Now shut up for a minute. Listen, we're the janitors here at Bank of America. And we just thought it'd be fun to try and, and work on loans for once. Okay, sh- Don't say anything. Bank of America, this is Jim. Can I help you? I am trying to reach a representative. Extension one five. Okay, let let me transfer you over there, sir. Just a minute, please. Hello, this is Tim, Bank of America. Can I help you? Um, I'm trying to reach a representative of Bank of America. The phone number is 1-800. That is me, sir. How can I help you? Um, oh, hold on. Are you the gentleman that we just spoke to? Am I what? You're the gentleman that we just denied uh, the loan, right? The one with the bitch attitude? Uh, am I the customer with the bitch attitude? Yeah, we deny your uh, loan here. It's written down on my report here. It was cancelled because of your bitch attitude. Hold on, I'm gonna print it. I think he hung up. Hello. Hi, this is Roy from the Bank of America. Is this Bill? Uh, what can I do for you, Roy? Uh, well, you called about some uh, property on Drive. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm representing the. Yeah, yeah, the Miller. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, can you make sure you send me everything on your behalf? Oh, we already sent everything. Uh, who did you send it to? Uh, we sent it to the the address on the forms. On uh, the address on the phone. You mean? Would you? Who did you send it to? The, that that's the one. I can't give out all the uh, information because you could be a hacker. You know, I can't give it out over okay, the phone. Okay, all right. That's okay. That's okay. It'll get to me but, eventually because I just moved from there last month. But it'll get to me eventually. Oh, okay. All right. But, but uh, my 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 current address is Clinton Street. Oh. Okay, that sounds kind of like a hobo neighborhood. 
Is that why you're, are you, are you, are you, oh, that's where you're moving to? Yeah, if you want to call me a hobo, that's fine. Just give me the papers. Well, no, it just, it sounds like a hobo street. I mean, a Clinton street. That sounds like a hobo street. I don't know where you're coming from, but just, just get me the documents. That's all I'm trying to represent a client. Okay. Well, I, I went ahead and checked your, um, your credit report. And wait, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not the applicant. I'm the attorney. Oh, his credit report. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> wait, are you the one that lives in the hobo neighborhood or is it your client then? I'm the attorney for. And, and you live on Clinton Street? No, my office is at Clinton Street. Oh, I see. Are you like an attorney for low income people that, that can't afford attorneys? Uh, no, they can afford me. I've been representing them for 30 years. Oh, I see. Oh, well, this sounds like you're kind of like a, a low rent attorney. Uh, thank you for the great great opinion. Well, it's not an opinion; it's but, a fact. Oh uh, well, thank you for the fact. But are you going to get me the documents, or should I go to somebody else? Well, with your attitude, maybe not. Uh, I don't think it's my attitude. I think it's yours. Well, I think it's yours. I think your opinion's wrong. Okay, what, whatever the opinion is, I'm just trying to represent a client. Okay, all right. So if you can get me those paper, title order and whatever, so I can get started and get the title report going and get ready for something, I'd appreciate it. Can I get your client's phone number? Because maybe I could recommend a better attorney for him. I don't know where you're coming from, but I got to go play tennis. Well, I'm just saying, you know, how can you afford, how can you afford tennis since you only deal with poor (laughs) clients? I own the tennis court. Yeah, right. You don't have to lie to okay. impress me. I'm not. I'm not looking for an attorney. I know that. I'm just trying to represent a client. Okay. Well, you don't have to try and impress me. I don't. You don't have to lie. I'm not. I'm not trying to impress you. Uh, uh, just trying to represent a client. You shouldn't worry about what I think about you. Well, I don't. I'm just trying to represent a client. Well, then why are you lying well, and telling me you own tennis courts and stuff? I'm just trying to kid around with you because I got to go play tennis. I already know you're a, a hobo attorney. And okay, I, well, good. And and I know hobo, hobo attorneys sometimes represent clients. I know that um, you know tennis means to masturbate. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Can I have your client's phone number real quick? Uh, gosh, that's in my it's in her file. I'm I'm about to walk out the door. I will turn around and go get it. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I'm in my car right now. No, no, no. You just said you're about to walk out the door. Now you're just lying to me. Right. So do the best you can and, and uh, wait for your doctor. Okay. I'll okay. try and get a hold of him then. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. What an incredibly easygoing and easily confused attorney. There's a ton of those bank loan prank calls on the Phone Losers of America YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com slash phone losers of America, it looks like there's at least 10 of them here. Okay, maybe not a ton exactly, about 10, but there's a lot of good stuff in there if you go to that channel and just search for the word bank. Next, we're going to do some calls to some people who signed a petition to stop a crosswalk from being built in front of a university. I never fully understood what their problem with the crosswalk was, but they didn't like the idea of the crosswalk or the style of the crosswalk or something like that. So these people attended a city meeting and they signed a petition trying to stop the crosswalk from being built. And we called the phone numbers off of that petition list and tried our best to confuse the crap out of the people that signed the petition. Hello, this is Barbara. Hello, Barbara. This is Dave. Um, I'm calling from the College Avenue Safety Enhancement Project. Hi. 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 Um, and you, you came to our open house uh, back in November. Okay. And you, yes. s- you signed the sign-in sheet. Uh-huh. And you kept the pin. What? You kept the pin. You didn't. You signed with the sign up. You signed. You know. You used our pin to sign the sign up sheet, and then you kept it. Put it in your purse. I'm sorry. You, we just reviewed the security camera footage, and you kept our pin. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you want it back? Well, yeah. I mean, you don't just come come over here and steal our pin. How would you like if we came to your Wait. house and stole your pins? I'm confused. Do you work for the city of Columbia? Correct. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, and, and you're, so, you're you're coming over and stealing our pins. I mean, I know you pay taxes, wait. and that'll probably be your stupid argument, but, you know, no, you don't own our pins. You can't just take them home with you. It's really I'm dumb. I'm confused by this. Why are you confused? Do you, you, you think it's okay to steal well, our because pins? because if I accidentally took your oh, pen, you accidentally. can have a pen back. Is, is that what you say when you go to Walmart and shoplift? Can shop I have lift? your name? 
can I have your name again? You go to Walmart and shoplift things, and you're like, oh, I can accidentally I put again? all your shit in my purse. My name is Roy. I'm with the college. At Roy, and what you said you were with the College Avenue Safety. Yeah, same but, thing. Roy, what's your last name? Gerbel. Look, I'm and not. And you work for the city of Columbia. Yeah, and I'm not the one on trial here, so you can stop grilling uh-huh. me about my information. We just want our goddamn pin back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go on up to the public works on the third floor. And bring the pin with in you. In charge of the project. Bring the pin with you. Good to know. Okay. Bring the pin. Okay. You better bring the pin. Hello. Hello, John. Yes. Hey, this is Roy from the college. And, uh, Roy from the college. Yeah, yeah. Good job repeating me. And um, I'm yeah. sorry, I have no idea who Roy from the college is. Okay, well, if you'd, be, if, you'd, if, if you'd be quiet, I can tell you. I'm sorry, what's going on here? Okay, well, uh, you came to our open house in November and voiced your displeasure at our crosswalk project. Um, Remember? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I may have been various things... Which crosswalk projects were you talking about? Oh, you know, the College Avenue one, the safety enhancement project. I, I did suggest there's some more thinking, but that's a long time ago. So I know, what can I, do for I you? know, I know. You're old, your memory's going. Um, no, I just, you, you live on 9th Street, right? Right. Okay, we're going to, we have your address here. We're going to come out and paint a crosswalk in front of your house, like directly in front of it, as a way to protest. Who the fuck are you? We're gonna. It's a way to protest your. Hello. <laughs> he asked me a question and then he just hangs up. Didn't even give me a chance to answer. Hello, this is Pat. Hey, Pat. This is Roy from the City Planning Commission. I was calling about that College Avenue crosswalk thing. The College Avenue crosswalk. Yeah, you know, you came to the the open house and you you submitted a paper saying you you didn't approve of the crosswalk project. On College Avenue? Um, the College Avenue Safety Project, Safety Enhancement Project. That's the one. Yes, I was unhappy with the outcome because the neighborhood um, felt Here. like the decisions were predetermined even though they were told when they participated in the process that all options were open. Okay, well, I just wanted to call and gloat because the it, it's done. We built it and there's nothing you can do about it. You lose. Ha ha. Who are you? Well, I'm at the city planner. This is Roy. I already told you that. So we win. Roy, what's your last name? Gerbel. We win and you lose. You actually work for Engineering Surveys and Services, ESF. And Roy, spell your last name for me? J-E-R-B-E-L. J E R B E O. Well, thank you for your call. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, what are you going to do? Try and get me in trouble? We already built the crosswalk. I don't know. I think your call is entirely inappropriate. I'm a citizen who sits on two boards and commissions. I do the work that council asked me to do by asking neighbors. And for you to call me and go, boo hoo, too bad, we won, what kind of inappropriate call is this? I also said neener, neener. Don't forget that part. I didn't hear that very well. I'm driving home right now. I've been working oh. um, on the western part of the state. I'm trying to get home to get to my neighborhood association meeting. Oh, of I course wish I had are. a pencil so I could spell your last name oh, because you could... I think your behavior is highly inappropriate. And if you are a city employee, the city manager will hear from me about it. Okay. So, Roy, again, spell your last name for me. Well, hey, you're not supposed to use your cell phone while driving. You're a lawbreaker. I have a headset on. What's your last name again, Oh, Roy? bullshit, you do. I bet you're just holding it in your hand. No, I'm not. I'm wearing a trucker headset. I work for a construction company. Oh, you're so. such a liar. Ugh. Roy, spell your last name again. No, I already did it. I did it once. I'm not going to do it again. I don't like repeating myself. Goodbye. But, you know, I just wanted to... Hello? I'm going to play one more call for today's episode. This one is a call to a person who we left a note on their windshield of their car, which said, sorry, I dinged your car. So they called back and said, hey, what'd you do to my car? This is one of those calls. Hey, Roy. Uh, my name is Nick. Uh, I saw your note in the back of my girlfriend's car, and uh, 
uh, I looked around. I saw a minor scratch on her uh, left fender, like a if you know what like I mean. Thing. So, um, give me a call at your convenience. My number is uh, two four eight, and uh, my name is Nick again. Thanks. Nick. Hi, Nick. Yes. It's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yes. Yes, I, I'm very yeah. sorry about that. About what happened. So what happened actually? Well, it was it was in the back seat where the nick was. The the uh, I'm sorry, not the nick, the ding. Okay, well, I I looked around the car. I saw something out front. Nothing that major and stuff happened. Yeah, yeah. It was just I was in the back seat of your car when it happened. You were in the back seat. Yeah, and um, it, uh, kind of my fingernails kind of scraped around on the seat, on the seat, and it, it left a mark. It really did. I'm I'm so sorry. I mean, it's not a rip or anything. It's just kind of a mark, and I think you could get some touch up leather stuff or whatever. Okay, so how are you in the back of the car? Oh, I was um, I was having sex with your girlfriend. And I was, oh, okay. I was scratching I her. I was scratching her back, and my finger just kind of kept going and scratched the seat up real good. Oh, that is very mature. You guys are really, really beautiful people. What? What? What guys? Me and your girlfriend? All of you. All of you fucking assholes. What, what do you mean, all of us? Now there's all of us. What do you? What are you talking whoever, about? Whoever, whoever is uh, putting this in play. Yeah. Very nice. What do you mean by you people? Are you racist? Racist? Are you a different race, Roy? The or are the asshole race? Oh, okay. So, so now you're yeah, all of you that you're that you're trying to that you're trying to do all of this bullshit. Now you're going to be like that toward my people. I see how it is. Who are your people? I don't even know who you are. Th- there's not all I'm of talking, us. There's not three. I'm it's talking just... to you and your friends. What friends? I'm just, I just, it was just me and your girlfriend, and that's it. Okay. Thank you. In the back I'll, seat of that car. I'll fix that scratch. Okay. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, yeah. tell your girlfriend to call me. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That's not nice. Hello. Hello, Mr. Williams? Yes. Hey there. This is uh, Roy from the city of Boulder. Yes. I'm, I'm in the, the uh, city planning office and zoning board, okay. all that stuff. And I, I was just looking through my records here, and uh, I just needed to call and let you know that I don't like you. Okay. And, um, yeah, I guess that's all. Okay, Roy from the city of Boulder. Is this an official uh, announcement, or is this just you personally? Well, it's just me personal, but I'm going to go ahead and write it in the file, just kind of in the margin. And put it back in the file okay, cabinet. Be sure, be sure and sign it because I really feel like you are exceeding your authority in doing this. Well, I don't think it's the business of the city boulder to officially like or dislike anybody. Yeah, but I can have a, an opinion, you know. I just I just don't like you. Okay, do you have a reason for it, or is it just random? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it random. You know, just some people, you just don't like them. It's not really a reason. How do you know? I don't believe I've ever met you. I don't know how you would uh, have arrived at any sort of an opinion. I don't know. All I know is I don't like you. Hmm. Well. That's it. That really sounds pretty unconsidered. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. What is your position? Should I worry that you dislike me? Oh, no, no. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just a regular office worker here. I was just going through the files. And, and, okay. And, and your file popped up here, and I don't know. I just don't like you. Roar. Okay. And you're in city planning. Yeah, yes. Planning and zoning. Okay. But again, is it recent or is it long term? Oh, I don't think I'll ever like you. Okay. No, I mean, as a, did you acquire this dislike recently? Oh, um, no, I've never liked you. Okay. Have you? When did you first heard about me? Uh, when I was reading this file, uh, a couple oh. of, about an hour ago, before lunch. Which file was that? Um. Well, I can't. I can't give you information about our private personal files 
You might be an identity thief or something. No, you've called me. If you don't know who I am, why why do you dislike me? I know who you are. I have your file. Okay, and why are you going through my... What? You hit a touch tone. Why are you going through my file? Since it is personal, are you using city files for your own personal... uh, Vendetta? Oh, no, no, of course not. No, I, this is my job. I'm just going through the file and marking off some items, and uh, they wanted me to prepare the files. So I'm preparing files today. I'm, I'm going through tons of files today. No, this is, okay. all, this is all totally legit. This is my job. Okay, I believe it's your job. Uh, is it part of your job to call me up and announce that you don't like me? No, of course not. That'd be ridiculous. I, I, just, I just don't like you, and... I, I just wanted to call you up and let you know I don't like you. Okay, Roy, in the city of Boulder Planning Department, I since we've never met, I don't really see you have any call to dislike me. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter because we don't know each other, so who cares if I don't like right. you? I'm just some random person. You, you know enough about me to call me up. Well, yeah, because it's part of my job. You know, I, I'm going through these files and... Um, I'm, Is it part of your job to call people up and tell them you don't like them? Oh, no, we've already been over this, remember? I, I said no. Oh, okay. So you're just doing this on your own recognizance. Yeah, but I'm on the clock, you know? I'm I'm working. Okay. It, it's supposed to be just a quick phone call, and you're just really dragging it out. Well, when somebody calls me up from the city of Boulder and says... They don't like me for some unspecified reason. That leads me to the next question is, what do you propose to do about it? Oh, I'm not going to do anything about it. I, I don't have time like that. Come on. I, I'm, I'm just a city worker. Why would well, I do... You, you have time. Stop hitting and those again, touch tones. That's annoying. Your job is apparently to go through these files and do something with them. And I'm concerned that your personal feelings to me, which seem to have very little basis, could lead you to take some action. No, that that's just silly. That's just you being paranoid. I'm not going to do no, anything. No, I'm not paranoid. Just, I'm, you're the one who called me. Well, this just, phone call comes out of the blue from somebody I don't know. Well, just because I don't like you doesn't mean I have to do anything about it. Now, aren't there people you no, don't like? No, it doesn't mean you're... It does not imply you're not going to do anything either. Well, that's a stupid way to think. Aren't there people in the world that you don't like? Oh, not too many of them. Okay, well, you know, there's plenty of people I don't like. Justification. I've never done anything about it. I really really am concerned by this when somebody calls me up. Why don't you let me speak to your supervisor, because I'd like to know more about this. I did. I missed what you just said there, because you're hitting touch tones with your face. It's just another... No, I'm not. Yes, well, you, you keep hitting touch right, tones. I'll restate this. Okay. Roy, what? this concerns me. I'd like to speak to your supervisor about it. Oh, he's not here right now. I'll be, speak to his supervisor, then. Uh, they both went together. They went to the video store to return a movie. You're sounding rather evasive. No, no, I'm just saying they went... Listen to you, you are so paranoid. They just went to the video store to return a movie. They're probably going to stop by Starbucks, and then they're going to be back. Okay. Well, would you leave a message for one or other of them to give me a call when they get back? Well, I'm not going to do something for someone I don't like, and someone who's accusing me of things, and trying to turn this into some big threat, like I'm going to do something. I'm not going to do anything. I can well, ha- I you can... have called me up and made a threat. You're, you're acting like it's a crime to have an opinion. No, but it might be a crime to express that opinion on company time okay. based on company information. Well, whatever. This isn't a threat. I'm just calling to let you know I don't like you. Once again. It's just an opinion. At some level, I don't care whether you like me or not, but I'd like to know why. Who knows? I'm not... It sure seems like you, you care about it. Well, this is a kind of a random phone call. It wasn't random. I, I, just, I didn't just pick some random person from a list. How do I... 
Oh my God! Quit hitting touch tones. That's just another reason I don't like you. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm not pushing touch tones. You keep hitting touch tones with your face, and you do, you don't hear it or something. No, my my face isn't any near anywhere near the keyboard. Well, then I don't know. They keep you keep hitting touch tones. All right, bro. Well, I feel that way. I uh, will be pleased if this does not recur. Oh, yeah, I won't bother you again. I won't call you again. I just thought you should know. I just don't like you. Okay, well, perhaps I'm gathering, generating a certain amount for you. A certain amount of touch tones? I, I, I didn't... What was that? Uh, so I, perhaps I am generating a certain amount of dislike for you. Well, good. The feeling's mutual. I'm, I'm glad we both feel the same way. But you know what? I'm well, not gonna. I'm not gonna act like I'm afraid you're gonna come and get me or anything, just because you have an no, opinion. I don't want you. Uh, what I would like to know more than anything else is why you feel this way. I, that seems unwarranted. If we've never met, we've never had any interaction, and all you're doing is looking at my. Files. Yep. Hmm. Just n no what reason. Is it in my file that you dislike? Is it something I said? No, nothing like that. Jeez, you're just you're you're blowing this all out of proportion. Look, I gotta get back to work before my supervisor gets back, and and I'm just sitting here chattering away on the phone. Okay, Roy. I, I don't want to get fired. Well, I don't blame you. All right. Well, have a nice day, Mister Williams. Well, Mister Roy, uh, I'll uh, be curious to see if anything comes of this. Well, no, nothing's gonna come of it. Quit being paranoid. Call me out of the blue and think I'm paranoid? Oh my god, here we go again. Look, I gotta get going. I got work to do. Okay. Then go do your work. I will. I will. I'm gonna finish filing. and I'm gonna get going home early. Why not? Yep. Alright, bye. Alright, Roy. Once Peace. again, goodbye, Mr. Williams. Have a nice day. Have a fun day. I will. Thanks. 7-Eleven. Hi, this Hi. is Roy from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. I'm sorry, what? This is Roy from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yes, thank and, you. Uh, hi, who's this? Uh, Jessica. Oh, Jessica, I don't like you. Why? Um, I don't know, I just d don't like you. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just calling to let you know that, that I don't like you. Okay. Uh, how's your shift going? How's my what? How, how's your shift going? Good. I have customers. Can you hold? Uh, okay. Can I talk to a customer? It's for a customer survey. Um, sure. Okay. This is corporate, and they want to do a customer survey. Would you like to do a survey? Quick? Okay. Is it quick? Oh, yeah. It's very quick, and they get a free drink. Okay. Is, no. is this a customer? Yes, it is. Hey, before we get started, that girl that handed you the phone, her name's Jessica. Can you just tell her for me? Just tell her the, tell her I don't like her. I'm supposed to tell you he doesn't like you. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why. She just gets on my nerves, you know? <laughs> She's just one of those people. Can, can you tell her I really don't like her? Like, try to show her the emotion, like how much I dislike her. Um, no, if this really isn't a survey, I've got to go. Well, I don't have time. Just, Sorry. Can you just t tell her one more time, though? Just one more time. No, oh, and the customer hung up on me. Damn it. Hello? Hi, Kay? Mm-hmm? Uh, is David around? Um, uh, yeah, may I ask who this is? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Um, okay, um, well... Um, could I help you, or... What for? I want to talk to David. Well, okay. Roy, across the street? No. Uh, no, no. Okay. From the homeowners association. No, no. Yeah, I, I, I get you now. Well, okay. Now, sometimes he has a hard time talking, and so, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Okay. Great. Good evening. 
Hello, is this David? And she said I had a hard time talking. Yeah, she's full of shit, isn't she? She doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> you are a nerd. <laughs> I know. Fucking K. Ugh. Women, I tell you. Well, go ahead. I, I got a lot of time. Oh, okay, well, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I don't like you. No, oh, well, that's all right. Yep. You just take a line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. What can I do for you? Oh, that's all. That's all. I just needed to let you know. I don't like you. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Yep. As long that's... as you, as long as we're in agreement, that's perfect. No, <laughs> that's for sure. Yep. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no. That's it. You know, just just tell tell Kay to shut her mouth. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay. I will do that then. So tell her to stop you talking about you good... behind your back. Okay, you have a good night, sir. Thanks, you too. Okay, Roy. All right, bye. Bye-bye, then. Good old David. He's the best, no matter what Kay says. Those were calls from 2016, and these next few calls, we're going to go back even further to 2015. These are those pranks where we leave notes on car windshields that say, Sorry, I dinged your car with my phone number on them. And when they call me, they're treated to a really crazy story to tell all of their friends and family. It's like we're doing a free public service. Hi, Roy. My name is Shana, and I got a note on my car that says you accidentally dinged my car. And so I was just calling you. I appreciate the note. If I didn't see any terrible damage, so, you know, if you'd like to call me back, you can. My phone number is 360. Thank you. All right, let's call Shana. Hello? Hey, Shana, this is Roy. I left a note in your car. Oh, hi there. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Pretty good. Good. When did you ding my car? Um, well, uh, we were trying to break, uh, not break in. My wife left her earrings in the back seat and we were trying to get back in to get those out because we locked the door as we left. Of my car? Yeah, we were in the back seat. And, um, you know, just hanging out, making out and stuff. But then, uh, one of her earrings was missing. So we saw it in, in your back seat. So we, uh. You know, we opened up the car door. And, I think and when, you have got the wrong car. Oh, no, it was definitely yours. It's just uh, when we when we opened up the car door, we used one of those Slim Jim tools, you know, and it kind of, we messed up and kind of scraped uh, part of the door, the back door. Of my car or your car? Your car. I wouldn't leave a note on your car if I damaged my own car. Okay, I must be confused. Where were you when this happened? Uh, we were just outside your car. And you were inside my car? Yeah, we were hanging out in the back. We were hot boxing. Okay, I don't know if you find this funny, but I don't. I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I've got no idea what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm embarrassed well. that this happened. I'm, I'm really embarrassed. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying we had to go back in and get her earrings. They're expensive earrings. You know? You... I think that I think that you've definitely got the wrong person in the wrong car because unless you were what were you doing outside of my house? We, we were it's just a thing we do to keep our marriage fresh. We just get into random people's cars and we we smoke marijuana together in the back seat with the windows up. And Okay. Well, hmm. I'm going to report this to the police. Thank you so much. Why would you do that? Because there's no reason why you need to be in the back of my car, and I think that you're just trying to pull some sort of prank because there's no way you were in my car because it was locked. So that means you had to break into it to begin with to get in there. Well, if you think it's a prank, why would you involve the police? Because it's not funny. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you're going to call the police because you don't have a sense of humor? Exactly. You don't need to be messing with me or messing with anything that has to do with my car. I'm just returning your call. You called me, Why so I'm were calling you, you back. Why were you of my car? Because we wanted to hotbox in a car and make out a little bit. So it's okay for you to hotbox in someone's car who's got a child in there? There was no child in the Ooh. car. We would not have hotboxed in your car if there was a child in there. Then why were you in my car to begin with? Why would you leave you your child in the car when you're not in there? I'm sorry, but I'm not, not dealing with this. Thank you. Why would you leave your kid in the car? Hello? Hey, Tony, this is Roy. I left a note on your car. Hi, Roy. How are you doing today? I'm good. 
Okay. Well, I don't when have time did, for when small did talk. Take place where? Uh, you know, it was just where you were parked, and uh, I, I mistook your car for my ex girlfriend's car. Oh wow! So I just I, I you know just started ramming into it because I was pissed. You know, the memories just came flooding back. Okay. So, what what color car was it that you ran into? Uh, my car is kind of a maroon color. It's a smart car. And our car was. You don't know what color car you have, or what are you colorblind or well, something? Well, yeah, I, I no, I know what color car I have. Well, I I'm just trying to figure out where you did this at. Oh, okay. Well, what does like if you, how how does that make a difference? Like where I did it at, what color your car was? Doesn't your car stay the same color no matter where you park? Yeah, it does really. Okay. So where do where do we go from here, buddy? I don't know. I was just pissed. So maybe you can apologize to me for dumping me. I thought it was my girlfriend's car. Okay, but it wasn't. I know. But can you just say, Roy, honey, I'm sorry that I broke up with you. I Can I say that? Could you? It would make me feel better. Well, Roy, honey, I'm sorry that I broke up with you. Oh, fuck you, bitch. You knew exactly what you were <laughs> there doing. There you go, Roy. Yeah. Whatever. So, okay. All right. I feel better now. Um, thank you. But my Tony. car is damaged, so what do I do? It's not really damaged because I drive a smart car. I don't think I even heard it when I rammed into the back. Mm, but I do have damage to the back. Oh, come on. Don't don't try and pull an insurance scam out of this. It's just a smart car. I can't I'm, not tr- I'm, not, I'm not trying to. But you you th- know, it, it's the only car that I have damage on is my Bentley. No, my my smart car suffered more damage than your car, so I think I should get your insurance information. Yeah, right. Yep. You know, why don't you come by and we'll exchange information? Oh, that sounds like a threat. No, that's not a threat at all. Oh, that's a very thinly veiled threat. No, we're we're having, we're currently having an estate sale. There's no threat. Oh, an estate sale. What's, what's that code for? Like, you're going to kill me with a shotgun? Uh, no. I know how people like you are. Do you? Yeah. Okay, really well, I'll tell you what. I'll just get in touch with the police, and we'll take it from there. Good. I'm going to tell them that you threatened my life. Well, you tell them what you want. I will. You just watch me. Jeez. I'm trying to work things out, and he threatens me. Yes, Roy. I'm Mr. Beckstrom again from uh, New York. Uh, so I'm getting a call back from you guys on uh, what you plan on doing, the uh, damage on the wife's car. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, yes. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It, it was an accident. <laughs> um, I know my husband was trying to get a hold of you. Yeah. Um, I think he le- he left his cell phone. He just wanted to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. I, you um, know, I, I was walking by and I, I thought I thought I saw like a kid in the car seat. Um, so I, I was trying to open your car. I was trying to use a Slim Jim and and pry it open and stuff. Um, but it turns out I just I was just I don't know. There's nobody in there. I, I opened up the car and I looked in and there's nobody in there. You opened my car up? Yeah, yeah, just to, to make sure there was no, no child in there. I thought there was a child locked in the car, and it's kind of warm that day. No, I, I work at True Value. Oh, okay. I work there. That's where mostly the employees park. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there was no kid in there. It turns out, um, it's just I, I must have seen my uh, own reflection. I think that's what it was. I saw my own okay. reflec- reflection in the window. Well, could you call my husband? He just wanted to talk to you. Okay, yeah, I tried to call him, and he wasn't picking up. Hey, um, I'm sorry, it's hard to hear you. Can you tell those kids in the background to shut the fuck up while we're talking? Excuse, excuse me? Tell those that, are my grandkids. Oh, yeah, he's really annoying and really irritating. Can you just tell him to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to talk. No, I will not tell my grandkids that. D- just No, just, just say it. Just say, shut the fuck up, and that, that'll make him be quiet. That's, that's what I do. It, it keeps him quiet. You got to say it was. Oh well, force. that's really nice that you talk to your grandkids and use that type of language. Yeah, my kids and my grandkids. 
Well, no, that's not parroting at all. Yes, it is. It's it's asserting yourself, letting them know who's boss. And, uh, and, and, no, it's not. And if they don't, but shut, if you can call, if the, if they don't shut the fuck up, then that's when you that's when you just really let them have it. Just throw them through the fucking uh, wall. No, I do not. Yeah, no, I do not think so. But well, yeah, if you could just. Um, it sounds like you're a, hor- a horrible, a and, horrible parent. Um, you're a terrible parent. No, I think you're terrible to break into somebody's car. Well, I didn't break in. I thought I was saving a life, so it wasn't my fault. At least I didn't break your window. That's what I did last uh, time. No, 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 no. So you're no, welcome. No, 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 no. You're welcome. So yeah, if you just could, um, my husband will probably be calling you back then. Yeah, because he's being a little bitch right now. He's not even picking up the phone. I I called him like three times. He's not picking up. Um, maybe he's not picking up because he works at a job. What jobs he work at? Um, that's none of your business. Well, you brought it up. I was just but, just keeping the conversation yeah, going. Yeah, well. Jeez. So, um, somehow we'll just um uh, get a hold of you. I noticed the kids are quieter. Did you kick them or did you just leave the room? No, actually, their father walked in the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, he knows so how to assert himself. Their he's, father. He's, yeah, yeah. He he. They know to shut the fuck up when no. he comes in, probably. No. Because, you know, he's... So my husband will be getting a hold of you. He knows how to parent. He knows how to do real parenting. Steve Fair. Oh, hey, Steve. I left a note on your car. Yes. About Where the... did you hit me? I didn't see it. Well, uh, I was taking the battery out of your car because I needed a jump. And what? Uh, when I... When I pulled the battery out of your car, I dropped it, and it kind of hit the bumper, and it scratched the front of the bumper. You were taking the battery out of my car. What were you taking the battery out of my car? What do you mean? I just, I needed a jump, and, and I didn't have jumper cables, so I just took your battery, and I set it on top of my battery where the terminals touched. Cause I didn't have, How did you do that? Um, you know, they were the same size, so that I just put your battery on top of my battery upside down. How did you get, how'd you get into my car? Uh, I use, I, you know, you can reach in there under the hood and you kind of pull the cable uh, as if you're hitting you the button. Fucking went, you went and, uh, without my permission, you went in my car? Yeah, I just needed to jump. I put it back and I tightened up your cables and everything. How did, how did you, you can't open my hood from the outside, can you? Yeah, yeah, you know, you get under the car, there's a cable and you can just kind of pull on the so cable. you fucked my car up? You went and you opened my hood without asking me? Well, it was an it's accident. Cool, dude. It was an accident. Dude, I'm, I'm more pissed that you fucking got in my car without... When you, my property, you went into my my hood without asking me. Well, I I just I needed a jump. I was stuck. Dude, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying. But you just you get, you get cables. You don't you don't uh, you don't uh, uh, go into somebody's car without their permission. Okay, I just Whoa, I didn't man. I didn't have jumper cables, so I had to do so something. What? I don't call the fucking the tow truck, man. Well, I don't have money That's for a tow truck. I don't give a fuck, dude. Okay, well, you don't have to be an asshole about it. Fucking, uh-huh. You don't have to be an asshole about it. I'm just letting you, you know. To, dude, I, I catch you fucking going in my car. I'd beat your ass, dude. Yeah, well, you didn't catch me, did you? And I left a note. Fuck I did the you, right thing. You mother. Hey. What? What? I will find you with this car. No, with, you With your phone number, dude. Oh, you won't find shit, motherfucker. Hey, fuck you, dude, because I will come find out. I'll beat your fucking ass, dude. I'd, I'd like to see you find me. Not even cool, dude. I hope you find me. We'll see what happens, won't we? Yeah. What kind of car do I got, then, dude? Oh, now you don't know what car, kind of car you got? Dude, just shut the fuck up, because you know what? What? Fucking faggot. Oh, you're a oh, fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, incidentally, I work over at the AutoZone, and uh, we sell batteries. I noticed yours is kind of low. And it has a dent in it. From what auto zone you work at, dude? From where it hit your bumper, it's kind of it's got a dent in it. So you might want to. I will. I will find out. Well, are you going to pay for my bumper? N- well, we've got new batteries for seventy nine ninety nine. Plus, you get a ten dollar uh, deposit refund on your old battery, even though it's damaged. So if you'd like to come in, you know, we'll get you set up with the new where battery. At? Tell me where at. Eighty bucks. Or where set- is it? What auto zone? Uh, it's the one nearby. Where's that at? Just come in and ask for Roy, motherfucker. So what are, you, what are you saying? You took my battery out? But I put it back in. It's just damaged now. 
you know, I'm going to go to the, the, the city because they got that on tape. They got that, all that shit on tape. I know everybody works at the cop shop. Uh, they're going to, they're not going to have me on tape taking your battery out. Yeah, they are. They got that whole area on tape. Oh, dude. bullshit. No, they don't have shit. Fuck if they don't. I don't think they do. They probably don't even run those cameras. It's probably pointless to even try that. Just quit calling me, dude, because you're, you're worthless. You're a worthless piece of shit, so quit calling well, me. I was trying to give you my insurance information, but you're being a dick. Okay. Yep, he's pretty much right. I'm completely worthless, but I'm okay with that. This first one was a request from a guy named Tom. He gave me the phone number to his old landlord and gave me permission to use his real name and do some sort of a reference check on him. And, of course, I'm just like, fuck you, listener. I'm going to do what I want. And I did this instead. Thank you for calling Off Apartments. This is Robin. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Robin. This is Steve Day from Oakview Apartments over on Green Bay. Hi. Hi. Um, hey, uh, I, was, I was calling to um, find out. You, you used to have a Tom living there not too long ago. He says he lived in apartment 3P. Uh, correct. Okay, yeah. He lives over here now. And... Um, did, did you know about the tunnels that he dug underneath the building? Mm-mm. Yeah, he's, uh, okay, so, so we're, we're like, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 blocks from you, and he's dug a tunnel all the way from your apartment to our apartment, and he's got a bunch of living space down there underneath the ground. Really? Yeah, and, d- like, he's, there's, um, I walked all the way over there, and it looks like uh, there's a hatch I can lift up, and it's a hidden hatch. It's on your property, though. And uh, there, there's several of them over there, and I don't know. He's been at this for quite a while. I just, I, I'm not sure what to think of all this. It's pretty bizarre. I've never seen anything like this. And you're, and you're where? I'm over at uh, Oak View Apartments. Um, it, it's uh, just, uh, it's here. In, it's kind of down 18th Street, and then you, you turn on uh, Hillcrest, and we're we're back there a little ways. But yeah, he's he's dug a tunnel all like all this way, like way, you know, <laughs> across town basically. You're and, uh, like you're serious. Oh yeah, completely serious and uh he has he has a hatch coming up into the apartment here. I was just doing a walk through today just to, you know, check the smoke alarms and everything. Yeah. And he had the hatch opened. He's not even here right now. I haven't talked to him about it. But um and, he, he's got a map up here that shows uh, you know, all the different areas of it goes to this guy's basically for real yeah yeah and it goes over there to the apartment there's like a hatch over there by your dumpster what what is by the dumpster yeah well it's hidden from up there i don't think it's visible from up there um it's like i, I lift up the hatch and there's like stuff on top of it so you can't really see it from from above but uh <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know what to think about this. I, I don't know if you guys approved of that or if, uh, well, if, if you knew about no. it. No. Oh, you didn't know about no. it? No. Um, did, did you know Tom that well? Like, is, he's he's okay in the head and everything, right? He, se- he seems uh, like a nice fellow. I mean, I only saw him on occasion, so, I mean, yeah, I assume. Yeah, he pays his rent on time. You know, he's 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 a clean person and everything. His, his apartment's very clean up here. It's just... He's uh, got this hatch in his closet, and I don't know. I've been looking through these notebooks. I don't know if I should be doing this, but it just shows the excavation and all the digging he's done over the years and has maps of everywhere the tunnels go to. And, and it seriously comes here to our property? Yeah, yeah. It's a, the, tunnel, the, the main tunnel is just a direct connection between your apartment building and our apartment building, and I don't know what what like i don't know why like what it's all for but then there's side tunnels it goes up over to other buildings like there's one to a convenience store and it opens up behind the convenience store oh my god and yeah yeah just uh, are you in are you in his apartment right now yeah well i'm in the tunnel right now I, i'm uh i'm walking back toward back toward my apartment it's a long walk What? Yeah, I don't what? know. It's weird, isn't it? I don't. I don't know what to do about did, this. I, I don't even know. So how to... Did you actually come to my property? Yeah, yeah. I walked over there and I lifted up the hatch, and it's right by the dumpsters, and it's what right, du- right where it said it would be on the map. I, I just wanted to make sure it was real, and 
I know like on his application here, he wrote that uh, he used to live there at that place. I think we did a reference check on him when he first moved in. Um, so when you, when you actually came up through the, the here, what dumpster is it by? Um, I, like, could you describe the area? Well, I didn't feel comfortable coming out of the hatch and, and uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, a dumpster area. It's, I, I don't know what was on top of it to hide it. I it just, like, I think it was just grass, like fake AstroTurf type grass. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not totally sure. Well, oh But, my God. yep, I don't know. We should probably look into this and figure out what's going on Is with it, this Tom character. Can, oh, my God. Can you, um, can you come to my office? Sure, yeah. Is that yeah, a possibility I, I, I that could, you could come by and bring a copy? I could drive um, over there in a little bit. Yeah, I could. Well, I, I, I don't think I can really uh, copy the paperwork and everything. That'd be like a violation of privacy. I just, I, I was a little freaked out when I saw the tunnel in the closet. Oh, like I, yeah. I had, to climb okay. down, I had to climb down a ladder and, you know, went down to the tunnels and, I mean, th this is a You're huge, kidding me. Huge, I just can't. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a huge yeah. operation. There, there's, there's stuff down here. There's, I don't know why he's paying rent. He's got like an entire apartment here underground. Very, oh my God, that's so weird. Yeah, I mean, there, there's electricity down here. There's running water. There's walls. Seriously? Like, like, yeah, it's like drywalled and everything. It's the darndest thing. <sighs> okay. So, but you don't Could know anything about Tom? Like, did you, like you said you uh, no. saw him every once in a while? Nah, no. I mean, he we saw him rarely. Did he seem, well, probably because he's underground digging all day. Is it possible for you to like take a picture with your phone? Oh yeah, just yeah. So I can eyeball it to see where we would be able to go to find this hatch here. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, I don't feel like walking all the way over there because this is a long walk. Like I'm, I'm, my pits are sweating. I mean, I'm. Oh, I can, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. If you could, if you can get a picture of his map, though, if you, when you come to my office, maybe I can go out there and maybe we can figure out where it might be yeah yeah well i walked over to the one behind the convenience store and and opened that one up and i saw where that one was it was right by the dumpster too by the convenience store mm -hmm. i forget which store that was it was, it was uh you know it's right by the parking lot though i'm surprised no one's seen him coming out of that one so it's, it's like hogan's heroes you know like they just got all these like for real hatches everywhere with you know lifts up a dog house or whatever Okie dokie. Well, yeah, I mean, if you could, if you want to, you know, when you, <laughs> yeah, when you get back from your jaunt, maybe. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'll be back in, in uh, I don't know, another 15 minutes or so, and then I'll, I'll work on driving over. Hopefully, okay, Tom, ho hopefully Tom's home, because I want to I wanna chat with him about this whole thing. He's not supposed to be putting holes in the closets. Have you looked in his apartment unit by chance, like, since he's moved out? Because... There could oh, be... yeah, of course. We have to turn them, so... Yeah, well, this one is like a secret hatch. So you might you may have not noticed it. Like, it's it's a but hatch in the closet. He, he opens it up, and, you know, when he puts it back he down... Was in a, he was in an upstairs unit. Yeah, but the, uh, the according to this map, it goes up through the wall, like through the back of the wall. Like, there's some space behind the wall, and there's a ladder back there. You're and, kidding me. Yeah, it says it opened up through the drywall or something, like a, a secret door in the drywall. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I can't, I can't really, you know, I don't know the layout of your apartments, but maybe if you looked in, in unit 3P and saw where the, you know, where there might be a seam in the drywall or something. I don't think that would be possible. Oh, there's somebody living there? Well, yeah, but I don't think it's possible for. I don't know. Like this, this is a pretty impressive hatch here. Like when I closed it, it I can't even tell it's there. And I opened hmm. opened it back up and walked over to your place. Oh, wow. So wow, yeah. I I don't know what to think about all this. I'm flabbergasted. Huh. Yep. Well, yeah, uh, stop on over and see me if you can, um, and if you can get a picture of the map so I have an idea of where we need to look, um, 
when you get here, then mm-hmm. we can wander out there. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to have to evict like, Tom, though. Well, like, probably. <laughs> we, we can have hatches in our in our closet floors. Uh, yeah. Yep. yep. I don't yeah. know what he's up to. I don't know what he's trying to do here. It's you Let's don't have any scary. any any information about him at all. Like, is he I like do not. ex-military or anything like that? No, I I don't believe so. No. Okay. All right. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't believe so. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm about ten minutes away, so I'll uh, I'll drive on over there pretty soon and and show you what I got. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll try All and, right, we'll see you soon. Yeah, maybe I can go over there and like identify where the you know over by the dumpster and see where that hatch is. Maybe we can yeah figure out where yeah it that's is. what I was kind of hoping so that we can find it and um, fill it with cement. Do something nice. <clears throat> I, I well put a hose down that. there. Yeah, that's what we should do. We should put a hose down there and just fill the whole thing up with water. <laughs> Fuck Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. I know. Like. Like, I still, I'm not sure if you're messing with me. No, oh, no, I'm not. Like, I promise, you'll see when I get there. This is the the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My, my entire uh, perception of everything's been altered today. I, I just, well. Uh, what, what? Okay. Okay, all well, right. Well, yeah, and definitely if we find something like that, I will probably have to call the PD. Yeah, oh, I don't know. But it seems harmless enough. It's just, you know, it's just against policy here. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely seal this up from this end. Yeah. There's a couple other uh-huh. hatches around our apartment too. I noticed, but I didn't go up those to see where they come out at. Is it? Oh, well, that's the bad thing. What is? I mean, what, what's the reason for it? it yeah, makes no I don't sense. know. I don't know. He's just crazy or or something. Tom's in, insane, I guess. Something's not right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon. I'll I'll be over there soon. Okay. Have a nice day. All oh, right. What was thank your name you. again? I'm sorry. What's your name? This is Robin. Okay, Robin. Great. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, shit, Tom. I bet you're regretting giving me that number now. Giving me permission to do a reference check on you. After that call, I was really in the mood to do a bunch of underground tunnel calls. So that's what I did for the rest of the Snowplow Show. Here's a few of my favorite calls from yesterday's show. Thank you for calling Real Estate. This is Melissa. Hey, Melissa. This is Steve Dave from PG&E, the electric company. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. I just needed to let you know we're going to be putting an additional power meter on one of your properties over on Street. Oh, Okay. Um, it's 19, I mean, it's 915 and a half street. Oh, okay. Is there an extra charge or anything? Oh, no, no extra charge. We just thought we'd let you know why there's an extra power meter on the house. There's actually a, a family living below ground, directly below their house, like in an underground bunker type thing. Oh, really? Yep. And they just want to, they just want to have electricity down there. They've never had power before. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty weird. I've I've never done an installation like this before. So they've been living underground with like no power or anything? Yeah, yeah, since the sixties they say. They're 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 second generation living down there. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that that's no problem at all. So that'll go directly to them underneath. Yeah, yeah, there won't be any and problems. How do they that, get under there? Is, uh there's a secret entrance. It's about a block away. It's uh in in a wooded type area. They like lift up a door, and there's a tree on top of it. It's it's That's it's creepy. pretty complicated, yeah. <laughs> but they're nice people, though. You know, they have kids, they have a dog. It's it's like a, a really large area down here. It's pretty neat. Wow. Well, I guess it's safe. I mean, you don't really have to worry about anybody breaking into your house or That's true. Yeah. Anything like that. No one's gonna know where you're at. <laughs> yeah. Except for me. I know now, and you know what? I know. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I have criminal friends, and I'm tempted to tell them, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's no problem at all. Okay, well, I'm glad you don't mind. And do you guys pay for the water there by chance? Uh, the owner does, yes. Okay, yeah. Um, just so you know, they've tapped into the water pipes, so you're paying for their water down there too. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. They they were bragging about it. They're like, yeah, we we don't have to pay for any water down here. It's all free, but... I guess the electric lines don't come anywhere where they can cut into them and tap in. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but you know they don't use a lot of water. They're they're very conservative people. Wow. Okay. So yeah, yeah, no big deal. It shouldn't be a problem. At least they're okay. paying for the electric. You know. I know. <laughs> thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Carmen, how can I help you? Hi, this is Steve Day from uh, PG&E, the electric company. Uh huh. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be installing another power meter up there on your property on College Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, it's a, there's some people living underneath the apartment buildings, and we're hooking up power for them. There's people living underneath the property? Yeah, well, they're in a, it's like a large cavernous room. It's a cave, basically. It's about ah. 20 feet below the building. But, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's directly below the building, so we have to put the power meter on your building because there's nowhere to put it underground. How is it that they're living? Okay, can you call back like in 20 minutes and just let the manager know regarding this? Oh, why can't you call him? Why can't you tell him? Um, I can tell him. Can I get your name and contact information? Sure. That way they have any questions. Well, if you want, I can call the manager right now. It's just, uh, you know, I'm going to be underground installing this stuff in 20 minutes, and I, I don't have a cell signal in, in the bunker. You don't have a cell phone right now either? No, no. I'm saying I don't have a cell signal when I'm in the bunker. You know, when I'm underground, there's no cell signal down there. I'm going to be below the apartment building working on the wiring. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just not understanding how they're living underneath the apartment complex, though. Uh, they've dug a, a, a large bunker. It's about the same size as the entire apartment building down uh, up there. And uh, there's a family of five living down here, husband and wife and three kids and a dog. And they, they just live down here, but they don't have electricity yet. So they're wanting and to... you're calling from PG&E? Correct, yeah. If you have what's the, your name? If you have the manager's number, I can just call him right now. What's your name? My name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Yep. Steve Dave. Correct, yes. And you don't have a phone number that way, just in case in an hour or so she might call and have any questions okay, after sure. you're done. Yeah, yeah. Six six one. Uh huh. Four two zero. Uh huh. Six nine six nine. You could have just looked on caller ID though. Okay. So let me um already let me have the manager as soon as she gets in. I'll have her call you. Okay. Yeah. The the underground bunker it's directly below unit twelve. It's about twenty feet but. below the ground. About 20 feet? Yep, yep, and it's uh, it's about the same size as a regular apartment unit up there. Like on our records, we have your address as their address. We're just putting it like it's, you know, it's the subterranean level, number one, as the apartment number. So is this something that we're going to be paying too? Oh, no, no, you don't have to do anything at all. It's just we want to put the power meter up there on the building. So, you know, just because we have to be able to see the power meter without having to. So you to have to put it on our complex. Yeah, there's nowhere else to put it. Okay, so let me give you a call back within the next 10 minutes. Oh, I thought the manager was going uh, to call me back, not you. No, yeah. Let me get in contact that way I can see what I can do, and then yes. uh, I'll call you or she'll call you. Okay, well, don't you want me to just call her myself right now real quick? No, it's fine. I'll go ahead and give her a call right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just overcomplicate everything, just like you always do. Excuse me? You heard me. But okay. Okay, let me give her a call and then we'll give you a call back. Yeah, yeah, you already told me that. Now you're just repeating yourself, lady. Okay, thank you. Have All a right. good day. You too. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Hello? Hey there, this is uh, Steve Dave from the power company, pg &E. Yes. And uh, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be putting a second power meter on your home over on Jerry Avenue. Okay, a second power meter? Um, it, I thought it already has two power meters. Oh, I, I guess I, technically a third power meter. I, I, yeah, it's a duplex, a, I guess. A third power meter? Yeah. I don't know why would you be putting a third power meter on there? There's, uh, there's some people living in this underground bunker type area b directly below the property, and we're hooking up electricity for them. I guess they've been. Oh, oh okay. Oh, but but, it, but you're, you have to. You have to you have to put a meter over by my property? Yeah, well, it's directly underneath your house. 
and there's just nowhere else to put it. Directly underneath my house. They're putting a bunker underneath my house? No, well, no, it's an existing bunker. They've lived there for years. It's a family of five living down there. But underneath it, my house? Yes, but I guess they've just been living with no power. They've just been using battery power and generator power and stuff like that. So they're wanting to hook up electricity. Yeah, they're living underneath my house? How are yeah. they doing that? Well, not... Uh, not uh, uh, it's under huh? it's underground. It's like way below the property. It's like twenty feet below your house, but we just don't have anywhere else to put the meter. Um, is so, this going to affect my? I I can't believe that people are living underground underneath my house. Oh, yeah. that, uh, huh? This is actually the second um, install I've done for an underground bunker since I've been working for PG&E. I guess some people just want to live like off the grid and underground and everything, but. Yeah, this is like a family of five people down there. They've been living without electricity. But and it, they want to put the meter where? Well, that's just the only place we have to put the meter because it's directly below your property. And and their address is technically, their their home address on our records is going to be 20 Jerry Avenue. Uh, just, I don't think so. I gonna, don't, this doesn't sound right. We're going to make have it. to check it out. We're going to um, do like uh, a apartment sub-level two, sub-level one. Uh, and, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that, that's just I the way we... You're not going to put a meter on my property for somebody else. Well, it's not going to It's um, not going to affect you. It's It's not going to be a big deal. Well, no, I think it is going to be a big deal. I don't uh, I don't like the idea of somebody living underneath my property. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, they're going to live down um, there no matter what. It's just, they're just going to have electricity now. Don't you want these... I mean, there's like kids that live down here. You don't want them to have electricity? Well, I don't care. I don't, I'm not putting a meter kids? for somebody else on my property. Yeah, but um, it, it doesn't I don't hurt. Think so. It doesn't hurt their, you. Their address is my address. I don't think so. Yeah, it just <laughs> well, their address is already your address because it's re- it's directly below. It's just. I uh, don't think so. I don't. Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, that's um, that's how it is. <laughs> but yeah, we have to put the power meter on your house, and and it's well, just, no, you don't. You're not going to put a power meter on my it's, house. <laughs> it's not going to hurt anything, sir. It's it's going to be yeah, fine. Yeah, no, you're not going to. You're uh, you're not putting a power meter on my house. You probably you wouldn't have even. Else to put it. You probably wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't told you about it. It's it's not not a well, big deal. Well, you're not going to put another meter on my house. Well, why not? Okay, because. But you can find another place to put it. Well, there's okay? no, there's nowhere else to put it. It's at your address. The, the well, it's not going to be at my address. You're not, you're not putting a power pole on my, on my property. Well, it's not a power okay? pole. It's just the, it's just the meter that goes on the side of the house. Yeah, you're not going to put another meter on my property. I'm sorry. Well, the, there's nowhere else to put it. Wow, he just wants this family with little kids to live in the dark forever. What a dick. Hello? Hey, we're going to put it there whether you like it or not. And if you take it down, we'll, no. we'll have you arrested. Oh, you will, huh? That's no, right. you're not going to put a power pole on oh, my property. Oh, we absolutely there's, will. There's, there's, two, there's, two, there's, two, homes, there's two, two homes, an A and a B on my property. There's, there's three. There's not a fucking third home. There is three. So, there's three homes on your property, and we're putting electricity in the third one. They have every right. There is three homes on my property. There is two. It's just I, underground. You just can't see it, you idiot. I've so, never heard of this. Video. How do they access it? Uh, there, there's an entrance. It's uh, kind of far away. It's like a couple blocks away. It's like a, a tunnel, and they just walk over to it. They don't leave that often, though, they're telling me. So the, so the entrance yeah. isn't on your property. It's just directly below it. Well, and it's, like it's, I said, I don't, I, don't want, uh, I don't want a third meter put on my property. Well, it's, so, the, uh, it's the uh, exact same uh, size uh, as yeah. your house. Huh? It's the exact same size as your house. Now I don't see why you're getting all bent out of shape about it. It's not like it's a nice house. I looked at it up there. It looked, it's not that nice of a house. Oh, well, it's not, huh? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, it's nothing to, to get all worked up about. Well, I don't care. I'm not, I am getting worked up about it because I don't think... Uh, I'm going to have to check... I'm going to have to check the legal rights of, uh, of this so-called bunker underneath my house because as far as I know... My my uh, uh, mineral rights goes down below, so I don't see how somebody can dig a tunnel underneath well, I don't my think, house. I don't think 20 feet below. I think there's a limit. Uh, but no, you I'm can't just kick these out. people out. They have squatters' I, rights. Huh? You can't just kick people out of this place. They have squatters' rights. The whole family living down here. <laughs> well, they're not gonna. They're not gonna have a a, a meter on my property. That's for damn sure. Oh yes, they will. I'm putting it on there this <laughs> no, weekend. They won't. It's happening this weekend. I've already wired it up down here, and this weekend we're gonna finish it up up on top. <laughs> well, uh, who do you work for? I work for PG and E. 
You work for PG and E. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have a, a Do you have a supervisor's name? Yeah, Ryan Jardina, and he'll tell okay. you the exact same thing. They have every legal right to a, a electricity just like anyone else. I mean, how would Ryan you like it? Jar- how would you like it if Jardina. someone said you couldn't have electricity okay, in your home? Do you have a phone number for Ryan Jardina? Sure, it's area code six six one six one eight three. I mean, like, you, you want these little kids to just live in the dark. Is that it? It's not my problem. I, that, I, didn't, I didn't build no tunnel. Uh, yeah, well, you problem. know what? I don't think these little kids did either. So, you know, you shouldn't uh, be such a douche canoe about the whole thing. It's not my problem. I don't know what they're doing living underground. So, uh, you know, it's not my problem. Yeah, and it's none of your business uh, either. You know, just let them be. The, the power meter is yeah, not going to yeah. bother you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to let them be because gonna, they're not going to live underneath my property. But, um, well, they, I didn't even know about such a thing. So uh, yeah, see, it doesn't uh, even matter to you. You're just trying to make a big deal of, of nothing, just so you can fuck with someone else's life. You're kind of <laughs> being a douche canoe about the whole thing. I uh, I'm gonna be calling the, your supervisor, so I'll check good. this out. Good, Ryan's gonna tell you the, yeah, the exact same thing. Can you believe that guy? The family's lived down there for generations, probably longer than he's been alive, and he thinks he's gonna kick him out. Won't let these poor kids have electricity. What a shitty person. On today's show, we're basically just going to have one single prank call. Well, it's two, sort of, but they're to the same family, so I don't know if that counts. This is another one from 2015 that I just discovered again recently. And a listener sent me a photograph of a bunch of people that were on this car recall list. And I guess they snapped a picture from a car dealership that they were at. You know, the list was just kind of sitting out there for anyone to see. And I called up everybody on the list. I gave them crazy stories about their car. I told some people they were going to have to do the fix themselves. And I told other people that we'd upgraded their car to a self-driving car. And I told one guy that I lost my weed pipe in his car. I think I'm going to play these calls that I'm talking about on the next episode. But on this episode, you're going to be treated to uh, just one family of people. You're going to listen to uh, the depressed father, and then the angry mother, and then the sassy daughter. I think in that order, if I'm not mistaken. This entire call is 24 minutes long, so it's just long enough for an episode of this show. And I thought about leaving the the first guy off of here because he's just so depressing. He just kind of takes everything I throw at him. He's like, okay, I guess that's whatever, you know. If that's the way it's got to be, then that's the way it's got to be. But he gives me his wife's number, and then I get to talk to his wife and his daughter. And it gets much more fun right around that time. So hang in there. Try not to get too depressed listening to this first guy. He's the shortest part of the whole thing, but it's worth it in the end. I promise. Just keep listening. Hello. Hello, Frank. Yeah. Hey, Frank. It's Roy from the car dealership. I'm calling about your Fusion. Yeah. And I needed to let you know that we did a firmware update over the internet to your car. Yeah. So it's updated the software. You sound depressed. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm getting there. I I just had a busy day and i'm kind of wore out oh okay um well you're probably not going to want to hear this then uh we we had to do an update that limits your car's top speed to 55 miles an hour what about being 55 miles an hour Uh, your car will no longer go faster than 55 miles an hour oh yeah yep that's a fusion yeah yeah yep what about on my uh Taurus, is there anything on it? Uh, yeah, we've limited both of them. The Taurus also. So yeah. you 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 will no longer be able to go faster than fifty five miles an hour. Oh, okay. You're okay with that, but right? We we have gone faster than fifty five. I know, but we just up, we just updated it today, so you can no longer go faster than fifty five. Okay. Is there still a uh, She's still on the list to get that bolt or whatever it is that goes in that steering. Yeah, yeah. That still hasn't arrived. It's going to be another week before that arrives, and then we can schedule you an appointment. Yeah. Um, Also, I was... uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, I just wanted to let you know that also your car is not going to... It won't start up after 6 p.m. from now on because you're too old to to drive after dark. Oh, Christ. In other words, I might as well just get a bike. Get a bike. 
I was, Hell no, I don't want no bike. Okay, I'll well, get I, me a little motor scooter or something. Oh yeah, hover round. I hear hover rounds are really awesome. Yeah. Um, so after after what time now? After six p.m. Because you know, in the winter time, it gets dark earlier. I know it doesn't get dark at six p.m. right now, but it will soon. So, so yeah, your my wife got it. My wife's got a little job, and she don't she don't get off till after eight o'clock oh. right now. She's gonna have to walk home. Huh? She's gonna have to walk home. I am. Yeah, no, your wife is because uh, her car oh. won't run after six p.m. Does she drive the Taurus? No, she uh she driving the fusion, that's her car. Oh, okay, yeah, both of those. They're not gonna work anymore after six PM. The radio will still that's work, so she can get in there and just listen to the radio until morning. Yeah. I wish she uh you was telling her this stuff. She'd be coming down there trying to choke you or something. <laughs> really? Uh is she at work now? I could, if you give me your number I could call her yeah, and let her know. She's now. Okay, I'd, I'd love to talk to her if she'll do that. Yeah, uh, call uh, five five. Okay. And just ask for, like, what's her name? Margie. Margie? Margie. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll she, I'll, I'll give her a call. She ain't gonna care for this at all. <laughs> I don't either. But yeah, but, you know, no. what can you do? I know. Also, um, pretty much every, uh, you know, like it has GPS in the car. We're going to be sending all of the GPS data to the Chinese government so they can see yeah. where you've gone and how fast you drive. Oh, yeah. Who you send it to? The Chinese government. Oh, Jesus. Do we do anything in this country anymore? Well, yeah, you can do whatever you want. We're, it's a free country. But the Chinese government's going to know. When? Know. Well, we just have to send it to the Chinese government. It's for uh, it's so we can make more money. Yeah. That's how we were able to sell you the car for so cheap. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, well, you're going to have to call her and talk to her. I don't know because I'm at home and she's working. She works about. Oh. Uh, I say about 10 miles from where I live. Oh, well, that's not that far of a walk. She could do that in about three hours. Yeah. And if she does, she'll be looking to break your neck. <laughs> I don't want that. Even, even even though it's not your fault. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a cog in the machine. Yep. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Anyway, I was just kidding about all that stuff. Your, your car is you fine. Are? Yeah, yeah, I was just kidding. Your car will work after six. Come on, who would do that? You and the Chinese. <laughs> no, we don't work with the Chinese. We hate the Chinese. Yeah, they're, I hope so. They're a bunch of jerks. No, actually, I was calling to let you know that the um, the part's ready. You can. Would you like to make an appointment to to come in? That uh, you mean that bolt that goes in that. Uh steering column or whatever yeah yeah because if we don't get that in there the steering column could just fall right off yeah that uh well she's she's working right now and she's uh she was planning on um uh, taking it out tomorrow she takes her sister out on fridays oh okay uh, you want me to just call her and let her know yeah, why don't you do that? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, if if anything, well, she can she could bring it down there in the morning, or one of us can, and drop it off for a while, and she can just use my car if she has to. Okay, that sounds good. Well, Another thing too, <sighs> uh, my my trunk of my Taurus has got these. Um, Two, uh, they're kind of like uh, shocks. It makes the the uh, trunk go up. Yeah. Anyway, them things are, is wore out. They won't 
they won't let it do that no more. Oh. you got to go over there and hold the trunk lid up so you can put your stuff in the trunk. Oh, yeah. if, if you... If you just kind of unscrew the cap, you know, that they kind of come in half and just blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just like you're blowing up a balloon, just blow into that metal tube thing. That'll fix it. Yeah. Okay. That'll do it. All right. So I'll uh, just go ahead and call her and see if, see if she uh, will go along with uh, her bringing it in there tomorrow. Okay, can I can I tell her all that fake stuff just to see if she gets angry? Well, she's liable to. She gets kind of mean. Oh, that's perfect then. Yeah. Okay. But I gotta sleep with her and everything. After you tell her, that's just a big joke. Oh, that's true. I don't want to mess up, <laughs> uh, you know, pr- private time tonight. <laughs> that's right. All right, I'll be nice then. Okay then. All right. Well, have a nice oh, day. Oh, you have a nice evening w- too. Watch some TV. Make sure you get a massage from from her when she gets home. Yeah. It sounds like you need it. Okay. All right. You take care now. You too. Goodbye. What is your name? This is Roy. Roy. Yep. Where Where do you work? Uh, um, mainly. Oh, I'm at the dealership. I'm I mainly work in the service area, the service bay. Oh, do you? Yep. That's good. I worked there for a little while after I retired. That oh. was a big mistake. That's oh yeah. After I, I was getting um, too much money. <sighs> oh yeah. After, after I retired, oh. I spent forty-eight years with Ford. Oh yeah, it's a good so company. I was I was getting a oh. top pension <laughs> on my. I'm uh, going under a freeway overpass. And, uh, all right, I have. I couldn't listen to any more of that. Hello. Hello, Margie. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the car dealership. I'm calling about your Fusion. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I needed to let you know that uh, we've updated your car through the internet. So we've uh, it's updated the software in it. And yeah. um it it's we've made it so that your car's top speed is now fifty five miles per hour. Huh? We've made it so you can't go faster than fifty five miles an hour. I can't? Correct, yeah, yeah. Just to be Why safe. Why can't I? Uh, it's just to be safe. Why? Well we don't want you to get in a wreck, so we've limited your car's top speed to fifty five miles an hour. And for what reason? Uh, just, just Other be- than being safe. Well, we're, we're able to see uh, how fast you drive normally and how much you swerve around on the road. And we noticed that you're kind of a bad driver. So we've lim- I am not a bad driver. Oh, yes, you I've w- never had a ticket in my life. Well, maybe you're just lucky, but we, we just... Uh, who, we- is, who, who are you with? I'm with the car dealership where you have you got uh, your... Uh, look, your, look, your- look. I, you have no right to change that in my car. Uh, well, we've also changed it so you can't drive anymore after 6 p.m. Because we don't want you driving in the dark, because that's where you do most of your bad driving. Uh, you must have the wrong person. I see perfectly fine. Are you sure? Because maybe someone... I'm are positive. You, are you, let, you uh, must have the wrong person. Are you, are you letting a bad driver use your car? No. Is I'm it, the only one that drives my car. It's not your husband? No. Okay. Well, yeah, we, we've we've shut off your car after you 6 p.m. You better put it back the way it was. Oh, no. No, we can't do it because we don't want you to get hurt. You better put it, you put it back the way it was. Or, or I'll take this guy darn car right back. And they can shut it up there. We're in. Well, you won't get a refund, especially with that attitude. Why do I have an attitude? You're the one that gave me the attitude. Okay. and I have to, My driving is perfectly safe. I have to tell you a third thing also. You know how your car has GPS in it, so they can see where you go. Where do I go? Well, no, I'm saying. Tell me where I go. No, no, no. Just listen. It has GPS. We're going to forward all of your GPS data to the Chinese government. Why to the Chinese government? Cause they pay us to do that, so we make money that way, and that's how we're able to sell uh, you cars for so cheap. You, you leave me and my car alone. 
No. I'm going to call and find out what the heck's going on. It's just, and if my car can't go further than, if I can't drive past 6 p.m., and if I can't drive faster than 55 mile an hour, this car is going right back to my... Well, no, these are government regulations. We're allowed to do this. Uh, government regulations? Says who? I've never heard of such a thing. It, it's just the way we do things now, you know? Who does things? And, it, everyone. We, and what does the Chinese government have to do with it? We can update... Why, why should you get paid to give government China, uh, the Chinese government my information? Well, we're not going to actually give it to them. We've just given them the login information you for your car. You sell it to them. Right. We've sold them the login information to your car, so it's just going to be them logging into your car. They can also watch you through the camera on the dashboard. Do what? <laughs> you know, just... I, mean, I do nothing wrong with my car. I do nothing wrong. I, I drive five miles over the speed limit. Oh, see, there you go. That's something I've that's never, wrong. I've never had. Uh, uh, you know, I don't always do that. It's illegal, but if though. I do it on the highways. It's five miles over. Not even more than five miles over. So what you're saying but is, I, is you only break the law sometimes. Everybody does. Oh, that doesn't make it right. I, I mean, every everybody, everybody that uh, has a new car and don't drive it five miles over, they're going to have this done to them. Uh, yeah, um, well, I mean, if we want to, just if we want to. Uh, also, while I, I was do- while I was doing the update on your car, I noticed that there's the smell of marijuana smoke inside your car. No one smokes in my car. Well, I don't smoke. Well, do you smoke marijuana? Because that's the we were detecting a marijuana no, smell. No, I do not. No, I, I've never ever done that. I'm seventy years old. Well, yeah, some old people they smoke for for you know arthritis. Well, I and- sure don't. I've never even tried to crap. And don't intend to. Okay. Well, no, you don't have to deny it because we can tell that your car smells like marijuana. <laughs> oh my God! I do not. Sm- no, no one in my car has smoked marijuana. Um, do, do you take it in for oil changes? Maybe the people that get your your oil changed. Yes. May, maybe they go yes, in. I do. Maybe they smoke marijuana wh- while they're changing the oil. I've never smoked marijuana, and don't ever intend to. M- well, maybe the my husband never. My mother husband has never drove my car. Maybe the oil change uh, people. Maybe they get in your car and they smoke marijuana while they sit in your car and listen to the radio. You know. You know, I I don't understand this conversation at all. I do not understand this conversation at all. You're telling me if I get in my car right now, I can't drive it. Yeah, because it's, it's six after o'clock. six. You're going to have to walk home tonight. You're a bunch of bulls. Go to hell. What? Why? You keep telling me. That, that's. <laughs> yes? Oh, I also needed to let you know that that, uh, that bolt is in for your power steering. Oh, thanks a lot. But and you can bring it over. How am I supposed to get it there if I can't drive it? Oh, you can. Oh, that's right. You can't bring it over tonight. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning you, you know can. You know what? You know what? I oh. work, and I better be able to drive home tonight. Um, I don't know. It's after six. Well, I better be able to drive home. Okay, I'm not supposed to tell people this, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, you know, there's a clock in there. If you set the clock to nine in the morning, it'll start letting you drive again. So you're just going to have to trick the car by changing the clock. Oh my God! But I, don't don't tell anyone I well, told I'm you. Well, I'm leaving here, and I'm going straight to first thing in the morning because I know they're probably closed now. Yeah. And and I'll let them tell me this is all happening. Okay. Don't okay? Don't, don't tell them that I told you about the clock trick because I'm not supposed to tell that. Okay. J- just make Fine. sure make sure you don't drive like an idiot like you usually do because. I don't drive like an idiot. Well, our records show that you do. Well, you must have the wrong Ford. No, no, it's definitely yours. We it has your. Uh, we we looked on the records. I looked on the dashboard camera, and, and that's your face in there. Oh my God! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do not drive like a maniac. Never have. Maybe when I was younger, but not now. Well, m- you. maybe this is payback for driving like a maniac in your younger days. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you know, can we end this? I'm at work, and I have something to do. I have to do. Okay. Where, so do, you, please, where do you work uh, at? Uh, I ain't going to tell you that. Oh, why not? I might want to come by and buy why something. Why would I tell you that? Well, just in case I want to buy why something. Why would I tell you that? I want to buy stuff, maybe. Did you get a name? 
You What's know? your name, sir? This is oh, Roy. Roy. Yep. I'm sorry. They're trying to pull some kind of bullshit. Wh- who are you? What's she saying? Who are you? Uh, who is this? Is, is this Margie still? I'm her, don't worry about it. No, it's not. Who are you? Well, who are you? I'm her daughter. Why oh. are you trying to pull on her? Oh, I'm not trying to pull anything. I was just letting her know about the firmware no, wh- update. Wh- Do what? I was just letting her know about the firmware update we sent to her car. The what update? The firmware. It's like a software update. We send it through the internet on the car. Okay. So I, why are you telling her that people are smoking marijuana in her car and she can't drive it after 6 o'clock? Okay, look, I know it was probably you smoking the marijuana in her car. No, 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 honey. No, 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 honey. I'm 50 years old. I don't smoke fucking marijuana. Well, she's acting... You're pissing me off here. Well, well, don't be playing games with my mom. I will come down there and kick your ass. Oh, no, you won't. What is this about? I have what a, is this about? I have a black belt. You can't kick my ass. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck what you got. Do you want to fight? What are you doing calling her and telling her this bullshit? Well, hey, I'll fight you if you want to fight. I'll prove it to you. I can kick your ass easily. Oh, you're threatening to kick my ass. No, I didn't no. threaten. My phone I, I'm just saying. Why are you calling her and telling her this? I know how to defend myself. I'm a sensei. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Why are you telling her? Look, look. Why are you telling her this stuff? Well, because I just needed to let her know. We're, we're, we're required by law to let her know. Who told you someone was smoking marijuana in her car? Well, it, Nobody the, drives their car. The com- Nobody drives their car Hey, but her. shut up. Shut up. No, the computer, it tells You're us... You're telling me to shut up. You're telling me to shut up. Well, I couldn't you talk because me? you keep interrupting. Then tell me. Who, who told you someone was smoking marijuana in okay. her car? Okay, can I tell you without you interrupting this time? Yes, tell me. Tell okay. me. I'll be right there. There are sensors in the car, and they detect different smells, and they detected the smell of marijuana. No one is driving her car but her. Well, it must be her and then. And I'm it's telling you what, she's a 70-year-old woman. She's never touched marijuana in her life. Well, maybe she just is embarrassed to tell you, to admit it. No, I, no, honey, I know my mommy. My mama don't drink. My mama don't drink. She don't smoke. She never has. Maybe she has a secret life you don't know mistake. about. She doesn't tell you everything. Maybe there's a mistake. No. You know, and you cannot be telling her she can't drive her car. No, she can't. I told I her. Mean, she makes payments on that car. That car belongs to her. I told not her. You. I told her a secret way that she could drive it. She just has to reset the clock. I reset. How do you reset it? You know, just change the time. Change it to nine a.m. Change it to nine a.m. I just drove her car around the block and it was fine. Okay. Every time she wants to drive after six, she has to change the, the clock to daytime hours. Okay. That's fine. I'll change it. It's pretty easy. It's, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I don't, I don't understand this. I, I just, I really, truly do not understand how you can tell someone they smell something in your car. No, well, there's sen- car. There are sensors even in if, the car. Even if she does smoke marijuana or whatever, even though she doesn't, yeah. it's none of your business what she does in her car. She makes the payments, not yeah. you. Well, anyway, I'm just kidding. Have you ever been late on the payment? I'm just joking. Who are you, anyway? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, hey, shut up. Now, I'm just joking about all of this. Don't tell me to shut up one more time. Okay, I won't. Do not tell me to shut up. Sorry. That is so rude. Well, you're the one that threatened to kick my ass. That was you know, that was more rude. Why are you rude. doing this to my mom? Why are you calling and harassing my mom? Okay, well, I'm... That's I'm, her car. I'm trying to tell you if you'll let me talk. All right, fine. Tell me. Okay, well, I'm a wacky morning DJ. I was just making a prank call. None of that stuff's true. Oh, see, this is... Oh, oh, this is supposed to be funny now? Well, it is pretty funny. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, you're dead serious yeah. right now, right? You've been butt-slammed on the 100.3 <laughs> Wacky Morning Gerbil something Skippy show. Oh, you got me pissed off. I mean, you got me really pissed off. You're messing with my mom. I know. It, oh, it was, my God. It was, oh, my God. It was really funny, though, wasn't it? Go, I'll be right back out. We'll see the puppies. The puppy what? I... My, I work at a restaurant. We're at a restaurant right now, oh, and this, my customer just brought puppies to see me. Oh. Mom, this is a radio station, and it's a joke. What? Hold on. Tell her. It's a joke. Do what now? Hi, uh, Margie. Yes? Oh, yeah, we were just kidding around. I'm with uh, 100.3 FM, the radio show. Yes? We're, we're wacky morning radio DJs, and we were just joking around with you. Your car still works. Well, I know my daughter just drove it. I know it's because we're sorry about her language. Oh, it's okay. No, it's not. It's no problem. We'll beep out the language when we air this on the radio tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! Nope, nope. 
It was, Why did you it, pick me? It was all a joke. I don't know, because the people at, at the car dealership, they gave us your phone number, and they're like, oh, this lady would be so funny to prank call. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm. I wasn't, was I? Oh, I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay. You were very confused. Sure a joke. You're, you're very feisty for uh, 70 years old. Yep, yep. When it comes to my car and my driving, I know I'm a safe driver. I know, I know. I bet I've you been, are. I've we, been driving for a lot of years, and I never touched marijuana in my life. We looked and at, I know no one in my car has smoked that. We looked, at, we looked at the driving records on your car, and it shows that you're very safe. Very safe, right. Yep. And you tell me I'm not? Oh, my gosh. You yep. sure it's the radio station? Oh, yeah, I'm positive. We're with the <laughs> Skippy and Dippy show on 100.3 FM. 100.3, and I listen to you a lot. Oh, do you? Oh, that's great. Yes, I do. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yes, I do. And um, your husband wow. your husband totally didn't put us up to this. It was someone at the dealership. It wasn't George. Okay. Okay, because I don't know too many people at the dealership. They know my husband better than they know me. I mean, Frank. Yeah, it wasn't Frank. Okay. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> okay. He told us to say that. Okay. Okay, Alrighty. well, I hope you have a nice night, and, and I hope when you're driving your car home, you're just thinking about how nice it is to drive after 6 p.m. Yeah, right. <laughs> so so, okay. so no, no hard feelings about the call, right? No hard feelings. Oh, no. you're so nice. And I'm sorry about my daughter's language. Oh, no, it was great. We, we, loved, her mother. we really loved it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll beep out her bad language in the morning. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, ha- have a you. nice have and a nice night. What station is that? One hundred three point three. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite radio station that makes horrible prank calls to you? One hundred three point three. Yay! One hundred point three point whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, have a nice night at work. Is that right? One hundred three point three. Yeah, yeah. One hundred three point three. That's what I thought. All right. That's well, have I listen to that a lot. Have fun cooking those puppies what? and serving them to people in the restaurant. Okay. Thank you. Ba-dum-tsh. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. It's almost like she didn't like that last joke about cooking puppies. I thought it was kind of funny. She pretended that she knew about the station. She's like, yeah, I listen to that all the time. It was nice of them to have a good sense of humor about it in the end. Hopefully it cheered up the husband when he got home later that night. Because holy crap, he needed it. Wife probably made him sleep on the couch or something that night. You know those homeowners associations, they have crazy rules. You don't want to mess with those guys. So I'm calling a few of these people pretending to be with the homeowners association and letting them know that they're in direct violation of certain rules and regulations here at the homeowners association. But first, we're going to get started with a call to a guy who actually believes that I am underneath his basement right now and I found a lost city, a whole lost city underneath his house. Hello, it's Neil. Hello, James? Yes. James, this is Roy from down the street. I live o- out over on uh, 1053. Who is it? It's Roy. I live just a few houses down from you. Oh, okay. I, I was, I was uh, working in my basement, and I found a tunnel on the other side of the wall. I'm in the tunnel right now, and I think I'm underneath your house. Well, how'd that happen? Uh, well, I was, I was working on the walls in the basement, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, I just, I was uh, kind of hammering on the, on the bricks, and um, there, there was some, something on the other side, and it's a tunnel, and the stairs went down. And according to GPS, I'm right underneath your house right now. Right now? Yes, I'm underneath your house. <laughs> I'm, I'm banging on the floor, but I think you have a basement, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, so you probably can't hear me. I think I'm on the other side of your basement wall. Wait, so on your side? Well, no, it's under, I'm pretty much right underneath your house right now. And there's some sort of... I wonder how that happened. There's some sort of Indian, well, I don't know if Indian, but there's a lot of bones down here. Like, just, uh, you know, just like dead people, bones. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I know, it's pretty crazy. So, um... (laughs) 
Have I you, don't know what to say. <laughs> have you ever tried? Have you ever tried knocking to your basement walls, like just removing the walls and looking on the other side? Now you'll be on uh, the upper side. I think I'm kind of in the front of your house. I'm kind of underneath your front lawn, but on the other side of the basement wall. Well, I don't know. Um, but it looks like there's a door that goes into your basement, but then I open it up and it's just, uh, it's like cinder blocks. So, so you're out front? I'm, I'm underneath your front lawn. Oh, on the, okay. And there's a door that opens up, but it's just cinder blocks. I'm kicking them right now. Can, if you're in your basement, can you hear me kicking them? But wait a minute. Where do I get down there? You'll be towards the, hi- the highway then, huh? Yeah, yeah, on the front of the house. I'm underneath your front lawn, but I'm right at your wall. I'm like right at the front of your house because GPS works when you're underground, you know? Okay, just give me a little bit here. There's there's a lot of stuff down here underneath your front lawn. Like, there's rooms, and uh, there's a moonshine still. No, okay, where... Uh, The front... Okay, I'm on... uh, I'm, like, facing the highway. Okay, are you right at the wall? Yep. Okay, I'm banging banging on the wall and, and do you hear me kicking I'm kicking at the wall no do you have a hammer or um some like a sledgehammer where you could just start breaking through the bricks oh uh, no uh-uh. <sighs> you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to go to Home Depot we should try and break through this door that where this door is and then you'll have, you know, you'll have more square footage in your house. Because I notice you only have 1,668 square feet in there. And this would give you more. Well, I know that when uh, they had offered to put a uh, root cellar in. Oh, there's uh, more than a root cellar. There's like a moonshine still. There's several rooms. It goes down several floors, and it's actually underneath your basement. And there's also a staircase that goes up into your basement, into the floor of your basement. But, you know, there's cement on the top of it. You'd have to break through that. There's pretty much an entire lost city down here. And um, the first level is made of gold. Do you have any TNT, any dynamite? Hello, James? Hello, James? Hello? (laughs) Did you hang up on me? Oh, James is gone. Let me, let me try him right back. (laughs) Oh. Oh, we got disconnected somehow, James. Do you have? Yeah. What? I'm sorry. What? So what? What are you doing now? Where are you now? I'm underneath your basement now. I just went down the stairs, and I'm I'm knocking on the ceiling with broom. I I do see your drainage pipes. But do you know if your house was involved, like, was it part of the uh, Underground Railroad? But how deep are you, do you think? I'm under the basement now. I went down the stairs, and I'm under the basement. I've brought Christmas lights with me so I can see things. Do, do you know if your house was a part of the Underground Railroad, though? Uh, no, huh? How do you know? Like, how old's your house? Because this is really old stuff down here. No, our house is uh, about 15 years old. Oh, well, it must have been built on, on, on top of all these grave sites, these Indian burial grave site things. And there's also an old computer I down don't here. Know. 
I don't know. Like wow. the, there's some old computer, but it's like it's it's got a computer. Uh, it's the whole interface. It's like very weird looking. Um, I've never seen anything like this. Uh. Oh crap! I just booted it up. I don't know what's going on. Are you still there, James? <laughs> I think James hung up. Oh, well. Hello? Hi, Jeanette? Yes. Hi, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, I just needed to let you know we're going to be coming by tomorrow morning around 9. We're going to cut down the tree in your front yard. Um... Well, let's see. We don't have our permit yet. Would you like to talk to Ron? Your permit for what? To cut the tree down. Oh, you're planning to cut it down anyway? No, we're waiting for our permit. Okay, but were you going to cut it down? What are you cutting it down for? I'll let you talk to Ron, okay? Okay, all right. He said he's today from the home. Hello. Hi. Um, I just needed to let you know that we got the permit to cut down the tree in your front yard, and we're going to be doing that tomorrow morning, about 9 in the morning. Who are you from? I'm from the Homeowners Association. Well, what do you mean you're from the Homeowners Association? Where do you live? Um, I don't have to tell you my address. What the hell? Well, you don't cut my tree down unless I have a permit. No, no, we're we're going to cut it down. It's blocking Frank D'Amato's view of the sunset. Frank says the what? Frank says the tree's coming down cuz it's blocking well, his fr- The homeowners the board of, I understand that the ARB doesn't meet until the 15th of July. Right. To, well, they haven't met yet. Well, that doesn't matter. And, we're going to cut your tree down because it's blocking Frank's view. It's blocks whose view? Frank D'Amato. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Well, he doesn't live. He doesn't live by me. No, no. He has a telescope, and he, he's. It's his view of uh, some. I don't know Venus or some shit. He's into astronomy. What? Uh, Frank D'Amato's into astronomy. He has nothing to do with my tree being cut down. I know, but he he likes to look through his telescope, and your tree is blocking his view. <laughs> no of, of Venus's two moons. My tree doesn't even go above my house. What are you talking about? It doesn't block his telescope. He lives a half a mile from here. I know, but that's the view. That's just the angle that he has to go at. It, Who like are just you? over the horizon, and that's where Venus's two moons is. Are Who are you? My name is Dave. I'm from the Homeowners Association. Dave, where where what do you mean you're on the Homeowners Association? What do you mean? Where what do, you do I live mean? In, where do you live in tradition? Well, I, I'm I'm on Cobblestone Drive. Well, let me tell you something. You got the wrong person and the wrong address because I live on and Club. I know. You live at 70, and we're going to cut down your tree first thing in the morning. Well, no. Okay. You won't cut my tree down. Oh, yes, right. we will. We got the permits. Who, who, who are you? Uh, what is your name and your telephone number? Well, my number would be on your caller ID. This is Dave from the Homeowners I don't Association. Have caller ID. Oh yeah, you do. It's 2015. Come on. Don't lie. I do not have. What is your last name? What you can't afford caller ID? What is your last name? Who? H O O. This is a crazy. Um, you know. I'm going to call the police right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. No, don't do that. Yes, I am, because you, you, you're you harassing. some kind of imposter. First of all, let me tell you something. At 930 or so at night, you don't, homeowners, and to say you're from the homeowners, you're not from the homeowners association. I am too. You're not from the, you're, you're harassing me. So I'm going to call the sheriff's department. Your tree and is and report you. Right you know what? Now, your okay? tree, your tree is harassing Frank D'Amato. No, and, sir. No, sir. It's not harassing anybody. So I'm going to make a phone call on my cell phone. Jeanette, get the cell phone and call nine one one. Oh, okay. Look, nine one one is for emergency only. 
You need to call and, just and the regular non-emergency. I'm being harassed. It's not an emergency. If you, you think don't this even is know what you're talking about. No, I know what I'm talking about. I don't about. even live next I, to I, anywhere near Frank. I Mark. never said you and did. He's not an astronomer. So <laughs> get off of that crap. He is too an astronomer. You don't know anything he about is Frank. He's not an astronomer. Have you ever even been to Frank's house? He Listen, has, where do you live? He he has those little plastic glow in the dark stars all over his ceiling cuz he loves astronomy. Sir. All right, bye. Hi, Tina. It's when I come in for mom. What? Who it is? What? Speak up. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tina. Yes. Hey, it's Harold from down the street. I live over at ten nineteen. Okay. And um, <laughs> my was... daughter. We don't use this phone. That's why we're all so confused. We only use sales, and this is hooked up for an emergency, and we only ever get, like, junk sales calls. So we apologize if you were trying. We're all like, who is it? Who is it? Well, who are they calling for? Uh, we're just not used to ever getting a call on our phone, so I apologize. Uh, that's pretty weird. <laughs> but, yeah, I was looking on this website. It's hometree.com, and I noticed that your, your house is only 1,900 square feet. And I mean, you know, on my on my listing, my house is twenty eight hundred square feet. So it's. I'm basi- not even sure what you're seeing us on. That isn't that isn't accurate. Oh no, it, it is. No, everything's accurate on here. But um, I just wanted to make fun of you because you live in a small house and I don't. I mean, you don't have to be ashamed. Well, I mean, you should be ashamed, but you don't have to lie. I mean, I know your house is only nineteen hundred square feet. Who is this? Uh, this is Harold from down the street. I live at 1019. I- I'm in the big house. Unlike your small house, it's only 1,900 square feet. Okay. Now, basically, I'm just calling to let you know that you're basically a bunch of hobos living there in your tiny house. My house is more or less a mansion compared to yours. So from now on, when I see you drive by, I'm, my head will be higher than yours, and you're basically just a peasant. All of you, peasants. Peasants that are weird about answering your home phone. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I mean, your house is a joke, 1,900 square feet. You may as well be living in a box. Cardboard box. My house is like 2,800 square feet. It's almost an extra thousand square feet of, of footage here. We have a pool table and everything. Can I have a number to call you back? It's on your caller ID. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're probably I don't have too. Caller ID. Yeah, you're too poor for caller ID. I'm sorry. Yep. You're a, you're, you are peasants. And and from now on, I just won't be making eye contact with you at all. What house are you in? Just down the street a bit. Why, are you going to come and admire Which house it? Number? Are you going to bring your family over and admire it? I'll let you in if Which you want. house number? 1019. I'll let you in if you want. I'll let you come in and look at all my, my square footage. West or east? Just down the street. Just a few houses down. Is that on west? Um, it's just very important. When you come over, your heads shall not be higher than mine. I will always be the highest. It's the same one as you, dummy. I'm I'm here on your street. Well, I will be contacting the Homeowners Association about you. For what? Because you're jealous? No, because you're being an asshole. Oh, now you're going to curse at me. Yeah, that's something that, uh, you know, low-rent people would do. People who have no class or square footage. Hello. Hello, Peggy. Yes. Hi, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, I noticed, we noticed that you're not driving an, an Audi. I never did. I know, you're supposed to have an Audi. It's part of the Homeowners Association rules. 
And now do you mean a car? Yeah, yeah, the car, the really expensive, nice cars. I don't have one. I know you're you're not supposed to drive anything but an Audi. We have uh, kind of a deal with them where everyone in the neighborhood has, has to drive an Audi. Is this a joke? No, of course not. We're going to need you to uh, comply immediately. We're, we're, uh, we're going to be sending out a letter that tells you you have 30 days to comply. Do we have to buy an Audi? Yeah, you have to buy an Audi or, or we'll have to start fining you. Uh, just a minute. It's it's like the fourth rule down. It's right underneath the garbage. I, ha- I have this. I have this call coming in from the <laughs> library. Oh, no. Who's in? Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, hello. Yes. Hi. I ha- Who is this? Oh, I thought you were talking to someone else. My name is Dave. I'm, I'm with talking- the ho- with the homeowners association. What's your last name, Dave? Stevens. Dave Steven? Yup. That sounds real. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to buy an Audi. So, uh, well, you don't. You just go ahead. You don't have a choice. You're going to have to buy an Audi, or you're going to get fined every day for until you until you move out. <laughs> uh, you'll have to call me back. I'll, I'll have to check into this, Dave. I'm not buying an Audi. You have to buy an uh, Audi. You don't have a choice. You signed the agreement. <laughs> What's your last name? Steven? S-T-E-T-H-E-N? Yeah, yeah. Still Steven. Dave Steven. Yeah. I'm, I'm, S-T-E. I, wor- I work directly under Frank D'Amato. And, and you don't want to mess with yeah. him. He's from Jersey. Uh, I'll call Frank. You're going to call Frank? Frank? No, you can't just yeah. call Frank. Why not? Because he's an important man. He's the mayor. Not just anyone can just call up the mayor Frank and talk D'Amato, to him. Frank D'Amato is not the mayor. Uh huh. Well, who is he then? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll call Frank Tomato. No, no. Tell me who right he is. Now. Tell me who he is. No. Yes. I don't have to tell you. You should know. No, you should know. Uh, if if you don't know, I'm not going to tell look, you. Dave, look, Dave. I'm not talking to you any longer. I'm hanging up. I want to know who Frank is. Hello. Hello, Pat. I mean Tom. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, Tom. it's this is William from True Green. Yeah. And I needed to let you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn the other day. You did what? We sprayed your lawn by accident. We got the address mixed up with someone else's address. <laughs> You're kidding me. You, the whole lawn? Yeah, the entire lawn. What did you spray it with? Well, it was supposed to be just a treatment fertilizer and, you know, just keeps the lawn nice. But uh, we have this... I have this coworker Chad. He's kind of a jokester, and he filled up the truck with oil, and acid, and grass killer. So, it's industrial strength grass killer. What are you telling me? You killing my grass? Well, not on purpose. It was an accident because the neighbors put the wrong address on their form, so we got your address instead. So my lawn's gonna die. Yeah, and also it's very flammable. So if you're smoking a cigarette, don't flick your cigarette out in the lawn because that would just that'll light up the entire lawn all at once. Are you kidding me? No, not at all. Why would I kid about this? I don't believe this. Well, I wouldn't lie about it. And, and well, are you going to send me something and take responsibility? No, because that would be a lot of money. Because really, the, like, to get your lawn to grow again, you have to dig all the dirt out of it. Like about 50 feet and put new dirt in. Cause it's basi- so what are you telling me you're going to do? Well, we're going to... Well, thank God we didn't um, do this to the correct house. Because then we'd be in trouble. But, no, this is the neighbor's fault. It's not our fault. What neighbor? Frank. Who? Frank D'Amato. Yeah. Yeah, he w- he wanted the treatment on his lawn. And I'm afraid of him. I think he's from New Jersey or something. If we would have done this to his lawn, he probably would have... Oh, I don't know what he would have done. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? Well, you're not going to hurt me. You sound kind of wimpy. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Dave from True Green. 
But um, is what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, the 4th of July is coming up. We're going to give you some free fireworks. Just don't use them around your lawn because that would, you don't want to do that. What's your telephone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. I don't believe that. They were just putting in an underground system today. What, for the sprinklers? Yeah. Oh, that might be a good idea to turn those on. Well, they were on, and it's pouring down rain. Oh, that's good. That's that's good to hear. And you put you put oil and what? Uh, oil, acid, and grass killer. And it wasn't. It's not something we usually keep in our trucks. But I've got this coworker, Chad, and he he just thought it would be funny to fill up one of the trucks with a bunch of toxic chemicals. Well, he, suppose the suppose the lawn dies. Are you going to be responsible for it? No, I think I think Frank would because Frank's the one that put the wrong address down. He lives kind of up the street from you. No, he lives quite a distance from me. Yeah, way up the street. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> Sorry about I that. I don't believe it. Huh? Sorry about that. It's it's Chad. He's he's always playing pranks around around this around our work all the time. It's really annoying. And you're with True Green? Yeah. Are you playing a prank on me? Yeah, I am. April Fools. Why are you doing that? I'm sorry. I'm. This is actually Frank. I just, I don't know. I, I'm bored. I've been drinking. I was looking through the phone directory. You're I, Frank who? No, no. Frank D'Amato. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking through the phone directory and... It seemed, it seemed like a funny idea at the time, but you sounded sad, so I don't want to... I, I just kind of wanted to end it. I don't get what you... What's your wife's name? My wife's name? Why would you need to know that? Tell me your real name. Frank D'Amato. Patricia's my wife. You're Frank D'Amato? Yeah. yeah. Do you know who you're talking to? Who? Who the hell did you call? Why well, I called you, Tom. What's my last name? Bowen. What? What? You don't know your last name? Are you? Are you experiencing dementia? Well, what are you doing, Frank? Are you drunk? I am. I really am a little drunk. I shouldn't have drank this much. But I was just looking through the phone directory. I'm like, you know what would be really funny? And my wife, she's like, no, don't do it. Not again. Not after last time. Is she time. there? Yeah, but she's she's like mad at me, and she's she's locked herself in her bedroom. No, oh, this is a scam. No scam. You're just kidding me. Yeah, I was just kidding. Yeah, just just joking around. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm right. It's like you're an asshole for doing something like that. I, I never expected you to do something like that. It's it's not me. It's the alcohol. I I really don't drink that often, but when I do, look out. Look out, world. Well, I am shocked. But but the good if news I is... I don't know your voice, and I can't swear that I'm talking to Frank D'Amato, but if I'm talking to Frank D'Amato, I can't believe that you did something like that. Yeah, but I didn't really do it. I didn't really put grass killer and oil on your lawn. It, it was That part was just the joke. Oh, oh, okay. No, yeah, right. yeah, this is just a joke. I just was looking through the directory, and I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> did Did you think I'd still done it the whole time? Yeah. Oh, no, no, that that was just a joke. I don't really work for True Green. <laughs> and your name's not Dave. Oh, no, no, this isn't Dave, and I don't have a co-worker named Chad. It was all just a joke. I heard some guys on the radio do it once, and it was really funny when they did it. Well, Frank, it certain was isn't fr- funny. Yeah, but the good news is that it was all a joke. I mean, now you have a perfectly fine lawn that you can you can flick your cigarettes onto with no problems. Where do I see your wife? <laughs> Why? What are you going to say to her? I don't know what I'm going to say to her. Where do I say her? We walk in the morning, and you usually walk with her. 
Oh, see, maybe I will confront the two of you together. Well, she she already knows that I that I'm doing this. She told me not to. She thinks it's okay. in, immature for someone my age. Yeah, very immature. But your lawn's fine. D- don't you see what I'm saying? You're, I gave you the gift of a, a nice lawn. Like five minutes ago, you had a dead lawn, and now you don't. So now, now you can. You're not taking your lawn for granted ever again. Now you have a good lawn, and you know it. Your lawn was kind of okay. your lawn was kind of like Schrodinger's cat a, a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Now, now we know it's it's fine. Everything's fine. There's no oil on it, no acid. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess m- maybe I'll see you when we're doing our walk thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice uh, night and enjoy your right. lawn. That's perfectly fine and normal. Uh, it better had be. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really poison anyone's lawn unless they did something to me first. Well, you really shouldn't do that. You're a good, supposedly a good Catholic gentleman, aren't you? Yeah, I am. But I'm from I'm from aren't Jersey. You a good night of Columbus, gentlemen. Yeah, but you I'm from I'm be from even thinking like like that. I know. You shouldn't be drinking. But you understand, I'm from Jersey, and you know, if someone gives us problems, we take care of it. That's not the way to get along with people in the world. Well, I didn't say I was know doing better, that. And you should know better than that. Okay. You ought to be ashamed uh-huh. of yourself for calling me. I am. I mean, not now, because I'm really drunk and I think this is hilarious. But when I wake up, I mean, when I when I wake up in the morning, I'll feel bad. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, have a nice night, Tom. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Holy crap. I bet you Tom and Frank, they had like the most interesting conversation ever. The next morning when they're going for their daily walk. All these calls happened on a live show years ago, back in 2015 on the Snowplow Show. And there were a few more calls. I don't remember which date the show's from or I would put a link to it. But that's way too much work. I'm not going to do that. Just go to snowplowshow.com and listen to every single show that happened in 2015, and you're sure to find it there. It shouldn't take you more than a month or two to figure it out. In case you've never heard of a car ding call, that's where we put a note on someone's car on their windshield that says, sorry, I dinged your car. Give me a call, and we'll work things out. And then I put my phone number on there, we talk to each other, and we try to work things out, and things usually go kind of like this. Hey, Scott, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, it was my it's my son's car. Oh. Okay. Um I mean, where did you hit it at? Well, I didn't hit it. I didn't even look at it. He was telling me about the note and stuff. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in the back he seat. Brought the, he brought the note over to me and hell, I didn't even look at it yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I left the note cuz I was sitting in the back seat. I was smoking and I dropped I dropped the I dropped uh, some ashes on the floorboard, and and I, I don't think they burned through the carpet, but then I stepped on them a bunch. I kind of freaked out. I started stomping on them a whole bunch, and there's definitely a black mark, but I think it can be washed out. I don't think it burned in, through. What, what car are you in? the green blazer? Yeah, the blazer, yep. You were in the back seat? Yeah, I was in the back seat. I was hot boxing. Just- Big what? I was hot boxing. What's that? Uh, it's it's where you get into a stranger's car, and you just um, you know, you you smoke a joint, you smoke one marijuana, while the windows are all rolled up. <laughs> and that way, I can't get arrested for smoking in public. It's a loophole. <laughs> That's got fucked up. Yeah. You have somebody else's vehicle. What's that? It don't make no sense to me. And th- and then I mean, wh- you rode on their PS. You suck a parking. I mean, what the hell shit's that? I I said you suck a what? Parking. Oh, suck a. Par- you know, I was really high by the time I got out of that car. So, you know, it just uh, that just I probably that yeah, was that don't make no sense to me. That, that probably just, wasn't true. Bullshit. It probably wasn't true w- about the parking. Because, you know, I was intoxicated, and, and the parking probably just looked wrong to me, but probably really it was fine. 
I was hallucinating the bad parking. <laughs> this is a new one on me, let me tell you. You've never hotboxed someone's car before? No. I don't do that shit. You just smoke it in the home? I don't smoke it at all. Oh, okay. Shit ain't for me. All right. Well, settle down. Don't freak out at me. All right, well, I'll get off here. I'll look at it and let you know. Okay, well, I'm really sorry about that. Maybe it never even happened. Maybe I just imagined it all. Yeah. All right. I'll check it out and let you know. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Hello. Hello, Zach. Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yeah, what's up? Oh, n- nothing much. That's uh, enough, that's so where did you s- ding my car at? Uh, well, I don't know if you'd call it a ding. I was I was in the back seat of it, and I was smoking, and I dropped some ash on the floor, and I stomped it out really quick. But there's like a black mark in the carpet. But I, I in don't my think. Car? Yeah, I don't think it burned the carpet because I stomped it out really fast. Do you know what kind of car I drive? Oh, I can't remember. I was really high. I just, I, I got out and I left the note because I felt bad about dropping ash on the carpet in the back seat. When did you smoke in my car? Uh, it was like five days ago. Do I know you personally? Oh, no, no. I was just kind of, I don't know. I just kind of passed him by and the car was unlocked. So I got in and smoked in the back seat. Smoked marijuana. So you got in the back of my car. I don't even know you. Do you realize that's not okay? Well, I, I don't want to get... I don't know what the laws are like in Ohio. I don't know if you can get arrested. The for law s- is that's trespassing, my dude. Well, no, I don't care about that law. I just don't want to get in trouble for marijuana. So I just get in people's cars and smoke. Well, yeah, the law is you cannot smoke marijuana in Ohio. I know. That's why I don't want to do it out in public. I don't want to get arrested. I understand that, but, dude, you do it in someone's car that you don't even know? Well, I don't own a car, so I don't see what the uh, other so you option... Just to random, so you just go to random people's cars and smoke in them? It, well, it's, u- it's usually not a problem, because they, they don't notice, and I don't usually drop ashes on the floor. But when I do, I leave a note, because that's the right thing to do. Okay. That's breaking and entering one. No, Two, it, was, it was unlocked. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't get in someone's car if they don't know you. Well, it's not breaking and entering, and I just, I didn't see a no trespassing sign, so I can just get in. No, you can't. Well, I did. You and can't I, just get in. You can't just get into someone's random car, dude. You'd never hot boxed in a car before. No, I have, but not in someone's car. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's not a big deal. That's I didn't. Dumb as fuck. I didn't steal that, anything. That is a big deal to me. You could have stole something from me. You could have done anything. Oh, I could have, but I didn't because I'm not that kind of person. I don't steal things. I don't know you. I don't know that you couldn't do that. Well, maybe you should leave your. Give me one good reason why I should not just report you to the police right now. Well, maybe you should lock your doors. Maybe you should shut the fuck up and stay out of people's cars. Well, if they leave the car unlocked, that's that's an invitation to come in. All right, we'll see about that. We will, won't we? Yeah, we will, fuckhead. All right. Hello. Hi, Karen. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yes, yes. That was me. Yeah. So, um, how did that happen? Uh, you <laughs> know... Because it's kind of a weird... I mean, it's on the hood of the car, and then uh, the lamp. The, the lamp? The headlamp. Uh-huh. Uh, so, I'm what so- happened exactly? Well, what about the headlamp? Was that in the note? Did I write that in the note? I forget what I wrote exactly. Oh, no, no. You just said you dinged the car. You know, sorry you dinged the car and you left your number. Yep, that was me. <laughs> yeah, I was walking so- by. I was walking by your car. And I swear, I, s- I looked in the window and I thought I saw like a uh, a baby in a car seat back there. Oh. So so I just I st- I got my slim jim out of my pocket and I I started trying to pry the the door open and and pry, uh-huh. pry the window and and I cuz I don't know how slim jim works and uh I just, I scraped up all the the door and stuff but uh then then uh, halfway through all this I I realized that it, there's no there's nothing in the back seat Yeah it was heavy to the back yeah, yeah. I opened up your car. Shopping bag. Yeah, I opened up your car and I, I, I looked through through the shopping bags and 
stuff. But no, I saw that there wasn't a, a baby back a baby back there. Uh huh. Baby back, baby uh-huh. back. So Yep, I'm sorry about that. I don't think I scratched it up so too. That's kinda weird because I see scratches on the hood. Oh, that's probably from someone else. Uh, that's probably from like a burglar trying to steal your, probably trying to open up your hood and s- steal your Cadillac converter. I hear that happens a lot. Oh. Anyway, I was wondering. So which door? Which door, Roy? Uh, the back door on the driver's side. The back driver's side door. Yep. I think it's okay. I just uh, thought just in case because I, I couldn't really see too clearly because I was really really stoned. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but hey, uh, when I was in your back seat, I was hanging out there back back there for a little while, and um, I yeah. I left I accidentally left my Kenny Loggins CD back there. I was you wondering- did? Yes. D- did you see that back there by chance? Because no, I didn't. It's, it's a special edition. I got it from Kmart from oh. the bargain bin, but I think they just oh. didn't know what they were well, putting in the bargain give me bin. Your address. Give me your address. What? I'll mail it to you. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, give me your address. No, it's like if you find it. Did you find it? Are you saying that you found it? No, no. I'm in the house right now. Okay. I'm not out my car. Did you get the groceries out? Well, no, I didn't have groceries in there. Oh, the shopping bags, I mean. Like whatever was in there. I was I was digging. Oh, th- no, no. I, I just keep them back there. Yeah. I don't know. No, I really haven't been in the back of my car. Did you used to have a baby in a car seat back there? Because I was thinking maybe it was... um, Never. Never. uh, Never. Maybe the previous owner? Because I've been known to be psychic and see things from the past. No, the previous owner was a uh, 90-some-year-old woman. Oh, yeah. So she... No, never, never a baby back there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, I don't know why I saw that then. It must have been the weed and and the meth. Okay. Well, and the cocaine. Uh, do you want to give me your address and I'll send you the CD? Or I know, better yet, I'll go down and see if I can find it. Okay. And if I find it, I'll call you back. Well, if you. Oh yeah, just call me back. Hey, if you um, can you just rip the CD? Use iTunes and rip the CD into a AAC format and then just email them to me. Email me all the files? Uh, probably. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, just give me a call, and uh, ho- hopefully you find okay. that back there. Okay. And if you don't, okay. it's it's going to be $5. Okay. Because that's what I paid for, plus tax. Yeah, it's okay. Like, um, $5 and 30-something cents, I think. I have the receipt. Okay. Except the receipt's in the CD, okay. so if, if you find that, okay. I, I need that. Okay. And uh, don't think about exactly. like just don't don't think about just keeping the CD for yourself because it's my CD. Okay. Okay. I noticed you didn't say that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. You're just like, ah, oh, damn it, can't do that, can I? Okay, I gotta go now. Okay. Well, have a nice day. Uh, good luck finding that CD. Okay. And I promise I didn't do the scratches on the hood. All right. All right. Bye. Are you sure about that? Bye. I really didn't. The shopping cart did. Hello? Hello, Melanie? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. I I left a note on your car. Yeah. Sorry, I have to have you on speakerphone because my phone is broken. It's okay. It sounds really good. where's the ding? I I couldn't even see it. Uh, It's kind of on the top, like on the roof. Like I was parked next to you. Yeah. And, and when I got out there, there was a homeless guy on, on my car. On your car? Yeah, like a homeless guy just crawling crawling up on my car. And um, I, I came after him with a hammer, and he kind of clawed his way over to your car, like over to your roof, and I jumped over after him. So we were both on top of your car wrestling around. And I, I was... <laughs> well, it's... I'm sorry. I'm... Sorry, it's funny to you. Like, you know, homeless people are gross. It's a hobo. But I, do you usually run around with a hammer? Well, I was, I'm on my lunch break from work, so it's on my tool belt. But anyway, I started trying to hit him with the hammer, and he kept he kept dodging out of the way, and I kept hitting the top of your car with the hammer. So there, there's all these dents or dings, I guess you'd call them. 
Um, okay. Did, I, don't, I, I don't see any. On the top of the roof? Like a, a bunch of hammer dings? No. And he got away, too. Like, I, I only hit him a couple times in the shoulder. He kept dodging out of the way. <laughs> Why are you giggling? I'm going to start calling you giggles. I'm sorry, but it's just bizarre to me. Um, So, I'm on my roof. You're Hold on. on. You're up on top? Just think, like, right where you're s sitting, an epic fight took place not too long ago with the homeless man. With the homeless man and a hammer. Yeah, I don't see any dings up here. I don't, I don't hit very hard. To be honest, uh, I, I'm more into power tools. You know, using a hammer, it's kind of my weak spot. But they make me carry one for work. Yeah, I think we're good here. You don't see all the hammer dings? Because I was like, we were wrestling around on top of your car, rolling around, and and I, I was hitting, he was punching me, and I was hitting him with a hammer. <laughs> but I kept missing. Can you believe we even have homeless people in this town? Shocking. I know. <laughs> Bullshit. And they shouldn't. he shouldn't have been on my car. Lord. What's that noise? Are you climbing off the car? I'm climbing off the car. Yeah. Yeah, we're good here. No worries. Okay. All right. Well, I don't understand what your attitude's about because, you know, I was just trying to do the right thing and leave my number. Well, good for you. All right. What are you Take doing right what, what are you doing right now? Where are you going? Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what you doing? Where what where, where are you at? Uh I don't think you need to worry about that. Why not? I I'm, I'm just cur I'm just making conversation. I'm being friendly. Yeah, well, that's okay. You probably need to go back to work now anyway. Well, I think you could at least thank me for getting the homeless man off your car. <laughs> How do you know it wasn't his car? Well, it was it? Are you married to a homeless man? I don't know who it was, so I can't answer that question. Well, he smelled really bad. Does your husband smell really bad? <laughs> no, I think we're good, but thanks a lot for leaving a note. And he had a shopping cart with him on top of your car, and she's gone. Can you believe that lady? She's up there climbing around on top of her car. That's how you get dense. I should know. I've done that to a lot of people, climbing around on top of random people's cars. I weigh almost 300 pounds, so, you know, I, I dent a lot of car roofs that way. So those calls, they mostly weirded people out. I've got a few others here where people actually get a little more pissed off at me. And that's what you're going to hear on these last three carding calls. Hello? Hello, Adam? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on a car over there at that auto place. Roy... Jerbel, I, I left a note on a car, and you get, you left a message for me to call you back? Oh, yes, yeah, hi, how are you, Roy? Not too bad. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, appreciate, uh, I appreciate you leaving the note. Um, mm -hmm. where, where did you hit the car? Um, well, it's kind of on the inside of the, you know, the gas tank door? Okay. I, I kind of, like, if you open up the door, I, I scratched the, that up real good. I, I scratched a bunch of paint off as I was lifting a device out of the gas tank. Oh, okay. So you were, were you just, like, here looking at cars over the weekend, or? Well, I, I was, um, I, I was getting some gas. I was siphoning some gas, and the, the siphoner I had. siphoning, okay, you were siphoning gas from that Mercedes? Yes, yes, because it's a Mercedes, you know, they can afford it. But the siphoner, it's like got a metal handle, and as I was pulling it out of the, the gas tank, uh, it scraped alongside wait, the door and like just took out a big chunk wait, of paint. Are you, are you serious? You siphoned gas out of one of my client's vehicles? Yes, sir. But it's a Mercedes. I, I, I always go for the, the pricey cars because they can afford it. 
I, I don't I don't give a fuck if it was a Honda Civic. Oh, don't you, curse you at me. Stole fuel from you stole fuel from one of my clients' vehicles on private property. That's an offense. Well, I, it's I didn't even take much. I I just I took like I don't maybe I don't half. care if you took two dollars worth. You stole fuel from one of my clients' vehicles on our private property. What in the world gives you the right to do that? Um, well, I I just didn't think they'd mind. They they probably just think you took it for a test drive or something. If they noticed the gas missing, that's all. It's not a big deal, really. It's just, it's I didn't even take it, probably it, only a quarter of a tank. It it is a big it is a big deal because not only did you steal fuel from my client's vehicle, but you also damaged that vehicle in the process. Oh, I, I just just a little bit of paint, and it's on the inside of the door, so it doesn't matter. But I can buy some touch up paint if you'd like. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have to call my client because mm-hmm. we had to we had to explain the situation to him, and I'm going to call him and I'm going to give him your number to contact okay. you. Is this the best number to contact you? Yeah, at? yeah. This is my cell phone. I'm I'm I've here all day. Uh, you know, I don't work okay. or anything. Yeah, I yep. will. I yeah, I will give him the number and mm-hmm. I will have him contact you directly. And for future reference, don't ever set foot on our property again, and don't ever touch what? any no, of I, our vehicles. No, I come there all the time and do this because I, I drive an SUV and I, I need more gas than most people. So it's what. <laughs> Okay, so what? You can't you can't afford to go to the gas station like every other person and fill and pay for fuel like everybody else does? No, it's an SUV. And by the way, I used to own a Honda Civic, so I don't appreciate your dig at people that own Honda Civics. I don't here. appreciate you fucking stealing from my clients. And you're lucky I don't call the police on you. That's oh, a, oh. that is the, this is the dumbest this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever oh. heard. I would expect this from some 16-year-old, but you sound like you're a grown-ass man. Yeah, How the I am. fuck could you think that this would be acceptable? Well, okay, maybe you're, you're saying I, I'm I'm dumb, but you know what? You're the one that pays for gas. I don't even have to pay for gas. Yeah, Does because it? you fucking steal it. Because yeah, you're but, a piece of shit, and you fucking steal fuel from other people's cars. Well, it's it's just, it's I don't even take all of the gas. I just take like a quarter of a tank, and so it's not a big deal. You you and, just, you're not, you're not getting it. You don't understand. You're, you're, it doesn't matter if you take, it doesn't matter if you took a fucking valve stem off of their tire. Oh, I've done it, that. It, it, for a 10 cent. It, it's stealing. And this well, is private property. We well, could press charges on you for doing this. Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to maybe like uh, fill up the tank with uh, urine? You know, the stuff that I, I'll, I'll replace what I take with urine next time I'm at your place. Next time you come to our place? We're yep. going to fucking punch you in the face if we oh, see you. Well, no, I only come at night after you're closed. Okay. Well, then I'm going to have to let I'm going to have to let our uh I'm going to have to let our owner know. Oh, and whatever. And I'm going to give him Yeah, what's your, what's your last name, right? Oh, what do you care? It's just a Mercedes. They they can afford it. Yeah, well, obviously you can't afford to drive the car you're in cuz you're stealing fuel from people that actually make a ho- an honest living well, and, just, and are able to afford these vehicles. I have really high car payments. They're like over 400 bucks a month oh. for my SUV, so oh, I need okay. I just got to save a little bit extra money here and there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it sounds it sounds like you're you bought something that you can't really afford to drive to begin with. Yes, I can. So as long as I keep should... siphoning gas, I can afford it just fine. You douche canoe. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to give the client your uh, your name and oh, your I number. Hope. You probably won't answer anyways. Yeah, I will. Why so, wouldn't I answer? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to give him your name and number, and I will okay. have him contact you directly. Well, I don't appreciate your attitude, and you know what? I'm never going to buy a car fuck from you, you guys. Roy. I'm never buying a car fuck from you. there. Never. Ever. You, you, fuck you. I, I'm going to tell all my don't friends. Don't ever fucking come on our property again. Fuck I'm, I'm going to tell all my friends never. <laughs> this Matt. Hey, Matt, this is Roy. I left a note in your car about the car ding. Oh, hey, Roy. How's it going, man? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, so was that on the little red truck, or what What was that? Uh, yeah, I left that on the red truck. It's actually... Uh, ah, it's, yeah. I, I'm just, I didn't see anything. Oh, no, I'm just obtaining... I work for a telemarketing company, and I was just obtaining yeah. telephone numbers for that. So by calling me and leaving that message, you've opted in to receive telemarketing calls? Oh, okay. Because I, I get five. Yeah, no, I don't want to receive any of those. Oh, no, it's too late. You already opted in, and I get $5 for every working number that I get with the name. So thank you, Matt. Uh, they're probably uh, they're going to sell your number to a bunch of other telemarketing companies, and you'll be getting calls, a lot of calls from now on. Why would you do that? Because it's how I make it's It's my job. I get Well, f- 
Um, hold on. Joe Clerk. Yeah. So what do you do exactly? Oh, I work for a telemarketing company. Or Royco Telemarketing. Which company do you work for? It's called Royco Telemarketing. It's here in town. And I get $5 for every confirmed number I get with the name. So I've got... Which- which telemarketing company do you work for? It's called Roy Cotel. What does it matter? It doesn't matter. I just needed to let you know that you've opted in, and you'll be receiving telemarketing calls from now on. Yeah, I, I have an opted in, and I have your phone number, and I'll be reporting it to the authorities. No, you can't report me to the authorities. I want, I'm just doing my job. I don't want any phone calls, and I don't care to have any phone calls, and I, don't, I didn't opt in for anything, and I will contact my attorney. And I will be contacting the authorities. Well, no, you'll have to opt out. Just opt out like a normal person. Jesus. Then opt me out. I don't care to receive okay. any calls and no, get that, enough that, calls on that. That's not my department. I don't opt people out. I, I just uh, sign them up. I get $5 for every phone number that I get. So thank you for calling me yeah, back God. and leaving the message. Yeah, I'm to- I, this is totally illegal. I will be reporting you, and you will be hearing from my attorney. And which company do you work for? It's called Royco Telemarketing, and it's not illegal. Oh, it, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. You're you're definitely not an attorney, are you? Hello? Hi, this is Roy. Uh, I left a note on your car. Yes, hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's great. Thank you for leaving the note. <laughs> oh, sure, you're welcome. Yeah, I work for uh, Sirius Satellite Radio. Um, did, did they let you know that you won the contest for the surprise program, Sirius Radio Surprise Program. What is it? Well, I was inside your car. I was installing a Sirius satellite radio onto your radio. And, uh, I, you left I, me a note where? Well, I left it on the window, but no, I was inside your car. I was installing Sirius satellite radio under your dashboard. And I kind of, I scuffed up the bottom of the, I, my screwdriver, it, like scratched your dashboard underneath. It's really hard to see, really. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. Okay, great, all was right. Was it on the passenger? Uh, it's kind of right in the middle, like where the radio is. Yeah, oh, I saw that. Okay, well, sorry about that. Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah. uh, I'm just checking it out because I'm by my car. Oh, you're looking up inside underneath? What do you mean inside? Uh, I'm not sure. You were working on my car? Yeah, I was inside your car. I was installing Sirius Satellite Radio inside your car. You've got Sirius Satellite now for free. How did you get in my car? <laughs> I use a Slim Jim. It's like a it's a Sirius Radio Surprise contest program, and you won for this week. So you get a free installation of Sirius Satellite Radio and a free two years of service. Do you guys just get in people's car and install it without asking? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise otherwise. Did Did you try it yet? Did you notice that you have Sirius Satellite on the radio yet? No, I haven't tried it, but how do you... I really don't understand how you got in my car and then put it in without asking me. Well, it's it's a surprise you program. you do that? Yeah, yeah, it's a surprise program. And, you know, we just we install it for free. And, you know, you get in your car and surprise, look at that. You have satellite radio. Are you joking me, or are you serious? No, I'm completely serious. It's, it's something we, we've been doing this for two years now. Uh, hey, every e- Every week, we pick a new person from the area. What up? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm asking somebody else. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> yep. Um, did, did, they, they, did, they, uh, did they reply with, uh, pretty good, how are you doing? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I love that small talk. Um, can I speak to your manager by any chance? Oh, no, I'm just an independent ins- installer. Uh, I- I'm not in an office or anything. This is my cell phone number. But, yeah, free I satellite just, radio for you. Is that illegal to get in the car without asking and just installing something that I haven't told you to install? Yeah, well, it's not it like I... It amazes me. I didn't steal anything from your car. I gave you something. That's like $200 of equipment that I put up in there. And I ran a wire I know, up. but I had still, to, that's, that's not okay. Yeah, it was a lot of labor too. I had to, I had to pull your ceiling down, and I put the antenna up underneath your ceiling, and run the wire down along the window for the antenna. It was a lot of work. 
forget if it's if it's a joke or if it's for real. I wouldn't joke about this. No, it's some, this is something they've been doing for about two years now. It's it's just to give you yeah, a taste. What's your first name? Roy. Roy what? Who? What's the last name? Gerbel. Okay. That's fine. Is it fine? What is it? What do you mean it's fine? You're okay with my last name? I mean, I, I just, no, I just don't appreciate you getting in my car without asking and installing it. Well, I gave you a free gift, I so know. I would think you'd appreciate it's, that. That's still not okay. If you, you know, if you asked me and told me, hey, you know, I want to do that, that, I'd be like, okay. Well, I Go didn't, ahead, but just ask for permission. I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal any change out of no, your I know container you or anything. anything. But still, that, that, that's illegal. I can call the cops and tell them to arrest you. Oh, no, you can't. Different. I didn't steal anything. Oh, I know you didn't steal anything, but you're not allowed to in my car. I am if it, if you're the contest winner. No, you're supposed to take my permission. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, you're obviously not a lawyer. What do you do for a living? It's none of your business, but that's I'm pretty sure it's illegal to get in people's car, break in, and install something. I didn't that break anything. I, did, I just used a Slim Jim and opened the door, and then I used an electronic that, device to That's make... illegal. It's not illegal. Do you, don't, you just don't know the law very well. You can't just break in my car. But I gave you something for free. Just appreciate that and, and enjoy the satellite radio for two years. Oh, he hung up. What a douche canoe. I try to give some guy something for free, and what's he do? He, he threatens me and treats me like garbage. Hey there. What are you doing? I noticed that it's uh, halfway through this video. I mean, it's five hours and three minutes anyway. Almost five hours and four minutes. So I just thought I'd drop in and find out what you doing. Are you enjoying these pranks? Are you sleeping yet? Are you asleep? Are you hearing me in your dreams? That's weird. I wonder if I could hypnotize you or something right now. Maybe I'll save that for the 24-hour version. But here, let's try this at least. Wake up! Wake up! Wake the fuck up! Wake up! Wake up! You better wake up, motherfucker, or I'm going to wake up for you. Anyway, I'm going to let you hear the rest of the pranks now. Just so you know, there are no official announcements at the halfway point during the show. If there were, I'd be reading them right now, but I'm not. So, no announcements, and also, what you doing? All right, bye, everybody. Go back to sleep. Hey, I tell you what, stick it in your backside, okay? Bye. Today, we are going to call up people and tell them that we're changing their phone number. People who still have landlines and they've had their phone number for, you know, decades, some of them close to 50 years. We're going to see how they will react to being told that their phone number is changing. And I'm pretending to be with the phone company AT&T on most of these. And this first one I'm going to play, the guy tries to get out of it by saying that he is also an AT&T employee. He thinks that makes him exempt from getting his number changed. But that's not how it works, Matthew. No special treatment for employees. Hello? Hi, is Matthew there? I'm sorry? Is Matthew there? Um, what's this? Uh, or who is this? Uh, I'm, this is Roy from AT&T. We're, I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number. You're cha- I'm sorry, you're changing what? I'm changing your phone number. You're, no, you're not, no longer going to have the 5,000 number. I've got, um, I've got a new number here I can give to you. It's going to be a completely different phone number. Hold on a second. Okay. Matt? Hello. Hello, Matthew. Hi. Hey, it's Roy. I just need to let you know we're changing your phone number. It's going to be effective. For month. what reason? Uh, it's a company. They want your number because the last four digits is 5,000. That's really easy for them to remember. Yeah, and I don't care. For their customers. I have this anymore. number. Well, yeah, but they outbid you on it. Yeah. Do you work for AT&T? Yeah, of course. What's your uh, user ID? A user ID? Why do you need that for? That's that's to log uh, into my computer. I also work for the company, too. Oh, okay. And I will be using your user ID to find out what is going on. Oh, that's an abuse of your powers there at AT&T. You can't do that. You know what? I don't care right now. Because it doesn't matter you're that you're an employee. You're taking away my phone number that is with everyone, everything else. Okay, well, as far as I'm concerned, you're just a customer. I'm not going to give you my UUID. <laughs> I didn't even get to tell that lady to shut her kid the fuck up. 
Let's call right back. Again? Hey, you forgot to say goodbye. Um, it doesn't matter that you're hanging up on me, though. We're still going to change your number. Yeah, I know. I don't really care. You don't? Then why are you getting so upset? Because you just call Out of Blue from a toll-free number, and it's not even an AT&T number. Yeah, it is. And you're saying that right off the bat that I'm losing my home phone number and that not really giving even my wife a, a description right off the bat. What do you mean a description? I told her who I was, and I told her why I was calling. You don't have to be a dick about it. Like, is she lying to you? Did she tell you something different? Wait, 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 wait. What did you just tell me? What did you just call me? I, I said I think she's lying to you about what happened. Because all I did is no, I said, no, hey, no. this is that, my... What did you just call me? I forget. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do forget. Yeah, I do forget. I agree. Okay, then. Then what did you just call me? I just told you I forget. I don't. It doesn't matter. Is what I'm saying is I think yes, your I, I think your it wife's a, I think your wife's I a know liar. All these calls are monitored right now because that's what the company does. And what you just called me is un- completely unprofessional. Okay. Well, I didn't claim to be Mr. Professional here. I'm just letting you know. It's just a simple phone call. I don't see why you have to get so upset. And I'm just saying you're. You li- didn't give my wife an explanation. You yeah. didn't say. Oh, another company outbid it, uh, uh, bought the number or whatnot, and then you turn around and call me a dick. She didn't ask for an e- she didn't ask for an explanation. Your wife's a liar. Oh, my wife's a liar now. Yeah, because she didn't ask for an explanation. She just uh, she's You're just like I'm going to get give my her an explanation on why we're losing our number. Okay, I would have gotten to that if she would have just stayed on the phone, but she had to go get her husband. She can't handle because, anything outside of the kitchen because everything's under my name, sir. Yeah, yeah. that's why I asked for Matthew when I called. But she had to be all yeah, nosy. And then you turned around and called me a dick and told my, me my wife is a liar? Well, she is a liar because I asked for Matthew. That's the first thing I did. But that doesn't... Why are you tell, saying that to me? Why am I saying what? Why are you saying that I'm a dick and that my wife is a liar? Because it's true. But I don't understand why you didn't call me or tell me or tell my wife that... Our number was outbidded because outbidded. we had a simple number. <laughs> and that you said, you just go, you're a dick and that your wife's a liar. And now you're saying that you forgot what you called me and what you just said. Well, you, you reminded me. I called you a dick. Oh, really? Okay. Um, Are you recording this now? It sounds like I just went oh, to speakerphone. Oh, I am phone. now because you just plainly lied to me. No, I didn't lie to you. I said I forgot. But you reminded me. Well, you, I called you a dick. You Thank you. Two for two seconds after you called me a dick. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, so what's your user ID anyway? Well, why would I give that to a customer? Um, that, because that makes no you sense. actually have to if a customer asks you for that. You're part of customer representative for AT&T. You, if a customer asks for your user ID, you're supposed to give it to them. Not in our department. Oh, then you don't work for AT&T then. Where do you work at at AT&T? I work for Uverse. Okay, see, that's completely different. You're an idiot. Oh, okay. So what was your name again? No, you already heard that. I'm not going to go over all this again. Oh, yeah, I do want to go over all this again. Why'd you hang up on me then? If you want to go over everything, why'd you hang up earlier? Uh, do you know where I live? I have horrible cell service and home phone service. Okay. Well, we're not turning off your home phone service. We're just changing the number. It's not a big deal. It's just a phone number. Well, then what's the number, then what's the number going to be? Tell, tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. This is men talk here. Whoa, excuse me? This is a number that I have registered with my children's school. So what is... For my child knows the number. It is a measurement of safety. We got the home phone number so my kid can get a hold of us. She can memorize a new number. She's not stupid. And call me a B for no reason? No, we pay for this service. You guys gave us the number. My child has learned the number. She'll learn a new one. It's easy. Really? Why not? She can memorize a new number. It's just four digits. You get the same first three digits. Wow. Great. You know, this B might not want to have to go through the hours of making sure my child knows the number. Well, that, that's, that sounds, like you're, it sounds like you're a bad mother, then, if you don't want to give your kid your own phone number. So, 
We're going to end this on this. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to my second level. I'm going to give him this toll-free number I got to call from. Buzzwords. I'm going to show him. Scary. Let him listen. I'm going to let him listen to this info. All right. You will either give me your user ID right now because as a customer, I am allowed to take that from you, or we are going to do this the hard way. Okay. Hey, make sure to tell your second level that this is just a prank call, and I'm not really with AT&T. And who are you with? I'm with nobody. I'm just a prank caller. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we'll find out. Okay. One way or another. Have a nice day. But tell tell your wife tell your wife she's not really a bitch, okay? I hope that guy went into work the next day and complained to his boss, tried to get him to call the CEO and convince him not to take his phone number away. This next lady, she is not a fan of Carrot Top for some reason, which doesn't make sense at all. Carrot Top's a national treasure. How could anyone possibly not like Carrot Top? This lady is obviously a terrorist. Hello? Hi, is this Mrs. Luca Blubliss? Yes. Hi, this is Roy from AT&T. I just needed yes. to call and let you know that we're going to be changing your telephone number, your home phone number, to a new number. Why? Uh, somebody Why out- would you be doing that? Uh, somebody outbid you on your phone number. Somebody what? They outbid you. It's actually a celebrity. So they're going to take over your phone number. Why? Uh, because your phone number spells a certain word that they want to use in their act, I guess. It's a, it's a com- Is this a joke? No, of course not. No, he's he's a famous comedian, and he needs to use your your phone number for some reason. He's from this area. He likes my phone number. Yeah, well, because it spells a certain word. You know, if you were to type in on the letters on the keypad, it spells... And what's the word? Carrot Top. <laughs> You're kidding. No, not at all, ma'am. Sorry to do this and everything. It's just, uh, you know, he bid a lot of money because he really wants the number. He needs an easy-to-remember number for his act. With the 815 number. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yep, it's it's just okay. a phone number. It's not a big deal, right? Yeah, it is, because I've had the same number for as long as I've lived here. Oh. So for 41 years, yeah, it is a big deal. Well, I mean, it sounds like you've had it long enough. Now you need to share it with someone else. No, I don't think so. Well, it's not up to you, because it's already been done. He's already bid the money, and it's already, the deal's already gone through. It's going to go into effect Monday morning. So come Monday morning, someone who wants to call me will not be able to? Yeah, they're going to reach... Is that what you're telling me? They will reach Carrot Top instead. And, and you think that's not a big deal? Well, he'll, he'll probably... <laughs> maybe you can ask him to give out your number to anyone that calls. Do people really call you on your landline anymore, though? I mean, don't you have a cell phone? Uh, yes, they do. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, maybe maybe Carrot Top will, will uh, you know, he'll give out your new number. He'll probably... Well, my son, my son works for AT&T. Okay. That doesn't make any difference. I mean, it's not like he's the president. He doesn't have the power to stop this. No, he isn't, but I, I never heard of such a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. If a celebrity or a, or a large business wants your number because it, it suits them, then they'll bid just an outrageous amount of money, and we have to accept it, because we need the money. So what is going my new number going to be? Okay, you ready? You got a pencil? Or a pen? Okay, and how do I uh, tell other people that th- this is no longer my number when it's in the phone book? Oh, you're just going to have to wait for the new phone book to come out. It'll have your... Oh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's all. But I, 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 bet, no I bet you, like, Carrot Top, he, seriously, he's a nice guy. He'll, he'll probably give out your number he's to people. He's not even funny. Who the hell are you kidding? Well, I know. I didn't say he's funny. Yeah, I've I said seen he's in, him. He's not even funny. Yes, he, okay. He, yeah, that's why he's famous, right? Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it, he's famous. Hey, a lot of people are famous. The Kardashians are famous. Do you like them? Oh, yeah. I watch that all yeah, the time. Yeah, right. Okay. Jersey Shore. Okay. I love that show. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. No, it's actually my favorite show. I don't see why you'd want to make it fun of me be. for that. Yeah, it would be. Okay. Why are you being mean to me? I'm not, it's not me doing uh, this personally. Excuse me. You're, you call me and tell me after 41 years now I have to give up my phone number? Like but it's it, no big deal. It is a big deal. But it's, I'm sorry, but it is. It's for Carrot Top. It's, it's for a good cause. I don't care who the hell it's for. He'll probably give out your number, like, but he'll use wacky situations to do it. You know, like he'll be really funny about it. So it'll be kind of like a free comedy act for anyone that calls you. No, I don't think so. You don't think it'll be, Well, I mean, maybe other people think it's funny. Maybe you just don't have a good sense of humor. Yeah, maybe not. 
Yeah, because you sound like kind of kind of mean, and you know, yeah, you, you yeah. don't sound like you're. you're yeah, yeah, I'm very bitchy. You yes. don't. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to say it. You know. Oh, go ahead. No, the no, no, it's all right. You said it. I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to yeah, get in trouble. Uh-huh. I think this is a joke. No, it's not a joke. Carrot it's Top makes the joke. jokes, not me. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't even make jokes. Anyway, you ready for that new number? Well, I guess I'll have to be, right? Yep. What is it? Okay, area code 773. Why would the area code 773? My we, area code is 815. I know, but we've run out of area codes in that in, in your town. Like, we've run out of phone numbers, so it's going to be a long-distance long call for anyone that calls local. Sorry about that. You're sorry about a lot of things, I guess. Yep. 773. Yep. 821-4571. 821. Eight, two, one. Yep, four five seven. Se- yep, four five four, seven. Five. Yeah, four five seven one. Seven one. You don't have to have such an attitude about it. It's not my fault. Uh, why are you calling me so late at night? That's another thing. It's not late. It's only what is it? Eight thirty? Well, 820? it's not business hours. It's uh. Eight twenty. You, you're just looking for something to complain about, aren't you? No, I don't have to look far. It's right there. Seven seven three. Yep. Four. Eight two one, four five seven one. Yep, that's the one. You're sure? I'm positive. And you know what? This is going to be like a family reunion for you because you'll be able to call all your family and let them know what your new number is. You should be thanking us, basically. Oh yeah, yeah. I should thank you, right? Yeah. Will yeah. you? Uh, no. Why not? You got anything else for me? To, did you want to say? If not, I end just, the conversation. I, I want to let you know that this is just a prank call. I'm not really with AT and T. I'm just. A, so who the hell is this? I'm just a just a random prank caller. I, I live in Springfield. You live in Springfield, Illinois. Yep. Springfield, Kentucky. No, Illinois. Oh, in Illinois. Yeah. And you picked my number. Why? I oh, was just random. You know, just random just phone random number. Just random to stir up some crap. Oh. Yeah, I thought it'd be hilarious. I, I'm a big carrot like top the- fan. Carrot top. The shit stir. No, I'm not a carrot top fan. I, like I said, he's not even funny. For I know, but no, I was saying I'm a carrot top fan, and he likes to do oh, stuff like this. Oh, you are. Goodbye. Bye. That lady, she's she's going to laugh about this tomorrow. She'll just laugh and laugh and laugh. She'll be like, carrot top, he really got one over on me yesterday. Hello? Hi, Megan? Yes? Hello, this is Roy from at and I'm just calling to let you know uh-huh. we're going to be changing your telephone number. Your home phone number? Why? Because uh, uh, somebody outbid you on it. It was actually a celebrity. And uh, they, they just need your phone number for some reason. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, no, it's definitely happening. It's already, the order's gone through and everything. I don't even I'm, have AT&T. I know, you have Comcast, but the number is owned by AT&T. Comcast just leases the lines from us. So I just needed to let you know you're gonna be you're gonna need to call Comcast and ask for a new phone number from them. Carl, they said our phone number is being changed. A celebrity outbid us on it. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh yeah, well I they can't do that. Carl can say fuck off all he wants, but we're still gonna change your number. The order's gone through. It'll be effective Monday morning. I want to talk to your manager right now. Oh, I don't have a manager. This is a call center, stupid. But uh, I can give you... Um, uh, talking to me like that in customer service? I don't think so. I want to speak to your supervisor right now. Well, you know, if you ask for a supervisor, I'm just going to give you the guy next to me and he'll pretend to be my supervisor. That's how we do it here. I don't care. So you want to talk to a pretend You're supervisor? You're not going to use the F word with me. No, 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 no. I, I didn't use the F word. That was Carl. Using the F word. I was just repeating what he said. Send me to your supervisor. I was quoting now. Carl. I don't care. You shouldn't have quoted him. Yeah. Look, You're in customer service. Well, Carl shouldn't be saying that kind of things to people on the phone. Um, I'm telling you what you, your job should be. You called my home. Hey, don't Send tell me how to do my job, bitch. I'm just letting you know that Monday morning... Oh, he just called me a bitch. Hey. Send me to your supervisor now. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I want to hear what Carl has to say. 
No, send me to your supervisor now. What's Carl ranting about? Is he drinking beer? Are you in danger, ma'am? Send me is to your he, supervisor. He's not hitting you, is he? Like, uh, I want to ask you to give me a code word. Uh, if, if he's hitting you, just just, just say, just yell, yell, send me to your supervisor. You know, I asked about you last night, little guy or girl. A guy. Ask him. You know who I asked about you last night? Ask him. This is a joke. Hey. Is, is Carl going to oh. give me a zinger? Is that what it's going to be? I guess who I asked about you last night? Who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. Yeah. I'm with AT&T. Monday morning, you're going to have a new phone number. You're going to need to call Comcast to find out what it is. No, I'm not. And I want to talk to your supervisor now. No, it's, it's not up to you. There's a celebrity. His name is Carrot Top. You've probably heard of him. And your number. I doubt it. Your number. What phone number anyway? Yeah, tell Carl to shut the fuck up, okay? I'm trying to explain no, things to you. I'm not going to. Why not? No. Are you afraid he'll hit you? No. <laughs> he sounds abusive to me. I'm just worried for you, ma'am. Okay, you just called me a bitch, and now you're calling me ma'am. Well, what? Seriously? I'm, I'm trying to be nicer because I'm worried for you. I doubt it. I really am. Okay. Carrot Top is buying our phone number. Carrot Top don't live in Illinois, stupid. He's from Illinois. Look on, look on his Wikipedia. The fuck he is. Look at your phone number. It spells Carrot Top. What? Your phone number spells Carrot Top. <laughs> Hi, Carl. What are, phone number are you trying to buy? Are you drunk? What phone number are you trying to buy? Are you drunk, Carl? I'm, I'm really concerned about Megan and her safety. I'm not, but... It sounds like you are. Whoever this is, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just so you know, Monday morning, your number's not going to work anymore. You're going to need to call Comcast, and they'll give you a new phone number. So Monday morning, my number's not going to work anymore. I call Comcast. Correct, yes. And can you tell that kid in the background to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to talk. <laughs> hey, listen, let me tell you something. All right. Where are you at in Illinois, fuckstick? I'm in Chicago. I'm in the call center. You're in Chicago? Yep. Where are you at in Chicago? Oh, I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> exactly, because you're probably not in Chicago. Okay, you win, but we'll see who's 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 the winner on Monday morning when your number doesn't work anymore. Monday morning? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need to call Comcast and arrange for a new telephone number. We can't do it because... Really? Yeah, we can't We can't do it ourselves because you, you fired us as a phone company. You went to Comcast. You took your number to Comcast, you big jerks. I never... We never had AT&T with this phone number, so that was a that was a good... That was another good one. Oh, don't lie. We know you did. Nope. You did <laughs> Absolutely so. Absolutely not. Yeah, huh? We have... Comcast. I had AT and T for a hundred years till A and T couldn't keep up with the program, but not with a house number, cell phones only. Was that a zinger of some sort? I don't really get it. Cell phones only were AT and T. Never had AT and T house phone. Yeah, you did. You, you just don't remember. Phone. Probably nope. Megan set it up. No. Nope. All right. Listen. Did you ever set this, up AT and T? This is fun, but I really got to get going. I have other people to call and let them know about their celebrity phone number takeovers and all that. Celebrity phone number takeover. Hey, at least look at the bright side. Now you have a celebrity's phone number. You can call him. You can call because it's going to forward to his cell number. <laughs> you, you'll you'll be able to call. No, you're, you're on my house phone. Anytime you want, you can call Carrot Top and say hello. You called my house. Just dial eight one five Carrot Top. <laughs> Is that hilarious, hello. Carl? Oh, it's fucking funny, dude. All right. Well, I, I got to let you go. I really, I have a lot of other people to call now. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Okay. Fuck off. Oh, don't, don't say that. I thought we were friends, man. Hello. Hello, Mr. Lynch. This is Roy from Comcast. Yes. And I just needed to let you know, we're going to be changing your telephone number on Monday morning. No, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. Why is that? Because um, somebody else wants the number, so we gave it to them. 
It's well, our, why would you do that when I've had this number for 30 years? Because we, um, they wanted the number and they bid on it. They bid a bunch of money. What do you bid on? They bid on my phone number? Yeah, it's for a celebrity. They want it because your number... I don't, I don't care if it's for President Obama. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke phone call, right? No, it's not a joke phone call. Um, yeah, the, it's, it's a you're celebrity. You're telling me today's Wednesday and you're changing my number Monday? Yeah, you're out of your mind. Monday morning. We sent you a letter about this. Did you get the letter? No, you did not. Oh, yes, we did. I never received a letter from Comcast. You, you probably thought it was junk mail or something and threw it away. What do you mean? So what are you going to give me in return for this? Since you bid up my number we're gonna and you made $10,000, what are you going to give me? Oh, it was way more than $10,000, sir. Now we're going to give you a new phone number. That's what you get. Well, then you're going to lose a customer for Comcast then, okay? Well, we don't care because we just got over $250,000 from Carrot Top. I don't believe you. So if you want to be a dick about it, you know, we're, we're just trying to do my, I'm just trying to do my job. Now, do you want your new oh, number yeah. or do you want to cancel? Give me the new number. And you know what? And I want to talk to your supervisor about the language that you're saying about... Oh. Yeah, I thought we were going to lose a customer. Now you want your new number. The story changes. You're, you're just well, you're, you're full of shit is what it is. Anyway, I have the number here. Are you ready? Sure. 815-6845. Okay. That's a better number anyway, in my opinion. Much better number. It's a change. It's a refreshing a change a in your life. Are you trying to be a smart aleck about this or what? A smart ass, not a smart aleck. Okay. Well, so who really is this? Because I don't believe you. No, I don't care if you believe me. Monday morning, you'll see who's telling the truth. That's what I've been telling everyone tonight. That's pretty How much my catchphrase for this show. Oh. For what show? Oh, forget I said that. Never mind. Oh okay, no! Okay, okay, look, look. Oh no! For real, I'm actually a, I'm a wacky morning radio DJ. I'm with the Skippy Dippy, okay. Skippy and Dippy show here in Chicago. Okay. And yeah, we're just prank calling you. We're not really changing your number. We just wanted to hear you get angry. Oh, how'd I do? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, you got really mad. You cursed a little bit. No, I no, I didn't curse. You did. No, no, you cursed first, and then I cursed no, after no, you. No, no, you're the one who cursed first. Oh well, I have a recording, and we're going to be playing it on the radio tomorrow morning. So we'll see who's right. Okay, great. Um, do we have your permission? We need your permission to play the, the phone call? No. Yes, we do need your permission. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I, I mean, no, I'm not giving you my permission. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, you know what? I'm a loose cannon here. I'm going to do it anyway. What do you I'm think of that? I'm going to do it anyway. You be listening okay. to 100.3 The Gerbil tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., okay? You think I'm going to get up in the morning and listen to that? It's a hilarious show. We're, we're going to have <laughs> Carrot Tops, the special guest tomorrow. I, I, I retired just so I don't have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but this is a special occasion. You're going to be on the radio. You're famous, sir. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to listen to it. All right, all right. Thanks. You can call in if you want. Okay. All right. Bye, honey baby. Wouldn't it be nice if everyone was like Mr. Lynch? After you tell them you've just been fucking with them for the past few minutes, they just laugh it off. They see the humor in it. Unlike those others that just remain grouchy after I let them know it's a joke. I tell you, some people. Hey Scott, this is Roy from AT&T. I just needed to let you know we're going to change your phone number. Your home phone number. Why? Uh, it's because you've been outbid on it. Nah, well, we're not changing. You can just shut it all off as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, well, you're going to have to call call Comcast. Now. No, I'm not going to fucking call anybody, you asswipe. That was uncalled for, sir. I'm sure it was. I'm and everything you've said is uncalled for. And I don't know who you are, but some jag-off sitting around thinking it's funny to prank call people. Did you call me a jag TV? Yeah, that's what I called you. Oh. You're a genius. I'm going to report you to my supervisor. Idiot. Can, can you kick that dog? <laughs> Well, have fun not having phone service then, smartass. And that's how you talk to people? Yep. The, the ones At that AT&T, are... that's how you, you call people names? The that's... ones that are smartasses to me. Well, uh, no, I'm, th that's bullshit. No way. Yeah, well, no, you don't get a choice. It's not up to you. It's it's Comcast's phone number. We're just leasing it to you, you know? 
I'm sorry, but um, no, that no. What well, here? Here, let me let me tell you this then. Go yeah. fuck yourself. <gasps> Hello. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Yep. Uh, this is Paul from the the dog park. Yeah. And I just needed to let you know that you you won you won the contest. The the dog Which contest was that. Uh, the dog contest. Um, you won the dog owner lookalike contest. Uh, because you look very much like Jack. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So Who you said? won you won the contest. You get the award <laughs> and the prize. Oh my goodness! What in the world is the prize? Uh, it's a trophy. Really? Yep. 2016 Landing Dog Park Dog Lookalike Contest Trophy. Okay. Well, that's great. Yep. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. What an honor. Yeah, yeah. We're going to give you like a ribbon to wear across your body and a, a crown and a trophy. And um, we would appreciate wow. it if you could bring all that stuff with you when you go walk your dog so people know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll make sure I do that. Yeah, yeah. Thank so they, you very much for calling. You're welcome. I'm glad you totally believe me. <laughs> These calls are from a list that was sent to me by a listener of a community dog park. And the list contained information such as the person's name, their phone number, their address, and their dog's name. So I called up people from this list and I presented them with various wacky scenarios. And some people took it well, some people didn't. This is from a live show I did back in 2016, so I was getting ideas from the chat room. So keep that in mind. It's not me that's this demented with all these ideas. It's my listeners that wants me to tell old ladies that they're smelling dog butts. Not me. Hello? Hi, Constance? Yes? Hey, Constance. It's Roy from the dog park. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're just calling about um, kind of a problem we're having. Uh, you, you know about the security cameras we have at the dog park? No. Oh, yeah, we have security cameras everywhere. And um, they've caught you several times um, sniffing sniffing asses of people. Like, you know, like Excuse how, me? The, the dogs, they're supposed to, they're, it's okay for your dogs to sniff each other's asses and stuff, but you're not allowed to do that yourself. Uh-huh. You, you can't do that. That's gross, and it's weird. Excuse me? Who are you again? I, uh, my name is Roy from the dog park, and we need you to stop doing that. That's gross. You know? I'm sorry. I don't even hardly even pet anybody else's dogs. Well, I don't know where you're no, getting no. this crazy information no, from. No, not petting the dogs. You were sniffing their butts. I'm not sniffing their butts. No, we, we, you ha know we have it on camera, ma'am. You have it on camera? Yeah, we have the security cameras everywhere in the park. And I'm sniffing dogs' butts. Well, dogs and people. Is this a male or a female that you're looking at? Well, it's dogs and people, and it's... it's, uh, it's no, no, the person that's sniffing the butts, is this a male or a female that you're looking at? It's, it's a female, it's you. I'm sorry, it's not. Yes, it is, because we have it on tape. All right. We have a VHS right security system. No, you can't come over. I can't come over to look at the tapes that you're saying that I'm doing. Well, we're we're a little busy right now. We're we're having a pizza. No, we're you're having, not. We're if, having you're, a, if you're if you're saying this, I'm coming over and looking at it right now. We're in the middle of a pizza party, so if you come here, you're not getting pizza. It's just for well, employees. Um, excuse me, can I speak to your boss? It's just for employees, and and no, he's busy. I'd he, like to speak to your boss. He's eating pizza. We're in the middle of a. I'd pizza like to speak to your boss. The boss. Okay, hold on, just a minute. He says he doesn't want to talk to someone that sniffs sniffs well, butts. I'd like to speak speak to the association director. Then nobody wants to talk to someone that sniffs butts, ma'am. That's just, excuse you know, me. They they got me to do this because I was the only one that would do it. Excuse me. I'd like to speak to the director. Um. Well, the director is busy eating pizza. Then he can get up from eating pizza and talk to me. Well, just ma'am, you're not in trouble. Just stop sniffing butts. I'm sorry. You are making it an absolutely gross accusation on where did the complaint come from? You're saying it's on the tape. Yeah, it's okay. On, it's on who the, identified the, the tape? Well, we all did. We we all know who everyone is. You know, it's not a big park. You all know? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I think this is a gross accusation, and I would like to speak to the director right now. Okay, ma'am, Constance, I was just kidding with you. We don't really have you on tape sniffing butts. We're just. I don't care. This is a gross, a I, gross telef telephone conversation. I know, but we were just kidding. You're not really sniffing butts. It's. It was just a joke. 
It's not a joke. But we're having a pizza party and we're making prank calls while we while we eat pizza here at the. You're making prank calls while you eat pizza. Yeah, here at the office. It's just something we do every once in a while to blow off steam. You know, we have to deal Excuse with. Excuse me. It's just something we do every once in a while to blow off steam here at the dog park. We're just we're having our our pizza party. We do this once a month and we make prank calls. Well, so, I think you need to reconsider. Well, we were just kidding around, though. It's just a joke. Don't you get it? It's kind of funny, really, once you think about it. No. If I, I thought about it, I'd go back to third grade, and I'm not in third grade. Oh, come on. Everyone needs to, to have a little fun every once in a while. Act like a third grader. We're just having some fun. Eating some pizza. You know? Hey. Hey, Crystal. This is Paul from the dog park. Uh, Paul? F- yeah. Yeah. It's me. What you doing? Clean it out. Oh, that's <laughs> Sounds nice. fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could help. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so um, we just uh, we have a little bit of a problem here. Um, yeah, what's that? Well, uh, we've noticed. Um, we, we, did you know? Did you know we have cameras in the dog park now? Uh, I heard that. Yes. Yep. I haven't been though, to be honest with you, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. It's just uh, a couple of weeks ago um, when you were out there with Sori, we noticed that you were uh, taking the the dog the the poo bags out of the trash can and smelling them. No. Yep. <laughs> I bring my own bags. They're on her leash. Right. Yeah. We we get that. But you were um you were actually digging in the trash can and pulling out random dogs random bags of dog poop and and smelling them and we thought that was weird what what's up with that uh that wasn't me i don't know who you're seeing on the camera oh no we recognized we recognized you uh you did what was i wearing because we well i don't have the the video right what here was the date we we have we have a uh, facial recognition for all the dogs and all the people and it it identifies you you? It's not me. I'm telling you. Why would I smell dog poop? Well, that's what I'm calling to ask. Why? Why would you? Why would you do that? That's weird. I'm starting to think you're weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, says the lady who smells dog poop. I don't. <laughs> but I want a date. Can I have a date? <laughs> I, I'm taken, ma'am. I'm married. Okay. So I'm sorry. No. What is wrong with you? I want a date that it occurred. Oh, I didn't. I, I misunderstood. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now I really do think you're weird. Why? Because you 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 don't know how to state things clearly. A to, to date me. of the video. Okay, well I don't have it here with me. I'm just saying I've seen the video. Okay, it's, it's Paul, over, what's your last it's, name? It's over at the office. I want I want it. You want the tape? I want your last name. Oh, it's uh, it's it's what? It's what? Uh, w. I've got your phone number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling from from the office that I'm not in because I don't have the tape. It's in the other office. The tape is in the other office. I don't but, know what you're talking about. This isn't even a big deal. I can deal. tell you exactly the last time we were there. Why can't you give me a date well, of the video? But it was like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And you're not in trouble. You don't have to get all defensive. No, no. What? No. We just think it's weird. It was not. You don't understand. What's that music it you're listening to? It was not me. Okay, well, if, if you say and so. And I have, you know, what was I wearing? That's all I'm asking. Um, look, you're what, not, Did I have sunglasses on or uh, not? I'm not in the security room right now with all the cameras and, and monitors and stuff. Well, why would you call me and... I think something's going on. You, I want your last name and what office are you calling from? I, well, I'm from the landing office. I'm, I'm in the main, the big office here at the front and the security office is way in the back. And I'm not getting out of this chair. At the association? <laughs> right, yeah. Paul, what's your last name? That's all I'm asking. W-U-T. W-U-T. Yeah, that's what I told you earlier. It's what? I thought you were being sarcastic because you have been so far. No, I'm not a sarcastic person, ma'am. I'm a Christian. I asked for the date and you said I'm already taken? Really? Well, because that sounded weird to me. I didn't I, I know you I know that you're married <laughs> it to Gary. It's weird or the way you took it. You know, we're both we're both married people. We don't need to be, you know, hooking up like that. That's that's not right. I'm a Christ, I'm a Christian and I'm happily married. What's my ma? Okay, well don't be asking me out then. Jeez. But anyway, look, you're not you're not in trouble, okay? And it's not a bit you don't even have to have to do anything there there's not, technically not even a rule against smelling dog poop i just thought it was peculiar
Can you just... I'm, you're you're going to weird people out when you go to the dog park. I'm not smelling poop. And I don't know what you are getting this from and why you are calling me. And then to say these things about a date and all that's crazy. Okay, for one thing, I didn't say anything about the date. You're the one that asked I me I said out. I wanted the date of the video. And then you said, oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm already taken. That just seems weird. I know, I know. Okay, look, just you're not in trouble. I can let you go and everything. Just, just, I know I'm not in trouble. I'm can, starting to think you might be in trouble for can, this phone call. Can you just not do it again? Just don't do it again. That's I all we I did have. not take trash bags out of the thing to smell dog poop. I think you're crazy. And if this is a prank, I've got the number that called me. Oh, shit. Oh, you're a Christian and you say that word too, huh? I don't think there's anything in the Bible about saying the shit word. Well, I think it's awfully rude. Right, but it's not in the Bible. It has nothing to do with being a Christian. If I said Jesus fucking Christ, that would be kind of not very Christian-like. But all I said was, oh, shit. Um, if you said fucking Christ, that would be bad? Ma'am, you don't what? need to. Cur- you don't. I can't believe you're talking to me this way. Well, you're, you're talking. You just said it to me. You no, stop cursing I'm at me. I'm calling my husband right now. For what? And let him get to the bottom of this whole phone call. Okay. Well, just you know, don't don't tell him that I asked you out on a date because I didn't. You asked me. No, I'm telling him you're weird. Okay. Really, seriously, you have a problem. You're gonna be, honey. <laughs> this man's weird. What do I do? It's not funny uh, to me a bit. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, this is, uh, this is something I've never had to deal with before. I don't know what to do. This when, is what you like, have to deal with. What's your job? Well, I, I work here at the dog park. I work, work here, at the and I mostly do the dog park stuff. I watch the security cameras. You're in security. Yeah, I review the footage of people Are like you. Are you a volunteer, or do you get paid? Well, that's none of your business. Well, I think it is. Not really. No, I don't. I don't have to tell you how much money I make. Yeah, I didn't ask you how much money you made. I asked if you were a volunteer or if it was a job. Well, it's a job to me. Oh, okay. Well, um, Mr. What? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, good. I hope you do. <laughs> Just like you got to the bottom of that trash can. Hello? Hi, Joyce. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the the dog park. Yeah, here at the landing, and I just, uh, I just, uh, you know, we have, you know, we have securities over there at the dog park, right? Security cameras. Yes. yes. And I, I don't know how to say this. I'll just be blunt, but I mean, you know, the dogs they're supposed to sniff each other's asses, but not the owners. That's gross. And that. that okay. F- can, uh, can, my dogs haven't been there in two months. Well, I'm talking about you, though. You need to stop sniffing people's asses. Cause that's not cool. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. We we have you on the security camera. We just need you to stop it. I haven't been there in two months. I know, but two months ago, we were really, no, really behind. No, I wasn't on... even near anybody. There were only two other people at the park. You were sniffing people's asses and dogs' asses. Oh, uh, we can't. Go to hell. can't. <laughs> ma'am. Oh. Hello, um, ma'am. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, uh, Sandra, I'm I'm calling from. The this is Roy from the dog park. Yes. And is uh, is uh, Mika there? Yes. Okay, could I speak with Mika, please? <laughs> Mika is in her cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just put the phone up to the cage. It's just, it's, it'll just take a minute. All right. Hold on. Tell me Go when... Ahead. Okay. Mika, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? <laughs> Are you a good boy, Mika? Who's a good boy? Hello. Hi. Um. Did he respond? She got up. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's all I needed. Okay. Thank you very much. Who is this? It's Roy from from the dog. <clears throat> Sorry, from the dog park. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. All right. Thanks. Bye. Hello. Hello, Debbie. Hello. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Yeah. This is Roy from the the dog park. Yes. Could you have your husband hang up? That's creepy. Hang up the phone, sir. That's weird. Quit being weird. It's creepy. 
I'm sorry. What? what your, your your husband when he was sitting there listening on the extension. He's so nosy. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh, no. I just needed to ask you a question about your dog Bandit. Yes. Or bin, is it Bandit or Bandit? Bandit. Okay. Um. Your your dog. Um. He ate my son's homework, and my son failed the fifth grade because of him. What was this? Your 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 dog Bandit. Yes. He he ate my son's homework. He ate your son's homework. Yeah, and now and now because of your dog, my son failed the fifth grade. Well, I would say he better get busy and repeat what he did. Repeat the fifth grade? No, repeat his homework. No, no, the teacher won't let him because it was due. Um, it was due on Tuesday, and thanks to your dog, it got eaten. Why did he take? his homework to the dog park well i is that not allowed it's a it's a park he was just hanging out in the park doing his homework your dog came along and ah. ate, ate his homework well he did it when i or my husband neither of us saw him near any uh anybody under the age of 50 okay well maybe you should be watching him a little bit better and then you'd notice we do watch him. Well, not very well, because he ate my son's homework, and now my son failed the fifth grade. And I think you should have to pay for summer school or tutors or something. I think you're crazy. Goodbye. I'm not crazy. What are you talking about? Hello? Hi, Mrs. Bothwell? Yes. This is Paul from the, the dog park. Yes. And um, I just needed to let you know, uh, we've, we've observed you guys a few times not cleaning up the dog pee. When Savannah goes out there, like you have to dog cl- pee. Yeah, you have to clean up the dog pee as well as the dog poop. Oh, really? How do you clean up the dog pee? Uh, well, I don't know. You're the dog owner. You figure it out. I'm just letting you know that you need to do it. Or there's. I've gonna- never seen anybody there cleaning up dog pee. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if everyone else, well, is, if, if, no, if, if, if no, everyone else is breaking the law, do you, does that mean you get to break the law too? Of course not. No, no, no. I've just never heard of this. I'm not trying to be difficult. I honestly have never heard of this before. Well, I'm a, I don't okay. know. I'm a cat owner. Uh, maybe I'll... we're supposed to bring like a spray bottle of water or something to dilute it. Yeah, or, or maybe the hose. Or the or hose. A, a sponge. I don't no, know. the hose, it's not going to stretch, you know, way over on the other side Yeah, of but the you, can con- you can connect a bunch of them together. Oh. Just bring a bunch okay. with you, you know. Okay. Well, we'll make sure everybody there knows when we go next. And my my husband was there today. He usually takes her. I don't take her oh, quite as yeah, often. Yeah. But I will certainly let him know. Okay. And um, I've never noticed that particular rule before. I know the poop and, and everybody and most people are really good about picking up the poops. Yeah. Um, yeah. But always, always no, someone I that's honestly got a... have never heard about the pee. So that's that's very interesting, and I will certainly pass along the word the next time we go. Okay. And. Um, also, we've noticed that you guys haven't liked us on Facebook yet. You know, the, the landing page or the dog park page. Oh. And um, uh, okay. That's kind of uh, a requirement. We don't do Facebook. Well, you need to get on Facebook and like us because otherwise, you're just not welcome in the park anymore. Oh my goodness! Uh, may I ask who you are? My name is Paul. I work here for the. What's, what's uh, your last name? Who? Paul. Who? 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 Who is your last name? And you work for the Landings Association. Uh, I do, yes. But okay. you need to figure out Facebook oh. and give us a like on Facebook. Otherwise, uh, you know, we're just going to have to ask you to go somewhere else. Really? Oh, my. Okay, well, this is all very new. I didn't see a rule that we had to like the dog park on Facebook either. Well, really, Maybe that's I just... just have cu- I'm, I'm going to go into the website now and go find all these rules. Okay, I yeah. obviously have not been reading them correctly. Yeah, yeah. The Facebook one, uh, besides that being a rule that is on the Facebook, that, I mean, that's on the website, that's just common sense. If you're a Facebook person, which we're not. Well, but you need to get I with, get with the saying. times. Be a Facebook person. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this is a very interesting conversation. Um, I, you know, I may have my husband give you a call back for clarification because he usually goes. Okay. But so if he just calls the number you call me on, that would be fine. Okay. Yep, that works. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you for this eye-opening conversation. You're welcome. All right. Have, have a, a nice day. day. No, you have a nice day. 
Well, I'm sure I will. Good. Okay. Good. Uh, Hello. Hi. Is this Peter? Oh. Hello. Yes. Oh, hey, Peter. Yeah. It's Roy from the the at the dog park. Yeah. And I just had a question for you about your dog, about Julie. Uh huh. Um, were you aware? Uh, you know, we do the DNA testing on the dogs now, right? Mm hmm. Um, we we uh, we ran your your uh, your dog's DNA through the national database, and there's uh-huh. t- there's kind of a problem. There is. Yeah. Are you sitting down? No, I'm standing up. You should sit down. You did it. Okay. Okay. Um. Your dog, it turns out, your dog is wanted for war crimes. What? Your dog is wanted for war crimes. And I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I never had to deal with this before. It's just, uh, you know, it came up in the national database. you got to be kidding. I'm on the line, too. Oh, get, <laughs> up, <laughs> get off the line, ma'am. This is between me and Peter. Quit being so nosy. Ma'am, you hang up that phone. Listen, what what the hell do you want? Your dog was observed saying, um, I was just following orders. And and so we ran the DNA across the the database, and your dog's wanted for war crimes. Oh, that's that's bullshit. Your dog's name is actually Sergeant Stiegler of the Third Reach. Goodbye. You can hang up too now, me. Hello. Hi, Victoria. Yes. This is Roy from from at the dog park. Uh huh. And um, I just had a question for you about Maggie. Okay. Um. Well, you know how we have you register all the dogs, you know, for their DNA, for the poop, and all that. No. What? You wait. You register the dogs for the DNA. Yeah, I, maybe we didn't tell you. We we secretly uh, got their DNA to you know just for when people um, don't clean up after their dogs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that way we 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 know you know which one's responsible. Really? Yep. Yep. It's <laughs> hilarious. Oh no, it's it's a it's a really good system. So when people uh, when people you know they don't clean them up up after their dogs, we we take care of it. We kick them out. Oh wow! Okay. Yep. So anyway, you're not in trouble for that. It's no big deal. I just wanted to let you know that we secretly collected uh, the DNA of your dog. How did you do and, that? Uh, we we watched where you put the poop, and then we um, we went and, and took it. You dumpster dived. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we okay. have we have a whole system. We have, we have everyone's dog's DNAs. But I needed to let you know um, something came back with your dog's DNA that's that's not good. Uh oh! What is it? Are, are you sitting down? Yes. Are you sure you're you're actually sitting down? I am sitting down. Okay. Oh, thank God. Um, your dog. It turns out your dog is is wanted for war crimes. What? Your your dog is is a war criminal. <laughs> is this a joke? No, I wouldn't joke, ma'am. I, I just I feel awful like telling you about this. But how well how well do you know your dog? Well, I adopted her from a rescue. Ah, oh, it's starting to make sense now. How long ago was that? 2009. Hmm. How old is the dog? War crime. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm not believing this conversation. You're not? Why not? Because it's too bizarre. Well, I, I know it's bizarre. This isn't, this isn't something I've ever, ever had to deal with before. It's just... What do you mean war crimes? War crimes. He's a war criminal. He's in cahoots with the Nazis. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Because this is this is a joke. No, it's not a joke. Um, we just we you have. You know what? I'm going to head up to the association in a few minutes. Can I ask for you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm here all day. It's just uh, you know, keep your Nazi war criminal of a dog away from here if you come. <laughs> yeah. She might lick you to death. That's about it. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't want that Nazi tongue all over me. You. 
Ugh. Jeez. This is weird. You know, but bioterrorism is not a joke. That dog worked for Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No, I don't drink, ma'am. I'm a Christian. Mm. Well, so am I, but... Oh, but you're, you're, you, you still do the things that you're not supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, gee, thanks for the warning. I appreciate it. We're pretty sure your dog has Hitler's brain, like they did some sort of a transfer thing. Your name is Roy? Yep. And what's your role at the landings? Uh, well, I, that's none of your goddamn business. All right, I'll take my Nazi dog, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, well, you're going to have to keep it outside. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. You know the chat room's running out of ideas when they start accusing people's dogs of being wanted for war crimes. So this next call, and the last call on today's show, is what we refer to as the final boss. This is the call that was made near the end of the show after I had called tons of dog park people over the last couple of hours and said crazy, wacky things to them. This is where I call the dog park itself and tell them that I'm one of the people that got called by this terrible prankster person just to hear them tell me about all the craziness that's been happening. So here is a call to the dog park final boss. Thank you for calling. Association. How can I help you? Hi there. Um, I'm a, a, a member here. of, of I, I use your dog park and I just got a call from someone there at the office. Um, t- yes, yeah, so, uh, we are sending out uh, communications, emails, someone is spoofing, calling several residents, something about the dog park, correct? Oh, well, who in there is doing that? Yeah, because they, they said There's I was... There's no one here. They, no, ma'am, is, listen, they, they said I was going around sniffing dogs' butts while I was in the park, and that's a gross accusation, and I, I wasn't doing that. Right, it's just, I, we're not sure our director of security is looking into it well how many people are in there is someone from the office because i have caller id hold on a moment okay soon please hold the line and we'll be right back with she you. can't handle this she's got to get someone else probably a man yep this song is probably going to set off youtube's uh content id thing they're going to shut off my st- Thank you for holding. This is Erica. How can I help you? Hey, Erica. I just, I received a call from someone there that said I was uh, doing inappropriate things in the dog park. What's and your last name? That's Gordon. Gordon. Oh. Would you be, um, what's your first name? Steve. I've got a couple Gordons. Oh, Steve. Steve? Yeah. Okay. Um, you have two golden retrievers? That's me. Okay. Um, was it a male caller? Yes, it was. Do you, do you know who, who that was? He identified himself. Um, um, I, I, unfortunately, we do not know who it is. It, somebody has managed to spoof the caller ID to look like they're calling from the association. Oh, that's not possible. Are, that's like witchcraft. They are identifying themselves as either somebody affiliated with the dog park or as an employee. Um the names that he's used so far has been Paul, Roy, and Frank. Um, oh, hmm. That's but, not, so I'm not the only one that was called? Because they said I was going around no, sniffing sir. butts at the dog park, and that's that's a gross accusation. Yes, that is a, definitely a gross accusation, and that's the first time that I have heard that one. Um, oh, what else have they said? I've heard, um, so far we have had... Um, Ran the dog's poop for DNA, and the dog is wanted for war crimes. Um, he told one person that the dog was a registered pedophile. Um, we were going to be having uh, dog fights at the dog park. And, oh, what day is that? Um, so you know, we have what, what day is we've the dog had fight? All sorts of calls. Um, he didn't say. Oh, okay. But it was coming up, and in addition to the dog fights, um, we would be shooting dogs out of cannons and having a most look-alike contest. So we have had um, all sorts of <laughs> manner of calls now. I see. I see. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty funny. I mean, maybe, maybe <laughs> the guy must be a comedian or something. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. You, um, you of should course. just... You just let the calls happen, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> this is. I, mean, <laughs> I was. I was mad before, but now I'm kind of amused. 
now that you know it's just not you and that they've all been told um, very random things. Yeah, I felt so singled out. I thought, I thought <laughs> someone was mad at me. Nope, nobody is mad at you. Um, okay, well... I, I can't speak professionally on this, but I'm taking a guess and a stab in the dark that it's probably um, a school person. And I know that they sound like a man, but I also know that there are some older teenagers, you know, uh, juniors that's and seniors, the most likely who thing. sound very manly. Yep. Um, and that they... They probably uh, got hair in their pits already. <laughs> probably. And um, I think that now that school's out, they're pretty bored and looking for ways to screw with people <laughs> that must be it yep okay all right well i'm glad it wasn't just me because i've no nope, not, not just you i only sniff the butts of cats not dogs oh well that is definitely good to know because that is far less inappropriate yep that's true and um because cats if, clean themselves yes cats do clean themselves dogs are, are dogs are gross. fucking disgusting I mean, dogs eat cat poop so. oh i know Ugh. um but if they happen to call back, if you would please give us a call, and we will we're kind of keeping a log of phone calls so that we can get the information out to other residents. Okay, okay, I I will do that. Okay. And and by the way, I'm the one that's making the calls. Have a nice day. Oh, good. You too. Bye. Bye. I'm not smelling poop. The first few have to do with a new service that's launching in Arizona this year where residents around Phoenix, they're going to be able to call robot taxis and have them drive them around, kind of like a Uber or a Lyft, but without a human driver, which is kind of insane that that's already happening. I think they're officially set to launch this summer after testing for about a decade now. These calls are my predictions on some of the problems that might arise with the launch of self-driving cars. Hello. Hello, Mildred. Yes, I may help you. Hey there, it's it's uh, Steve Dave. I'm from Waymo. We we make those robot taxis that that you've seen driving around town. Yeah. And hey, um, your messy hobo yard. It's it's messing up our sensors on the robot taxis. Do you think you could clean My up? Hobo yard? What are you talking about? I don't have no hobo yard. Well, it's just really messy, and, and it's not my yard that's really messy. You talking? You must be talking about the people next door. Because I got rocks in my yard, and I ain't got no weeds and stuff in my... I got a yard man to come and see about my yard every month. But the rocks are kind of hob- hobo-y. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what kind of stuff's in your neighbor's yard? Maybe we're thinking of them. You got to be thinking of them. What what kind of stuff's over there? I don't know where y'all... Hey, y'all know so much about my yard. Y'all don't know about the neighbor's yard? Well, we think it's your yard. Are you sure you're not making it up and it's really your yard? What the hell do you mean making it up? I got I got a, a landscape rocks. I got a yard man to come and see about my yard every month. Yeah, but our record's here. I'm I'm checking here in the computer, and it, it says that you have a hobo, a hobo yard. Well, I don't know. I ain't got no hobo yard. I'm printing out the report. Right now, it's it's like Mildred Hobo Yard here in the hmm. here in the computer. I I don't understand that. Okay, well maybe it's a mistake. Um, it also says you keep looking at our at the robot taxis. Like every time they drive by, you're just looking at them and giving them dirty looks. No! Oh no! I don't even know when no people drive by. Whoa, what, what's, hap- what's happening in the background? Is, is, is that Price is Right? Oh, oh, excuse me, what are you talking about? I, I was wondering which TV show that was. That I heard a bunch of cheering. That was Murray Show. The what? The Murray Show. Oh, the Murray Show. I haven't watched that in years. Is it still pretty good? Yeah. What, what are they doing today? Who, who's, what kind of crazy people they got on there today? Same thing as, as last time. Ah, wh- what was that? I'll just get on the internet and look it up, I guess, since you want okay. to. Okay. Um, so, hey, uh, I'm calling from Waymo. You know that robot taxi service? No. Oh, well, we, we do taxi service, but it's like with robots, there's no humans. Uh-huh. And, you know, there's like sensors up on top of the taxi. And it like every time it drives by your house, it reports that your your yard is messy and it interferes with the sensors. I'm asking, I'm asking, what's, the, what's the house number? The house number 60. 
You, well, you got the wrong. You got you're wrong, man. Well, it says it's a hobo yard. It, it says it's like it just a bunch of trash, and it messes up the sensors. Like when it comes on your street. Tell you what. You, Next time we stop, come by, tell them to stop and talk to me. Well, no, there's nobody in the car. It's a robot. The robots can't stop and talk to you. Well, I'll tell you what. You're, it's, it's wrong. It's it's just the, the sensors. It messes up the sensors every time it goes well, by. Well, I'll tell you what. You better get your sensors straight then. Well, my yard is fucking no hobo. We, should, <laughs> we shouldn't have to, though. You know, you should just keep your yard clean. So we okay, I mean, look, Duke, I'll tell you what. You come out of my house and look at your my yard yourself, okay? Bye. No, I look. What? I, I'm. It's it's definitely we can I can see it right now on the robot's uh, right? camera. The robot took pictures. Okay. What 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 kind of cars in my yard? Oh, I, I don't. I can't. I it, it. I can't. I can't just give out information like that. Well, you you by the way, uh, don't call me no more. Okay. Well, just just I'm just saying, clean up your yard. I, I'm. This is the. S- I tell you what. Fuck you. Oh, dear, my oh. <laughs> The hell? Hello. Hi, Bernadine. Yes. Hi there. Th- this is Sensei Doug from Waymo. We're, we're that robotic taxi company that's coming to Phoenix, you know? No, I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. Well, they're like robot taxis, and um, they've been driving around your neighborhood. You know, there's the, the cars with those big domes on top. Haven't seen him. Oh, okay. Well, they've seen your house. Um, the paint on your house is a little bit too reflective, and it's ir- interfering with our sensors. So do you think you could repaint your house for us? Absolutely not. But it's too reflective. You, you've got, you got like, glitter in it or something. It, it keeps messing up our radars. Well, I'm not painting my house because you have a problem. It's your problem. Well, yeah, but you're the one causing it. You're being kind of a jerk having a house like that. Yes, I'm being a very big jerk. I don't have the money to have my house painted because you've got a problem. Well, how come nobody in else? How come? <laughs> Whoa, she told me. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Wilk. Or this Ms. is Mrs. Wilkie. Oh, well, close enough. This is um, Steve Day from Waymo. You know, we have those robo-taxis here in town now. But no, I didn't know it. Oh, well, we do. And um, we, they're like taxi service but they're they're they don't have human drivers they're all robots yes and and our reports here show that you ordered one but we don't know what that you ordered a robot taxi to come to your house when like this morning but we think it was a glitch in the system you didn't really order it but i think it's going to show up there oh really (laughs) no i did not order one okay um, I just need to let you know that it might you might have a robot taxi um, show up at your house, so just don't... And then what? Uh, just don't interact with it. If you see it, like... Bat- I'm handicapped, and I get around with a walker, so I don't go outside very much. Oh, that wouldn't work. Okay, well, that's good then. J- just s- stay inside. I was going to say, put put your hands up like like a bear and, 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 and back away. <laughs> and back away, you know? But it's it's fine. Just um, if can you can you call us back if you see the robot robot taxi out front? Or did you check the backyard? Backyard behind me is houses. Okay, sometimes they they get confused. I'd like to know who ordered one to come here. I think it was just a mistake. And in, in the the robots, they make a lot of mistakes. Still, we're, we're still perfecting them. But you're gonna see a lot of them a lot of them driving around from now on. Just just keep your distance and don't look at them. So it's not out there right now, is it? Like, it's not out in front? It would take me a couple minutes to get out there to check. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. It's okay. You didn't hear it come in the garage or anything? No, I don't. I have a garage, but it's not for to park a car in. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. I get it. Well, I, I guess, uh, you know, we'll, we'll come. We'll send a team of, of uh, people over to retrieve it if it shows up. A team of uh, highly trained handlers. By the way, do you have any information on it? What it costs to ride it, and so far? Oh yeah, like it's like a dollar. It's you know, it's just a dollar, I think. But um, I can send you a pamphlet in the mail, or you could just go to Waymo. dot com. I don't go into computer. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. There's scary. Um, I mean, at my the, age, I don't want to mess around with it. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I'm sure it'll be on the news and everything. We we can send you some pamphlets. Would you please? I would appreciate we that. Could, we could send one over in a robot car. <laughs> no, because I wouldn't be going out to get it. 
Uh, we'll, we'll send a robot to bring it up to the door. <laughs> Look, once I, I, someone comes to my door, it takes a couple minutes for me to get there. Oh, okay. We'll let the robot know then. Or, or we can just mail No, we'll just mail it. You know, we'll just mail it. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can do that. It'll be more expensive. You know, stamps are like 49 cents, but... We, we, oh, big deal. Yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll have it in the mail tomorrow. Okay. All right. And if you don't get it, just look, you know, watch the news or something. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you, ma'am. Thanks for the help. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Oh, no, you were great help. Best help ever. Okay, thank you. Woohoo! Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you for holding. This is Jennifer. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Jennifer. What you eating? <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, this is uh, Steve Dave. I'm the CEO of Waymo. You know that new robotic okay. taxi company? Uh-huh. That's coming for you. Um, I was just wondering, can we put flyers in your taxis advertising our our services that are better and faster, cheaper? Okay. Let me transfer you, okay? Who you transfer me to? I'm going to transfer you to Jim. Is it because you're he's eating? Marketing. Is it because you're eating? No. Oh, because he's in marketing. No, I, I'm not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to eat? It's uh, for so marketing. You, so when you picked up, you weren't chewing? You, okay. I, I must have mistook that for something else. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me one minute, okay? Okay. I'll talk to Jim. Yes. Hurry. This is Jim. Oh, hey, Jim. This is uh, Steve Dave. I'm the CEO of Waymo. You know that robot taxi thing uh, that's setting up shop here? Okay. Hey, hey, I was just wondering, can we put some flyers? Can we just give you guys some flyers to give to your customers? You know, to adver- I'm a adver- confused. Well, we want to advertise uh, our... Who am I our talking with? My name is Steve Dave. I'm, I'm the CEO of, of Waymo here in town, and... Okay. Um, we, we just want to put up. We just want to give Tell flyers. Me what, wait, what does Waymo do? Uh, we we um we have robot taxis that are faster than yours and better, and it's going to be like twice as cheap because there won't be any human drivers. I'm not interested. No. Well, no. We just want to put flyers in your cab. We just want to advertise, so so we can you know get more why, customers. Why, why would I do that though? Because we we want to you know we'll pay you we'll, we'll give you like you know whatever ten bucks per 100 flyers or I don't know what you need. We we just want to get more customers per flyer. What? Okay, I'll take 10,000 of them. 10,000. Oh no, we don't have that much yet. We're just setting up, you know. We we're we're figuring uh, that's what things I out. Well, look, you know, you better be why, nice. Why to- would I why would I support someone who's calling me up and telling me that they're better than me? Well, because it's true. It's it's not like an opinion or anything. It's just a fact. These robot taxis are going to no, these, these robot taxis are going to put you out of business. Is that why they're outlawed? Is that why they're outlawed in so many states? Well, they're not outlawed here. Experimented in, well, that's be, well, you're still getting sued for the accidents in Tempe. I don't know if it's Whammo or whatever the name of your suing. Yeah, that's is. not us. That's not but, us. Our, our company's not silly, though. Yeah. I mean, you're but, com- but it's all going to be put on hold by the government. Oh, no, no. We're setting up this week. Yes, sir. Well, you have your opinion, and I have mine. Oh, it's not an opinion. I'll show you the reports, motherfucker. Motherfucker. That's right, motherfucker. Well, you wouldn't say that to my. You wouldn't say that to my face, would you, punk? Oh yeah, I would, because you're being kind of a dick about the flyers. We just want to. Well, I'm not interested. Just, I told you. Okay, well, you don't have to be a dick about it. I, I just trying to do a little bit well, of business. I, I'm not, I didn't call. I didn't call you any names. I'm just trying to get a. No, I, did, I wasn't called. That's I just how I why, speak. I simply asked you, why would I support someone that says they're better than me? I won't. Well, you said Anything our... Anything else I can do for you, 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 motherfucker? You said our company name was Silly, so I think you deserved it. And there he goes. As you can see, the taxi companies are very afraid of this new competition they're going to be forced to deal with, and the taxi companies probably won't survive with that attitude. I mean, holy crap, I was just asking for a small favor. Next, I'm going to play some calls where I claim to be an astronaut working on the International Space Station. We're having a great day here. See, this is Renee speaking. Who am I the pleasure of speaking with? Oh, hey there, Renee. This is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up here in space. Okay. How can I help you? And um, well, you know how your your tenants they have a satellite TV and they have those, those dishes mounted up on the roofs. 
They're not supposed to have any of those. Oh, no, we can see a couple. Uh, we can see a couple from up here. Uh, they're kind of hidden a little bit, like they're... Uh, I think they're kind of camouflaged from down there, but up here we can see them just fine, because we're in space. Okay. And I'm just calling to tell you, like, like there's at least three satellites up there on the on the buildings. There's two on one building and one on the other. I think they're they're breaking the rules. Okay, we'll get it addressed. Not a problem. Okay, um, you may have to, I don't know, fly a drone up there or something. Look at it from the air because you can't really see it from the ground. Or get someone to walk around on the roof. But we, they're I'll talk to my maintenance supervisor. Not okay. a problem. Okay, they're definitely up there. Let, let them know. Like it's uh, this is a legit, legit uh, report from Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton on the International Space Station. Okay, not a problem. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. I just you know didn't want people down there breaking the rules. Okay, got it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Take Tuck, care. Tuck bye bye. Pendleton away. It's a great day here at the city of DJ speaking. How can I help you? Hey there. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up here in space. How you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How are you today? Good. Um, what's your name? I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm not a tenant there. What what are you typing? Oh no, I'm checking something. Oh, okay. Are you googling me? No. Cause I'm real. Whenever we get no, when we get a phone call, I have to enter your information into the system. Oh, uh, is this an answering service or is this the actual apartment? This is the actual apartment. Oh, I see. Very businesslike there. I'm very impressed. How can I help you? Oh, I was doing a spacewalk um, about 30 minutes ago, and I, I dropped my socket wrench, and I think it landed, like, right there next to one of your buildings. I can just see what, it through the what, trees. What, uh, what building would that be? Oh, well, I, I don't, I'm not too familiar with your apartment building, but it, there's, like, a parking lot and an angled sidewalk like a really weird angled sidewalk. It looks like some sort of a devil pattern. Or like a, a, peace, a, pattern. Or like a peace sign. I don't know. Look at my map. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's the church next door. No, it's not there. You, there's so many trees at your place. It's hard to tell from up here. Church next door, yeah. Yeah, but like I dropped a socket wrench. It says property of NASA. It's got it stamped on the side. Like yeah, a, so uh, what, would you want, what would you want me to do with the socket wrench? Oh, I can't hear you because I don't know what you're doing. I said, what would you like me to do with this socket wrench? Oh, well, is there any way um, you could see if it's out there? It's like a $100,000 socket wrench. I can have one of my uh, one of my leasing agents go out there and see if it's out there. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate it because it's, it's an expensive tool and I feel like an idiot for dropping it, and if they find out, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get in trouble. That's understandable. You don't want NASA to come after you. That's a lot of running. Yep. Yep. It's hard to run in space. <laughs> I, just, I just sent somebody out there. I'm going to check for you. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> How's space doing? How's it up there? Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, just floating around, doing my science shit. You know, playing on the internet. It's pretty boring, to Weren't be honest. Weren't you in movies? Movies? What are you talking movies? about? I mean, you know, I've heard that name before. Oh, it's almost as if you were Googling me when I first called. No, 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 not Googling nobody. No, I've never been in movies. I've been in a few documentaries since I'm such a big shot astronaut. But, right. no, 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 definitely so not movies. Oh, wow, I hear you typing. What you typing? I've been putting you in my system. Okay. Uh, letting me know the reason for the call. What, what? Can you read it to me? Read your report. It says, Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton called a wrench. He said he dropped from space. 
During a spacewalk. Uh, Put that in there. During a spacewalk. During spacewalk. Can you write in there to please do not contact NASA directly? Because I don't want to get fired. Please, please do not contact NASA directly. Yep. Just need the wrench. And where would you like me to send this wrench if it's out there? Uh, well, um, you have my number and your caller ID? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I do. It's a, let me see, it's a 866 Yep, yep. 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 Yep, that's the one. Hey, uh, like, so we're orbiting the Earth, you know, and every day around the same time, like, uh, <laughs> from, like, uh, noon till 2, um, Oh, wait, no, what time is it there? Like, from 10 to, to noon? Wait, no, you're mm -hmm. in Florida. Whatever. Anyway, I could lower a bucket from space, and you could just throw it in there, and I'll pull it back up. And I just got a question, because, you know, if you do lower something down here, you know, that wouldn't <clears throat> mess up anything with, you know, planes flying, because, you know, <clears throat> well, we have people that do, you not, know. Not my problem. I just need to get my wrench back. Wrench is more expensive than that. Those planes, probably. No, those those planes actually cost millions and millions of dollars. I know. Uh, okay, well, look, you know. I just don't want to get fired, okay? And and that wrench is worth about a hundred thousand. I saw the invoice for it. You saw the invoice for it? Yeah, when they ordered it, it's like almost a hundred thousand dollars for that thing. Did this come out of your your pocket? Well, it will if I lose it. You know, it's it's government spending. That's how it works. Yeah, it's an that's expensive, definitely how it works. Expensive wrench. If you find it, maybe you could just like go to Home Depot and get one for me, and I'll just write on it with a sharpie. Property of NASA. You probably wouldn't have it. Yeah. You probably would not have that. Probably not. So how much you said this wrench costs? A hundred thousand dollars. Do you know how much an A380 costs? Um, no. No, I'm not a pilot, so why, how would I? I mean, you know, you said that this wrench is probably costs more than a plane, but an A380 actually costs $428 million. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a lieutenant. <laughs> I don't know how this shit works. Right. I would think something from space, though, is more expensive than, like, a stupid airplane. Stupid people on it. I mean, think about all the people that would die in the airplane and, like, all the money that they would leave behind to their kids and everything. That probably adds up to more. So, basically, I'm stimulating the economy if my bucket takes down a few jetliners. We need to... You're not, you're not, you're not, you know, related to Dennis Quaid, are you? I gotta go. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> Crap, you guys. <laughs> you figured it out. Thank you for calling. Party, this is Trabar speaking. I can help you. Hey, uh, Trabar, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. Okay. Yeah. And, um, like, you know the, the satellite dishes that you have on your building? No, I do not. Oh, well, I'm, you know, like your, te your tenants there, they have satellites, right? Like Dish TV and all that? Direct TV? Some do. Well, like, they're, they're all pointing kind of like south, southwest right now. And we're beaming uh, high-powered lasers down and trying to hit the satellite dishes. And, um, mm -hmm. like... Like, we're trying to bounce them off of those satellites uh, to destroy a, uh, an asteroid that's heading toward Earth. And, like, is there any way you could get out there and just readjust all the satellites to be more, like, um, due west instead of, you know, toward the south? I'm sorry, who is this and what's going on? Is this a joke or...? Oh, no, no, I'm not joking. This is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station. And uh, we're currently, uh, we're orbiting the Earth. Uh, we're about 200 miles or so uh, up. You know, well, we above. can't do that, I'm sorry. Well, no, this is uh, kind of an important thing. We've, we've been beaming lasers down. Like, high-powered lasers. I understand, lasers. but 
I'm sorry, but we, we can't assist. N you no, look, to, look. You have to make... Why not? Because if you don't assist, there's going to be an asteroid that's going to hit the Earth. Okay. And, well, um, if, it, if it does, I guess it's our time. No, no, it's not, uh, you idiot. This is, we're able to, like, you know, get rid of the, right like, now, I'm, I do apologize, but at the moment, I'm I'm currently handling some business here. Oh, so yeah, whatever business you're handling, it's not as important as stopping an asteroid from hitting the Earth. Stupid. All right. All right, I have to go. I do apologize. Okay. Right. Hey, apologize to whoever you're talking to that they're going to get... Okay, I didn't want to say die, but, you know, basically. There's your typical lazy American, so wrapped up in his 9-to-5 job that he won't even step up and try to save all of humanity even when I was giving him pretty much the easiest assignment ever, just to just a few satellite dishes. I'm sorry, you're telling me my employee is a robot? Oh. Hi, uh, Diane? Oh. Yes. This is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Hi, um, I just uh, need to let you know we have a bunch of marshmallows left over from the fireworks celebration last night. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if I could come over and we could just eat a couple together. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, we just have a bunch of marshmallows left over. I could just come up to the door and we'll just, I don't even have to come in. We'll just eat a couple together and then I'll leave. And who is this? This is Dave Reynolds from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. No, thank you. Uh, why not? What else, Are you doing anything right now? I've got company right now. Oh, okay. Well, I don't even have to come in. We'll, I'll just come up to the door and we'll eat a couple marshmallows together. <laughs> And then I'll, I'll leave. No, thank you. I, I don't have to meet your no, company. No, thank you. And please don't call back again. I don't want to meet your company, in fact. Like, I don't give a shit about your company. I just, I thought it'd be, okay. Hello? Hi, is this Ollie? Yes. Hey, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, and it's a, it's been a, been a sort of a bad 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 time for a lot of people, right? <laughs> yeah, it sure has. Yeah. What? Um, let's see, Dave. Uh, I don't. I, I'm I'm not sure that I know you, but anyway, that's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, I work with Frank. Um, I just wanted to let you know that those those uh, fireworks you were you you were using last night, uh, those those were uh, counterfeit fireworks. Made by terrorists. I wasn't using any fireworks, honey. What's the matter with you? Oh, no, no. We know you were because uh, we, we have... No, you don't know no such a darn thing. What, what number are you calling? Who are you calling? I'm calling George and Ollie. George and Ollie have, no, have never put off a fireworks down here. Oh, no. We know you did. We have, we have pictures. Oh no, you don't either, darling. Okay, well look, it's it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know that those fireworks you well, were using. Well, it is a big deal that you're accusing me of doing something I didn't do. Okay, no, you're not in any trouble. I just wanted to let you know we were. I don't care about the trouble right now. What I'm to is <laughs> letting you know you are absolutely wrong. I'm just. And you don't have any pictures of me. And my husband, we stayed inside this house all night long. Well, yeah, but before the night started, you did some fireworks out on no, the porch. No, no, no. You and him were running around with sparklers. No, no, no. But um, the reason I'm calling is because we were cleaning up the firework mess in front of your house from those fireworks you did last night. There was and, no fireworks oh, you, so mess rude. in front of my house that I know of. You keep on interrupting me. Well, uh, well, there is no use in your finishing your conversation because let me tell hey, you up. if it shut was up. out hey, there, shut up. Shut the we fuck didn't up. put shut them up. out there. Shut up. Yeah, um, and we noticed that some of your fireworks were they're they're counterfeit. They're not American made fireworks. So, I don't have any fireworks, sir. Who, what, so, Dave, who is it? So Dave, what? Wherever you bought these fireworks, you you got them. Dave, counterfeit. what is your last name, Dave? Reynolds. Dave Reynolds. Yep. And uh, wherever you bought these from, you need to be careful where you buy your I fireworks. I did not buy any fireworks, sir. Oh, we know you did. It's okay. You don't have No, to... you do not. You don't have to deny it. I don't have to even then talk to you about that matter. So, so hang up the phone then. What in the world is 
is wrong with you? Why are you calling me, harassing me? Well, um, I would I would tell you why I'm calling you, but you just keep interrupting me every time I try and tell I'm you. I'm not interrupting you. Oh, look, you, you just interrupted me. Blame thing. I'm just telling you, you know there's what? no use. <laughs> No use in you uh, t- telling you, accusing me of something. We, uh, we, I don't even now know. I haven't even then been nowhere to buy no daggone fireworks. Do you know the definition of interrupt? Do you know the definition of uh, t- t- accusing of somebody of, of, uh, of doing something they didn't do? <laughs> the definition of touch. You have got to be kidding me, sir. No, I'm not kidding. I just, I wanted to let you know. I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. And no, let, let you're you know. not trying to be a good neighbor. You're trying oh, to... Oh, look, you uh, interrupted me again. See, you're trying to be stupid. Oh, you're the one that's stupid. No, I am not. Please leave me alone. Well, don't call me stupid. Hello? Hi, Eileen? Yes. Hi, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Hi, uh, I just needed to let you know that those fireworks you were doing last night, those were uh, uh, not approved fireworks. And, and who, wait a minute, what is your name again? My name is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Dave who? Uh, Dave Reynolds. Dave Reynolds, and are you a part of the Homeowners Association? Yeah. Okay. You should know, sir, that we had no fireworks. Oh, no, we know you did. You don't have to deny it. We know that you did. You're full of crap. What do you mean I'm full of crap? You can't say that to the Homeowners Association. Uh, yes, I do. I do, because you're accusing me of something we did not do. Well, Hold on. Well, not only am I going to give you a fine for the fireworks. Dave Reynolds. Yeah. Logan Wilton, how are you doing? Pretty good. Who told you that we had fireworks? Because my wife was in bed at uh, quarter to seven, and um, I left the house at 8.20 and went up to the pool to a little party and came home at 9.30. Yeah, that, that sounds really believable and everything, but no, we were watching. We have drones that check the neighborhood uh-huh. and see who has fireworks, <laughs> and we know that you had fireworks. No, you're you're really mistaken, young man. You made a big mistake. Besides, I'm not a young man. I don't know where you live or whatever, but uh, we're in our late mid to late seventies, and fireworks are the last thing on our mind. So whatever, you better reprogram your drones. And if you accuse me again, I will be in touch with a lawyer. Well, be very careful. What I'm you just say calling. I'm on. calling to let you know we're going to no we're going to send you a fine for the fireworks because you weren't allowed to do You're those. Send and, me a fine for the fireworks. Yeah, because you did the fireworks, and we know you did them. You, you can, are out of your mind. You can deny it all you want, I'm, but we know it happened. <laughs> and what is my address? You're on clean. Uh huh. I didn't see any fireworks in this neighborhood. I heard a lot, but I didn't see anything anywhere. You probably didn't hear them because you're too busy doing your own. Oh, boy. And you are with the HOA or with what? Yeah, with the HOA. Uh-huh. And you live in here? Of course. Mm-hmm. Dave Reynolds. Yep. I, I'll be in touch with you, Mr. Reynolds, very soon. Oh, we'll be in touch with you first because we're going to be sending you a fine in the mail. You're going to get a $50 uh-huh. fine for this. Uh-huh. I ought to give you a fine and, for being an I asshole, too. You. What'd you say? I ought to give you a fine for being an asshole. Because oh, I'm just where, where do you live? I don't have to tell you where I live. I'll be I'll be right, I'll be around in a fucking minute, boy. You don't know where I live. <laughs> Did I just get called boy? Hello. Hello, Janet. Yes. Hi, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, I, we've been going around the neighborhood picking up the fireworks left over from last night. Mm-hmm. All over, and uh, we've noticed your fingerprints on a lot of them. My fingerprints? Yeah, so we, we know that they came from your place because we ran your fingerprints. Well, how, I don't, we don't have, we didn't have any fireworks at all. Oh, no. You, how could you know my fingerprints? Oh, we got your fingerprints off your mailbox years ago. We've done that with everyone here in the neighborhood. I never touched my mailbox. I never pick up the mail. My husband does or my kids. We, we also compared it with stuff from your doorknob. Oh, okay, thank and, you. And we went in your house and we... Got lifted when them you from, went in the house. Yeah, yeah, okay, when you guys I were out. And we, ridiculous. we lifted your your prints from your jewelry box. All right. <laughs> she saw right through my bullshit. Hello. Hello, Tom? Yes, this is he. Hey, Tom, it's Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hello, Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hey, smartass. What's up? I'm just calling about the fireworks what? you were doing last night. Who, me? Yes, you. 
you got the wrong you got the wrong guy. Oh no, it's definitely you, you and Diane. Um, because we've been going around the neighborhood picking up the the you know all the bottle rockets and everything that that are just strewn all over the now, neighborhood. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold, hold on. Who are you again? I'm Dave from the Homeowners Association, and your fingerprints what's are. What's your sh- last name? What's What's your last name, Dave? Um, it's Reynolds. And you are accusing me of what? Well, no, we know it's you, so you don't have to deny it because we have your fingerprints on file, and your fingerprints are showing up on all these fireworks. Now wait a minute, Dave. <laughs> oh, now you know you're caught. So I wasn't you're even be... home last night. <laughs> okay, well that's weird. How did these fireworks get all over the neighborhood with your fingerprints on them? Well, it certainly. You better. You better, <laughs> Dave. Uh, you better watch your tune. <laughs> My tune. Uh, that is pretty serious. What you're talking about. Okay, well, you're the one that shut off all these fireworks from your house last night, and now you're pretending you didn't do it. It's Dave, not a big deal. Dave, I wasn't home all day yesterday. Okay, well, I think that's a huge lie. Um, but, um, you know, maybe you, you should go around the neighborhood and pick these up, because we're going to fine you for each one we find with your fingerprints on it. Oh, boy. Maybe you should just get out there and help. Dave Reynolds, is this I'm talking to? Yeah, clean up your mess. And you're from the... Homeowners Association? Correct. What's Diane oh, babbling my. about in the background? Something about a nut guy? Yeah, well, whatever. Can I talk to her? No, you can't. Why not? Why Why should you? I don't know. I want to hear what she's saying I, about I, me. I'm going to call, call Frank right now and it's, find out what, what uh, Dave sound, Reynolds is. It sounds like she's slandering me. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Oh, boy, you're you, you're having a bad year, I think, buddy. No, I'm, I'm serious. She's annoying the fuck out Dave of me. Dave Reynolds from the Homeowners Association, huh? Okay, uh, we oh have been God. warned about calls like yours, so I will... Uh, you have to live with her? I will try it. You have to live with Diane? Does she always uh, just okay, walk around? Can you hold on a second? I'm going to put on my tape recorder because I'd like to get a recording. <laughs> a tape recorder? Is this the 80s I, or something? I got it right. I have it right here. Right. I like to. I'm going to get my recorder and I'm going to ask you some questions. And okay. I want a recording of the conversation. Make sure so you're. Hang on there, Dave. Make, make sure you. Hang on rewind. there, Dave. Don't no, no, get no, excited. No, no. Don't I get just, excited. I just. I want you to rewind the tape first. Make sure you have enough tape. <laughs> you're funny too. You ever think about a getting comedian, a digital recorder? Yeah. You're a comedian too. I definitely want to get this recorded. So hold on. All right. Got to push the rewind button. You might have to put some scotch tape over the cassette so you can push the record button. Okay, Dave. Let her roll. What do you want to say now? Go ahead. <laughs> I just hung up on him. Uh, Hello, Raymond? Yes. Hey, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. And uh, I just needed to let you know we're going to have to send you a fine for the fireworks last night. You were doing uh, unapproved fireworks. Not me. Oh, I you, wasn't even here last night. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, somebody was on your front porch doing fireworks. Um, I didn't authorize them to do that. Okay. I was in Malden. Okay. I find that hard to I believe. I don't know who you're talking about. And, and if you find me, I'm going to be very annoyed because I wasn't here. Okay, well, you need to take care of the people that are on your porch then. I, th- I, I find this very hard to believe. I can't that control people that are on my porch when I'm not here. You need to lock up your porch it's or something. It's really ridiculous that you're even uh, suggesting that I did that. I'm 70 years old. I was with my grandkids and my kids in another town. Well, who would just show up on your porch and hang out on your porch and do fireworks? Somebody who's a, who's somebody who's a menace to society. How's that? Well, I think you're a menace to society. Well, Dave, you know what? You're calling me in a manner that is totally unprepared, okay? Because you don't know who it was, and I don't know who it was, and if you harass me again, I'll be really annoyed even more. I I know who it was. It was you. You're just trying to get out of it. You're an asshole. You have a good day. You're you're a liar. Hello? Oh, hey, is this Olin? Yes. Hey, Olin, it's Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, um, I just needed to let you know, we've been going around the neighborhood, picking up all the fireworks from all over the neighborhood, uh-huh. and, and a lot of these fireworks, they have your fingerprints on them, 
Like they, my fingerprints? Yeah, so we, we know that they were set off from, from your yard. So uh, <laughs> I just need to let you know, like, uh, we're going to be finding you for each one we find. So maybe if you want to, you know, get to work and start picking these up well, yourself before we find them. You know, that's... <laughs> That's sort of funny because I'm I'm house ridden with uh, oxygen. Uh huh. Oh, you shouldn't so set off fireworks me. then if you have an oxygen tank there. Excuse me. That's probably dangerous to be playing around with fireworks if you're if you have an oxygen tank. You really? Uh, yeah. You shouldn't do that. You? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is fucking hilarious. What is your name? Oh, it's not hilarious to us because we're the ones that have to go around picking up your mess. Right. Um, w- where are you? I'm at my house. Where's that? I'm I'm over on Historic Lane. Okay. But I don't see what that matters. I'm just letting you know we're going to be finding you for everyone that we find that has your fingerprints on it. My fingerprints? Yes. Now, how the hell did you get my fingerprints on on something that I have no clue well, no, you, you don't have to... Well, pre- what you're talking about. You don't have to pretend that you didn't do it, because we know you did. We have your fingerprints. Sure. There, there's no way we got these right. mixed up. Where did you get the fingerprints from? For They were on the fireworks. Oh, on the fireworks. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is, this is freaking hilarious. No, it's not hilarious, because we, we... It is hilarious. We have, we, we're, we, we have to pay money to... It is physically not possible for me to do that. What, you don't have hands? I have hands. Oh, okay, so it's physically possible then. I don't have it's fucking da- lungs. It's dangerous and stupid because, you, you know, you're... You fucking un- understand me, you jerk off? Okay, well, it sounds like it is physically possible then. It sounds like it's physically possible? Yeah, I mean, you don't have lungs. How does that... I mean, you can still use a lighter, right? So yeah, that would make it physically uh, possible. Would, yeah, I'm. I will get back to you on this. Okay, well we'll get back to you because you'll be getting. We'll, a f- we're we're going to notify the sheriff as I get off the phone now. Oh, the, the sheriff has no say in this. This is a homeowner's. Oh, uh, the sheriff does have a say in it. No, no, this is uh, part, you're you're yep, breaking your yep. homeowner's agreement. So we're sending you a fine. For each firework, firework we find on the ground with your fingerprints you on it. present that to me in person? Yeah, we're going to send you a letter. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. No, in person. Oh, no, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to hang around oh. with people like you. Right. People like me. Yup. Okie do- what, what is You're on the historic. What, what's your number on historic? 301 Historic Lane. This is Dave Reynolds. Three o one historic. Sounds like you're breathing pretty hard there for not having lungs. <clears throat> well, I have lungs, asshole. It's just oh, I that's weird because I could have sworn you said you don't have lungs, and somehow that's preventing you. you from using a, a big lighter. And your name again? Oh, it's Dave Reynolds. Dave. No, we'll we'll show the sheriff these fireworks with your fingerprints. We've we've got them in evidence Okey bags. Dokey. Perfect. Okay, yeah. see you in a bit, Dave. And you'll be getting a fine in the mail. Goodbye. Is it physically impossible for you to come to my house? Hello. Hi, Ellie. Yes. Hey, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And I just, um, I'm, I, I wanted to let you know that we have a bunch of marshmallows left over from last night. And yes. I was I was wondering if I could just come over right now real quick and we'll just eat a couple together. We don't Are have Are you kidding me? No. No, we don't have to toast them or anything. We'll just I'll just come to the door and we'll we'll <laughs> eat eat two or three together and then I'll leave. Do you have the right number? <laughs> yeah, this is Ellie, right? Yes. But who is this? My name is Dave Reynolds. I'm with the Homeowners Association. Dave Reynolds. Yeah, I was I know th- your father. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we can make s'mores together, if you know what I mean. Oh, come on. Who told you that I wanted to make s'mores yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think you get it. Let's make s'mores together. Wink, wink. 
Wink, wink. Well, anyway, can I come to your door and we'll just eat some some marshmallows? Just two or three? Well, how about you talking to my husband, okay? Oh, no. Is he there? I don't want to come over if he's there. Oh, he's here. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't, can you sneak out for a bit? Can you come to my house? No. Why not? Because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't even know who the heck you are. Free marshmallows. Free marshmallows. No, I'm not that hungry for marshmallows. But I would come to a stranger's home. Maybe we could... Uh, well, I'm not a stranger. I'm with the Homeowners Association. I work with Frank. You work with Frank and you're in the Homeowners Association. Maybe we could we could both eat a marshmallow at the same time and, and our mouths will meet in the middle. It'll be romantic. I don't, I don't think so, but I think you've got the wrong number. Uh, no, I don't. This is Ellie over on <laughs> Drive. Yes, it is. Yeah, I got you from the directory. Really? Well, hang on one minute. Why? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, hey, Dick. Who's picking on my wife? Oh, no, I'm not picking on her. I was just uh, letting you get, letting her know that um, the fireworks you guys were doing last night, that was really inappropriate, and we can't have that here. <laughs> we know nothing about fireworks. I, and we weren't a part of any fireworks. No, you were doing them in your in your yard, in your backyard. No, we weren't. Yes, you were. We know you were. You're shooting off bottle rockets. Well, I don't know what the, what you were watching, but the only thing we saw was from the capital of the uh, the uh, United States uh, on television. No, you're full of shit. No, we know you were doing fireworks from the backyard. We have security drones. And they took pictures. You do? Yep. Well, all I'm going to say is I don't recognize your voice. And since I don't recognize your voice and you got the wrong information, I'm going to hang up. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was a close one. I almost got busted. Hello? Hi, Sally? Yeah? Hi, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah? And I just needed to let you know that we've been, you know, we've been going around the neighborhood picking up all the fireworks, uh, you know, that that have been left behind, and we've been fing- yeah. we've been fingerprinting them, and we've found your fingerprints on quite a few of them. Yeah. So, okay. Right. What do you sure. mean? What do you mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Who is this? This is Dave from the homeowners association. We don't have a Dave on the homeowners association. Oh yes, you do. I work with Frank. Uh huh. I know Frank, and I know Dave, and this isn't them. Who is this? Wait, because you just, you've been doing prank calls to just, everybody on the in the homeowners, and they're tracing you. Uh oh. Did they email so I've you? I got or, your number. Did they email you, or did they call you about it? No, we've been uh, receiving several calls, and they're tracing you, and they're hot on your trail. So you best be I know, careful. But I'm saying, did Frank email you, or did he call you about this? Problem? I know Frank. I know Frank. Oh, did, did you, personally. Did he, did he tell you? And on, I know on the, Dave on the, personally. Hey, shut up, and shut this up, is neither shut up, one of them. Shut up. Did, did he tell you on the on the walk in the morning? Is that when he uh, let you know? I know both of them. All right. When did he tell and you? When did he tell me what? About all the prank calls. Uh, nope. He did not tell me about them. Well, who, I know about them from other people. And, and what, what's your address? Oh, I don't have to tell you shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, so Dave is a real person? Hello. Hello, Christine? Yes. Hello, it's Dave from the Homeowners Association? Yes. And I needed to um, just kind of touch base here with you about those fireworks last night. Because those those sparklers that you guys were using, they were not very... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Hey, don't interrupt me. My husband and I are... Here alone, we did not use any sparklers. Oh no, we saw the sparklers. You don't have to deny it. But the reason—wait a minute, what are you talking about? If you'll just let me talk, the reason I'm calling is because you didn't even use red, white, and blue sparklers. You were using like green and gold and just silver. Where did the- you find sparklers? This is Chris. I live at 12 Lane. Oh, at the now I have what to edit. are you talking about? Because um, the the sparklers you were using were not American colors, is what I'm saying. Are you guys not even from America? What the hell are you talking about? I think you're a terrorist, basically. 
Pardon me? I think you're a terrorist. You're using green sparklers on 4th of July? Who in the hell is this? This is Dave from the HOA. What HOA? The eight, what neighborhood do you live in, stupid? What do you think? Where do you think I live? You called this number. Well, I, Where do you think I live? I'm with the Homeowners Association. I work with Frank. What Homeowners Association? The one that Frank runs, stupid. Frank? What other Frank Who? is there? There's only one Frank. Are you calling me stupid? Well, you're, you're the one that's using green sparklers on 4th of July. Is this a prank call? No, of course not. What is your last name? Reynolds. Your, what is your first name? It's still Dave. It hasn't changed. Are you even a Christian? Dave Reynolds. And where do you live? I'm not telling you where I live. I don't want a terrorist knowing where I live. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and <laughs> shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. Okay. You win. What do you mean, okay? I'm, I'm just agreeing with you. You know what? I've got your number. I know. I, I've got your number. I know. I know what caller ID is. Stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm happy you're smart enough to know what that means. Why would you call me and say something so stupid as I'm using green sparklers? Are because, you an asshole? Well, I think you're a terrorist to do something like that. Like, nobody does that. Your na and where, what is your address again? I never told you my address, so it wouldn't be again. I know. I know. Tell me your address. I don't have to tell you shit, motherfucker. You know what, sweetheart? I got your number. My son is Still? an international attorney. You are in oh, deep shit. An international attorney? Do, 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 do Baby, you, you got it. Do you use him a lot since you're a terrorist? <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa, you just called me an asshole? It's just, uh, usually I'm able to, you know, I just keep flushing. Like, let me try it again. Hold on. Stop flushing it. No, it's still overflowing. It's still going over the lid. Stop All flushing the toilet. Who are you? This is Roy. But I just do a YouTube... Roy who? R Roy's your bell. I do a YouTube channel called Will It Flush. Like, if you look it up on YouTube, it's a really popular channel. And okay, you're messing with me, aren't you? No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I think you would. What? What is, what's your full name? Roy Gerbel. Yeah, you're not one of our tenants. No, I wouldn't be on the lease. I, I, I wouldn't be in the computer. I'm just, I'm a roommate here. Okay, which apartment are you in? Okay, it, okay forget it. It doesn't matter. I, I thought you could help me, but I, I guess there's you don't have any advice about this other than did not. Well, my first and, and foremost advice is quit flushing things like that down the toilet. Now, I've been doing this for months, though. I've been doing this like... I don't care what you've done in the past. Stop doing it. Because I have like over a dozen tacos still. and like I, Don't put them down the toilet. Th this isn't the worst thing I've flushed. I flush it. I don't care. I don't care what you've done in the past. Stop flushing non-poop down the toilet. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just... It, I, I think you are. It's, it's for my YouTube channel, though. It's just like, you know... But if, if it's overflowing, it means stop flushing the toilet. We need to know which apartment to go to to unclog the toilet. Okay, I, I like. I think I can handle it. Like I have a plunger and everything. I, I just. I, I think we still need to know which apartment. N no, th this is like this happens all the time. Like it's, it's it's not that big of a deal. I I was just hoping you might have some yeah, advice. Yeah, it's because, it's that big a deal. Okay, I was just hoping. If, if it's overflowing on a on a daily basis, this is a big deal. Okay, because I mean, I I've, I like yesterday I flushed cheese at crackers down the toilet. I've done like Happy Meals. I, I, I like I got sponsored once. I got a sponsorship. I, I flushed like a, a Fanta yeah, or, orange you don't, soda. You don't have a lease with us, and you don't need to be doing that to our to our plumbing. Okay. Well, I don't think it hurts the plumbing. They're soft tacos. Because, like, I mean, I, I did like. I, I don't think that. I don't think that call. If if the toilet has been overflowing, you're obviously overworking it. 
I I don't know. It's like I did gumballs like a couple months ago. I did like I filled up the entire okay, bowl. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> so that's the kind of call you're going to hear today on the rest of these calls that I'm about to play for you. I'm going to take off the beginning part where I explain that I'm a tenant and we go through the whole thing where I have to tell them what apartment number I'm in and what my name is and oh my god, why aren't you on the lease? I'm going to cut that part off so I can fit more calls into here. And you don't have to listen to that boring beginning stuff. So here it is. Here is as many Will It Flush calls as I can fit into about 30 minutes. Hope you enjoy these. Uh, I, I flushed a GoPro camera down the toilet. And now the toilet's clogged up. I can't get it to, like, it seems like the water just keeps building up and building up in it. And it just overflows all over the floor and out into the hall onto the carpet. What? Like, like here, look, when I... Hit the flush. Don't. I mean, if it keeps doing that, don't. See, like, is the going, water overflowing now? Yeah, every time. Every time I hit the flush, it, it goes okay, all well, the Okay, well, yeah, that's not supposed to be in there, and it's it's causing a jam. What apartment are you in? I was doing it for a YouTube channel. I was gonna like film, you know, what it looks like going down the toilet, you know, through the drain and everything, and find out where where the drains go. Yes. Okay. What but unit? <laughs> when I when I hit the flush. All over the floor. Look, there it goes. Like, all over. Okay. What apartment are you in? I'm in 16B, but I don't really want anyone to come over right now because I'm filming for my YouTube channel. Okay, well, I need to. I need you to stop flushing the channel. The channel? Or stop flushing the channel. I need you to stop flushing the toilet and causing what could be an issue for YouTube. What's well, just a little You're bit of water. You're in 16B? Yeah, it's just a little bit of water, though. It's not a big deal. It's just it's just going all over the floor and out on the, onto the carpet. Okay, and your toilet's clogged? Yeah, well, I, I flushed a bunch of, um, like, pink slime down it. You know that, like, you make it out of cornstarch, that, that slime stuff? Uh-huh. I, I filled up the entire toilet bowl with that and tried to flush it down. Ooh. And it won't go down. Okay. See, I'm, like, I'm flushing it right now and it's yeah well don't it, don't keep flushing it if it's not oh, going down it because i don't want it to it's, over it's it's overflowing it's overflowing there that's what i was going to say it's overflowing i know it keeps the, like every time i flush it like see watch yeah don't keep flushing it if it's going to overflow oh it, it's too late i mean it's overflowing everywhere it, it's just okay stop every- flushing it please <laughs> okay Okay, I'll send Phil over right away, okay? Okay. Um, do you, like, is, does he have something to extract the pink slime from it? I don't know. Why, what, what, why would you put that in the toilet? Oh, I run a YouTube channel called Will It Flush. And uh, basically, I just sit in here all day and just flush weird stuff down the toilet. Like, I, I've, I've flushed, like, um, action figures and silly string and bitcoins. Are, are you... You're serious about that? Yep, yep. I, I flushed ping pong balls. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. You're going to ruin the plumbing system there. Oh, no, it's fine. Usually everything goes down just fine. I've had like a min- usually, minimal... Usually, usually. But no, that's not something we w- would really prefer. Yeah, I know, but... What is your first name again? It's for my YouTube channel. I have like uh, over 200,000 subscribers. That's... Um, I... Um, so I can't... That's awesome. It's not like I can stop. But, you know, I get advertising money and all that stuff. What is your first name again? Uh, Roy. Roy, and what's your last name? Gerbel. Last week How did I you did. Spell that? Last week I did gummy bears. Okay, Roy. Yeah. Which? How do you spell your last name? That's a G E R B I L. Oh, there it goes, overflowing again. Yep. I'm just trying to see well, if it'll you know what? finally go down. If, if you if you keep Keep flushing it, and I don't have you as a tenant, so... Oh, yeah, I just sleep on the couch. I wouldn't be in the computer. Oh, well, okay, then you shouldn't be staying there. Who's the, who's the tenant owner? Who's, well, no, who's I, the tenant I, under I, there? I pay rent. I, I pay rent to... Who's sh- the tenant there? Uh, Carol. Carol who? I don't know. I just... I, I pay her cash. So you I, just sleep randomly sleep on Carol's couch? Yeah. Yeah, what's the problem? Okay. All right, well, we'll send Phil down there, and if we need to, we'll have the... Um, you know, if you're not on the lease, you shouldn't be there. So we'll, we can have the Somerville police come down with them. What? That'd be but stupid. I'll why, them down why, right why, now. why would you involve the police? I, I just I stay here on the couch. I'm here completely legally. I, I just I'm her roommate. That's not. That's all. If you're not on the lease, you're not there legally. I am too here okay, legally. And I have to take another call. 
I don't hear the phone ringing. We'll send someone why, why don't I hear the phone ringing? If you have to take Bye. another call, like I don't. Say that again. Uh, maple syrup. I've been flushing maple syrup down the toilet. I bought uh, approx. I, I bought about fifteen gallons of maple syrup. Why? It's for a YouTube channel. Why? I do a YouTube channel called Will It Flush. And I thought mm-hmm. it would flush because it's a liquid. You know, you'd think it's a liquid. It mm-hmm. should flush just fine. But apparently when you put it mm-hmm. all together, it, it kind of, I, I don't know, it's, it's having a hard time okay. going down. Now, but. let me explain something to you because I've sent out memos saying what you can and cannot dispose of down our drains. It didn't say anything about maple syrup. And s- because we have sewer problems, mm-hmm. um, you will be billed for the plumber to come out and fix the sewer. Yeah, I'm, fl- I'm flushing right now, and the water just comes up over the edge. It just goes all over, all over the yeah, floor. Yeah, and I'm telling Probably you now, you are going to be billed for anything I need to do plumbing-wise in that apartment. <sighs> Two, I'm fixing to send my maintenance man back there to check the unit. And if you're in there, I'm arresting you for trespassing because, again, that unit is not rented. I know, I'm not Thank really you. in L6 or L7. Whoa. What a grouch. Okay, let me try her right back. I need to assure her that I'm not in that unit. Thank you for choosing apartments. Ma'am, stupid. Listen, I'm not in those units. I was just telling you that because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to tell you which one I'm really in. Like, why well, would I be what in a... unit are you in? I don't want to tell you. I was just trying to ask a general question about the toilet. And I'm telling you, whatever unit you're in, and so if the toilet is overflowing... I need to call a plumber and have it fixed, and you are going to be charged for the plumbing problem. But it's just, it, it's just syrup. That's all it is. It's just syrup. Huh? It should go down. Like, if I let it sit overnight, and maybe if I flush it a bunch in the morning? No, I, it's not going to go down. I have, like, That's th- what I'm telling three you. more I bottles. I need to have a plumber come out. Yeah, I, I have, like, three more bottles I need to pour in there, though. No, don't pour any more in my toilet. It's, what unit are you in? It's for YouTube, though. I do a YouTube channel called Will It Flush? I don't care if it's for YouTube. I'm telling you, what unit are you in? If I have to go door-to-door today, I will go door-to-door to every one of my units that are rented until I find the one with the overflowing toilet. Well, you don't need to be grouchy. And then I will evict whoever is on that lease. So you may really want to tell me right now okay. what unit you are in. Well, like, no, if you're going to yell at me like this, I definitely don't want to tell you. I'm okay, gonna, I'm I'll just, go door to door and check I'm just gonna, of my apartment. I'm going to keep flushing. Like, I'm going to flush over and over, and maybe it'll be gone by the time you get here. Ma'am? All right, I guess she hung up. I'm sorry, Scott who? Ams. Hold on. Yeah, they're just going all, all over the floor. Like I'm trying, okay, um, I'm trying to keep... If you can just, just stop from flushing the toilet, please, if it's overflowing until we get down there. Okay. That's the third time you flush it, so if it continues to keep overflowing, just stop from flushing. I'm trying to find... Okay, well, no, I, I've, got the pl- I've got the plunger sitting in there while I flush it, so I'm trying to plunge it out. Like, I've just got... Hold on. Okay. And it's still not working. Like, even with the plunger in there, it just keeps overflowing all over the, all over the floor. Okay. Roy, can you please stop from flushing the toilet because you're going to cause damage. No, it's not damage. That's how you get it to go down. You just keep flushing. Keep flushing. If, it's, over, if it's overflowing, it's, it's not working properly, so we need to get maintenance over there and get that fixed. Because I've, I've got, like, enough bed bugs in there. Like, it fills up the entire bowl. They're all, all the way to the top. But they're drowning, so it's okay. You know, it's not like they're getting away. Okay, and you said you are with Scott? Yeah. Okay, and apartment 106? Yep. Okay. I'm not finding a Scott in a 106. I'm sorry, what? Okay. Is your roommate there, Roy? Uh, no, he's at work right now. Okay. And how did you spell Scott's last name? A-M-S. A-M... A-M-S. S as in Sam or S as in Frank? 
It's A as in R, M as in mnemonic, and then S as in C. Still going all over the floor. Okay, why do you continue to keep flushing the toilet? Because I'm trying to get the bed bugs to go down. You have told me that there's water all over the floor, all over going into the hallway. Yeah, so I've asked you seven times to please stop flushing the toilet, and you continue to keep flushing the toilet. Can you please stop flushing the toilet until maintenance can come down there? What's it even matter? Because the, the water's already on the floor, so it's, it's not like it's getting picked up. Like, it's just a little bit more water. It's the same thing. Okay, I'm not finding, I'm not finding Scott here. So, when you drive in the main entrance and go past the office, where are you from there? Um, straight ahead, third one on the left. Third building, apartment 106. Okay, again, wh you, why do you continuously, you're continuously to keep flushing the toilet. I've asked you now nine times to please stop flushing the toilet. I don't know why you continue to keep doing that. Well, last time it was seven, I think. And now it's nine, so it's like you're exaggerating. Okay. And your toilet is clogged. Yeah, I filled it with Skittles. Are you serious? Yeah. You filled it with Skittles? I run a YouTube channel called Will It Flush? And uh -huh. I, like in every video, I flush like a different ridiculous thing down the toilet. And usually it goes just fine, but... This time, like, you know, part of them went down, but eventually they just stopped flushing. So, like, I would say, like, half the toilet is still filled with Skittles. But it, it keeps uh, it keeps going onto the floor. Like, see, I'm flushing it right now, and it's just going all over the floor. There's water going all over the floor? Yeah, every time I flush. Every time I hit the flush. Okay, I will send somebody over. Like, okay, let me do it again. Well, yeah, could see, you stop flushing the toilet? I'll send somebody over. But like, um, okay. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, that our toilet doesn't even, it can't even handle this. It, sh it should be okay, able to do this. I will this. send somebody over there. Thank okay. you. How long is it going to take? Because I keep flushing and it just keeps doing the thing. It keeps going all over the floor. I yeah. will send somebody over right now. Okay, because, I mean, the water is just, like, it's really, like, I, I put towels down, but I think it's leaking. Okay. Like, into the well, unit next door. It's going through the walls. Okay, I'll, I'll send somebody and I, and over. I just keep flushing, and it, the Skittles will not go down. Okay. And I don't know what to do. And, and like, I've been flushing, um, like, a bunch of fortune cookies down the toilet. Why? Uh, it's for a YouTube channel. I, I do a YouTube channel where I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet every day. Like I've done marbles, I've done pop rocks, I've done Canadian pennies. Okay, what uh, apartment do you live in? Uh, um, two, two ten. Okay, you you know you're gonna be charged for damages, right? Well, no, I think it's fine. I just I, like if you guys have like a specialized plunger or a wet vac, where I could suck things back through. No, you're going to be charged for damages. You can't do that. I didn't damage anything. It's just the toilet's just clogged. It's like a normal apartment thing. Okay, but you can't do that. No, it's for my YouTube channel. I do this every day. I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, you cannot I, do that. Well, I do do it. I'm not going to stop. I, it's for my YouTube channel. This is how I make a living. Okay, well, then I will be lease, putting lease violations on you then. Well, I'm not even doing anything. I just, I, I flushed... I have like 600 fortune cookies here, and I'm flushing them all down the toilet. It's for today's channel, today's video. Yeah, you can't do that. But I can't stop because I'm halfway through. Okay, you can't do that. Why do you keep saying that? I, th This is what I do. But, like, I don't know. They must have, I guess a couple of them got wedged in there, in there together because, like, when I hit the flush... Yeah, the water just goes over, over the edge, and goes all over the floor, and comes out in okay, the, the hallway. Okay, which apartment are you in? 210. Okay, which one? 210. Which one? 210. We have three 210s. The second one. 
We have three two tens. Which one are you in? Number two. Um, doesn't work like that. Okay. So is this a prank call then? No, it's not a prank. I'm just wanting to know if you have like a specialized plunger. Okay, I need to know what apartment you're in to bring it to. You need to stop being grouchy. You know, you work for me. I don't I, work for you. Y yes, you do. You're supposed to be customer service. You're supposed to, you know, make the tenants happy and, and do things we need you to do. And you need to okay, drop, where do you, drop the attitude. I need to know where you live. Drop the attitude and ask me nicely. I need to know where you live. See, you're still not doing it. You, you've got that, that bitchy tone in your voice. I, excuse me? You don't need to cuss at me. You're basically cu cussing at me with your attitude. I never. I have actually have another resident right here, and she um, is hearing everything. No, so I mean you're you're cussing with your attitude. That's what I'm saying. I never cussed at you. With your attitude, um, you did like multiple times. Uh, anyways, where do you live? Two ten. The, okay, se the second one. You mean the huh? letter, like the building letter? Is that what you want? No, the building number. I don't know. I just know I live in apartment 210. Like, I, How do you I'm, not know what building you live in? Because I get my mail at a P.O. box, and I pay my rent to Carol. She's my roommate. Carol? Yeah. There's nobody who lives in any of my apartments in 210 named Carol. That's what she told me her name was. That was what was on her dating profile. Okay, this is a prank. Okay. Not a prank. Obviously, it's a prank because you, you don't know where you live, well, and if you, you say that you're flushing stuff down the toilet. If you think it's a prank, why do you still have an attitude? Why don't you just, you know, be happy about it? Like, just because that wouldn't. This isn't funny. This is my job, and I need to help residents who truly need help. Not well, you're not doing uh, a very my good time with people who are, um, you know, wasting my time. Carol told me that you would deny knowing her too. I think you have a problem, sir, so... You have a problem. You're, you're the one that keeps cursing at me. I never curse at you. I have. I literally have a resident in my office right now. Let me talk to her. I, you cannot talk to another resident. Why not? Because that's inappropriate. No, it's not. I'm not going to say anything inappropriate. You're the one that's being inappropriate. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye since I... Clearly, you clearly do not live here, sir. I'm going to flush your attitude down the toilet. Okay, that's fine. Can you put a man on the phone? No. Why not? Because there isn't a man here. Clearly. Okay. I got you there, didn't I? No. That's true, I didn't. I'm sorry I prank called you. I was just trying to brighten up your day because you're always so grouchy here. Who is this? I'm I'm a tenant. I just, you know, I, like, I don't want to tell you who I am. And you would think by prank calling me that would brighten up my day and you say that I'm always grouchy here? Well, I thought it would make you ungrouchy. I thought you'd appreciate it. Um, no. Okay. And if you truly are a tenant here and I find out who you are, you will be getting in severe trouble. Well, I won't tell you who I am then. Well, like I, I think I actually do know who this is. Who, so. who do you think it is? And I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. No, you won't, but you live in building 3302. I have to go. Yep, thank you. <laughs> I can look you up by your name without knowing what unit you're in. I don't know where to send maintenance. There's not a 40... Well, no, I don't necessarily need maintenance. I just... I run this YouTube channel called Will It Flush, and I've been flushing... You know, I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet every day. And today it's clogged up. And I'm not sure why. Okay. Because it's like a liquidy thing. It should just flush just fine. What was it? Uh, drywall mud. No, you cannot put that down your toilet. Well, no, I did. I flushed, like, I, I brought, like, uh, two five-gallon buckets of it. And I did one bucket, and then when I started on the second five-gallon bucket, that's when it it stopped, like, here when I flush it. Yeah, see, it keeps doing it. It keeps going all over the floor. Okay, well, stop flushing the toilet, and drywall mud will clog up the toilet, so I will have to charge you for maintenance to come over and unclog your toilet. 
Well, what is your name or just, what unit are you in so I can just, get him over it there? It should just go down, and I don't want to be charged. No, it and I was, shouldn't because you shouldn't be putting drywall mud down your toilet. It's like a liquidy material, though. Like it, it's, you know, it will harden up. Drywall mud hardens up, and it will not go down into a drain. It will get clogged in the drain. But I've been flushing for, like, you know, continuously, so, like, it, it keeps it wet. So it's not going to harden up. I understand up. that, but it will not go through the drain like it is supposed to. It's not meant to go down a toilet. Can okay. I get your name well, that, or that's, your unit so I can get maintenance over there? That's the point of the channel. It, it's like it's weird things to put down the, the drain. Like I understand that, that but that is damaging the property every time you flush it if it's flowing back into your unit so or onto the floor. Yeah, it's still overflowing. I just flushed it, and it's still overflowing. Well, quit flushing it. Well, I'm trying to make it go down, because I don't know why it won't go down. Like quit I've, flushing it. It's not going to go down. It needs to be augured. I've, what is your name? I've got the entire bowl. What is your name? It's Roy, but I've got the entire bowl filled up with drywall mud. So, like, when I flush it, it just it just kind of, like, the water all comes straight to the top, and it flows Roy over the, what? the sides. What, what unit are you in? Can you tell me anything other than your name is Roy? Yeah, I told you earlier, 43. There is no apartment 43 here. Was well, it 143? No. What are the unit numbers like? If you don't know your address, I can't assist you. And what is, what is your full name so I can look is you it, up in my system? Is it D43? I wouldn't be in the computer. Why wouldn't you be in the computer? Because I'm a roommate. Carol's my roommate. Carol? Yeah. Carol what? That would be a who. Okay, Carol who? Yeah, H-U. I don't have a Carol in my system either. Okay, well, I don't know. There's like four people here. I have three other roommates. I don't have any units that have four people living in them. Well, no, we're just not in the computer. Then that is a violation of the lease. Are you on the lease? No, I wouldn't be on the lease. I, I'm, I'm, like that's why I have roommates because I, I, just, you know, have roommates. I don't. And get that's them. a violation of the lease. No, it's n no, because I'm not even on the lease. Yeah, it's a violation of the lease to have other people live in the unit for more than seven days in a month period. I actually flush. And I explain that to all of my tenants when they sign their lease. If if you look on YouTube under Will It Flush Lease, like you'll see we flush the lease down the toilet. It was one of our videos. I'm going to hang up now. Why? I've never heard of anything so ludicrous. Here's some calls I made to some people who stayed in a hotel. Service. Hello? Hello, Erica. This is Ken. I'm, I'm calling from the hotel you stayed in a month ago. Uh, okay. The, the okay. And um, I just needed to let you know of a small problem. Okay. Uh, they're saying we're, we're going to have to charge you. We're going to send you a bill for leaving pee stains all over the bed. Leaving what? Pee stains. You know, urine stains. Okay, who is this? This is bullshit. Who is this? No, this is Ken. I'm the manager of the hotel that you stayed in. Okay, sir, listen. There's no pee stains that I left at your hotel. Who I un is this? I understand. So obviously, it, it, so. I understand if you're embarrassed about it. It's just something we have to do because you, Dude, you ruin the sheets. fucking bullshit. Dude, who is this? Why are you yelling at me? Because I didn't piss on the bed at the hotel. I, I would be embarrassed, too, if I was your age and oh. still peeing the bed. Peter? Hello? Hey, Erica. Yeah, why I, would you call me a month later, first of all? And I don't freaking pee in my bed. I Okay, here's the thing. Um, after you left, I thought your bed sheets smelled nice, so I took them home with me. And I kept them. You're fucking weird. Fuck no. you. You took my fucking bed sheets home. Yeah, but then when I brought them back, they're like, there's, good? there's pee all over these. And then they said that the person who they belong to had to pay Fuck for them. are you? You took my bed sheets home because they Just, smelled good? They did. You, you. I don't know if it's your perfume fuck or your you. hairspray. Who the fuck is this? I just, like, you Who just, the fuck is this? You're fucking asshole. You just smell really nice. Don't and, fuck with me. I just, don't fuck with me, dude. I'm I'm not at all. No, I'm just saying I, I had to bring them back. You fuck are thinking you're fucking funny calling me I'm, doing this fuck bullshit. I'm not fuck. trying to be funny, ma'am. Dude, you took my bed sheets home and fucked, fucked you and fucking rubbed your cock on them. Go no, fuck I yourself. I did not. That's disgusting, ma'am. Fuck you! 
<laughs> Shit. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Yes. Hey, this is Ken from the hotel. You stayed here about a, a month ago. Okay. Remember that? No. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I'm in so many hotels, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, what do you do? You like a, a grifter or something? No, I build cell towers. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, um, we had a lot of complaints about you from when you were here. As you were a here. lot of complaints. I was in, you were in, honestly don't even remember staying in the roadway. Oh, what? well, you did. We have your credit card and all your, your file and everything right here. You were here with okay, I'm not four adults. I didn't. I'm just saying I don't remember. No, no. You were here for, with four adults. Yeah, it was my crew, if it was four adults. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. But we don't allow gay couples in the hotel. I know I know it's all, it's all legalized gay, and everything dude. now, but we don't allow that kind dude, of thing. Dude, I don't here. know what you're talking about. That's cool. That's cool, but I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Okay. But, like, seriously? Yeah, well, this, this is not a, a sex hotel, okay? This is not an hourly hotel. Okay. No, I mean, because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Was it your heist crew that was in there with you? My what? Nothing. Never mind. It doesn't matter, okay? You want to be gay, whatever. That's fine. But, um... Okay, buddy. Do you remember Sensei Wait, Doug? Why are you calling me, though? Do you remember Sensei Doug? He why was you... He was next door to you? No. And you, you kept looking at him every time you walked by? No, dude. I have no clue what you're talking about. Okay. I'm well, married and everything else, dude. I have no clue what you're talking yeah. about. Well, he says he was sick of your bullshit. And then we also have yeah. you know, one of the adults in the, in your room. I don't know if it was you or one of your uh, gay gay partners, but they were stealing light bulbs from the fixtures in the hallway. Well, I guarantee you that wasn't my crew. My crew makes kick-ass money, bro. Why would they need to steal so, light bulbs then? Well, I guarantee you we weren't stealing light bulbs. So I'll tell you what. Someone in your what room was that, dude, because someone in your room stole light bulbs from us, and I think you should send. Well, that. it wasn't me, dude. I don't know what to tell you. And obviously, it wasn't the guy in my room. If I was up there, because what the hell would we have light bulbs for? We work on cell phone towers. Hell, if I know, maybe you just wanted to recoup some of the money that you spent on the hotel. And you're just like, oh, we'll just steal listen, towels dude. and light bulbs. And listen, dude. Shit. The last thing I want is your nasty ass fucking towels or your light bulbs. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, what that, are you getting out with this phone conversation, dude? Because I'm at that, work. That sounded really convincing. I totally believe you didn't steal light bulbs from us now. But I make a week what you make a month, okay? Oh, I guarantee so you're that. better than me then, right? No, I'm not better than you, dude. Why are you calling me? Really? I'm at work, <laughs> asshole. Well, if, you, if, if you're not better than me, why are you pointing that out? Why are you pointing out my income? Why are you making fun of my income? I mean, at least I don't steal light bulbs. Hello? Hello, Jill? Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the front desk. Or, I mean, at the hotel you were staying at. Which one? Y you know, the uh, you know the one. Okay. And um, we're just required by law to let you know. Uh, did they tell you about the, the body when you checked in? Nope. Okay, because the people that were in there just the day before you arrived... Um, I don't know. After they left, we found a dead body hidden under the bed. Okay. And, you know, we cleaned it up and everything. We sprayed Lysol, so it's not a big deal. But we're, we're, they make us tell you. Okay. It's required by law. The, the person at the desk, they didn't know they were supposed to tell you. Okay. Yep, sorry about that. They're, we just, uh, I guess we just didn't train them well enough. It's, we'll try to do better in the future. So was it there when we were there? I think they'd cleaned it up by then. I mean, you were just there one day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they got around to it. There may have been a dead body under where you were sleeping, but I don't think there was. I think they cleaned it up. Could you smell it? And Roy, what's your, your last name? Zerbel. And are you the owner of the... Oh, no, I just work here at the front desk. Okay. Ken's the owner. I mean, he, okay. Ken, Ken's the boss guy, you know. Okay. Um, well, thank you for letting me know. Oh, you're welcome. I don't think the dead body was still there, but I think we got all the smell out. And, um, like, they, they scrubbed all the blood out of the shower. You didn't see, like, the, the walls weren't all stained up, were they? You've got to be joking. 
N no, not at all. No, we we um we hadn't. I mean, it just happened, so we didn't get a chance to replace the carpet. They just did kind of a quick cleanup, so so that we could have a room for you when you arrived, because you you know you okay. res you reserved it and everything. Um. Well, I'll, I'm gonna check in with the um, police. What for? And just kind of confirm what you are saying. What you think you're gonna solve the case or something? Uh, I just would like to confirm what you're telling me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, everything's fine, because it was all cleaned up by the time you... You didn't even notice... I, they, they got all the blood out of the shower and out of the carpet, I think, right? Well, thank you so much for calling us. I mean, you didn't notice anything, I hope, right? Thanks very much. D did we Lysol it down enough? down enough? Click. All right. Hello? Hi, Enos. This is Enos, yes. No, it's Enos. This is Ken from the hotel that you're staying at. The road. Yeah, this is Enos. Oh, hey, Enos. Uh, I'm just calling because we keep getting reports from uh, people around your room. They're saying that there's a smell of marijuana coming from your room. And you're in a non-smoking room. Well, excuse me, but I have two children. We're not smoking marijuana in our room. Well, are the children smoking marijuana and while you're... even there. I know not. My children, are you kidding me? My child is 11 and 14, and my daughter's at a dance dance. I started day. smoking marijuana when I was 10, so don't tell me your children can't okay. smoke marijuana. But we're not that sort of family. Is this some sort of prank? Oh, okay, so I'm that sort of person now. I see how. Anyway, it wasn't. it's not now. It was earlier, and we keep getting complaints. We've been getting complaints for the past few days about the smell coming from your room, and you just can't smoke marijuana in there. We don't have... You just can't do that. We're not smoking marijuana. I'm with my kids 24-7. We don't smoke marijuana. This isn't and that kind of... me. I will look out today if, if I'm getting accused of things like that. Are you kidding me? I'm not even there all day. Yesterday I was in Ro Newport, Rhode Island all day, and today I am like went to a um, science museum. You sound really guilty to me. You just... Are, are your kids in the car right now? Can I just give them a quick speech about um, not using marijuana anymore? Are we on speaker? Oh, she, she, she did not like that idea. Okay. Hello? Hello, Nancy? Nope. Oh. What do you need? Well, I'm calling from the hotel that she stayed at in Connecticut. The hotel she stayed at in Connecticut. Is this Nancy? Let me see. Are you Nancy? Oh, this is her husband. Oh. Was with in Connecticut? The hotel we stayed at in Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, maybe you didn't works. know about it. Maybe this was supposed to be a, a discreet thing. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's not a discreet thing. Okay. There's no nothing between us that's discreet. We've been married a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying that's to, what you think. Uh, let me just say, I know I went up to visit my children and all that. Yeah, okay. I got it. I'm right in uh, right in. Connecticut. Yeah, on that's the, the one. Left-hand side. Now yeah, you, what can I do for now you? Now you believe me. We're going to have to send a bill for $39 extra because of uh, the, water, the water usage. The what? The water usage. You guys used way too much water. Horseshit. That's not horseshit. Don't send it. We're not paying it. Oh, oh we'll, we'll send you to collections then. It's just $39, can't well, you? I don't give a shit because I didn't use it. I'm, I'm lucky I used the water that was in there. It took two showers. That was it. Yeah, hey, you got something wrong with your damn thing, If it, a $39 bill. You've heard of Come the drought, right? You, you know about the drought. Uh, you're not supposed to use up this much water. Oh, bullshit. That's uh, $39 of water. I don't pay that for a month down here. For a month, for a year. Yeah, well, maybe it's because I you, pay you, fifteen dollars a month. You, you think when you go to a whole month. you think when you go to a hotel, I, you can I take hey, hey, shut up, tonight. shut up, huh? You think you can just take long showers when you stay in a hotel? But no, it doesn't work I like didn't that. Take long, we don't take long showers. You, That's you, bullshit. You think you can spend five hours washing your hands or something? Hey, listen, buddy. You know we're not that type of people. I'm not we your went buddy, there, chief. Do a regular stay, and we get out. You know, that's that's it. And we kept the place neat as we can. We always do yeah. when we travel. How many dozens of times did you flush the toilet after each time you peed? Once. One dozen? That's too much. Once. 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 One, once dozen? All right. That's that's a bunch of shit. 
I don't care if it's a bunch of a collection shit. agency for, for thirty nine dollars. You're out of your mind. We're gonna the over water usage. Yeah, that's go, bullshit. Go ahead and don't pay it. You if You go want. take care you, of your business. You, you, I hope nobody shows up in the joint. I'll never stay here again for a call like that. Well, I, I hope that I hope is absolutely crazy. If you charge every customer thirty nine dollars for usage, it's not every customer. Robbing. It's just the asshole customers that use up all the water. Hello. Hello, Christopher. Yeah. Hey, this is Ken. I'm with the uh, the hotel in Connecticut that you stayed at. Yeah. Yep. And um, you left something behind. Did Did you notice anything? What missing? are behind? Well, I can't tell you. You have to tell me what it is to get it back, and then we'll mail it to you. Um. Hang on a second. Okay. I left something behind. All right. Well, wh- what is it? I can't tell you, because then you'll just lie, and you'll just be like, yep, that's mine, and then we're no, not... No, actually, I'm, I'm not, dude, I'm, I'm not like that. I got both my computers, so it's not my computer. Yeah, yeah, well, that's uh, somebody that is like that. That's what they would say. So, nice try, tricking me. All right, dude, I, I, I'm not here to play this game with you. I'm trying to think, I'm down a fucking Atlanta. What the fuck would I have left in there? A weapon? Um, what? I'm trying to think what I would have left in there. I, I literally went from Connecticut to Atlanta. Literally? Yeah. Wow. So, Thanks for pointing out that... Are you, that fuck, I, are you fucking with me, man? I mean, Jesus. No, no. I I'm, seriously, the, we have something here in the Lost yeah, and Found for you, and I, I, I was, I was kind of snickering because you said something really stupid. So I, I apologize for that. Then... Oh, was it a fucking lump sum of cash? A whole bunch of ones. Exactly how much? Ah, uh, shit, 200? Nope, nope, it's not yours then. Okay, well, I guess that's all I need then. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, did, are, they, are, they, are, those, are those ones wrapped in the fucking... It's, it's got to be 100 in cash. They're wrapped in the... Um, they're wrapped in a band. Oh, and now, now it's 100. Of, uh, first it was... Uh, happy. First it was Dude, yeah, I lost lump sum of money, but you know, I got really fucking drunk that night, so oh, well, I know it's a lump sum of cash. That's where that fucking cash went. A lump sum of cash rolled up. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, lots of people roll roll up their money and, and first you said two hundred and now one hundred, so it sounds like you're just trying to scam. Oh no, me. no, no, I took two hundred listen, I'm not even having this argument with you because I have pictures of me getting that cash. Really? So really? I took two hundred out. I, I bought two hundred from Mr. Happy's. Fucking and that's perv. where that fucking cash went. No, dude, I, I just figured I'd burn through it to be dead honest with it. Is that why it smells like strippers? Yeah, it's got fucking uh, uh, glitter and shit all over it. <laughs> yeah, but we, we get a lot of that here. So, and, it has and, to be $100. It has yeah. to be $100, and it, 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 it's, it's in the flat right roll, right? Well, you know, you got the amount wrong, so I think I'm just going to keep it. That's fine by me, man. I got a picture of me getting it, and I'll be in next week, so I'll get the amount right. Well, really, and you'll get it I right then. But you, when I come to your manager, and I, I am say, the manager. Hey, you know, oh, you're the you're the you're trying to fucking you're trying to roll me, man. That that's ballsy. No, I'm ballsy, man. I, I give you that. That's a ballsy maneuver. Okay. Well, hey, I'm just trying to make sure you're not trying to I thought scam I thought me. I thought I lost that. See, what's that? Yeah. Well, maybe you should hold on to your money, and you won't lose it all the time. Yeah. Actually, man, you know, it was a fun night. We got pretty fucking lit. Yeah, but uh, but then you lost that, that, no, two hundred dollars, no, or was it one hundred? What's that? I don't know. You sound like you're full of shit, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's it's not even that much money. At least, no, 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 at, no. at least you had fun, right? No. Well, I mean, you're pretty mouthy, to be honest with you, dude. That's not cool. Well, right? you're, you're the one I'm trying to. to, s- to you. Why one, would you wait so long to fucking call me? You're the one trying to scam me, you know. Well, I'm not trying to scam. If you were trying to scam me, motherfucker, you wouldn't have called me. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to scam you at all, but now I know where the rest of that fucking money went. But hey, it is what it is. I probably make you know in a day what you make in a week. <laughs> so when I come back, again. Tomorrow, I'll be up to make sure I'll see you. What's your name again? Th- does that make you feel like a better person than me f- because you make more money? No, no, I'm just not an asshole. I don't call somebody up and talk to them like a fucking douchebag. Oh, okay. So and I do make more money, which I don't give a shit, but. Regardless, but but you have to point I, it out. What? Even though you don't give a shit, you have to. I would have probably told you that. Hey, you know what? You found that money. You actually were cool enough to call me and tell me that you had that money. Then I would probably said, "Hey, 
Have at it, man. I, I, you know. Oh, you know, I'm going to keep it anyway. Because you're, you're being an asshole. Douchebag about it. No, you're being the what? douchebag. You're being the douchebag. So that's why I'm going to keep it. It's my money now. That's fine by me, brother. I, I bet you're. Me. I bet you're a male stripper, and you probably earned that money at Mister Happy's or whatever it is. Yeah, well, you know, I'm putting my dick in your sister's mouth is what I do. You know. Yep. So she pays well, but I will. I'm not giving it back I, to her I'm either. Checking, I'm, I'm going to check and make sure. Dude, I know this is in a fuck. This is not a professional dude. There's no way in hell you had the balls to call me from fucking. A guy, you're not a manager of that hotel at all. There's no way in hell you're just busting my balls. If you say so, so you can call you back Aaron? if you want. If I call back there, and that's that hotel, I will be in that hotel next Friday. Oh, okay. All right. We're and not going to let you stay here. Of my, what's that? We're not going to let you stay here. I'm putting, I'm blacklisting your name. I'm not really, dude, I could give two shits left, dude, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. But... We'll just stay away then. Don't, don't even come. Because the money's <laughs> the, the money's going to be gone, and it doesn't even matter because you make more than me in a day than I make in a week. So you don't need it. I need it more than you because I'm I'm so broke. I'm not saying you're broke at all, and I, I don't care about. I money, need the stripper honest. money. Because you you see how much I cared about the money that I never called back and I never reported it fucking lost because that's figured I spent it. So that's because you're dumb. That's just a, a chalked up loss to me. You're just really What's dumb. That? I said you're just really dumb. Oh, uh, well, I don't even know why I bother arguing or why I'm still on the phone with you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll be in next Friday. What's your name? It's Ken still. What's your, it hasn't changed. Your name's what? It's Ken. Your name's Ken. Yeah. Ken All Kniff right, Ken. from Connecticut. All right, Ken. Well, I doubt you're the guy from the hotel because nobody's got that kind of balls on them. So yeah, I know you're probably somebody talking with me. Mm-hmm. So I tell you one thing you're going to do. You're going to lose this number. But if I do go to the hotel and I do... Hey, shut Ken, up. Shut up. I'll be Just sure. shut up. Shut up. <laughs> All right, dude. You know what? I could care less. Like I said, then I hang make up. more in a day Just than you probably make in a week. I make more in a year than you probably make in a lifetime. So well, that would make sense. You keep that one $200 in one. And I mean, if, if, you make, if you make more than a day than I do in a week, then, oh, then yeah. Hello. Hello, Cheryl. That's what's going on. Well, this is Dave from the... You stayed at our hotel about a month ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was just wondering, why did you do that? Why did you do that when you left? Excuse me? Wait, why, why did you do that? Like how why did I do what? You, you know what you did. That's really immature, and our maids had to clean it up, and it was gross. Excuse me? What? What What do you mean, excuse me? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. It was disgusting. All right, look, look a, have a good day. You, God bless you, sweetheart, you are I don't a, play these type of games. You're a filthy animal. Listen, I don't have time to play games with whoever you are calling my phone, what but this is this. this Listen, I don't have time for that, okay? I'm going to charge you a $20 cleanup fee for what you did. Listen, you don't got to worry about that because they didn't even have to clean my room. I clean my room every day. So I got that verification because I got that in my phone yeah, but every day. When you left, Thank you, you, you So I don't know what you're talking about or anything to that effect because I clean my room every day. I never got maid service, only towels. I and know, that's in but every hotel I stay in. No one comes inside my hotel room but just to place my towels. So I ask for what you're talking about. Hey, shut up. If something occurred after I left, no. that has nothing to do do with me, sweetheart. You know you pooped in the middle of the floor, and it's disgusting. Oh, God, you sound you sound very dumb. You sound very, very well, At least very I don't dumb. poop in the middle of the floor when I stay in a hotel. Okay, well, you have a blessed day. I'll put you on call restriction. Thank you. Oh, you better. Oh. Hi, Carlene? Yeah. Hi, this is Ken from the, ho- the hotel. Uh, you stayed mm-hmm. here about a month ago. Yes, we did. And um, I just needed to let you know we're going to be charging the credit card that you have on file uh, for because mm-hmm. you, you broke the doorknob. No, we didn't. Yeah, yeah, you broke the the, the door handle, cause, and that's why we had no. to m- move you. It's here in the notes. No, no. <laughs> when we went into that room, there was no doorknob. Uh, there was no handle on it. I know. That's what that's I'm saying. That's why we got moved three times. Yeah, we have to replace that now because you took it. You can't just take things. No, we didn't. It's, it's not even that, that's not even worth money. I mean, why would you take that? 
We didn't take I mean, a doorknob. I mean, it's not worth we money. We went to in you. the room, and there was nothing on it. We couldn't lock the door. That's why we went back to the desk, and she moved us to a different room. Well, and then she moved us to that third room that was... You guys had it really closed because it, it, the walls needed paint and then whatever from the people that were in there before. Well, we, why would I take a doorknob? I, that's what I'm saying. Why would you? Why'd you do that? Because it's, it's not worth money to you, but you know, those things cost us like $120 each. They're, they're special hotel doorknobs. I understand that. She gave us a card. We went to the door. We went in the room, we took all our stuff into the room, and we put it in the room, and we came out to lock the door, and the door wouldn't lock. Mm -hmm. And she was watching us from the, from the, from the, de the desk. And she says, what's the matter? You can't lock the door? And I said, no, the door won't lock. So she came over, and your maintenance guy came over, and he said, oh, yeah, this door doesn't lock. We're going to have to have the, the door repaired, so we'll move you to another room. And we, you moved us three times. Well, not me, not me personally. I wasn't even working. Well, I don't know. I, no, I don't know. Who the, the people in the office moved us three times. And then on your third we room, had the, yeah, in that room, like um, we noticed that you took all the towels and the soaps and the cups and stuff. We didn't take towels and soaps. We took nothing because you didn't think we noticed because we were moving your room. But we noticed that all the towels were missing <laughs> and their washcloths. We took no towels. We took no soap. We didn't but, even stay in that room. But we're not even charging the you for that. The door was open. The, I'm so, well, you know what? You can go so ahead and charge welcome. me, and I'm going to fight it. No, no. We're not going to charge you for the towels. It's, we're used to people like you stealing the towels. But it's just the no, doorknob. No, There's, not those people are... like me, because I don't steal things. And you know what? I wouldn't steal anything from that motel, and I'd never go back there again. And I'll tell anybody else that I know that w would be staying there not to go there. Why wouldn't it was you? an emergency that we had to stop there. We unpacked the car three times and went into three different rooms. And your room didn't, the first one didn't lock. We didn't take it, the, the door was open. We had nothing to do with that. That's your and dumb fault for, one, for unpacking your car before you found out the room was good. I'm sorry? It's your own dumb fault for unpacking before you checked in. You know, can, can I have your... your who's the manager? Uh, that, I'm the manager. This is Ken. Well, you know what, Ken? If you treat all of your guests this way, it's it, no wonder that that place was empty. Well, no, it's not all the guests. It's just the ones that steal doorknobs from us. I and don't steal. We're, why we're would just, I want a freaking doorknob from a hotel that I need a card key to get in? I didn't steal a doorknob. You're probably going to try and sell it to like an aluminum dealer or something. That's probably, you're, you know what, you're probably right. I'm going to make a fortune on that. And I'm really sorry yeah, that I, I didn't steal it's all the doorknobs. Nice but I didn't take your doorknob. I'd be embarrassed, too, if I were you, you know, stealing doorknobs. Well, you know what? I am not embarrassed. You should be embarrassed even asking me about this. I'm not embarrassed. I, we know you did it. We, ha we have it on the security cameras. You have and what then, on a security? Okay, what do I look like? Um, I don't know. You have stupid short hair that's kind of brownish, blondish. And mm -hmm. uh, you, you, look, you look like a doorknob thief. I look like, okay, what was I wearing? Oh, I, I don't... The security cameras are... Was uh, I by myself? Oh, I don't have to tell you shit, motherfucker. All I know is... Oh, <laughs> why did I do that? Hello? Also, um, we're going to have to charge you extra for the dog because of the... Because he got fleas in the third room. You know what? You can charge me all you want. Well, and then I'm going to... I'll make sure I fight this because, first of all... No manager of a hotel would call somebody a motherfucker over the phone. Well, okay? only the ones that steal Second doorknobs all, and, and infest the I hotel with fleas. I didn't steal your doorknob. Door. He's accusing me of stealing the doorknob you need the key in. The guy at the... Can I help you? Can I help you? Hello. I don't know what her problem is. She's just yelling at me and stuff. I, I was just trying to tell her that we're going to have to charge her for the oh. doorknob she stole. My wife would never steal the doorknob. So you stole it then? First of all. And he said I stole the towel. I, wa I wasn't know? there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so, well, so you I don't know. know. my wife. You don't know what she does when well, you're Well, I know one thing. Did you call her a motherfucker? That's because she was being a motherfucker. What is wrong with you? We're going to charge her. you run your business? We're going to charge her a doorknob hey. fee. And she infested the hotel with fleas with that dumb dog of hers. And we're going to we're going to charge her. You can do. We're going to charge her when a you stupid find bitch the door, fee. When you when you when you find the doorknob, bend over and shove it up your ass. <sighs> can you believe that guy? The temerity of him.
No manager of a hotel would call somebody a motherfucker over the phone. Hello? Hello, Bill? Yes. Hey, this is Ken from the... He stayed at, at our hotel uh, yes. about a month How ago. How are you, Ken? Oh, not too bad. How are you doing? Good. I'm, in, I'm enjoying my stay there. I just paid for another two weeks. Oh, you're still here then. Yeah, I just gave... Uh, actually, I gave Kelly um, my next payment. I mean, I've gone through like three iterations of payments, so I'm I'm paid up till, oh gosh, I don't know, I don't have the paper with me, but I just paid uh, on Sunday, I believe. I paid uh, Kelly and then I talked to Michael. And Yeah, I don't need your life story. Anyway, we saw on our security cameras that you were stealing light bulbs from the light fixtures in the hallways. And if, 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 no, no. If, if you need light bulbs in your room, we'll provide them. Just, you just have to ask. Yeah. Ken, but it, it's so inconvenient person, when you Bill steal Cassino, them. I think, what? You you have the wrong person. Bill, room one thirty. Oh, I don't need yeah. to steal anything. I know, but no, we saw it on the camera, and and our maid went up there. It looked like a haunted house because like all the light bulbs were gone. It was a little dark in the hotel. Up, up and, where? Up where? Uh, up up near your room because we saw you come out of room one thirty, and you, yeah. you took you took a bunch of light bulbs. Wrong. And look, Wrong. I, I, hate I need to see. I, I need to see that. Oh, you know, Ken, we'll show you. I gotta tell you, I I am a, a professional. I, a professional I, light bulb thief. Ken, I stay at your hotel. I I, I want to see that camera with you or someone. Okay. I mean, you know, you know those I'm, I'm those really CF tall this that. that there's any visibility. If anything, if anyone came out of my room and stole light bulbs, it wasn't me. Well, who else is staying in there with you? You mean there was someone with me? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. We we saw your face, though, on the camera. And you know those CFL bulbs? They're not even worth anything these days. It's all about I the gotta, LEDs I gotta now. i got to tell you something. i got to tell you something. I have been there for, like, multiple weeks now. We need we need to look at these this video together. I mean, you saw my face. You yeah, know? I yeah. Mean, there, there, I, I promise you, there is no way that I did that on my mother's grave. I promise you. That. Maybe it's like a time traveling you from the future. That no, truly, no, truly. Let's look at these things together. I mean, okay. I, I have. I mean, my goodness, I have. A, a personal reputation. What am I going to do with these things? I'm staying at your place. Well, you know, they're not even worth like $3. So if you're trying to sell no. them at flea markets, then you're not going to make yeah. much money. What, what what you have to understand is I have never unscrewed or screwed in or any. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I, let's look at this video together. Okay. Because... It is absolutely one hundred percent impossible. So you're saying you don't you don't know how to <laughs> screw in a light bulb, or, or you don't know how to unscrew a light bulb? I'm telling you that was not. I, I have not taken anything out of anything in in the hotel. It's Period. It's, it's like your doppelganger so, showed but, up, and they happen to have a room to your key a uh, key to your room. Well, let's look at it. Would be it would be me. You said it was my face unscrewing a light bulb. That's what we yeah. need to look. Well, no, you used your hand to unscrew the light bulb, not your face. That would be a yeah. little weird. But you, you saw, yeah, this is very insulting to me. So I mean, I, I do want to, I do want to follow through with this because I promise you, there is no way. I mean, I utilize your facility, the gym. I, I'm mm -hmm. there uh, just in the evening, primarily just to sleep. Yeah. My God, there is no no way, Ken. In well, fact, you know, are you there at the hotel tonight? Oh are yeah, yeah, I'm here at the front desk. And I know, like right. so, I, some some residents, they're unhappy that it costs so much, so they try to recoup the pr the price of the hotel by taking towels and light God. bulbs. Ken, you gave me a great price to stay there. I'm paying cash. Yeah, every so why other would week. you take light bulbs? I would not. I am not. And that's what we need to clarify, uh, because my reputation is more important to me than any taking a light bulb. So, are funny. you? If you're at the hotel, I'm unfortunately I'm working in Norwalk right now. Ah, uh, what kind of work um, do you do? I'm a chief sales officer at, at an energy company. So, oh, energy company. So, like light bulbs, right? 
Yeah, now it all it. adds up. Yeah, right, right. No, truly, let let let's prove this. Let's prove this, and I want you to take a look at me, who I am. Okay. Take a look at that camera, and let's verify if somebody came out of my room and and unscrewed any light bulb. Was this in the cor- the outside corridor, the walkway, or or inside? Oh, you know where it was. We know it was you. It's okay. We just want the light bulbs back. It's not a big deal. And somebody's busting me. Are you busting me or what? Yeah, you're busted. We we caught you. It's on camera. And we have cameras like in every hallway. You know what? I have not been, interestingly enough, I haven't been in a hallway. 130, room 130 is downstairs outside. It's not in a hallway. Well, the hallway of the the sidewalk, you know? Yeah, all right. Well, let's look at those together. Again, my reputation more important to me than anything else. So if Michael is there and you're not tonight, or if you're there, I'm not I'm not going to be home till about 6.30. Yep. I'm not going to be at the hotel. But I promise you, I promise you that that is not me. Whoever you have on video, it is not me. And is, if Michael is there tonight and he has that the camera, I will look at it with him. Okay. I mean, I have a great reputation with Michael, with Kelly, there's no way that well, I he, would he can't he, he can't let you into the camera room but I'll 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 uh, grab that part of the video and I'll put it on YouTube and I'll title it YouTube Bill <laughs> steals light bulbs from our hotel and that way I'll, well, he'll give you the Ken, URL to it and and I promise you I promise you that that I mean what am I going to do with light bulbs my god I, mean, I know I, I, they're not worth I'm much money anymore I'm a professional so Anyway, I mean, I, if you work at an energy <laughs> company, it seems like you'd still LEDs, but we don't have those yet. <laughs> even even this conversation is really insulting. I mean, I, I, there's no way. I promise you, there is no way that I would do that. Stealing so stealing from like, the hotel you you stay at that's insulting. Well, absolutely, you know, it would absolutely be if I were doing it. But I can I can absolutely unequivocally promise you. I am not doing that. Okay. Now, there's right. a guy in the room right next to me, uh, and I, I don't know if there could be some confusion or if somebody has a key to my room that came out of there that did that. Oh, no. Could but we... I will tell you, I have not put my hand on a light bulb in the hotel and unscrewed Just your face. it, period. Absolutely unequivocal. Yeah. Well, we have so, cameras in your room, so, too, and we, we saw you, like, stuffing them in your suitcase, all those light bulbs. Yeah, all right. So this is this is this is absolutely you're you're pulling my leg here. No. Because there's no way that I why would I put anything in a suitcase? I'm staying there. I have no suitcase there. I brought my clothes there from my house. Listen, let me talk if, is Michael on tonight or is Kelly? Uh, I think they're both there. All right. Tonight. I'm gonna be there in about an hour and a half. Okay. I'll go right to the office. And are, do Michael and Kelly both know about what you're talking to me about? Oh yeah, yeah, they'll know, and I, I'll right. give I'll give All them right. the the YouTube URL. Please, man. <laughs> There's nothing to show. Okay. Anyway, you're you're busting me, you know, yep. for a reason here. You're you're busting Busted. my chop. I did not do this. Who is this? Uh, this is Ken. Is this, is this Ken? It is Ken. Yeah. Ken, I swear, I swear to God, Ken. <sighs> There is no That's way that I, did, I did not have my hand on a light bulb. And oh, my God. I'm so bored. I'm hanging up. I, I really, I'd call other people. This has gone on for like 12 minutes now. What a long phone call. People don't have attention spans like that, you know, for the YouTube video. You know, I'll, I'll, go see, I'll go see these folks, and I, I promise okay, you. Okay, bye. That that bye. Hello. Hello. Is Edward there? Who's calling, please? Well, this is Roy from the... Hotel? Uh, Ed's not here right now, but I can take the call. Oh, okay. Well, I just needed to let him know that there's a stench coming from his room, and we, we're going to have to go in there and see what it is. Uh, what? You know, the the hotel that he's currently staying in? The, there's a stench coming from his room, and we're going to have to go in there and just check it out, make sure everything's okay. Is this a joke? No, of course not. Why would it be a joke? Why would you be calling me about Ed and we're not even staying at the... Oh, yeah, you are. You checked in on July 3rd 
and you're still here. Yeah, there's a stench coming from your room. Room 127. What are you talking about? We're not in any hotel. You didn't check in on, on July 3rd? On July 3rd? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, you're the person. Yeah, you're you're staying in our hotel. Oh, I guess Edward's staying in our hotel. Your name's not on here. And there, no, we're, he's not. We're, we're not there. Well, you've been paying for the past month. No, you have the wrong um party. No, no, there there's you've been you've been here since July 3rd and you're still here. You're going to tell me you're going to tell me where we are? Well, you're paying for the hotel room, so it'd be really stupid if you're not here. How have we been paying for the hotel room? With money? Durr. Look, all I'm saying is I just need to let you know. I want to give you a heads up. We're going to come in the room and check it out. But you're not talking to the right party. It says Edward right here, room 127. and he never, We are not there. But you never checked out, so... You, you're still here. What do you mean we never checked out? You guys never checked out, so you're still paying for the room. It's been empty of all month. Of course we checked out. No, you didn't. Nobody checked out. Maybe you forgot to check out. No, you've been paying for this room for a month now. No, we haven't. Oh, yes, you have. Are you telling me this room's been empty all month and you've been paying for it? Are you going to tell me, I know we checked out, we gave the key back, I got the paper. What do you mean we didn't check out? Oh, we don't have any record of you checking out. No, you, you guys are still listed as being in the room. No, we're not. Yeah, yeah, you're still in there. I mean, it's No, just... there's something wrong. This is impossible. How is it impossible? We're not there. You forgot. What do you mean how it's impossible? We didn't forget anything. We checked out. No, you forgot to check out this time. You, you, oh, that was so dumb. No, we didn't forget to check out. That was so dumb of you. How can you forget to check out? Excuse me? I'm just saying that was a really dumb thing to do. You got to check out when you leave a hotel or you're you're just going to be still in Are there. Are you playing around with me? Of course not. No, this is... This is ridiculous because, you know, we're fully booked and we've had to turn people away and you're saying that room's been empty. How can you not know what's going on in your hotel? Well, we know what's going on. You forgot to check out, so we thought the people were still in there. You know, we thought you guys were still in <laughs> this there. This is a joke. This is a real joke. Oh no, You're, you're going to tell me that for over a month you're telling me that... We're still there when we checked out. No, you didn't check out. You forgot to check out, ma'am. Just admit that No, you... we didn't forget to check out. Just admit that you made a mistake. There's no mistake to admit. Well, then why am I making this call? It's because you didn't check out. Oh, this is insane. Now, you're the one that's insane for getting to check out like this. And yeah, you've been paying for this room every night. You're going to have a huge bill when you finally check out. You need to come here immediately and check out. We are not there! I know, you need to come here and check out if you're not here. Otherwise, you're going to keep paying for this room. Don't be dumb, ma'am. Don't be dumb. Excuse me, how are you talking to me like this? Because you're the, you're the one with the attitude. You started it, so I think you're being... No, you called me and telling me after a month... That I'm still living in your hotel room? Well, you don't live here. You're just staying here for a month. You can't live in a hotel. I want to speak to a supervisor. Oh, no, the supervisor is not even here. He's on lunch right now. How convenient for you. Yeah, that's right. Listen, you stupid hoe. You just need to come here and check out, all right? And then everything will be fine. How dare you talk to me this way? Well, how dare you This inconvenience our hotel with, with this stupidity? What is your name? My name is Roy. I work Roy what? No, Roy who? H-I-U. And you have the nerve to call me a stupid hoe? Well, you're kind of being a stupid hoe, in all fairness. I mean... In all fairness, this is how you talk to people? You just need to come to the front desk and check out, okay? And everything will be fine.
And we are going to. I'm ha- calling the police. We are going to have to go in your room and, and see what this is. I'm going to call the police. For what? Because you had some nerve calling me about the room that I am not in. Well, how is that the police's problem? I'm calling the police because you're harassing me. This is not harassment. It's a single phone call, and it's regarding the business that you're doing with our hotel. I'm calling the police. You can call them if you want, but you're just wasting their time and making yourself look like an idiot. Like, hello, police. Okay, she's gone. (laughs) Hello? Hi, Frederick? Yes, just one second. Okay. Okay, there we go. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so this and is Ken. I'm calling from the the. She stayed here about a month ago. Oh yes, uh-huh. And, uh huh. And we know that you stole the spy cr- cameras out of the room. That we what? We you stole the spy cameras out of the room, the wireless spy cameras, and we need those back. You can't just keep those. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, they're little spy cameras. It has, like, a little antenna. And uh, there was one, there were two in the main room, and there was one in the bathroom, like one at the entrance. And you can't have those. Those are ours. Those are, like, $200 well, spy cameras. I have cameras. no idea what you're talking about, and I, I hope you don't have spy cameras on, on people in your rooms. Well, usually um, we do, but you took them. But I, I don't think you I took this not, into I account. Did, of course I did not. I oh. did not. Oh, yes, you did. Um, I had no what. Please don't be ridiculous. I didn't know they were there. Um, I was there visiting family. I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you think it was uh, you were stealing? I didn't do that anyway. What, what, do you, what do you think it was that you were stealing? <laughs> I stole nothing. Because, you know, like those cameras, they, they're, they're connected to the Internet, so we saw you steal them. Like, even though you took the camera, we still have all the images from them. So we, ha- <laughs> we have all the evidence here. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I already explained it to you. You took the spike. Well, I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I obviously, you know, in my own mind, I did not do that. And I, I was not aware of any spy cameras or, or anything like that. We, we have a, <laughs> I printed out a picture of you, like, you know, pulling it down from the ceiling. And, like, you were looking right into the camera. Like, you looked really derpy. And I put it up on the wall in the lobby, and I'm, I wrote thief underneath it. Like, everyone that comes into the hotel now, they see your picture. Well, I... <laughs> I mean, you'll have to send me this picture because I can't imagine it. You don't know what you look like? It was definitely you. Because we, we took your picture when you uh, registered, and it has your name and everything on it. So we know what you look like. Well, you will, you will have to send me that picture because I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you come, you you come know, here. Don't, and don't just <laughs> keep repeating yourself because I, I have no idea. Um, when did I repeat myself? You've repeated yourself many times. Really? Okay. Uh, as have I, when I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop doing that. So you we'll, have we'll, my email address. Send it to me, and, and maybe we can talk again. What were you doing that was so uh, private that you had to take those cameras down? Like, what were you doing I, in the room? I will not. Uh, send me a picture, and I will look at it, and then if... If there's anything, I will call you back. Why are you avoiding the question, though? What were you doing in there? Like, were you doing something illegal? Goodbye. What were you doing that was illegal? Hello. Hello, Constance. Yes. This is Dave. I'm I'm with Hotels.com. Yes. And uh, you you, uh, you stayed in a hotel about a month ago. Um, I stayed in quite a few of them. Well, okay, smartass. <laughs> Uh, this one was, <laughs> it looks like, the... Right, I stayed about seven nights there. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, the, the manager, Ken, um, he he had a lot of complaints about you, and he says you're not... He he, uh, he gave you a bad rating and suggests that we don't work with you anymore to register hotels. Excuse me? Because, because he said he had a lot of problems with you. He, sa- he said you were causing constant drama with the other guests, 
and you were stealing light bulbs out of the fixtures in the in the outside your room? Oh, no, I think you got the wrong person because it wasn't us. Oh, no, it was definitely you. You're the only one that was named Constance, and he, he kept bringing no, up your name. that's a lie because, w- no, that's a lie. Ken doesn't lie. There is no way. Who? And, and he put Dwight the janitor on the phone. Dwight was, like, complaining about you, too. He's just... And, Oh, no, and, you guys are lying. I'm not having anything to do with you guys if this is what? the way no. it's going to be because I was there for a reunion, and I was hosting a bunch of things, and I even, were you just no, drink, were, we're, you not, just, were you just drinking too much, and you, you just got carried away? For the okay, in- I think you have the wrong, I think for, you, there was no drinking, there was no crap, and you obviously don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do. Because you have no, no, you don't. Ken, Ken told and, me all about you, and your drama, and bringing your, your trailer park ways in, into their hotel, and he was very upset about it. Oh, well, I'm going to give him a call. Why? And I will make sure that nobody will go to the again again. Trust oh, me. that's not true, because we've been in business for decades. You're not just going to shut us down. It's not going to happen. You call again, and I will have the police on you. My husband works for the police department down here. <laughs> sure he I does. don't play games like this. You just, see what I mean? Right here shows unprofessionalism. First off, <sighs> you cuss. Second off, you have no professionalism. Third off, I don't even know who the fuck you are. So don't call me again, because I am calling the police right now. Hey, fuck you. So are you calling the police? <laughs> She says she's calling the police, which means she's going to call up her husband's cell phone and, and just complain at him a whole bunch. That's what she considers calling the police. Hello? Hello, Juanita? Yes. Hi, this is Roy. I'm calling from the hotel. You stayed here a little while ago, last month. Yes, that's right. And uh, did, did they tell you about the water usage problem and the drought and all that? Um... Gosh, not that I recall. Okay, yeah, you used way over your water allotment, so we're going to be sending you a bill for thirty-nine dollars. What? What are you talking about? Well, you took too over many over my water. You, I, you've heard about the drought, right? Not... Like you keep up with current events. Yes, but you know, I was there one night, came in very late, and left very early the next morning. Yeah, I don't think I even showered. D- uh, I didn't use any water at all. I was going to say, it's, it's, it's as if you just uh, took a shower for an int- for like five hours or something. I didn't. Do you want... I came, in at, I came in at one o'clock in the morning. I left the next morning by nine. Why did you come in so late? Were you drunk or something? Are you kidding? I'm, I was on my way from Florida. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We get a lot of party years in here. No, no, no. I I'm I travel with my dog and two cats, mm-hmm. and I leave Winter Springs, Florida, and I drive a thousand miles, and I stop with you. Okay. Well, um, so, did you leave the shower on for your cats or something? Maybe. Heavens, no. So they could drink water. <laughs> no, my cats. Oh, wait a minute. You're in. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, wrong one. I was thinking of my trip up. Oh, so you okay. did take a shower, uh, shower, a really long shower. No, I didn't really take a long shower. We were there. Let's see. We came in. trying to remember that trip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had my two children with me, or my two grandchildren with me. Oh, so you no. had all those people taking showers during a drought. Well, nobody mentioned a drought. Well, you've heard about the drought on the news. You can't just go around taking showers. I I don't live in Connecticut. This is an insane conversation. It's if not really. If you were restricted to a five-minute shower or a 30-second shower, somebody should have said so when we checked in. Oh, I think they... Or when I think it's just common sense. Did, what do you mean it's common sense? We're not in a drought in Maine. I know, but Why we, would it... How would I know about a drought in Connecticut? There's a drought all over the country, and all of the states that don't have a drought, they have to ship water to the states that are in a drought. It affects all of well, us. Ma- Stupid. Maine is not... Well, then, I'm sorry. Uh, are, who are you? Are you the manager? Oh, no. I just work here at the front desk. This is Roy. Well, then, let then connect me with the manager right um, now. Okay. This I will stupid. do that. 
But you know, really, Thanks. like, did you just leave the sink running for your cats to to play in or something? Of course, I did. The cats and the dog were not with me on that trip. We didn't leave any water running. I bet you left the lights all running also and the television on when you weren't even watching it. Let me speak with the manager. He's in the toilet right now. Well, I will wait. He uh, he takes really long shits, ma'am. Yeah, you take them, too. Well, yeah. You, if, you if, don't do... What? I am not paying a bill for extra water usage because we didn't use extra water and, or if we, because when we checked in, nobody told us. And I should not have to be aware of your water problem. Did you flush after each and every shit you took while you were there? I'm not continuing this conversation. Goodbye. But I was going to get the manager. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Roy from the hotel you stayed here a while back i'm still staying there okay well don't be a smart ass okay and and you're not even Who's on this? you're not even on this account it's for diana is diana there no it's my card they're paying with is kelly there well why does it say diana bates on here well i don't know why it says it but it's my card that's been paying with like who the fuck are you are you a male prostitute or something what are you a wise ass well you started it I was I was being completely. You know, I'm going to come back up there right now. Oh, you come up, and here. I want to find out who you are. Okay. Oh, who's I'll t- Roy? Oh, I'll tell you who I am. I'm Roy. Who's Roy? Is this masturbates? This is a wise ass. Is who it is. You're a wise ass. We we don't allow wise yeah, asses in our hotel. You're about ready to get this. I don't even want to talk to a retard like you. Okay. <sighs> hey, don't use the R word. Oh, well, I'm using it to you because that's what you are. Okay, well, that's very uh, offensive to the real oh, I'm retards. Oh, sorry. It's the truth that you wear it, okay, champ? Okay, I'm I'm not your champ, bud. Well, let me tell you something. I got your phone number down here. Oh, okay, yeah, you have the number to the hotel. Congratulations. Well, I'm coming in and find out who the hell you are. Okay, well, I just wanted to talk to you about your pet because we charged you a deposit for the pet. Yeah. And we're going to we're gonna triple the amount of the deposit because you guys have been staying too no, long. No, you're not. Yes, no, we you, are. You ain't, the triple, you ain't tripling nothing. Oh, we're we're tripling I'll it. Get a hold of, I'll get a hold of Ken. I don't know who you are. Uh, Ken, Ken's, I have no idea who you are. I'll be back there in 20 minutes. Ken's no longer with the company after what happened Ken last week. He's bullshitty, and he was there yesterday. Don't tell me he ain't. He won't leave. We're trying, we keep telling him to leave, and he just won't go. He, he thinks, oh, yeah, that's some excuse. He, he can't just let it go. He, he can't just leave and go find another job. No, because he, 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 he runs a good place. Uh, that's that's not true at all. So, where's Kelly? Uh, don't worry about where Kelly is. Who do, who do you think I you are? I you a question. Who do you, you think? You know, you're a sarcastic bastard. I'm telling you right to your face. Oh, yeah, says the sarcastic bastard. You know, I, I don't know what you are. You ain't a manager there. I never claim to be a manager. Sure. I'm just trying to talk I'm, to you about your pet deposit. Because you've been here too well, long, and we pet. have to collect the deposit again after a while. No, you don't. Because you, you, just, you just won't leave. You're just staying here forever. Yeah. You know? I ain't staying in that goddamn place forever. Well, it seems like it. It seems like it's been a long time at this point. Well, it was all set up with Ken, and I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, well, Ken's no longer in charge. And, I'm, and who are you? I'm recharging you, you your pet deposit fee. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I you am. Ain't you ain't charging me nothing, buddy. I am so. You ain't charging. Huh? I am so. You go ahead and you charge, and I guarantee you, I'll call the goddamn card company and cancel everything else, and you won't get a dime. How's that? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, no, we'll see about that. Oh, no, we'll see about that. And I'm not your buddy, Chief. Hello? Hello, Sophia? Yeah. This is Dave. I'm the manager at the store. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. Good. I, I, would, I just saw your complaint card, and uh, I was wondering, um, who the fuck do you think you are telling us how to run our store? I'm not trying to tell you how to run your store. Well, it seems like you are. You're like, oh, okay. the cashier needs to learn a few customer service skills. Well, she first off, she didn't greet me, and for the fact of the matter that you're cussing at me as a manager is totally inappropriate. Well, I think your comment card is totally inappropriate. Well, she was rude. 
rude, and you're just as rude. No okay. wonder your store is run rudely. I'll be honest. With I don't. You, the, the cashier Lexi, um, her and yeah, I. Yeah, it was. Yeah, her, the thing is about her. Her and I are in in, in a uh, an intimate relationship, and I can't. Okay. I can't really discipline her because she'll tell my wife. Okay, well, and that's my problem. How? Well, I'm just saying I can't really do anything if she's going to be mean to people. Well, okay, what that s- that's your problem. Well, just, just, I mean, come on. Do you really need her to greet you? Okay, first off, I'm standing there. I'm a customer. I've worked in customer service for over 20 years. You greet your customers. You say hello. This well, sounds like a way personal problem maybe, for you. Maybe she was having a bad day. You know, maybe I hadn't given her. I've had, you know what? I'm having a bad day. Right. And you, so everybody has bad days. But if you're in customer service, you, at least the right thing to do is say hello. That's the humane thing to do is say hello. Oh, come on. Just, I cannot really... believe that you, are you a manager? Yeah, I'm the manager of the store. It's just that I'm. I'm... Okay, so you are, okay, so... my husband is a manager. I have been a manager, and I cannot believe, A, that you say to me, who the fuck do you think that you are? As a manager, you say that to a customer. If I took that up one more chain, you think that's okay? Lexi probably just needed the D from me. And, I, I mean, it, what, you know... You know we, oh, my God. Hello? Hello, Gary? Yes. Hey, it's Dave from... Uh, you were in here... Yesterday, and I guess you uh, had a, a bad situation happen. Well, it, uh, you know, I, I just kind of dismissed it as uh, being, you know, that it wasn't really all that ugly, but uh, I was told one thing by one employee and then another thing by another employee, and and I just, uh, I just said, well, what, how am I supposed to act or how am I supposed to react to this? And I was told that that decision was final and that uh, what I had come to the store for could not happen. Do you just complain so a lot in general? Like about everything? Do I? Yeah. Are you just, a big, are you just a big complainer in general? Hey, now, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I, just, I should say not. I'm not a complainer. Well, I just mean because you're old and stuff. It just seems like... I mean, I, I read the complaint. Oh, come and, and on. You just go on. Who, are you the store director there? Yeah, I'm the store manager. Well, I would certainly like to talk to your boss because I am absolutely offended. Well, I don't have a so boss. You I'm telling the manager. me that I'm an old that I'm an old guy and that I'm hard to please. Well, you are well, old. That is it, absolutely not. It says right here. That absolutely com- is not right. It says right here in the complaint form you're over sixty five. So I'm. Not, it's well, not. So what? I know. So what? So what, are you, what? What are you so offended about? I'm, I'm not. Call, it's you're just. You're old. It's a fact. It's not an insult. Well, I, I take it as such. But anyway, why are are you are I you was, angry because you're old? Is that why you complain so much? No, I'm angry because I was told one thing by Josh oh, that this gosh. could happen, and I went up to this to the checkout to talk Chad. to the lady. Mm-hmm. Or, no, it was Josh. I'm sure that's what his name was. He, and she says, well, Josh doesn't work in this in that section, so he doesn't know. So she called somebody on the phone. It must have been, uh, it sounded like it was a female. Oh, she was probably just she faking was, it. Uh, that, that phone up there doesn't even work. She just picks it up and pretends. Well, that's even worse then. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it's just, it keeps so, customers happy, you know? They, if they think they're well, calling someone on the phone. it sure didn't keep me happy yeah. because she, uh, it was just that she, you know, she just acted like she just flat didn't care and we had she to turn didn't off care the phone. Uh, whether, jo- you know, whether Josh had told me one thing, she just basically said he doesn't know what he's talking about and we can't do this. And so we'll see you later. So I bought two things instead of uh, what I went there to buy and, and left. What, what was the item that and, you had a problem with? Well, the, for, I had a coupon for some some kind of cheese. I don't know that my wife uh, gave me the coupon. All this over uh, cheese. Uh, uh, yeah, and I went to the I went to the uh, oh shelf, God. and they there were four different flavors of this cheese, but there wasn't any Swiss cheese. Is you know, that is that's what she wanted? You know what we should do? And so we, this, we we should I, I should put you on a three way call with a starving child in Africa, and you you can tell him your complaint about not having the right kind of cheese. Sir, you are absolutely a jerk. 
I'm, a, I'm not going to show what? up at that store anymore. You are the rudest person I've ever talked to. Well, I'm, I'm not just, an old guy. I'm not a complainer. You're old. I you're went down with, with a pocket full of money to buy some stuff. Uh, I, I was told that I could do this pocket by full. one person. The next person said, no, you can't do that. And so I said, okay, fine. It's over. And that's it. Yeah, but then I'm you're, not a complainer. I'm not an old guy. You're kind of old. I ride a motorcycle. Well, <laughs> It's okay and to be I, old. I feel There's absolutely wrong. humiliated that you're calling here talking to me like There's this. There's nothing wrong with being old, sir. You don't have to prove to me that you're you're young at heart or anything with your motorcycle riding and stuff. Well, you, know? you, you need to talk to your employees then. Because uh, one guy told me one thing. I got up there and the lady told me another. She says, no, we can't do it. Joshua. And I said, okay, fine. And she took my stuff put it off to the side i bought my bananas and i left and came home josh won't listen and to that, me that w- i've tried talking to him he just won't listen so i don't know what to do you try to talk to josh yeah i tried to talk to him so many times now and he just doesn't listen last well, last time i tried to talk to him he, he he i had him in my office and he just he lit up a joint he, he lit up a marijuana cigarette right and, and blew the smoke in my face while i was trying to talk well, to him. well you should fire him then because he's you know he has uh he has no business in there trying to deal with uh, paying customers yeah. if you, he can't tell them a truth and follow through with it and make sure it happens. I, I asked Josh. All I was trying to do. I, I, I asked Josh about that? this. I asked Josh about this whole thing, and he told me that you tried to um, you tried to get him to give you a blowjob. Is that true? Are you kidding me? Well, that's am what I he, actually talking to? An, am I talking to an guy? That's I'm just that's just what Josh said. So no, I, I don't know if he's kidding. I mean, he says oh, crazy he's things. He is absolutely on crack. You need to get no. rid of him as soon as possible. Oh, no, he's just on marijuana. It's not crack. Well, whatever. Sir, are you going to do anything about it, or are you just wasting my time? I'm not going to sit here and argue with you either. Okay. Well, I, I'm just telling you my side of the story and what Josh said, and and I just I have a problem controlling Josh. Well... That's really not my problem. I came down to buy something, and it was told that I could I could change or trade private label for what I came down for because that wasn't available. And the lady at the checkout said, "No, we can't do that." It looks like you. So always... whatever more, whatever more Josh told you, other than that, he's lying to you because that's exactly how it happened. It it looks like um you only spent five dollars and one cent. Because you didn't have what we wanted. Well, what would you have spent, like $7.01 or something? I don't know. Sir, I'm through talking to you. I wish I wish I could get a hold of your supervisor. I'd give him an earful. But oh. uh, thanks anyway you, for I, calling. I bet you would, because you just complain you, all the time, because you're so old. All right. Goodbye. Hello? Hi. Is Susan there? This is Roy from the... Uh, no, she isn't right now. Do you know when she'll be back? Uh, probably in a few minutes. Something I can help you with is her husband. Oh, did, is is she a big complainer at home too? She's filled out a survey thing here and just complaining that meat smells bad and stuff, and 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 that the layout's too different for her. Like she apparently uh, doesn't like change. No, oh. not usually. Okay. Well, well, holy crap! She just like just full of complaints for us. I guess she saves them all for us, so she doesn't complain at home, right? Uh, I don't know. Are, are you the manager or something? No, I'm just an employee here. I think the manager already talked to her. Oh, I don't know. So why would you be calling then? Uh, I was just calling to find out what her problem was. She, she tried to get me in trouble. Oh, I don't think she did that. Oh, yeah, she did. She she told the manager all kinds of shit about me. She And, and then she's just complaining about the layout of the store. And she says, I don't take care of the meat department says the smells really bad like is is um and and she's saying so, so you're are you calling to threaten her or something is that the deal oh no i would never threaten anyone i was just calling to tell her she's a big fucking complainer she says dude she, why don't you and i meet somewhere and i'll tell you I'll, t- I'll show you what a fucking complainer is you talk about my wife like that again oh hey is that a threat or something are you trying to threaten me Oh, you're, th- you're, th- you're saying shit about my wife. What's your name, Ralph? Yeah. 
No, Roy. All right, I'm going to come down and see you at the store. Are you there now? Uh, I'm, big I'm, mouth? I'm here, motherfucker. I'm in the meat department. And, All right, and, I'll be there, you, you big mouth. Why, son why, of a why bitch. don't you tell your wife to, to go to Walmart if she has a fucking problem? That, that's what wow. she, that's what she wrote on this complaint form. She says it's closer to my home than Safeway and Walmart that I usually shop at. She's like trying to rub our faces in it that Walmart's better. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You know what, Walmart? Well, I think, I, you know, I, I don't. Oh, dude, you, you get, we're going to have an issue. You know what, Walmart doesn't even have a meat department. That's why they don't smell because they have their meat shipped in. They're disgusting. And you, 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 you think this is a, a professional behavior the way you're talking right now? Hey, huh? I'm, I'm just the meat department guy. Oh, oh, I hear that fucking kid in the background. Are you going to bring him with you to, to beat me up or whatever you're going to do? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I'm sure you're not even there, you pansy ass. Oh, I'm here. I'm in the meat department, and you're not allowed to come back here either. Like, you can't come behind the yellow line. Oh, well, uh, why? Oh, yeah, I'm really, I'm worried about you. Boy, you got a lot of guts, I'll tell you that. I, I, dare, you, I dare you to step across the yellow line. You'll see what happens. All right, I'll be there to do it. I'll, I'll squirt you with the meat hose. Oh, worried about it. Motherfucker. So, do you have your wife's cell phone number? Can I call her up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you my wife's cell phone number, you jackass. W- what is it? Oh, oh, is that her? Is that her? Put her on. Put her on. Yeah. She complained about her stinky-ass store, and this guy's pissed off. Oh, well, it does stink. <laughs> T- hey, tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. Uh, you work at Can you talk to your customers like that? Well, I don't How even care. You? She says she doesn't want to be our customer anymore. She's just going to go to Walmart. So fuck that lady. <laughs> How old are you? I don't have to tell you how old I am. Can you put your manager on the phone for me? No. I don't even know how to transfer on this phone. Is this cell phone? We got our ID. Oh, you're not from... Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're funny. Why well, you... I'll just come in and talk to your manager then. Good. He's not allowed in the meat department either. You don't even know what I look like, you stupid son of a bitch. Yes, I do. I know exactly yeah. what you what look like. What do I look like? You're, you're that stupid fat hoe. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. <laughs> what do I look like? Oh, I guess I'll see you when you get here, right? I don't know. I don't even know if you're there or... Well, what do you look like? Some random person calling. Yeah. Why does she think I'm just some random person calling? Because that's exactly what you are. What are you fucking retarded? Like, you just called out of nowhere. Well, what, how, how you, would I have you your number? How would I know about this complaint if I was just a random person? Why would you be calling from a cell phone? I'm not calling, because uh, I'm not going to call from the store phone. Yeah, because you don't want to yeah, get in a pussy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, because you're a pussy. pussy. I bet you have a face tattoo, don't you? A face tattoo? No. No, not, <laughs> not you. Not you, the ugly-sounding lady. Oh, uh, okay. Well, ugly-sounding lady's my wife, so... Oh, God. Yeah, you got a lot of problems with everybody here, it she, sounds like. She sounds so. like a nightmare to live with. You should divorce her. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Uh, well, all right, all right th- so, so what's your name? Thanks for shopping at... No, probably homeless... Homeless? Why would you think I'm homeless? I don't know, but you're really wasting my time. So unless you, unless you want to, you know, actually talk to us in person, then fuck off. Well, why don't you come here if you want to talk to me in person? I think that guy may have figured out that I wasn't really from his local grocery store. Call me crazy. And that's something you'll notice in a lot of the calls on today's show that I had trouble keeping the elaborate ruse going. And most of them seem to figure out that I'm full of crap. But that doesn't keep every single one of them from calling the store and then the stores reporting the weirdness to the higher ups and then everyone just assuming that an evil hacker has breached their system so they call the FBI to deal with it because that's more or less what happened. An anonymous guy on Reddit sent me the login credentials for a third party complaint database that all of these grocery stores used. And I kind of assumed that this was an employee and they were his credentials. Not that that would make it okay for me to log into it. I realize that. But I'm guessing I was wrong anyway on that part. Because a year later, a bunch of FBI guys showed up at my door to read me my rights and take away all of the computers and tablets and cell phones and memory cards from my home. 
They didn't actually arrest me that day. They just questioned me a bunch and then let me leave telling me not to come back for at least a couple hours since they'd be busy cleaning out my house. I never found out anything about the complaint database credentials because as far as I know, they didn't arrest whoever gave them to me. Maybe the guy really did hack into the database or maybe he just talked a grocery store manager into giving up his password. I have no idea. All I know is that the credentials stopped working about a week later because I tried to log in to do a third and final grocery store complainers show, but I couldn't because the password had been changed. Hello. Hello, Dorothy. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. This is the manager at And uh, you were here. You were, you filled out one of our our uh, comments online. Oh, yes. Yes, I did, but your Kelly called me earlier. Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah. but um she she said she uh, we needed to escalate it because uh, you had an attitude with her. I did not. Well, that's what Kelly said. You guys are messing with me, right? I did not have an attitude with her. I felt bad because she said she felt... I don't understand. No, Is she, she there? She just said, no, she's she's gone for the day. She left a note for me to call you back. But she said you just yelled at her a bunch on the phone. I did not yell at her. That's are you sure you're, well, you're talking to the right person? Yeah, Kelly wouldn't lie. You're the only one that filled out the, uh, the survey at our store uh, in the past um, few days. So it's definitely you. And it says you spent yeah. eighty five dollars, eighty five seventy nine. I did not yell at her and at all. I was very apologetic to her. Actually, says you're old, and and it says you stood huh? in line. It, I'm just reading the comment. It said there. I'm old. Well, on here it shows your age, so I'm just saying it says you're old. Oh my! You're messing with me. I don't know who this is. This is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. I wouldn't joke about this. I, I'm, I was just trying to find out what the problem was. It, it says you there really was no problem. I was very nice to her, and she was very nice to me. So I don't. No, no, I don't I mean. Don't I don't. I don't mean with what's her face. I mean, it says you stood in line for ten minutes. I, and yeah, the, okay. And, You're not the manager. You're like totally unprofessional. I don't know who you are. I, I'm trying to be professional. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to address your complaint here. You just called her what's her face for one thing. Well, I don't even like and, her to be honest. Okay, who are you? This is a joke. No, this is Roy. I'm the manager here at the store. No, you you're not this. Roy. You're somebody else. Who are you? No, I really am Roy. I don't know why you no, think Roy, I'm joking. This, no manager would ever be that way. Say, I'm what's her face? You. It's not even an insult. I, I was just... No, no, not to, just to tell me that you don't like her. What? I thought she was very nice. You're I not, don't know why. You're not, you're not going to tell on me, are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Yeah, yeah, actually I am. Well, she's not going to believe you because you're the one that yelled at her for 10 minutes on the phone. I didn't yell at her, though, because that's a lie. I don't know who this is. Well, I, I, we record, we record all of our phone calls, so I could just listen to it. Oh, good, because you should go listen to it. I did not even raise my voice, so you go Maybe you just didn't realize you were doing that because you do it so much. No, I. You just go around. (laughs) And who are you? Uh, Now I feel like I'm totally being pranked. I don't know who Rob is. Rob, no, my name is Roy. Or who? Joe, Roy. See, that's bi- yeah. you're, you're as bad as me saying what's her face. You may as well just call <laughs> me what's his face. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. So who are you? Uh, this is Roy. I'm the manager. At- I don't believe you at all. All right, well, I don't give a shit. I'll just tear up your complaint here then. <laughs> we don't, we don't <laughs> oh, need my you. gosh. Need that's hilarious. Bullshit. I don't know who you are, but you're, like, cracking me up. <laughs> Well, I'm Roy? not trying to crack you up. I'm just saying. I, see, I, I don't. Well, I, 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 don't I can understand. promise you, Roy, I did not yell at her. Okay. She did not yell at me. She was very pleasant. Well, that's I not was, even why I was calling. I'm calling about the original complaint. Because you said you were oh, which, standing. What, what was the, you said you were, was the original complaint? You said, I stood in line for 10 minutes and the line just got longer. So I think you don't know how to use a line. Were you letting people go in front of you? Because that's, that's the only way the line could get longer. How else would the line get longer? Yeah. Yeah, it was getting longer. Yeah. How? Were you letting so, people like, cut I in get front like of you? A, are you going like, to give me like a million dollar gift card or something? Because that would be amazing. For complaint, For not knowing how to use a line? Yeah, yeah, because I'm stupid. How was the line getting longer? <laughs> <laughs> it's I, impo- don't, it's I don't know. It's pretty much impossible for the line to get longer. Yeah. Uh, unless you're letting people go in front of you. 
Right. No, I meant longer behind me. But really, oh, it wasn't just it wasn't just my line. But anyways, Roy, man, you're just hilarious. You just brighten up my well, Thank day. you. I hope I'm glad I did. Maybe, yeah. maybe you'll complain more often now. I I, can, I could, you know, but I probably won't. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. I'm glad everything was solved and resolved for you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you have a nice day too, Roy. Yeah, thanks. And 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 eat okay. shit. Eat shit. Oh, I. You know what? Eat shit, Dorothy. <laughs> That's what's for dinner. Okay. I hope All you bought right. it at our store. Uh, you know, there's a lot of shit to be bought at your store. Bought so yeah. Three pounds of shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Have a nice day. Okay. All right, you too. Thanks, Roy. Bye. Hello? Hello, Kaylee? Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I'm the manager here. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just reading this uh, complaint of yours that you left online, and I see here that you think that we're a fucking bank. No, I didn't say that. Well, you implied it, though. I mean, you're talking about... No. Well, I didn't use that language. Well, I know, but you implied that language. So what's the problem then? No, I did not imply that. And you, I'm sorry, you're the manager? Yeah, I'm the manager. you just use that? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, your your complaint was very... I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is Roy. Roy, and your last name? Gerbel. I'm the store manager. Gerbel, okay. But listen, you need to tell me what your problem is. I explained it pretty well, and I did not use that language. I know, but it's it's a lot of a lot of stuff to read here. I can't read all this. Like you're 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 just upset because we couldn't give you the right amount of twenty dollar bills or something. Listen, my complaint was the way that I was treated by your employees. Yeah, I waited and waited and waited, and I was very kind, and I was not rude to them. Yeah, but we have we have a uh, a note, uh, like a little sign at the front of every register, and it says, "We are not a bank." You mean does it say that you're not a fucking bank? Oh no, I no, we wouldn't write that on the sign. No, you but... just added that. I'm yeah. going to tell you something. I have family that's very high up in food store, oh, so shit. I know how a grocery store should be run. Mm-hmm. So. I've been telling you that customers, I, if, if my father knew how that was being treated at any one of the food stores, it would not go over well. And I guarantee if my father knew that one of his store managers called and spoke to a customer the way that you just spoke to me, it would not be good for that manager. Oh, your father sounds like so a dick. So I'm glad that I have your not name. Yeah. And do not ever speak to me that way again. Hey, could, could I get your father's phone number? He, he... <laughs> Damn it. Hello? Hi, Joyce. This is the the manager here. This is Roy. Yes. And I'm just calling about your uh, you you uh, filled out a survey and you had a problem with the advertisements. I did, and in typical fashion, they send me back to the store. This is the flyers are actually a corporate problem. Mm hmm. Um. Well, well, who who the fuck do you think you are telling us how to run our store and how to make flyers? We know how to make flyers. Excuse we, me? We've been in this business a long time. Thank you. Well, hey, I'm just saying, you know, okay. Shot my load too quick on that one, you guys. Hello? Hi there. Um, is this Joyce's husband? Yep. Um, did can you tell Joyce that when she filled out the survey, she filled it out upside down? Can you let her know that? Yeah. So what difference does that make? Well, she filled it out upside down. It's very hard to read. So can you let her know that real quick, or can you just put her on the phone? Well, I ain't going to do any good to have that conversation. Why not? Because we filled it in. Well, it it came the way it showed up on the computer. Well, I know, but she filled it out upside down. Is is your monitor upside down, and you guys are just too dumb to to fix it? You You know what? What? May I have your name, please? Sure, it's Roy. I'm the manager. Your last name? Gerbel. Okay. Call me dumb, young man. I'm just trying to resolve the issue. No, you're not, and you're using foul language. And you will be reported to the corporate office. Well, that's because Joyce was being kind of a jerk. 
I don't believe that to be the case. No, but she you know was. What? You should read this survey. You are a, you, you are a jerk, sir. Ah, uh, what? Okay. Just like your wife, huh? Look, I've forgotten more about computers than you'll ever know, boy. Really? But you will get reported because I do not take that crap from anybody. What all do you know about computers? I helped design the IBM PC. How about oh, that? So you just know about old computers. You don't know about new computers. You just know about old stuff. You are F. Okay. I'm a what? Hello, Susan? Yes. Hey, Susan. This is Roy. I'm the manager at the market. Hi. Hi. Um, it looks like you were having some problems finding... Uh, the kind of meat that you like at our store? Yeah, um, when I went to the store yesterday, the meat, the man in the meat department said that um, the product that was advertised in your flyer that brought me there, um, that they didn't have it in the store, that they made it, it wasn't a big seller, they threw it out, and it wasn't available. Next week it'll be there probably. Yeah, maybe. I think his problem, that's Chad that you talked to, right, in the meat department? I don't know who it was. It was an older guy. Yeah, that that sounds Small like guy heavy. Chad, because I I asked him about this whole incident, and he he's he said, "Oh, you're talking about Susan, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "How do you know my name?" I don't know, but he's just like, "I do not like that lady at all." So I hid the meat. <laughs> That's what. what? He, and I told him not to do that anymore. So if you come back, he'll probably have some. And what? He doesn't even. I never saw this guy before in my life. Maybe he knows you from high school or something. I don't know. Maybe he knows you from somewhere else. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I'm just saying, like, Chad. Chad just he he said the reason was because it was you, but they actually we always have that. You know, if if it's in if it's our if it's our advertised thing. I didn't even know I was looking for it. He didn't, that's not absolutely not so. Probably he, just he, whatever he, you asked for. He's like, no, we don't have that, and then and then he went. He quickly hit it. He like used sleight of hand to. Did you fire him? No, no, Chad's a good employee. He just doesn't like you. This is a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's not a joke at all. What is um, your name? My name's Roy, and I know you already called the manager, but um, yeah, I, I wasn't in, so I'm, I'm calling you back. So you're I, telling me that this man, Chad, said, oh, I don't like Susan, so I hid the meat, and he's still an employee of yours? Yeah, I mean, he, he knows who you are. He knows you from somewhere. He, he said your, your full name and everything. And, and I told him, he, he, we just can't do that, Chad. He, it's always something with this him. This is a joke. I'm, I'm calling corporate. This is a joke. You're going to call corporate because of a joke? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to call corporate because you've got to be joking. This can't be real. Why do you think it's a joke? Just because someone doesn't like you? Like, you know, that's... That's possible that someone doesn't like you, don't you think? It's not possible that you, Roy, the store manager, Why is that would a... accept that as an employee. Well, no, he's normally a good employee. He just has something personal against you. Goodbye. Ma'am, 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 come on. <sighs> let's, let's, let, me, let me beg her not to call the corporate office. Hello? Hi, um, are, is this the same lady? Is this Susan? You sound different. I don't know who this is. Well, is this Susan? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. You sound completely different. Um, I, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Chad said you're a cock-sucking shit master. Oh, can you say... Th- could you say that again? Say what? what? What did Chad say I was? Oh, no, I didn't say anything. Uh, you must have heard something. Why, why do you need me to repeat it? I, I was hey, listen. Do you think this is funny? No, it's not funny. Huh? All right. Who are you again? Who do you think you are talking to my wife like that? She was, be- She was. okay, she came in the store and she was giving everyone the stink eye. And, and, All right, listen. And she was just listen. Fr- freaking people out. Listen okay? to me. Listen to me. Don't ever call no, back here again. You listen to me, motherfucker. You don't talk to me like that. I'm a manager. Oh, boy, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to fall down. I'm a fucking...
A lot of the things that I'm saying in these calls are suggestions from the live chat room that was happening during the show. So I really did intend to smooth things over with Susan, but then someone in the chat room must have told me to call her a cocksucking shitmaster. And what am I supposed to do in that situation? You know? Hello? Hi, Andrea? Yeah, who's this? This is Roy. I'm the manager here at... And yes. I understand you got a hold of oh, yeah. some of our bad chicken. Um, well, it made my mom and daughter sick. Yeah. Well, the thing was, that wasn't chicken. What was it? It was peacock meat. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I'm sorry. We didn't think anyone would notice. It's basically the same thing. It's from the bird family, you know. And I don't know. We just it, it, we didn't think it would make people sick, though. Fuck you. But what? <laughs> what? So now you're going to harass me. No, I just don't understand why you hung up on me. Because you're... Because... Because why? Because you're peacock meat. That's real funny. Who is it's, this it's, and what store are you calling it's from? It's not a joke. You're the one that was frying it up that day too, weren't, aren't you? How do you know that? You fucking... Because you, cause you had attitude that day, and you got attitude right now. I don't have an attitude, motherfucker. I'm just letting you know it was peacock meat. Motherfucker. Well, you said fuck you to I'm gonna me. I'm gonna call your. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call your store manager. Oh, what? You can curse at me, but I can't curse at you. Is that how it works? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, you said Aren't fuck. You worried about. <laughs> you said fuck you and hung you up said... on me. Yeah, you said that chicken was peacock meat. It was. That's what we serve here. When we're when we're out of chicken, we just use the peacock meat. Listen, don't call here again. Well, and I, if you do, I'm going to call your store manager. Okay. Well, are you going to say I don't care if goodbye I... nicely this time instead of fuck you hang, and then hanging up? Okay, goodbye. Thank you. And then do, do that. Hello? Hello, Sean? Yes. Hey there, it's Roy from the... I understand you're having some problems understanding how the Monopoly game works. Um, no. Oh, I thought I'm that's... not having problems understanding it. Well, see, it seems like you don't understand how it works. I just read the complaint. Okay. Well, the store manager called me and explained it to me, and everything's fine. Oh no, I'm the store manager. You probably talked to the assistant manager. Did you talk to Chad? No, I talked to Donna. Oh, Donna. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, um. Did, did she teach you how uh, Monopoly works? Well, she explained to me what the what the rules are when it comes to what happened last last night. But at the same time, what the problem was was the consistency. And I'm not, I don't even really care about the game. It, it, that's not the, the the main problem. Oh, it was the, that's why you wrote all these the paragraphs that, about Monopoly. That's because you don't care. No, the the problem was is was the way that I was treated by the employee. That's all. Oh, okay. Um, it's not a, it's not about monopoly. Were you trying to cheat on the game or something? Is that what it was? You're trying to get extra no, I'm tickets. No, I'm not trying to cheat on the game. You're one of those people uh, trying to get extra tickets. No, I feel like you're calling me and you're acting way different than everyone else I've been speaking to, and I'm not like that. I'm not the kind of person to cheat. I don't care. I don't really care about the game. That's not really... Everyone else? How many people did you talk to? I thought you just talked to the, the one lady manager. No, I spoke to somebody else. Oh, who else? Chad? Somebody from... No, I spoke to somebody from customer service. Oh, like on the toll-free number? Yes. Did, did you complain at them a bunch, too? Or did, did they have to also explain how to work Monopoly? It's not that hard, really. I mean, it, it's pretty straightforward, the, how the game works. Yeah, it, it's not... I'm not sure why you're speaking to me the way that you are. It's pretty strange. Well, I just... I, I was just... I thought you might need another explanation of how Monopoly works. I thought everybody just knew how it worked. To be honest, we don't get complaints like this too often. Can I re-explain everything to you then? Is okay. That fine? Okay. Okay. So I came into the store, mm -hmm. and me and my family were there almost every day. 
have never had a problem at the store. You, the store is pretty great. And last night, so we bought some groceries. And as we were buying groceries, a ticket came out of the coupon machine. And so we took that along with our receipt up to the front. And the person running self-checkout only gave us the tickets for our for our receipt. And so we, we walk, my wife and my daughter walked away for a second, and then... You know there's kids dying in Syria right now, and you're just complaining about bullshit. It's kind of selfish. Are you Tom? No, this is Roy. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, maybe you should uh, put, put, put things in perspective. You know what? Really? This is ridiculous. I mean, really? You're going to c- complain about Monopoly? Jeez. I've never been treated like this before, ever. Well, maybe you should be. I, I will never go to ever again. Well, well, this is totally wrong. Good. Let, let's call some uh, starving children in Syria and, and tell them that you're never going to go to again. Because you're upset that you can't play your dumb little baby games. Okay, he's gone. Hello? Hello, Wayne? Yes. This is Roy. I'm the manager here at... Yeah. And um, I, I noticed that you filled out a, a complaint thing online about our coffee creamers. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we ha- we have all of the different coffee creamers. We, ha- we have a... Uh, th- are you... You're not a club card member at Safeway? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a cl- uh, card. No, no, not that but, club card. I mean uh, an exclusive member. Do, do you have access to the other side of the store? The other side of the store. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a large door. It looks like it's employees only, but that's to keep people like you out. If you go in there, there's like more stuff, like more variety and things. And there, oh, there's there's a whole aisle of coffee creamers. I swear to God. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because you know, it's just that was one of the things I always used to swing by your store for, mm-hmm. and you just you drop like half a dozen different flavors, including a couple of your own. You know, Lucerne brand. Yeah. Uh, flavors. Well, yeah, you just have to you have to pay the fee. It's fifty dollars a month for the exclusive membership, and that'll give you access to the other side of the store. Like like you 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 only see like maybe two thirds of the store. If you want access to the other one third of stuff we have, it's fifty dollars uh-huh. a month. Oh, okay. Kind of, kind of like Costco. You pay your your membership fee. Yeah. If you want oh, the good okay. stuff. I didn't know Safeway did anything like that. Yeah, yeah. The, it, you, you, yeah. Like you know, you can peek in the doors if you want. You'll see all the variety over there. Okay, but, I might kind of uh, sneak an eye in there and just take a look to see because you know, for just myself, I find most of the time, you know, it's like like you mentioned Costco. It's mm-hmm. just not worthwhile for me to pay their yearly fee because I don't use enough of anything like that to make it worthwhile yeah this one's much more this one's much better because um you know it's only fifty dollars a month and you get yeah. access to more of the store and more creamers yeah, but, and stuff yeah, like that yeah let's see in my case it's just myself and so i don't spend much over fifty dollars a month total <laughs> hey if you peek in that door don't don't try going in there because there's a bouncer he'll fuck you okay. up man he'll fuck you up if you try to go in without a membership card Okay, well, I'd like to say I'd just maybe take a look and stick my stick my face around the corner and see what yeah, it looks no, like. Yeah, no, no. D- don't even put your face inside the door. Just peek inside the little crack, but don't don't touch the door. He will fuck you up. You think you can fight him? You can't. He's a bouncer. He's a professional. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, just letting you know. Don't try to go in there without a membership card. Pay your fifty dollars like everyone else. Well, like I said, it's not worth it for me. Oh, it's not worth it now. Well, no. I mean, I'm a single. I barely spend fifty dollars a month on groceries as it is. Well, maybe you should eat more. <laughs> this is Mary. Hey, Mary. This is Roy. I'm the the manager here at the. Oh, hi. Hi there. I understand you needed someone to call you back about a complaint you had. No, it's nothing to do with your store. It's the people with the online complaints don't answer. That's all. Oh, I see. It has nothing to do with your store. 
Uh-huh. Well, it's been like two months, and they keep saying they'll have somebody answer me. So if you can get somebody to resolve my complaint online, that would be great. Okay, I can do that. I just need to um, collect a stupid bitch fee from you, and I can go ahead and connect you through. The what? I'm the, sorry. It's a stupid bitch fee is what I have to get from you over the phone. If you have a credit card, it's just $10, and I can go ahead and put you through to the toll-free number. There's, wait a minute. There's a fee for me to complain for right. them to get back to me? It's called, we call it a stupid bitch fee, and, and it's $10, and if we go ahead and get that set up here, I'll connect you to the toll-free number. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Why should I, why should I pay to complain? Well, because, I don't know, you, you don't seem capable of dialing the toll-free number yourself. So I'll just connect you. I'll, we'll make it a three-way call. Wait a minute. What the fuck did you just say to me? I said you don't know how to dial a phone, <laughs> so I, I'm going to dial it for you. This is some guy that just called me a stupid bitch. You know, was just, I don't know. He says he's a manager, but I can't imagine Manager of what? I don't know. I don't we're, know. We're, we're, hey, hey, asshole, where are you a manager of? <laughs> Safeway. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Oh, oh, oh. Are you from IRS? <laughs> you got the IRS guy? Yeah, yeah I think it's the IRS yeah. guy. Come on, entertain us, because we got everybody at the bar listening to you. Well, I can barely... Yeah, oh, yeah. of course you hang out at a bar. You're one of those old bar hags, aren't you? <laughs> this, is, this is some guy from Hold Safeway. On. I put in a, a complaint. So now I think I'm not going to be able to figure out who he is. This is hysterical. Oh, you're Thanks. not you're not yeah. smart enough to yeah. dial a phone, yeah. man. So you're not going to figure out who yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Last time I, last time I shopped at Safeway, I got to Main. I never shopped there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's fun expensive. Call. Look at that! My hilarious calls entertained an entire table for some bar lady and her friends. I can't believe they wanted to give me eight months of jail time for these calls. Especially since I made that Monopoly complainer understand that his complaints were kind of petty in the grand scheme of things. Really, it seems like these companies should have just hired me to run their complaint line full time for them, because I was doing a really great job with it. I didn't do any jail time for these pranks, instead I got 8 months of home detention, which is sort of like house arrest, but not quite as bad. It's been 11 months now since I was sentenced, so that's been over for a few months now. And I had to do 250 hours of community service, which I've already finished with. I was given five years of probation and fined $19,000 in restitution, which I'm still paying off today by making hilarious prank call content for you to enjoy. Completely legal prank call content. I'm not logging into things that I shouldn't anymore. I learned my lesson. I ended up with a bunch of additional legal debt to my attorney, which I think I'm going to have completely paid off by next month. And if all goes well, I should have that $19,000 of restitution paid off within the next four years. I also got most of my computers and other equipment back. The only thing they didn't give back was my laptop computer because that's the computer that I used to log into the complainer database. It sucked to lose that because I had a lot of stuff on there that hadn't been backed up in a while. But at least I got everything else back, so I don't have too much to complain about. If you enjoyed the calls in this show, you might enjoy listening to the two live shows that these calls are from. You'll hear a lot of additional calls, a lot of them which didn't work out, but they're still kind of fun to listen to. And sometimes you'll hear who the ideas are from, and you'll hear additional ideas that never got used, and a bunch of other stuff. Live shows are kind of fun to listen to, so check those out by visiting the links in the show notes on worldofprankcalls.com. I'll also put a link in there to the show that I did a week after the raid and maybe a link to the newspaper article about my day in court. Thanks for listening to this episode of Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. Don't forget to listen to my other shows like The Snowplow Show, which usually comes out twice a week, and The Hobo Sodes, which is a Patreon-exclusive show at patreon.com slash phonelosers, which you should all be members of so you can help me pay off that $19,000 in restitution, but also because it gets you at least one extra show every week. I also do Brad's Cactus Shack at notla.com and various other shows on phonelosers.org. I'm going to finish playing that first call from the beginning of today's show, and I guess I'll just start it from the beginning since I only played about a minute of it. Here's the call to Don, which is probably my favorite of all of the grocery store complainer calls, even though it's a little hurtful because she makes fun of my tiny penis at the end of it. But whatever, it's still pretty funny, I guess. Hello? Hello, Don? Yes? 
Hey, Don. It's Roy. I'm the manager here at the... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you filled out the online complaint thing, and I was just calling to resolve your issue. Oh, yeah. I didn't... You didn't need to call me, but okay. Well, why didn't I need to call you? Well, I just thought it was a survey. Oh, what? You're okay with uh, complaining about our employees on online, but you're afraid to do it over the phone or in person? Why couldn't you just talk to a manager in the store? Excuse me? Why couldn't you just talk to the manager in the store? instead Because of... um, I was getting ready to... Um, I had to be somewhere. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you sound really important. Like, why are you just a coward and, and you only want to do it online? Hide behind your computer? No, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Uh, it sounds like I'm talking to Don, the, the fucking complainer. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I, I don't appreciate you um, talking shit you, about my you employees. You just said the F word to me? Oh, and oh, you're oh. calling me from the store? Oh, so I can't say... I'm a fucking complainer? I can't say yeah, the F word? I have been in... I have been in that store a million times, and this woman is the same way every single time. Is this the one that you're saying, this associate has an arrogant attitude and is bitchy every time I've been to the store? Yes. So you can say bitchy, but I can't say fucking. Is that how it works? Okay, are you... Are Okay, so I can fill out this thing that like you coward. guys asked us to fill out. Like the coward you online. are. Fucking coward. Yeah, go ahead. I bet you can. This is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke at all. I'm trying to resolve your issue. Okay, so you're calling me a fucking coward, and you're calling from the store, and you want to resolve the issue. Well, it seems obvious you're a coward. Are you like, kidding me? Like you Are you just, kidding me? You could have just talked to the manager while you're there. I, I, I work for a company that I've worked for for 24 years, mm-hmm. and if I called somebody and said that to them, who the hell do you think you are? What? That didn't make you sense. You work at the... Correct, yeah. Yeah, I'm the manager and, here. And, and you're telling me... So, okay, I want your name, I and I you. will go into the store, and I will talk to the manager, oh, you probably won't. and I will tell him what you said. You're probably just going to fill out another anonymous online survey on your computer. Oh, hell no. Not when somebody calls me on my phone when I'm on my lunch break when I'm working and calls me a fucking coward on my phone. Yeah, well, I curse because got you got cursed. you to be kidding me. You said the word bitchy in your, in your complaint. Yeah, yeah. So? Yeah, so, 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 um, exactly, uh, so? Have, yeah, so, but in your customer service uh, person that's going to try and resolve issues and then you're going to call the person who filled out the complaint a fucking coward. Yeah, and a trick-ass hoe. Write that down, trick-ass hoe. So, um, oh my God, what is wrong with you? I'm just trying to resolve the complaint. You said she was speaking... You've got to be shitting me. You called me a trick-ass hoe and you're trying to resolve the complaint? Are you... Now, are you fucking kidding me? No, I, I was now, trying to resolve now, things now and you started getting an attitude. Now, you're going to you would talk to me. If you were standing in front of the CEO of Albertsons, you would talk to me the way you're talking to me right now? Yeah, I'd punch I him in the nuts. i bullshit on your ass. Oh, whatever. Because fucking nobody talks to people like that when they work in customer service. Whatever happened to you, um, I'm sorry, what can we do to make this experience better for you? Oh, welcome to 2016, are you, ma'am. Are you fucking kidding me? You're calling me a trick-ass hoe? And don't forget, this is, okay, yeah, 2016. So I've got your phone number locked into my phone now. What does that mean, locked in? Uh, it's on my redial. It's not blocked, so oh. I can call it back. Well, I don't care. It's the store's number. You can call the store anytime you want. Just try not to be a bitch when you talk to people like you know you were with that cashier. I didn't even talk to her. What? Well, maybe that's the problem. She, she, maybe, she, maybe. she was She was continuing on a conversation with the guy she had already checked out, which she does every single time. And the only thing I got from her was, are you playing the Monopoly game? Probably because you're no fun to talk to, because listen to yourself. Of course she's going to talk to other people. Are you, you wanna... kidding? To... Are you kidding me? She doesn't want to talk to You call me a trick-ass hoe and call me a fucking coward, and you're going to turn this and blame this on me? You've got some wonderful associates in that store. I know we do. This All of them is are. not one of them. 
I, no, she is. She just doesn't like you. Uh, okay. So, I mean, that's uh, not... But a... I, I, I doubt... How would she even know who I was? Well, she just doesn't like your attitude. She doesn't know you personally. She doesn't want to either. I'm just saying, you know, maybe she doesn't talk to you because you're not fun to talk to. Because you just yell at people and... and curse, no, I don't! Cur- curse I was standing in line with my son! Oh, so... so yeah, it... I'm upset now! I'm upset now because you called me a trick asshole! So that's what the... do you think's gonna happen? Th- that's the only... Are you fucking stupid? That's the only reason... I mean, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen when you call a perfect stranger on the phone... You're not a stranger, ...and you say feel... what you said to me? What do you think's gonna happen? So, the only reason you didn't... Uh, no, you answer you... my question! You weren't a How bitch at her because because you were with say, your son. No, you know you're not answering my question. So who's the coward? How do you expect <laughs> somebody to respond when you say those things to me over the phone? I tried to be nice, and you just started being mean to me and cursing and stuff. Um, what planet are you from? <laughs> what does that mean? Seriously, seriously, you called me and said I would like, and I said, oh, I didn't know you were going to call me. Jeez, and listen, you were like, "Oh, you. so you're just going to hide behind your your computer and be a, a fucking coward?" Well, that's a cowardly thing to do. Seriously, like, you should just talk Seriously. to the manager. You're in customer, you're in customer service, she, and you're going to call me and say I'm a fucking coward. She's got a phone at her register. You know I, how I, many times I have had? Uh, 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 I go to that store. I'm in that store two or three times a week. Yeah, that's how they I know you. Never, ever, ever filled out. Um, one of your surveys before, except for Jenny, because she's like the nicest thing ever. Oh, I hate Jenny. And no, you don't. No, I do because I tried to. I tried to come on to her, and she she Dude, denied my. Advances. You know what? Whatever. I'm not interested in listening to that garbage. Okay, well, I'm just saying I don't like her because of that. Like, well, who, that's who, fine. Who I don't does, care. Who does that's she think she is? As far as her doing her job, she does a wonderful job. I'm better looking She's than a her. Great cashier. <laughs> she well, won't, even, won't even give me the time of day. I had well, to fire that. That yeah. I was gonna say trick asshole, but I didn't want to take that away from you. I think I'm gonna fire Jenny just to spite you. Hello, Don. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. There I, is something I, wrong I, with you. For I, you to pick up the phone and call a total stranger who filled out You're not a stranger. A You're in our store all the time. Survey, call me names. Call me a trick ass hoe. Call me a fucking coward. I tell you, you have wonderful associates. Now you're going to say you're going to fire her just to spite me? I should. I mean, what is, okay. There's something seriously wrong with you. Well, the real reason is just that she, she turned me down for a, a date. She's been married for years, so you know what? Who cares? That, that doesn't matter. Who Welcome cares? to 2016. My, you know what? It's none of my business if she turned you down for a date. Who cares about well, you're that? You're the one that keeps I'm bringing it up. About, I'm talking about her job performance. Um. Yeah. She's a great cashier, and she's a friendly woman. Yeah, it's friendly to you, and, and maybe. And I'm basing that on my experience with her. Oh, I'm surprised she's friendly so to what, you. what you don't like her for, way, that is totally, completely irrelevant to me. The way, she, the way, you, the way you treat everyone, I'm surprised Jenny even likes you. You you have got to be joking. I'm not joking I filled out an online survey like a because coward. I felt like I was being... Tr- are you kidding me? Every single time I go in there, I go to the I go to the meat department, I go to the deli, I go to somewhere. They put a little red tag on whatever it is that I've ordered, saying, "Please go in and tell us how we've done." Right? Yeah. So but- so so I go online and I do what I've been asked to do a hundred times, and I get a phone call from a fucking dickhead <sighs> who is going to shit on me because I did what the store requested me to do. No, but most people they're they're not like this about it. You know, they're nice in their surveys, and they you know give what? us they I give us friends. hey shut up, shut up. I have friends hey, shut in up. management. They give us constructive the criticism. Store in Kingston. So you know what? I've got your phone number now. I'm going to go talk to the managers in Kingston. Good. And you can fuck off. You th- you and think, I hope you don't have a job. You think the guy in Kingston has authority over me? I could kick. No, him. but I'm I, sure I could, he can get a hold of somebody. I could kick his can. ass any day. Dude, you're a joke. Your, your, your dick's probably the size of my pinky, and that's, that's why you get on the phone and harass women that's the way nice. you are. Fuck you. Do not call me back. This conversation is over. I'm just trying to resolve Dickhead. your complaint, and you just start yelling at me. You're, Whatever. 
Whatever. It's trying to help. Ma'am? Hello. Hello, Mr. Lally Birdie? Who's calling? Uh, this is Roy. I live down the street from you here on Hill. Uh-huh. And um, I, w- I was just uh, calling about your Halloween decorations. What about them? Well, they're, they're kind of distracting. Like, uh, every day I drive to work and I have to slow down to look at them. Can, can you just take them down? Because you're making me late for work. Is this some kind of joke? Oh, no, of course not. I wouldn't joke. I just, well, uh, they're not mine. Who, whose are they? Did you steal them from someone? What do you mean they're not yours? Wait. <laughs> Roy, is it? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, Roy. R-O-Y. Okay. Where do you live, Roy? I'm down here in the 300 block. I just I just need to get to work on time. That's all I'm saying. Can you just take them down so I can get to work on time? No. Because I, I have to slow down and look at them because they look cool. And all right, it's kind of whatever. Getting on my nerves. Yeah. What? What was that? Uh, huh? Did, did you call me a son of a bitch? I said you goofy son of a bitch. I'm not a... What, what is your problem? Well, my problem is that I, I can't get to work on time anymore because of your damn decorations. Well, Whatever. But you don't care? You're not going to do anything? Yeah, I'm going to do something. But whose decorations did... Who, who'd you steal them from? Fuck you. I've got a bunch of calls here to play. Uh, most of them are from back in 2016. Uh, a few of them are from 2017. But these are all Halloween-themed calls where I call up people and just talk to them about various Halloween-themed issues and problems and suggestions and things like that like this guy who i suggested that he return my stolen halloween decorations hello hello nolan you got me oh hey nolan it's uh it's roy i live down the street from you oh yes yep and uh, i noticed uh, those halloween decorations in your yard yes and they look really similar to the ones that were stolen from my yard last year no, sorry about your luck. I've yeah. had them for years. Oh, I don't know, because they sure look just like the ones that someone stole from me. Are you sure you guys weren't, you know, coming to my yard and stealing my decorations? <laughs> well, why don't you come and see me? No, I don't I don't need to steal. What is your problem? Well, I don't know. It just seems really suspicious that you have the exact same decorations that were stolen from me last year. Buddy, uh, these decorations were given to me by my next-door neighbor, Ten years ago. Oh, a likely story. I don't story. know where you've been. I've been here for 30 years. Oh, I've been here for... That doesn't mean you can steal my decorations. I've only been here for I ten. I didn't steal your decorations. Crap. Hello. Hey, Nolan, I was just kidding earlier. I'm actually with the water company. Fuck you. You've done piss me off. Oh, no, no. Fuck I'm just. You. I'm calling to let you know we're going to be doing some work on your yard. No, you're not. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, we got to do some work on your water pipes. We're upgrading the pipes and getting not out. in my yard. Well, no, no. I'm saying because you have all those Halloween decorations up, we're not going to make you take them all down. We're going to dig underneath and go from from the bottom to get to your pipes. I don't like the way you're handling any part of this, pal. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not usually I don't usually do customer service. I usually just work on the pipes. Well, you've but, got a bad fucking attitude. Well, don't yell at me, Jesus. Uh, I, we're just we're gonna dig a hole in the street out in front of your house. No, you you call me and accuse me of stealing something, and now you want to do something in my yard? Kiss my ass! I was just trying to lighten the mood. That's all. Jeez, Nolan, you know the water people—they're not trained in customer service. They're trained to come in people's yards and dig pipes. Why is he getting so upset? So I found a bunch of calls here from 2016 and 2017, which are all basically the same thing. It's me telling people that my kid is allergic to peanuts and chocolate and stuff like that, telling them to completely rearrange their candy, giving out plans, and it never seems to go well. Here's a few of those calls. Hello? Hi, um, Mrs. Kircher? Yes? Hi, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm one of your neighbors. Yes. And, you know, we're going to be doing trick-or-treating tomorrow. Our kids are going to be around. And my, yes. son, my son's allergic to peanuts, so could you not buy any candy with peanuts? I've already bought my candy, so I can't tell you for sure with her, what, what I have Well, you right need now. to take it back. Take it back immediately, because my son's allergic to peanuts. You don't want to kill a kid. Just, do- don't come to our house. 
Well, no, we're, we got to come to all the houses. Don't tell us not to come Don't to your house. Don't come to our house, then. I cannot take it back. I got it over a week ago. You better take it back. So, My kid's allergic to bye. peanuts, lady. Hi, Keith. Hey, Keith. Yes. It, it, it's uh, it's Steve Dave. I, I live here in your uh, in your, on your neighborhood down the street. And yes. I, and I, I was just calling. Uh, you know the trick or treating. We're doing the trick or treating tomorrow. And my kid's allergic to to anything with peanuts in it. So make sure you don't hand out anything with peanuts to any children. Okay. Who is this? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I live just down the street a bit. What address? Three. I'm sorry. Uh, what What do you need to know my address for? Like, what, what do you? Because I, I don't what? recognize you. I want to make sure you have the right person. Oh no, I know. Who, I I got the right person, Keith. Yeah, just just okay. No peanuts. Nothing with peanuts for any children, because they might be allergic to okay. peanuts. Okay. Just maybe uh, I don't know. Bake something in the oven and hand those out. I know kids like that. Okay, I got another call coming in, so I appreciate it. Also, chocolate makes him fat, so could you not do anything with chocolate? <laughs> oh, now you're gonna laugh at my uh, fat. Right. Now you're gonna laugh at my fat kid. <laughs> really? I, I I got another call coming in. This so is, I appreciate it. Thank is, you. This is funny. To you. They probably hung up already. You know, it's been it's been a minute. Come on, it's not a good excuse. You don't have to lie to me about having a call to hang up to say I don't want to. No, talk. I, I, I'm at. I, look, I don't lie. I'm at the airport trying to pick up somebody. So oh. I, I don't appreciate. That. Oh, that sounds like the biggest lie I've ever heard. At the airport, yeah, right. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Todd. Hello? Yes. Hey there. This is Roy. Uh, I live here in the neighborhood. I'm over on Noda Drive. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just needed to find out if you're going to be handing out candy tomorrow night for the trick or treaters. Uh, yes, I thought I would. Okay. Well, I just needed to let you know that my kids have allergies, peanut allergies, so you can't hand out anything with peanuts. Okay. Yep. Nothing <laughs> How with peanuts. How will I know your kids? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you just shouldn't hand them out to any kids, because they could all have peanut allergies. You don't want to kill kids, do you? Well, no, but kids, not all kids have peanut allergies. Well, a lot, some of them do. Mine do. Well, I have already bought Candy. Oh, you better take those back. Maybe you could hand out carrot sticks. I know kids love to eat carrot sticks. Um, on Halloween, not particularly. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. No, I happen to know this for a fact. My kids love carrot sticks and lifesavers. I know all kids love lifesavers. Well, why don't you just have your kids, if they can't stop by here, say, I can't have peanuts. Well, why don't you just not hand out peanuts? Because um, basically you're handing out uh, apples with razor blades in them if you're going to hand out peanuts. Well, not to everybody. You shouldn't try and kill children. That's not nice. I'm not trying to kill children if you don't want, you know, tell them not to come here then. Oh, oh. I've already got the treat. No, you can't just exclude my children like that. Don't, don't be a jerk about it. Uh, I'm not being the jerk. Well, you kind of are. You're telling them not to come to your house. Well, Who says because that? they, you know, are you calling everyone in the neighborhood? Yeah, I am. I just need to make sure my kids are safe and that they don't eat any well, peanuts. in that case, I guess they should not come to my house. Well, no, I mean, you should I've be able to come to any house. It doesn't have peanuts in it, but I need to know who your kids are. Well, you should just not hand out peanuts. Peanuts are dangerous. They are to some people. For most people, they're quite nutritious. No, they're dangerous to everyone. You don't know what you're talking about. No. No, they're not. Also, I needed to let you know that my kids are also in wheelchairs. So, do you have a wheelchair ramp that comes up to your front door? No, I don't. Ugh. So, you don't like cripples either? Well, I have no reason to actually have one. Well, maybe it's because some trick-or-treaters need a wheelchair ramp to get up to your front door. Do you just not like crippled children? Is that why you're trying to kill them with peanuts? No, I think you're being a little irrational here. No, I think you are. I mean, I put up posters in the neighborhood and told everyone not to hand out peanuts. And you're you're just going to pretend... No, I didn't see any of your posters. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. No, I haven't. You are so full of crap, ma'am. 
Uh, no, you are. Maybe you should take back all the stuff that you bought that has peanuts in them and buy some raisins. Kids love raisins. Hmm. I'm also diabetic. Well, my kids aren't diabetic. Don't be stupid. Well, but some kids might be diabetic. No, I mean, it's what the kind same... Of, you're going to make it... It's the same gonna, uh, reasoning that you're using for the peanuts. You're going to make them diabetic, giving them peanut candies. They're not going to get no, diabetic. here. They're not going to get diabetic I mean, from they, raisins. If they eat... Yeah, it's high in sugar. Well, no, maybe ra- ra- raisinets. Raisinets are high in sugar, but not raisins. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, they are. Oh, raisins my... are a dried fruit. All dried fruit is very high in sugar. No, no, that is so untrue. You don't know what you're talking about. Just get some life savers or some brocks, some lemon drops. Why don't you just not have your kids come here? Well, that's rude. That what? is the easiest way. I, I can't remember all of the houses that have people that like to kill children. How am I supposed to keep track of all that? First of all, I am not killing children. Your children are a special case. You if, are very worried about it, which I can understand. But you can't expect everybody to change everything they do for your children. Well, why are you handing out so candy you with... You know what the problem is, so you keep them away from the problem. That is your responsibility no, that, as a parent. I think it's your responsibility to be a good neighbor and not hand out poison to children. Well, then maybe you should have called a week ago. Well, I didn't have time then. Maybe you should have kept your receipt and, so you well, can return your, I mean, your goddamn your candy. Your children, if you don't want them to have candy, then don't have them come out on trick or treat because that's what most people give. No, most people don't give peanuts. Most, uh, many of the candy does. I said not all of mine has peanuts, but some of it probably does. Why can't you just throw away the stuff that has peanuts and just hand out the stuff that's non-peanut? Because not everybody is allergic to peanuts. Are you allergic to peanuts? No. Why don't you just eat it yourself? Every day. Just eat it yourself then, and don't give it to kids. You, You might kill some kids. I'm sorry. Um, just have your kids not come here. I'm not. Oh, we're coming. We're going to come there. And it, if you give us peanuts, we're going to egg your house. Well, then don't come because if you do that. Oh, we're allowed. We're allowed to egg houses because it's Halloween night. That's what you do on Halloween. No, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. No, you're not. That's what Halloween's all about. Don't you know what Halloween is? Yeah, it's trick or treating. Kids coming by and getting a treat. Well, I consider you trying to kill my children. I consider that a trick, and you're going to get your house egg. I'm not egged. trying to kill your children. You are because you're being unreasonable. I don't see. You know, you can't expect everybody. You can't blame to me. Their way of life because your kids have a problem. You can't what blame you me if, if you try to give my kids poison. Goodbye. You're the one trying to murder my kids, ma'am. It's not me. I'm not the one giving them peanuts. Hello. Hi, Bettina. Yes. Hi, this is Roy. Uh, I'm. I live here in the neighborhood. I'm over on Noda Drive. Uh huh. And I just need you to find out if you're going to be handing out candy tomorrow night for the trick or treaters. And why is that? Oh well, my son he has allergies and uh, he can't have peanuts. Okay. So uh, you're is not. Is there a? F- huh? Is there a flavor that he can have? Oh, anything. Or, anything, or anything that, that doesn't he have, have anything that doesn't have nuts in it would be fine. All right, and I'm. Um, there is a possibility. How old is your son, Roy? He's six. Okay. There is a possibility that I will not be here. My, um, and I would have left then a, be- a container of candy on our step. And I think I'm just. Tr- I just threw away the packaging. Actually, is a Kit Kat okay? Uh, I think that or has that made in a facility with nuts. Yeah, I think that has nuts in it. You're gonna have to throw away everything with nuts. Just don't give out anything with nuts tomorrow night. We have to throw out everything with nuts. Yes, please, just throw out everything with nuts. It's basically poison to my children. I understand, but there, it's not poison to other children. I'll be happy to give your children something separate, but I'm not gonna throw away the candy that I purchased for everybody well, else. Why not? You may as well be just giving out candy with razors because in them. I, I, excuse me, Roy. I please don't tell me what to serve people. Well, maybe you should give them... I will in no way endanger your child. Maybe you should give them carrot sticks. But you cannot sticks. tell me what to serve p- 
people who come to my house. Well, you can give them carrot sticks. Nobody's allergic to carrots. Exactly. Are you serving carrot sticks? Well, no, I'm going out trick-or-treating. Great. Well, then someone at your house should be serving carrot sticks. Well, no, we're not going to be there, you idiot. Just, (laughs) it's too bad you can't choose who your neighbors are, right? If you think it's bad, though, that they try to kill everyone's children with peanuts and chocolate and stuff, you should hear how neighbors react to crippled children. Like, this is even worse. Just listen to this stuff. Hello? Hi there. Yes? Hi, Mrs. Stockton? Yes. Hey, this is Roy. I live uh, kind of around the corner from you on Maxwell Lane. Yes. And uh, I just needed to find out if you're uh, handing out candy tonight for trick-or-treaters. I mean, tomorrow night. Yes, we are. We are. We're looking forward to having the children come. Okay. So uh, we'll have our lights on and we'll be handing out candy the whole time. Oh, that's great. Okay. I just wanted to let you know, though, um, my son is disabled and he's in a wheelchair. So you're going to need to install a wheelchair ramp on the front of your house so he can get up I, to... Well, we, we can come down the front steps to the driveway. Oh, the no. driveway oh, right no. there. Oh, no. He can't do... No, no. He needs to be able to come up to the door like any other kid in the block. Well, we don't have a ramp. I know. You have to install one. It, it's to comply with the Disabilities Act. Now, I don't know how to do this in the time available, so oh, yeah. I You're gonna will have just to. have to come to the bottom of the steps. Oh, no, no. He, ha- that- he needs access, access to the door, just like all the other kids. Otherwise, it's discrimination. Well, well we've got a, a front porch, so... Um, my husband is disabled, and so uh, we, ca- we, we come down the steps with him hanging on to the railing, and uh, oh, must be nice. we're right at the bottom. We'll be standing right there, handing out the candy to everyone in the same place. So there we are. But that, so no, we'll no, see you no. then. No, okay, that's, that's, not, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Wendy? Yes? Hi, it's Roy. I'm I'm in. The, I live in your neighborhood here. I'm over on Maxwell Lane, but, uh-huh. but just kind of down the street from you. Well, I don't know where you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you don't know where Maxwell Lane is? I mean, you live on that street. I don't know where you are. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I was just wondering if you're going to be doing uh, trick or treating. If you're going to hand out candy tomorrow for the trick or treaters. Uh, we don't know. Maybe when we plan Sunday. We're not sure. We might. Okay. Well, I just needed to let you know that um, my son, he's in a wheelchair, so you need to build a wheelchair ramp up to the front of your house. Uh, let me tell well, you we're, not, we're not going to be doing that. Side. Oh, no, you have and to. Our, our neighbor got the same phone yeah. call from you, and this doesn't yeah. sound very uh, you know, legitimate. Hey. This is bullshit, and um, hey, sir, I'm sir. going to report this. To sir, the city. listen, Sorry. sir. Hey, why Thank don't you, you shut, very much. shut the Bye. fuck up, sir? Shut the fuck up. I know I only played two calls there of me telling people they need to get wheelchair ramps, but that was from a show I did back in 2016 where I spent over an hour of calling everybody in this neighborhood and telling them to get wheelchair ramps. So the word was spreading by the time I finished. That's why people were getting warned. Let's take a quick break from all of these calls to neighborhood people and play a call that I did to a Hallmark store in a mall shortly after the closing of every Radio Shack in America to tell them that they're next. Thank you for calling Curl and Hallmark. This is Laura. Can I help you? Hello. I am the ghost of Radio Shack, and I'm coming for you. Hello? 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 I'm the ghost of Radio Shack. You're next. Is this real? Are you real? I'm the ghost of Radio Shack. I'm coming for everyone in the mall, not just you. Please don't take it as a threat, because that breaks the rules of prank calling. Oh my god. Keep talking. I don't appreciate being laughed at. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, really, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding around. This is Roy from the mall office here at Alton Square. God. Uh, we're gonna, I was about to, like, 
You were seriously so close. I was right back to hang up, too. Oh, what, were you scared or, or, or just uh, no, annoyed? No, I, I honestly thought this was a prank. I was like, that's a really good prank, if so. Oh, thank I you. Really amu- I was amused. Thank you. Wow, thank this you. is really helping my ego. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we're going to need you to close it for today. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's an issue in the mall. and Oh, we like can't, what? Well, there's... I, I don't think you're going to believe me, but I'm being completely serious. We do have poltergeists in this mall. It has to do with uh, a, a, an incident that happened at Radio Shack back in the 80s. Oh, my God. And I, I'm completely serious. We need you to leave it for because were, were you here last year? Uh, I could have been, honestly. I've been here. Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, I don't know if you worked on uh, the day before Halloween, but that's the day when shit gets crazy. Ah, okay. And well... Yeah, you're, you're just uh, we're, the whole store needs to close down at four. All the stores are closing at four, except the okay, idiots. Well, oh well, great. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. Okay, well, no, that's good. I just want to make you know, it's it's kind of dangerous to be here after four. Yeah, so. I, I wouldn't want you know, I wouldn't want to be stuck in this mall with a Pulitzer guy. So, yeah, true. You know, yep. I, I well, thank you very much for this phone call. This, oh. is, a, this is a great phone call. No, thank you. No, no problem at all. Have yeah, a nice you. Halloween. <laughs> thank you. You too. Goodbye! I know that call was completely unfunny and unspooky, but I just like that girl's reaction. She sure enjoyed it. That was from an old hobo soda I did where I called up a lot of stores in that same mall and I tried to convince every single one of them that there were poltergeists in the store and get them to leave early and stuff like that. I don't think I was too successful with anyone. Seems like nobody really believes in poltergeists these days. I've got two more neighborhood calls to play for you. This first one, they don't believe me at all. And the second one completely believes me. I think it's a good one to end on. Hello? Hello, Scott? Yes? Hey, thank God you answered. This is Steve Day from the Royco Lawn and Tree Service. We accidentally sprayed your grass a few days ago. We were supposed to do your neighbors. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know about that. And, you know, sorry. We didn't mean to spray it. The, the customer just transposed some digits, so we did your house instead. There's, there's no transposing digits. I don't know what you're talking about. We're, we're 46, and there's no 64. Well, whatever. You know, I'm just saying we accidentally did your lawn. You don't have to get upset. I'm, I'm apologizing. No, but I, ju- I, just, I just did my lawn myself, so now we do a, did a double. So. Well, well, I didn't do... Are, are, you, are you serious? This is a joke, right? Oh, no, it wouldn't be a joke. Um, it, it's like a treatment. It's, it's like a Halloween treatment. It's, it's supposed to turn the grass a shade of orange and black. So has your lawn started to change yet? Because I know some people can mistake that for their grass just turning dead. Um, you know, you're very funny. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you're a, you're a very funny person. What? So you, should, you should go fuck yourself. Because, because I'm funny? This is Brian. Oh, hello, Brian? Hello. Hi, this is uh, Steve Dave. Uh, I'm with... This is Brian. Oh, hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I was trying to tell you. I'm with... Who is this? I'm trying to tell you. You keep interrupting. I'm with Royco's Lawn Service. We accidentally sprayed your lawn. We were supposed to do your neighbor's lawn, and they put the wrong address down. So I'm just calling to let you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn over so, there. So let me guess. You actually did something wrong, and you're going to be rude on the phone about it? Well, no, I wasn't being rude. You just kept interrupting me, and you, you're the one you being rude. You were being rude, sir. I wasn't interrupting you. I couldn't freaking hear you. Okay. Well, see, there now, you go. You're what the... crap did you spray on my lawn? Uh, it's a novelty thing. It's like uh, it turns your lawn orange and black for Halloween. But then it just kind of washes out in another week or so. So your lawn... Are you fucking kidding me? No, and please don't use the effing word with me. You sprayed my lawn orange and black. Well, it's a chemical that's going to... I suggest y'all go fix it or I'm going to sue the shit out of you. Oh, you're not not suing anyone because, you know, it it was an accident. The neighbor, he put the wrong address on. Because you sprayed my lawn. You went on my property and trespassed. And you deface my property. It's not trespassing. We have a work order. And you don't think I can sue you? No, I know you can't sue me. Not for me. Well, there you go, interrupting me again. What company are y'all with and what's your address? Phone number, boss, 
all that. Oh, I don't have to tell you shit. I'm just letting you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn, and I'm very sorry. It'll, it'll wash out in just a few days. It's wow. Not a, it's not what a big deal. What company do you work for? Oh, oh, are you getting upset because you're being cursed at? It's weird. You were just cursing at me. I didn't think no, you'd care. No, I'm getting upset because you sprayed my lawn with some crap that you're telling me. It's and not you're crap. you're being rude to me it's about not, it from the start. It's not so crap. Yeah, I have every right to be rude. Look, kids love it, you idiot. It's not crap. Everyone does this. It's like the newest. What's my address? Uh, What's my address? You don't know it? Okay, it's 8600 Drive. 8600? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. The work That's order for That's not my form. address. Well, whatever. We definitely sprayed your lawn. You better not have. Oh, we did. When you, you get home, not have. When you get home it's, right it's going to be orange when you get home, and I hope you're pissed off. I hope you throw a big hissy fit about it. I hope you go in there and cry to your wife or something. Like, eh, my lawn. Eh, it's so <laughs> important. Oh my God! Wow! I know. I looked you up. It's sad. I it's, know it's, it's exactly sad what, what you're like. You work for now. So. Oh, you've already looked me up. How'd you look me up? It sounds like you're full of shit. Do you also have a tracer on the line? Is that what you're gonna say next? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Look, what else do you want to tell me? I was just calling to apologize. That's all. You're the one that had to be a dick about it. But you said it, you were rude from the beginning. No. I couldn't hear you. No, you were rude. Cause you're, you're claiming like you couldn't hear me or something when you could hear me just fine. I couldn't hear you. That's why I kept asking what, sir? That's what people do when they can't hear people. Well, if you apologize, I'll start being nice. So go ahead and apologize. I am not apologizing to you for spraying my lawn. No, not for that. That's ridiculous. Just, just for being an asshole on the phone, not for the no, lawn No, I'm part. not apologizing for anything. But I want to get something straight. You said 8,600. That's still not my address. I know. I, I read the wrong one. And now I'm not going to correct myself because I, I, don't, I don't owe you anything. Whatever. You know? Oh, my God, dude. You seriously have issues. No, you have issues. You're like, calling me and this you is can't nothing. even get the address correct. This is a scam. You're getting pissed off over nothing. How would this be a scam? What? Me calling what? Yeah, I'm getting pissed off because you defaced my lawn. It's just I mean, a lawn. What, did you actually expect me to be happy about this? No, that's why I was calling to apologize and let you know that it'll just wash out in another week. You're but just, you're let just... me see. You called to apologize, but you were rude about it. No, I wasn't rude. You're you're the one that was rude and cursing at me. You were never rude. Nope, not once. I recorded I recorded the entire call and I was not rude. Great. What are you gonna do? Sue me now because I'm mad because I, you freaking defaced my yard? No, I'm not gonna sue you. I'm just congratulations. I, I, I'm, I'm just you, you recorded the phone call. Yeah, oh my god. I have a YouTube Which channel. That was probably bullshit. I have a YouTube channel called what called Ass. Do you work for? I have a YouTube channel called Asshole Customers, and you're gonna what be featured on it. What company do you work for? I'm not telling you now. Well, what company do you work? for? Well, you already know. You said you're you, not you traced telling it. me what company you work for. Oh, I did, and you said you already figured what it out and traced it. What company do you work for? You checked it out and said ex you figured what out exactly. What company do you work for? Uh, I work for. G and C lawn repair. That's what it is. That's that's the name. G and C lawn repair. Here in and so somebody ordered it this, but you're not calling from. Yeah, it was a normal person that ordered it. You know, someone that doesn't you know that doesn't hate Halloween and doesn't get pissed off. You know, just because someone calls to apologize. It's so funny that you actually thought this conversation was going to go, oh, you know what? Thanks for spraying my my lawn that I didn't ask to be sprayed, orange and black. If you were nice, I would have given you a coupon for, like, money off. I think money I have off. the right. A coupon for what? Like, I'm ever going to use a company, one, that can't get the address correct, and it's pretty dang straightforward that somebody is going to be mad if you spray the wrong one, and two, they have an asshole for an employee. I mean a coupon, like you know, because we're gonna I send mean, you a bill for you, this. And w I was gonna no, give you, I was it's, gonna, you're gonna need more than a coupon. Trust me. No, well, you, you know, are gonna need much more than a coupon. It's thirty five dollars. I was trying because to give you, you like what? What's my address again? You said eighty six hundred. You said you said it wrong. Then what's the address? Oh, I don't have to tell you shit, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you don't have to tell me shit, motherfucker. Wow. Hey, good job repeating Dude. me. You're on a roll. Is that what you do when you don't know what to say? You just oh, repeat. Oh, now I'm, I'm playing repeating game? How old are you? Hey, look, you just repeated about how I said you were repeating. That's funny.
How old are you? I am 44 years old. I've had this business for 23 years. Well, you act about 20. <gasps> I am well, not you, 20. Y'all made a mistake, Take and you're that. taking it out on me. No, I'm not taking it out on you. You're, you're just being an asshole. You so. do realize, uh, it doesn't matter. I've got video cameras at the house. I can get license plates, all that. No, we so. cover our license plates before we do any job. Just because of people like you. I don't know why I had that guy's address wrong, but he didn't seem to care too much. He was still pretty upset with me. Hello? Hi, Melissa? Yes? Is Dennis around? Um, yeah, he is. Um, can I ask if someone is calling? Sure, I'm calling from the Homeowners Association. This is Roy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sure. Hang on a second, okay? Okay. Hello? Hello, Dennis? Yes? Hi there, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And I'm just calling to let you know that I don't like you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, that's all I needed to... i just been meaning to give you a call and let you know that I don't like you. Okay. And, I don't know, Melissa's okay, but really, I just don't like either of you. Okay. Yep. Do not like you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's all I need then. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. You're going to hit touchstones at me now? Is that how it is? I uh, don't. No. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. You're hitting touchstones at me. I, I don't see why you have to be a jerk about it. What is that? You know, I didn't hit touchstones at you. I just, I just told you the truth. That's all. I don't I don't know what you want. I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. I'm just calling to let you know I don't like you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but whatever. And then you just you start hitting touch tones at me like like in I retaliation. Touch, I don't know what a touch tone is. Oh, you don't? don't? That sounds totally believable. You don't sound like you're lying at all. Is there something I can help you with? I was just letting Dennis know that I don't like him. And who are you? Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. You're okay, oh, though. The Homeowners Association. The f you're okay, though. You know, you're all right. I just don't like Dennis. Uh, who, who are you? Uh, my name is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Roy, um, I don't recall you. I don't recall meeting you. Oh, well. What's your last name? Well, uh, Jerbel. But I don't know. It doesn't matter if you've met me. It's, I, I was mostly just wanting to talk to Dennis and let him know I don't like him. Well, this is kind of strange. What do you mean <laughs> um, strange? Dennis isn't, really, Dennis isn't really well right now, so if there's something I can help you with, what? I will sure try, but I'd appreciate you not bothering him right now. Okay? What, do you, what do you mean he's not well? He's not well. well what do you mean? I mean, he's not well. Oh, what's wrong with he him? Doesn't need, he doesn't need to be taking uh, calls from someone harassing him. Then okay? when did you give him the phone or for? Not. I assumed it was something, some actual business. Well, it is. I'm, I'm with the Sorry. Homeowners Association. Would you like to meet me somewhere? No. What, what is that, a threat? Well, <laughs> well, I'd like to discuss this in person if you have some sort of a problem. No, it's not a problem. I just don't like him. Well, this, thing, this seems like kind of a, just a, a a random phone call from somebody that we don't know. Well, no, um, no, it's not random. Want to talk? Okay, then what what is your what is the what exactly is this regarding? Uh, it's just I, I just wanted Dennis to know that I don't like him. I don't think Dennis really knows you or is worried about whether you like him or not. Well, I didn't okay? say he was worried about it. I'm just saying I don't like him. <sighs> okay. I, th I think we've had enough, okay? Bye. Okay, fine. Bye. Whatever. Hello. Hello, Mr. Williams? Yes? Hey there, this is uh, Roy from the city of Boulder. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm in the, the uh, city planning office and zoning board. Okay. All that stuff. And I, I was just looking through my records here, and uh, I just needed to call and let you know that I don't like you. Okay. And, um, yeah, I guess that's all. 
Okay, Roy from the city of Boulder. Is this an official uh, announcement, or is this just you personally? Well, it's just me personal, but I'm going to go ahead and write it in the file, just kind of in the margin, and put it back in the file okay, cabinet. Be sure, be sure and sign it, because I really feel like you're exceeding your authority in doing this. Mm. I don't think it's the business of the city of Boulder to officially like or dislike anybody. Yeah, but I can have a, an opinion, you know. I just I just don't like you. Okay, do you have a reason for it, or is it just random? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it random. You know, just some people, you just don't like them. It's not really a reason. How do you know? I don't believe I've ever met you. I don't know how you would uh, have arrived at any sort of an opinion. I don't know. All I know is I don't like you. Hmm. Well, that's it. That really sounds pretty unconsidered. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. What is your position? Should I worry that you dislike me? Oh no, no. And there's nothing to worry about. I'm just a regular office worker here. I was just going through the files, and and okay. And, and your file popped up here, and I don't know. I just don't like you. Roar. Okay. And you're in city planning. Yeah. Yes. Planning and zoning. Okay, but again, is it recent or is it long term? Oh, I don't think I'll ever like you. Okay, no, I mean, as it, did you acquire this dislike recently? Oh, um, no, I've never liked you. Okay, have you? When did you first heard about me? Uh, when I was reading this file, uh, a couple oh. of, about an hour ago, before lunch. Which file was that? Um, well, I can't. I can't give you information about our private personal files. You might be an identity thief or something. No, you've called me. If you don't know who I am, why, why I, do you dislike me? I know who you are. I have your file. Okay, and why are you going through my? What? You hit a touch why tone. Why are you going through my file? Since it's his personal, are you using? City files for your own personal uh, vendetta. Oh perhaps? no, no, of course not. No, I. This is my job. I'm just going through the file and marking off some items, and uh, they wanted me to prepare the file, so I'm preparing files today. I'm, I'm going through tons of files today. No, it, this is okay. all. This is all totally legit. This is my job. Okay, I believe it's your job. Uh, is it part of your job to call me up and announce that you don't like me? No, of course not. That'd be ridiculous. I, I just I just don't like you, and I, I just wanted to call you up and let you know I don't like you. Okay, Roy, in the City of Boulder Planning Department, I since we've never met, I don't really see you have any call to dislike me. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter, because we don't know each other, so who cares if I don't like right. you? I'm just some random person. You, you know enough about me to call me up. Well, yeah, because it's part of my job. You know, I, I'm going through these files, and I'm, I'm... Is it part of your job to call people up and tell them you don't like them? Oh, no, we've already been over this, remember? I, I said no. Oh, okay. So you're just doing this on your own recognizance. Yeah, but I'm on the clock, you know? I'm, I'm working. Okay. It's supposed to be just a quick phone call, and you're just really dragging it out. Well... When somebody calls me out from the city of Boulder and says they don't like me for some unspecified reason, that leads me to the next question is, what do you propose to do about it? Oh, I'm not going to do anything about it. I, I don't have time like that. Come on. I, I'm, I'm just a city worker. Why would well, I do... You, you have time. Stop hitting and those again, touch tones. That's annoying. Your job is apparently to go through these files and do something with them, and I'm concerned that your personal feelings for me, which seem to have very little basis, could lead you to take some action. No, that that's just silly. That's just you being paranoid. I'm not going to do no, anything. I'm not paranoid. Just, I'm, you're the one who called me. Well, this just, phone call comes out of the blue from somebody I don't know. Well, just because I don't like you doesn't mean I have to do anything about it. Now, aren't there people you no, don't like? No, it doesn't mean you're, it does not imply you're not going to do anything either. Well, that's a stupid way to think. Aren't there people in the world that you don't like? Uh, 
not not too many of them. Okay, well, you know, there's plenty of people I don't like. Justification. I've never done you anything know, Roy, about it. I really, uh, I really am concerned by this when I, somebody calls me up. I, why don't you let me speak to your supervisor because I'd like to know more about this. I did. I missed what you just said there because you're hitting touch tones with your face. It's just another. No, I'm not. Yes, well, you you keep hitting touch right, tones. I'll restate this. Okay. Roy, what? this concerns me. I'd like to speak to your supervisor about it. Oh, he's not here right now. I'll be, speak to his supervisor then. Uh, they both went together. They went to the video store to return a movie. You're sounding rather evasive. No, no, I'm just saying they went... To, listen to you, you're so paranoid. They just went to the video store to return a movie. They're probably going to stop by Starbucks, and then they're going to be back. Okay. Well, would you leave a message for one or other of them to give me a call when they get back? Well, I'm not going to do something for someone I don't like, and someone who's accusing me of things, and trying to turn this into some big threat, like I'm going to do something. I'm not going to do anything. I can well, ha- I you can... have called me up and made a threat. You're, you're acting like it's a crime to have an opinion. No, but it might be a crime to express that opinion on company time okay. based on company information. Well, whatever. This isn't a threat. I'm just calling to let you know I don't like you. Once again. It's just an opinion. At some level, I don't care whether you like me or not, but I'd like to know why. Who knows? How about it sure seems like you, you care about it. Well, this is a kind of a random phone call. It wasn't random. I, I, didn't, I didn't just pick some random person from a list. How do I... Well, oh my god, quit hitting touch tones. That's just another reason I don't like you. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm not pushing touch tones. You keep hitting touch tones with your face, and you, do, you don't hear it or something. Oh, my, my face isn't any near, anywhere near the keyboard. Well, then, I don't know. They keep, you keep hitting touch tones. Well, all right, Roy. I feel that way. I uh, will be pleased if this does not recur. Oh, yeah, I won't bother you again. I won't call you again. I just thought you should know. I just don't like you. Okay, well, perhaps I'm... Gather, generating a certain amount for you. A certain amount of touch tones? I, I, I didn't... What was that? Uh, so I, perhaps I am generating a certain amount of dislike for you. Well, good. The feeling's mutual. I'm, I'm glad we both feel the same way. But you know what? I'm well, not going to I'm not gonna act like I'm afraid you're going to come and get me or anything, just because you have an no, opinion. I don't want you. Uh, what I would like to know more than anything else is why you feel this way. Uh, that seems unwarranted if we've never met, we've never had any interaction, and all you're doing is looking at my else. Yep. Hmm. Just n- no what reason. Is it in my file that you dislike? Is it something I said? No, nothing like that. Jeez, you're just, you're, you're blowing this all out of proportion. Look, I gotta get back to work before my supervisor gets back and, and I'm just sitting here chattering away on the phone. Okay, Roy. I don't want to get fired. Well, I don't blame you. All right, well, have a nice day, Mr. Williams. Well, Mr. Roy, uh, I'll uh, be curious to see if anything comes of this. Well, no, nothing's going to come of it. Quit being paranoid. You call me out of the blue and think I'm paranoid? Oh, my God, here we go again. Look, I got to get going. I got work to do. Okay. Go do your work. I will. I will. I'm going to finish filing. and I'm going to get going home early. Why not? Yep. All right, bye. All right, Roy. Once again, goodbye, Mr. Williams. Have a nice day. Have a fun day. I will. Thanks. Hey, good afternoon. My name is James. Um, this call is a reference to, I guess, uh, there was an accident involving my truck. Um, at your earliest convenience, you can give me a call back at 937. Thank you. National Bank, Ms. Sasha speaking. How may I help you? Hi, is James there? Yes, he is. Matthew calling. It's Roy. Okay, Roy, and what's your last name? 
Oh, why do I have to give that? I, I just, I, he called me and I'm calling him back. So I can know how to properly direct the call for you to let him know who he's speaking with. Oh, so speak with my last name is Dribble. Okay, hold one moment. Jeez, <laughs> come on. Do you own your There's own a high pitched tone on this line. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's really annoying, though. It's not my fault. It's theirs. This is James. How can I help you? Hey, James. It's Roy. I left a note on your truck. Yes. I've been trying to reach you, but um, I tried to call back uh, uh, the other day as well. Oh. Just want to kind of touch base with you to see what's going on. Oh yeah, I was, I uh, was using a slim jim to open the door, and I scratched up the window pretty bad because I mean, the truck was really hard to open up. You scratched up the the window on what? The, the driver's side. On my truck? Yes, yes. I was opening it to get the pin out. You was using. You was trying to open my truck. Yeah. Well, I did open your truck. I used a Slim Jim, but it scratched up the window quite a bit when I was opening it, and I'm really sorry about that. But I was getting my pin out, because you had my pin, the one I do all my, my work with. Your, your pin? Yeah, my pin, like ink pen. See, right here, I'm clicking it. It's my pin, and it was in your front how did I? Get, how did I get your pin? Oh, that's what I'd like to know, but it was sitting in your uh, passenger seat, and I was walking by, and I saw it, and I'm like, that's my pin. And uh, I got in there and got it out. And then you you got you got into which side? The driver's side. And the, it was on the passenger side. Yeah. Well, you know, I have arms; I can reach across. But I, yeah, I, the driver's side is always easier to get get into with the Slim Jim. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so what exactly are you are we going to do about it? Um, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I did damage your window, but on the other hand, you stole my pin. So maybe we could just call it even at this point. A, a window for a pin? Well, it was my pin. It's my pin, the one I do all my work with. R right. But we're talking about a window versus a pin. Well, it just scratches on the window, and my pin is pretty banged up. I've had this pin for years. I do all my work with this pin. Right, but still, we're talking about you know even at the end of the day, it's it's a pin versus a, a car window. You don't. It's my pin. It's my pin. Yeah. Are you sure you have the same the the right person? Yeah, I, it was that truck, and I left a note on after. Yeah, I got the note, yep. but there was no pin in my my truck oh yes there was it was and sitting on the passenger seat it was my pin I, i've i lost it like a week ago I, I work over the dmv and uh i loaned it to someone maybe it was you did you come to the dmv and borrow my pin the dmv where here in town in downtown dayton yeah no i've never been to the dmv in downtown okay dayton. well maybe someone else borrowed it Maybe uh -huh. you, maybe you didn't steal my pen. Maybe you stole it from someone else. But someone borrowed my pen and they didn't return it. And then the next thing I know, it's sitting in your truck. So very suspicious to me. Maybe you just don't want to admit it. But I haven't been oh, able to okay. do any work without my pen. And you work at the DMV? Yeah. Hmm. Because like I said, I've never been to the DMV downtown, and plus, my truck doesn't have any scratches on the window. Okay. Well, I guess everything's fine then. We don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna, All right. I'm going to write this down with my pen. No scratches on the window. Done. Okay.